Happy early New Year's. Yes, sir. How you feeling, my brother? I'm excited for this. Yo, yeah, what's going on, bro? What's going on? Listen, bro. You got to be well, welcome. Hold on real quick. Hold on, brother. Let, let me uh welcome Tony to the platform. Tony, how are you feeling? You know, happy holidays, my brother. You know, I'm getting ready for the new year, 2022. I think it's going to be great. What about you? Yeah, the, the fight I actually am most excited for to happen is uh Nava Navarrete versus Fulton, but I don't think it's ever gonna ha- that fight's never gonna happen. Navarrete and Fulton, uh Navarrete fights at 126, Fulton is at 122, and Navarrete is talking about moving up to 130 pounds. So yeah, that fight definitely gonna oh, happen. No, not Fulton, uh Russell, Gary Russell. Oh yeah, so Navarrete and Gary Russell. Yes. Yeah, that's a good little scrap right there. Unification. What up, Big Taco? What it is? Happy early New Year. Taco, happy New Year, my brother. <laughs> hey, shit, bro. Shit, nigga trying to get it, get getting dressed right now. Nigga, I'm about to be drunk to the motherfucker, so and turned up. So I just wanted to make sure I came on here since I seen y'all here and wish my nigga a happy new year, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You know, I appreciate that, Taco, man. You know, tapping in with me on the new year. You feel me? And, man, we going to go up. 2021 was a great year. I believe that's the year I met you. That's the year that I met my brother Taco and Tony, uh, all these new brothers, man. The channel been growing. So, man, I got to thank you, Taco, man, for being Uh, a brother to me. You feel me? Recognize real H. (laughs) Yeah, man. Even, Even when I was wrong, you know, certain shit, you know... I, I was wrong, you know. Look, you still bro. let me learn from my mistakes, you know. You exactly, never got bro. mad at me. He's like, let H do what he do. Exactly, and you know what I'm saying? Bro. I learned from my bro, mistakes. I had to let you. I had to let you rock and, and and rock and do your thing your way. But nigga, I wasn't shying away. Nigga, nigga was still here. Yeah, like, exactly. But you feel me? Yeah, you know I mean, I just, I, I just knew out of respect for you, nigga, nigga. You feel me? That ain't my place. That wasn't my place. That wasn't my. That wasn't my fight. And I have to let you fight your own fight. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and and that's the, what we got to do as grown men. We can't be trying to be defend and trying to take up for everybody. You feel me? You got to let every every grown man handle his own battles, bro. And that's, and, and that's what I did, bro. I let you as a grown man handle your own thing. You feel me? Even though it, it was a little bit controversial, but still, I had to let you, you, you as a grown man, handle your, handle your thing. You know what I mean? And, 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 and you know, when you feel comfortable... To, to 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 let it go and it's all good, bro. You know man, I, mean? I appreciate but that, I, I, I like though, man. You. you know what I'm saying? That's why I if appreciate you pee, that a lot, for real. That's why if you pee, bro, I wasn't even really trying to bring up Devin Haney and nothing like that. You feel me? And our bill, 
I was just trying to talk about everything else. You feel me? Out of respect mm -hmm. for you, you feel me? Because you feel me? I already knew that was a touchy subject for you. You feel me? Because it was it, it was some respect shit that was going on in, in there, and people didn't. You know, you got a lot of people on here that's that that that's really not from the streets and run really not from the hood. You feel me? And and, and they don't know no better. But the, I, I don't want to say that either because you know you got even some people that's not from the streets and still would know better. You feel me? But you know. You know, a lot of these guys don't be understanding. They ain't never been through nothing. They ain't never been through no fights. They've been taken care of all their lives. You know what I mean? So they, you know, they don't understand, you know. But, um, you know, I, I I understood what was going on, bro. And I could, and, and like I say, I could respect it, bro. You know and I, mean? I appreciate that, Taco, yeah. like I said, man, because, you know, um, it was just something that I was going through at the time. And I, I appreciate that you just let me, you know, you know, take take care of the situation. You know what I mean? You just let me handle my handle the little little beef or whatever it was. And you know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate that, my brother. Just let me get that off my chest and let me deal with it. You know what I mean? And now we we done moved on from it. And you know what I'm saying? 2022, I think it's gonna be a, a big year for boxing. You know, hey, to me, I, I, go ahead. You need to add one more person on this that you're forgetting. Instead of, it's not just David Morrell and Jerron Boots Ennis. To me, you're forgetting Virgil Ortiz, El Manador. Yeah, I, I like Virgil Ortiz. I think Virgil Ortiz is a, a great young fighter. But for me, Boots is uh, on a different level. Now, Boots got the power. He got the speed. He got the athleticism with the footwork, the ring IQ. I think Boots, to me, Boots is better than Virgil Ortiz. That's hey, my and Virgil opinion. Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz got secure Stevenson problems. So, so <laughs> why you say we that? Can't, we can't put him up there really like that when, when when he constantly ducking the smoke too. You know what I'm saying? I like like I think I, I see uh Morrell and Ennis as smoke seekers. Like where the smoke is, they want to be all up in the smoke. You know what I mean? Like um Virgil Ortiz, it don't seem like his secure Stevenson been on his ass since like what 126? Yeah, uh, I mean, Virgil Ortiz, you talking about, uh, I think you talking about Oscar Valdez, right, Taco? Man, I always get them niggas <laughs> mixed up in there, bro. I swear to God, I get them two niggas mixed up. But Virgil, Virgil is the number one contender right now to for, for Terrence Crawford in that WBO belt, but Virgil Ortiz and his team, they decide to go somewhere else and fight a McKinnison. They wasn't think, pushing for that Crawford fight. Oh, they yeah, went to I go think to that, you know else. what, though? That's a smart move for them, H, because I think they got they they switched, he switched trainers. So you don't want to go, you 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 don't want to go into a big fight uh, with when switching trainers. You know what I mean against a Terrence Crawford. So to me, I don't really, I don't really think that that's a too bad of a move. You feel me, H? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But you know, obviously they wasn't you know pursuing a Terrence Crawford fight. They called out Crawford, but they didn't uh, petition to go fight this dude or you know, put the pressure on Crawford. No, they want to go do something else. But I understand, you know, I understand what you're saying because he got a new trainer. Maybe they want to take a tune-up fight before they go into a fight with somebody like a Terrence Crawford. But he got to work on his defense. He know, he know, he, they, they, he know his, his defense is lacking and he know uh, it's a difference from going up with, uh, going up against, um, who is it, uh, Mean Machine and Crawford. So he, he, I think that's why he went with Reynoso, right? I think he went with, and that's why I think he went with Reynoso to try to help with his defense, um, cause um, he he t he take a lot of shots, and he know he can't do that with Crawford. Um, yeah, hell yeah, working on his head movement, his defense, all of that shit. You know, cause if you get hit like that by a Terrence Crawford, you could you could get knocked out. It could be over with. You know what I mean? No, and, and it's just not that. It's just when he get, when he have you hurt, H. Like like like. Like, like, you know, you have Sean Porter and you have Brooke. They come out, they say, you know, they say Earl Spence is stronger. And I will, I, I will probably agree with them because they've been, they've been there and longer, they went longer with him. So, of course, they just say that. You feel me? I mean, when you keep getting hit by somebody for long around. But, you know, Sean Porter only lasted, what, five? So, you know what I'm saying? And, and, um, and Brooke only lasted, what, uh, what was it, four, four rounds? So it's like, you know when you when you when you go into a fight with a person for a love that that longer a period, you know, I think you can say that because to me, Earl's um in that in that in that Porter fight, Porter Por Porter didn't look like he was um beasting um Terrence Crawford like he was uh, Earl Spence, and uh, I think that um Earl Spence did good with matching his feet work too. <clears throat> 
because he was turning, they was turning like a motherfucker. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. But yeah, man, for me, like 2022, I believe David Morrell and Jabron Ennis will be the, you know, the future stars of boxing, you know, in 2022. That's that's my prediction. Uh, people, you might have uh, Virgil Ortiz, Anthony, but me, I got Boots Ennis. Boots Ennis is a combination of speed, power, boxing skills. Um, he has a great work ethic. He's always in a gym. He's always training. I think Jerron Ennis is the total package in the same thing with uh with David Morrell. Uh, to me, I think they are the two future stars of boxing, and can't nobody fuck with these two guys. I love Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz is a great young fighter, but I think Boots is better because Boots got better footwork. He's faster. He got better ring generalship and a better IQ. But Virgil Ortiz could box too. He got a good jab. But I think Boots is slicker. I think that's what it comes no, down to. That, that, that's what I, the reason why I'm saying Virgil instead of Boots is because for me, is because for me, help, him being in the same training camp as Canelo and Canelo with uh, Eddie Reynoso is going to help him with his footwork. Yeah, it, it should help him. But, you know, he's his own person. You know, just because you train with Canelo don't make mean you're going to be a great, great fighter. Look at Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? He's been training with Canelo for years. He still hasn't improved his no, footwork. Virgil has a work ethic. Ryan doesn't. That's okay, what about uh, Andy Ruiz? You see Andy Ruiz training with, uh, uh, what's his name, Eddie Reynoso for over a year. And then he came back and got dropped by an old, washed-up Chris Ariola. Okay, yeah. I, I, um, What are your guys most... Surprising knockouts of 2021. 2021 surprising knockouts? Yeah. Damn. Uh, I'm shit, just, Taco, what you think? For, shit, for Bud me, knocking out EJ. A 2021? You mean Porter? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You talking about, oh, you talking about this year? Yeah, yeah, the year that, that's uh, ending right now. Uh, knockouts, I would have to say that. That fury, uh, that fury knocking out Wilder was kind of vicious. Yeah, that shit was nasty. Were you surprised, or you was you expecting Fury oh, to doing surprise. like that? Um, <clears throat> nah, I wasn't expecting that shit, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Not like that. Like that nigga got like nigga. Matter of fact, yeah, that is a surprising knockout for me because in the last, even even in the last, okay, the 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 the, the glove gate fight. You know, he was just beating his ass, you feel me? I mean, so we didn't see him get like nigga, like nigga put the sleep sleep, nigga, like nigga knocked out, bro. Like, that nigga was knocked the fuck out, bro. Yeah, no, no doubt, no saying. doubt. He yeah, he for me, that nigga was, you know, going on the way down, nigga. Going on the way down, that nigga was sleep. Man, he beat the fuck out of Wilder. Wilder came with the smoke, though. I ain't gonna lie. But no, I mean, Wilder came with the smoke, but Ace, when you think about it, you know, they always say Fury don't have that punching power, you feel me? Look how many knockouts he got, you feel me? So Fury ain't never been known as really the knockout artist. You see what I mean? So yeah, yeah. since he been with Sugar Hill, two, what, two fights, two knockouts? Yeah. So Shitty you looking man. at the, so you looking at a boxer, you looking at a boxer knocking out, and getting a knockout, you feel me? You ain't looking at a power puncher, you feel me? So, so I would say that is a surprising knockout because what no, would nobody, you, you didn't have Fury knocking out Wilder like that, bro. I think I I did pick Fury to knock him out, but shit, I didn't man, I didn't know Wilder was gonna come with the smoke like that. That's what surprised me man, how Wilder hey, dropped think Fury twice. Fury get knocked out like that though, like you you you, I think you probably think that it would have been a knockout stoppage. Like you feel me, like one of those, not like one of those. That nigga came with that overhand right, like nigga go to sleep. Boom! For, yeah, for me, the he sure did. He knocked the fuck out of Wilder, man. Uh, <laughs> that nigga. That nigga hey, my, my surprise uh, knock no, out and, Kate, I, and, and I don't. It ain't nothing. And it, please, nobody think that we shitting on Wilder. Like, please. Shout out to Wilder. Man, we ain't. He ain't came nobody with the smoke. shitting on that man, but he got knocked the fuck out. And on the way down, he was sleep. Can't nobody tell me he was not sleep on the way down. <laughs> that he went face first. The referee had to catch him while he was yeah. going down. Save well, that ball. That he went is hard that on his face. Is that Judah's knockout, uh, Taco? Huh? Was that not knockout worse than Zab Judah's knockout where Zab came up saying crazy crap? <laughs> He's like, oh, Man. Zab got knocked out by Costa Zoo. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, that was crazy. But Zab was like, he got back up when Wilder, his ass couldn't even get yeah, back up. Yeah, I think it was that the one he got bamboo legs? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that shit. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, he's a, he, he the, wasn't. The most see, his, his shit was all fucked up. See, so he was there. He wasn't totally asleep. You feel what I mean? Nigga Wilder was asleep. Nigga, he was snoring. Nigga, 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 drool on a pillow. Like, yeah. nigga, he was gone. He was out, nigga. For me, the nigga, most the surprising salt. knockout because I thought he was past his prime was Donaire, to be honest. By a pillow puncher. Remember, they said that he was pillow fisted. They said that he didn't have no power. That's that's what they would say. That's what they said, Wilder. That's what Wilder fanboy said. That's what all the niggas were saying. The niggas that remember, Fury don't got no power. How many niggas you in the debate at H where they said that Fury don't got no power and shit like that? You feel me? Like nigga, come on, bro. Like, so you gotta get at the surprising knockout, bro. Like, nigga, that was a cold. I was a nigga, uh, bro. You talking about knockout cold, bro? Like, nigga, ain't no, ain't no towel thrown in, ain't no none of that shit, nigga. Nigga, nigga, stop the fight. It's over. Okay, that actually, gotta be the one. Actually, my my surprising knockout is Seha. The Seha fight. You guys remember? Who's that fight? Uh, which fight was that? Seha and who? Man, that was Max Seyo or something. Who we fought? Man, I don't even know who. I'm sorry, man. I, <laughs> I, 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 which I'm fight sorry. is that? Come on, man. Like, the, the, I, 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 I can share myself a, 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 a cool casual. I, I I I I take a casual uh uh, uh bro. I, I I'm a straight cat. I, I don't got time to be looking at everybody fight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was the card. He was on the card with the uh, the Manny Pat. He, he oh yeah, you talking about Ma Max Sayo? Max Sayo, the dude Gary Russell's about to fight. He, I guess yeah. he knocked out the Seha guy, right? That's the oh, fight yeah. you talking about. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I got it. You know what I mean? I gotta or, see it, bro. Or actually, mine would be my mistake. Mine would be the Donaire because for me, I I assumed Donaire was past his prime already. Like he was. He was losing steam, and I I didn't expect that that knockout to happen. Do you guys agree? Did you guys expect? Uh, uh, did you expect? Donair, uh, Donair was a cool fight. Like he knocked out cool an undefeated fight. fighter, but at the same time, you know, I really didn't know much about that guy. You know, it right. wasn't like that guy was a um, a former champion champ or something like that. Right, you it, was, something it wasn't like against a high profile yeah, uh, like, opponent. Like, yeah, like it, it, it could be somebody in the light base, but I'm thinking of, like I'm trying to think about look, look at all, all over the fights and when you look at it, bro, it wasn't like it ain't like to me, in my opinion, it wasn't too many surprising knockouts. You feel me? Like, How about like the Nick, a nigga fight? knew. How about for Chelt? Mm, that was a good Burchell, knockout. Yeah. You mean when Oscar Valdez knocked out Burchell? That was a pretty good that knockout. That was a pretty one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's did nobody did nobody see uh Valdez that yeah, that was a pro I'll give you that one. I'll that was nice. I'll put that one probably I'll put that one number two. That was cool. And who cool. else had a good one? It was uh, man, the, the me, way Shakur I, Stevenson I, 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 did uh the way Shakur Stevenson did Jamel Herring, he beat the fuck out that boy. Yeah, then nobody but that was a stoppage though. That wasn't a knockout. Yeah, he, he, nobody was saying Shakur was gonna knock him out and, and I will beat the shit out there, nigga. And I will put I will put Bud Crawford and Porter in on there just because Porter ain't never been stopped before. And I understand people want to say that his dad threw in the towel, but bro, it was gonna get ugly, bro. He that was a that was the, the that was the right thing to do in my opinion because Bud is the is the, is the, is the is the number one killer when it comes to having somebody hurt. And his accuracy was there, and it would have been really bad. And just like his daddy said, uh, um, Sean Porter got a good career outside of boxing, and ain't no use of him uh, messing that up because because that would have got that, messed up. Uh, Aliaser brought a good one up. The the knockout Rosado had, Gabe Rosado had. <laughs> That that's gonna be my winner right there. The way Rosado knocked out Beck the Bully, and the way people was hyping up Beck the Bully, like he was the next great champion, and he's the next great fighter, and all of that. And I'm gonna put, and, hey, and put my nigga up. Bud back on there. What about Bud and Porter? I mean, Bud and Brooke. You feel me? Niggas didn't think Bud was gonna knock out Brooke like that. Oh uh, yeah, he fucked him up. He Niggas fucked didn't him think up that bad. he was gonna get knocked out like that. Hey, so I, shout out to Tony. Tony Boswell said he picked. Uh, it looks like Tony picks uh, Terrence Crawford. He said Terrence Crawford over um, Sean Porter. He said that was his knockout. I don't think anybody, uh, you know, expected Terrence Crawford to be the first man to knock out Sean Porter the way he did. Yeah, that was that was big, bro. And Sean Porter, Sean Porter is going down as a, you got to look at you got see you got to look at the opponents. You see what I mean? Like 
like yeah, like you feel me? Like the the opponents matter. You feel me? And when you and, and, and when you and that's why I have I will have Valdez. I will have Valdez up there. I will have that one up there. I'll have Fury Wilder up there. And now you will have to put Bud and Porter up there. You feel me? In any particular order, it doesn't about, matter how, how you about, put it. Uh, the Peta versus Vargas. The Peta versus you said the Peta versus Vargas. Yes. That's who Punch said. Punch. Uh... Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm finna go uh, pick up this Zaza. Hey, the link is in the chat. I see Shelton Moore. I got hey, a few yeah, yeah, in the chat. Get ready to cut too, bro. Hey, okay. Hey, yo, yo Anthony, you, hold it bro. down. I might be on later, bro. Might, yeah, we gonna turn up all night, night man. We gonna bro. celebrate the new year, man. I got Jerron Ennis and David Morrell, Taco, as my future stars of boxing in 2022. Remember when you heard it first. I, I'm high on boots, Taco. I'm sold on boots. I think boots is the LeBron James of boxing, man. I think boots that guy. 2022 <laughs> boots is boots H, year. H, H, H. Let's not do the LeBron thing because LeBron only won three championships. Hey, I'm telling you, Boots is a phenom, man. He's a phenom. So, Anthony, I want you to post up. I'm a, I'm a, hey, anybody you want to join the panel, come join the panel right now with my brother Anthony. I got to go make this move. Okay. Uh, yeah, so hold it down, Anthony, until I come back, okay. all right? So, okay. I'm going I'm to uh, I'm have my computer over to my brother. The link is in the chat, so. I'm going to let you on with my brother. And, uh, yeah, man, people in the chat, come join the panel, man. Shelton Moore, if you're listening, where you at, Khalid? Uh, I see we got Debo right there. Debo, come join the panel. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? There go the link right there. Hit the link. Subscribe. H Money, Mr. Supreme. We back again with another one. Morel okay. Jr. But you like Virgil, man. Explain to who's your two picks. You you said you like Virgil and who else? And I like Morell and Ennis. But look, I'm gonna let you on with my brother while I go uh make this move. I'll be right back. Give me 30 minutes. Stay on with my brother. Don't leave until I come back, Anthony. Be the co-host. Okay. There go my okay. brother right there. Yo, what's up, man? How's everybody doing? Uh it is uh, you know, Friday night, um, New Year's Eve. How you fellas doing out here? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing absolutely uh, well. You know, it's a lot of good fights in the making. Uh, you know, t do you follow MMA at all by any chance? Uh, yeah. Uh, Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. No, because I'm. I can't like for me. MMA is turning more. Start. MMA is turning into WWE in a sense, like. I, I kind of feel like it's more about the personalities and the actual skill of the fighter sometimes. Yeah, you know. Um... Because this is why I say that. It's because um, Dana is protecting Connor like he's the best thing, the best thing in the world. And the guy almost, he, did you see the the whole incident with him and Khabib during their Full per remember that whole incident? They they didn't he basically paid for his bail and he almost injured someone in Khabib's bus for throwing a barricade. Yeah, um You know MMA right now I feel like it's at its worst point it's it's ever been, you know. Uh Connor McGregor, he's been Gone from the sport a while. You got John Jones, who's at, uh, been absent, and um, you got Khabib, who hasn't fought. You know, MMA to me at this point it, is in need of a new star, and it, and it is hurting. You right don't now. think Amanda Nunez was a star? Oh, uh, she, she definitely is. But hey, they got you know, that guy from New England. What's that dude? Patty. Patty. Patty Houlihan. You know what I'm talking about? No, Patty Pimley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, um, if he keep winning, yeah, yeah, he can, he can really take over if he keep winning. Especially like you said, fashion. Amanda Nunez, she is a star, but you know, she just she coming off of a loss. She lost her title, so you know, a lot of her uh, her value is, is going down right now. You know, she's just she lost her belt. She ain't that big of a star right now. You know, uh, 
Hey, bro, this Debo right here, though, when H come back, if, I don't, if I'm still around, hey, tell him everything good with Debo, man. If you ever, when he ever talk to him, man, all right? All right, I'm, I'm going to let him know. Tell him Debo just want to talk his box and shit, and that's it, man. He don't mean yeah. no harm for real, man. Yeah, yeah, and I, for for me, I, I actually, there's a lightweight that can be a superstar. The, the guy who's the champion right now at lightweight, my God, I forgot his name now. At, in the UFC, God, what's the kid's name? He he's like twenty five or twenty six or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Hello, anybody there? Yeah. Say that again. Do you know who I'm? Ta- he's a li- he's a lightweight at in the UFC. He's a champion right now. I- Charles Oliveira. I don't keep I don't keep up with the UFC. That ain't my lane. I'm talking about Charles Oliveira. Oliveira. Yeah, Ch- Charles Oliveira. Yeah, you, uh, you can be a superstar. You know, what was that? Do you think Do you think he can be a superstar, Charles? I uh, he can if he uh, you know he, he continues to defend his belt, um, which I don't think he's going to be able to do very long. You got. A very stacked lightweight division right now. One of the most dangerous divisions in MMA is lightweight. I will have to say, uh, and you know, you got Islam Makhachev on the, uh, you know, pretty much on his bumper. I think and, uh, waiting for his title shot, and I, I think once Islam Makhachev gets that title shot, he will, uh, he will beat Charles Oliveira. Actually, I I disagree with you. I think I think welterweight and middleweight are actually deeper than. Lightweight, to be honest. I, you know, y'all maybe think just a tad bit right? right now. Since y'all, y'all think Khabib Francis is missing it. Right? Nganu, Francis Nganu? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I think he, I think Francis loses, in my honest opinion. I keep seeing that, man. Y'all really think he ain't going to catch him? Surreal yeah. gone in, uh, if he catches gun, it's a wrap for gun. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Nuganu, he's made uh you know, he made leaps and bounds. You know, he's he's coming together as a, a as an a, a tired fighter. I mean, you're thinking about a man who just beat Stipe Miocic, you know, a man who has the most title defenses in the heavyweight division ever, you know. So for him to do that against some some people call the greatest heavyweight of all time. You know, it just shows that Francis Nugano has made improvements. You're talking about a guy, you know, who's barely been training in MMA. He's been starting for, what, three three years now, I think. And, I mean, the dude is just getting better every time I see him. His takedown defense, you know, it's come a long way. Stipe couldn't even get a takedown in the rematch, you know. So, a lot of people are sleeping on Francis Nugano, saying that he's one-dimensional. All he has is power. And, uh, you know, that's not the case, man. The dude's made leaps and bounds. I think Surreal Gone, you know, he's he, – you're thinking about a guy who has, what, about 11 fights in MMA. He's not even really that experienced. You know, you're talking about Nugano. He's fought Derrick Lewis. He's fought Stipe twice. He's fought the top-tier guys at heavyweight. Surreal Gone, he hasn't fought the competition yet, is Francis Nugano. So you think Gon gets ragdoll? I I won't say he gets ragdoll. I mean, Gon, you know, he he has beat tough guys in the UFC as well. But you know, I just think the experience. I think nugano has been in the UFC a little bit longer. He's fought the higher level competition. So I think Nugano, he has. I think he wins this fight. To be honest, man. Uh, you know, surreal Gon. It it comes down to you know like skill versus power. I would say he's more technically sound. Surreal gone. He picks his shots a little bit better. He he's not rushing the knockouts. You know he takes his time, and uh, it it's gonna be a big. I, I think it, it's a close fight, but I have to give it to Ngannou just a little bit. Um, yeah, happy New Year to everyone in the chat. Uh, appreciate you guys for stopping by. Always showing love. Uh, thanks for the support. Hmm. 
It was good. I believe you if you put your money on Francis. You know, I'm going Francis, man. I think Francis get it done. He hits harder. And like I said, he's been around the UFC a little bit longer than gone. He's fought the best heavyweight. Somebody that said was Francis available. Getting old. Francis ain't no older than what, 32, 31? He ain't that old. Yeah, he's around there, but he, he has more fights in the UFC than Gon does. You're I mean, think about the Curtis Blades fight. You think uh, you know, beating a guy like Curtis Blades, you know, a high level wrestler is an easy task. He beat him twice, you know. So, you know, I think Curtis Blades actually gives Surreal Gone a tough time, you know. Uh I think Blades will, could be gone. So if Nuganu, you know, knocked out Blades like that. I, I got to go with Nuganu, man. I, a lot of people sleeping on Nuganu. A lot of people sleeping on him. Um, and I think the dude, uh, you know, I think they're saying this might be his last fight in the UFC as well. I think he's going to lead a UFC. You know, the UFC and Dana White, they just don't, uh, they don't have a good relationship. Where's he going to go? Like, I feel like. That'd be a bullshit move. Like, if I was Nagana manager, I'd be like, bro, we might stay in UFC until you don't want to fight no more. Because, like, where the fuck is he going to go? Like, who up? Like, what's the other, what's the other shit he going to go You to? got Bellator. You got a lot of organizations now, uh, yeah. you know, that, that's been picking up with MMA. Talking so, he has options. Real, you know, bro. he got options. It, the UFC he ain't the only place. Yeah. Real big fights, he only gonna make them. He only he only gonna be able to make them in the UFC. Now, I, I mean that ain't the case. You seen Demetrius yes. Johnson? He's over there. He's fighting in another country and he's getting paid well. You know, so you know the UFC. A lot of people are thinking that the UFC is the only place. That's the only option, and it's not. Dana White has a horrible relationship with MMA fighters. Uh, you know, so. A place like you know, I just had a conversation with Francis. Uh, they went they had a dinner uh, the other day. So they, I think they cleaned that all up. Yeah, but you know, we, hey, we could name hey, a I, lot of fighters that have a horrible relationship with Dana White in the UFC. So you know, but Dana White got all the money though. He got all everything. He not all not money. necessarily. Bellator has a lot of money as well. And Scott Coker, the president of Bellator, you're talking about a guy who has. A, Man, uh, he not a history of having though, relationships bro. with these no UFC fighters. He not no going to fucking Dana, bro. He ain't no brain fucking though. with Dana at all, bro. Let's keep it real. That nigga ain't fucking with Dana and on no. You know, guys. but you know, for a lot of people who don't follow MMA, uh, you know, it was a, a organization by the name of Strike Force in the past. I don't know if you guys remember it or not. Maybe not. Maybe so. Yeah. But you know, um, Scott Coker was the president. The guy who's the uh, Bellator president right now. Running Bellator, he was the same president at Strike Force, so he already had relationships with these fighters, and uh, you know, a lot of these fighters want to come back and fight for him. I mean, that's why you see Corey Anderson make the transition. Corey Anderson, you're talking about a guy who's a top five light heavyweight, a man who beat Jan Blahovich, a guy you know who made that transition to Bellator. Not only because you know Scott Coker is willing to pay these guys what they deserve, but also having a good relationship with them. You know, if you don't have a good relationship at your job, you think you want to clock in every day? Nah, man, it just don't work in like that, you know? Corey Anderson left because he got knocked out and he knew he couldn't Corey Anderson the beat, yeah, he got he got knocked out, but the one thing you forgot about is Corey Anderson actually got a win on Jan Blahovic. Who yeah, won the like first fight? Ago. Who like won the first ago. fight? He dominated ago. Jan Blahovic. The reason why he remake. left the UFC is because of Dana White, man. Dana White, you know, he doesn't pay his fight. Number one, he doesn't pay the fighters well. Why you don't think you see John Jones in the octagon left and right uh, defending his belt? Because he's John having problems go to with the UFC. He's trying to go to the heavyweight. So why why didn't he make he the fight? To clean why hasn't cycle. he fought in the UFC a uh, heavyweight yet then? Because they're not paying to, him what he deserves. He waits hey, to whoever John, wins his John, fight next. John trying to clean his cycle for the month, man. Man, you know. 
That's he, ridiculous. He really on steroids, bro. He be he be having road rage and shit, man. That shit. I don't man. know if you guys follow the That's sport that well. I don't be fucking with you John, know? man. And John, I used to feel like he was my favorite fighter until this nigga just that damn. He just let the other shit get to him, man. Like. And Corey yeah. Anderson, you know, he could easily be the. Uh, he could be easily the UFC light heavyweight champion right now. You're talking about a man who beat Glover Teixeira as well, the, the current champion at light heavyweight. The reason why the UFC didn't want to pay him because supposedly he wasn't that exciting. He's a wrestler. Oh, he, he takes the fight down on the ground and lay on him. You know, um, that's, the, that's not his fault that, you know, his opponents can't stop the takedown. Corey Anderson, it could easily be the champion in the UFC. So, you know, you say Corey Anderson. Well, you got knocked out. Corey Anderson dominated Jan Blahovic. Go it check the stat. Anderson. Go check it. Go His check dude just got you know, the, out. the previous he record. Who is Corey Anderson? Go take Anderson. a look at the stats. The, got the stats out. don't lie. He was in the UFC. He got knocked out. He went to the B League. No. So, why did Corey Anderson beat Glover Sherry? The current champion of the like, UFC light heavyweight ago, division. Though. You're talking about fights that happened years ago. I'm talking about, like, now, Corey Anderson will still dominate Glover to Sheriff if they fight yet tomorrow. You know, some people say Bellator is the BD League, Bellator is this and Bellator is that. How many champions have, let let me ask you a question. How many champions have came out of Bellator and went to the UFC and became champion? You don't remember Eddie Alvarez? You don't remember Eddie Eddie Alvarez? Alvarez. Huh? That's it. That's it. That's it? Luke Rocco was a guy who was fighting in Strike Force under fucking. I mean, you just don't know hey, the man, sport. Hey, man, stop popping up Bellator hey, like it's fucking... Look, man, you don't know the sport, UFC, dude. Bro. I mean, that's all fucking, I'm saying. Bro, you you, just, you don't know, you know, know the sport, you know bro. Bellator is not fucking with the UFC on no it's level. Not. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. It's not. It's it, not. It, 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 I, do it seems like I'm UFC talking to some guys who just started watching MMA about three years ago. You're talking about a man who's been doing this. I've been watching the game. I've been taking notes. So why, it sounds so like you, you guys saying, just so you saying watching Bellator, the game, man. So you saying Bellator going to surpass uh, uh, UFC? Bellator Hell definitely man. has Hell a chance man. to. Oh, okay. Hell they Hell definitely man. does. They got a chance to. All right. We all got a chance. <laughs> they they will never you surpass UFC. Here, I can do you think that life. UFC is the only place? I mean, are you serious? So what you think would take you, for Bellator? Wait, so for Bellator, right for now? Bellator, you're telling for, me you sit. Wait, hold on. You're telling me that the UFC is the only place to get paid. Is that the what NFL gets paid too? Bellator nah, I ain't saying that. Years. What I'm oh, saying okay. is, hang on, hang on, hang on. The only place to get Bellator in multiple MMA or MMA or boxing or what? What do we say? Man, you don't know what you're talking about. All right, who who else was about to? Okay, about? fine. Bro, yeah. no, bro. I I mean, it it feels it feels like I'm talking to some noobs right now. At MMA. I'm just being honest, man. I, I mean, so what, I'm what would about. so what would take so what would take Bellator? Because you gotta have the fighters, the shit based on the fighters. So what? How many fighters you think gonna take Bellator to really surpass? Dana in the U.S. Hey, hey, hey the Bellator. Man, what about be the fire? Hey, hey, he ain't gonna hey. be able to do it straight off Francis. Yeah, I know that. Francis ain't going to. Hey, hey, uh, Francis ain't gonna be the one. He gonna need a couple more of them niggas. And I don't I mean, need a couple I, more of them niggas joining Bellator because Dana just he he just yeah, he just he, man he a monopoly man he a fucking monopoly. I hate to say it, man. That's why Jake Paul be talking so much shit because he know he getting clout off that shit, man. Yeah, yeah, no. He getting clout, man. But you know, like I said, man. What about Michael Chandler, right? Michael Chandler, he was a guy from Bellator who came into the UFC, and look how fast you know Michael Chandler had got a title shot. So it's like. That's you Dana know. White doing that shit, trying to get him a title shot. No, he Michael Chandler deserves a title shot. You, you forget the things he's done in he Bellator? He fought one guy to get the title shot. He beat he Daniel there. Hooker. Yeah, he but we got to get on the box. And got a title they shot. Like, but before like that, LMA, who the hell gets look, a title I'm shot off Daniel Hooker? Shot. That shit is crazy. That's just no little fish. Huh? They don't like the MMA shit. Yeah, you know. 
Hey man, when y'all think this Bud and Spence fight gonna happen, man? Never, it's never happening, bro. It's never, I can't. It's never I happening. think it is though. I used to think like that was never, but when, I, when, when I, they I, both I, when they both get knocked the fuck I out or some shit, and that fight has no part, money, man. and that's that's when they, they'll fight. When they both fucking lose, and then oh, and hell no, and then it, we don't want to see it no more. That's when that fight will happen. I'm done with that fight, bro. He said when they both lose. Yeah, I'm he, done with that yeah, fight. Yeah, honestly, I'm done with that fucking fight. Okay, all right. Well, fuck it then. What about AJ and uh, Uzi? Yes, they're supposed to do the rematch. I think, I think AJ, you know, does his thing in the rematch again. No, I, Uzi will probably beat him. Uzi will beat him. Uzi got his number? Yeah. He match up well with him. When they, when they supposed to fight anyway? Probably like in spring or some shit. They ain't got no flyers for it or nothing. So really the next major fight really is fucking Keith. And Mario and that's not even a Harry. major fight. That's not even a I major. I mean, it fight. ain't major, but you know the next biggest fight. That shit ain't no major fight though. Shit, fucking Luis Ortiz and fucking what's it called? Put some fight on a pay per view. Like this shit's just terrible. That might be all right though. I'm not watching that shit. I think I think the right. next fight, major major fight, is Luis Ortiz and Charles it. Martin. That might be all right. Charles Martin ain't no scrub for real. I, I think for me the next major fight is probably be Canelo versus someone at like cruiserweight like uh yeah, Canelo. Kid, if Canelo if Canelo ain't trying to fight fucking Charlo or fucking David man I ain't trying to hear about this nigga man for real what? I ain't trying to hear about Canelo no more man I'm tired of, I'm getting tired of the Canelo sweepstakes. You, you know, no. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to not even like that wave no more, man. You you know you can't blame Canelo for these guys trying to get shine off of his name. To be honest, oh, I ain't mad at it. You feel me? I respect the hustle all the way, but just as a fan, I ain't like with Tank. I'm getting fed up with Tank, man. I'm getting fed up with Tank, man. It like I'm just like if you go if you go if Tank, man. You go, you gotta knock everybody out. If you just gonna just you know what I'm saying you gotta do some Jake Paul shit. Fuck it. You ain't gonna fight the best. You gotta knock everybody the fuck out, man. You gotta be like Jake Paul, Tank. <laughs> yeah, and, and and for me, I think the next fight is either gonna be Breedus versus Breedus versus Canelo or Hell uh, no. Nah. Hell man, Canelo ain't fighting no Breedus. Fuck no. Breeders gonna beat this shit out of Canelo. Or someone he, that he is not Bruce fighting no breeders. Hell or no. Baterbiev. I think he can get Beta Beef though. Beta Beef slow as fuck. His ass slow. But did you see that? And he ain't got and he ain't got no that? defense for real, huh? But did you see the did you see the 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 knockout Baterbiev against had? Marcus? I'm talking about against Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, Marcus ain't got no fucking power. Marcus weak as hell for real. Marcus, he like Devin. He pillow fisted, man. He ain't got. It's niggas out here really all pillow fisted. I ain't gonna lie. I be fighting myself. It's really my fight. Be punching and that shit. That shit don't fucking hurt for real. But if some motherfuckers they punch your ass. That shit hurting. Like you gonna feel that shit. Like yeah, you got something different. <laughs> You think like Tank God gave your ass some different, man? You guys, for you guys, who are the the uh, most surprising knockouts of 2020, 2021? Man, it's gonna be Cambosis, bro. Cambosis, bro. That's not a. He didn't get a knockout. Yeah, he still, he still destroyed him, bro. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I would say like that. A... I would say, I would say that's upset of the year. But knockout, I ain't gonna lie. They people gonna hate me, but I feel like Jake Paul. Fury, bro. You can't script that no better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna get better than Jake. Jake yeah, Paul, you know, that knockout, that shit, man. I don't know. I like, think the I best. Really, not... I yeah, really want to say that shit fake, but I when I rewatch that shit, man, I don't know. Yeah, and it got the sound too. Listen, that was set up, man. The Jake Paul Tyrone Woodley fight was set up. That was a sell from day one, bro. Oh, hold on. Who who talked? Are you from England, bro? Yeah. 
Man, yo, what's up with you? I'm glad you from England, bro. I'm glad it's, I need to talk to some England boxing enthusiasts. What's up with your man, Tommy, man? What the fuck? Well, Tom man? Tell him get some nuts, man. What, Fury? Tommy Fury. Man, you know what I'm talking about. What's up with Tommy, man? He tell him get some fucking nuts. He's man. a bitch, bro. He's I ain't want to see that fuck. Bro. Nobody wanted to see that Tyrone fight. That's why the motherfuckers ain't do no number. The nigga had the knockout of the year and nobody fucking seen this shit. Yeah, he's the biggest. Is the biggest con in boxing. Uh, is uh, the biggest con in boxing. Like I feel like the way Tommy look, it make Tyson look bad, man. Nah, you can't make Tyson. Who? Who? Who, make, who, like, who cares, bro? You can't make Tyson first, bro. He on top of the world, bro. Oh. Yeah, it may, yeah, but but he did. He, he, that, that, listen, bro. Tommy Fury Curry might be the best boxer ever. I won't go that far, but it's bro, good. He got a shot, man. If he beat, they say he's supposed to fight who? Dylan White. Is that fight happening? Yeah, it might be good. He's not the best ever. But man, what's your, beats, what's your beats, opinion on Huey Fury? Man, if he beats Dylan White, then beats the winner of AJ Uzik, man, he the fucking best. Yeah, it depends. He has the to beat them guys. He's the fucking best. Yeah. Yeah, but he's got to beat them before you can say that, bro. Oh, no, then he got to beat one of them young dudes. He got to beat one of them young, hungry dudes. Yo, like listen. Frank, like listen. Frank or Jared. He got to beat Frank or Jared, man. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. It's New Year's <laughs> Eve, bro. Which party did the most cap to that, T.O., for sure. It's starting to piss me off, bro. It's starting to piss me off, T.O. Fimo Lopez, man. L listen, bro. That fight between Fury and what was his name? Dillian White. And AJ, it's gonna happen, but I don't, I don't think it will, bro. I think it's all gonna be smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors. They ain't gonna make that fight happen. It's all about money. That's what it's ever about. That's what's life. Life's about. What part of England you in? I'm in the UK, bro. I can put my face up, bro. Nah, no, I'm saying what part you in? I'm in Birmingham, bro. Birmingham, bro. How far is that from London? About 120 miles, bro. Near. Hey, can you say something for me right quick? Yeah, go on, bro. Can you say I'm going to spark you out? You ain't going to spark shit out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, say I'm going to spark you out, bro. <laughs> I'm Yo, uh, spark you out. Yo, so um <laughs> yo, you the one who uh, had boxed in uh, in, shit, in a UFL, bro. Oh, you remember me? Yeah, you know, my now, brother yeah, I ain't done know, shit, he told, man. He told me he said that uh yeah, you had uh boxed in the uh UFL. Yeah. What me? Yeah, yeah, you know about that. Yeah, I know, I know about it. I was fucking with Mouse, man. I could, Nick Mouse could have really ran it up. He didn't want to pay motherfuckers. If Mouse would have paid niggas, he could have been still be on top. Man, he, he ain't gonna fuck with Street Beast, but he'll still be like second. Like the other niggas I be seeing with the fight shit, they wouldn't have been close to this nigga at all. Yeah, like, that's true. He fucking let all them young niggas take over and shit, and then he did that, and it happened because he didn't want to pay niggas. He would have yeah. had niggas paid, nigga. He ain't want to. Yeah, hear I, I, I think the street niggas, niggas ain't trying to do no I think the street, fights. The street, the street beef guys was a pedophile. So he was a pedophile. The the street, the street yeah. beef guys was a pedophile. He was after. Uh, he was strange. He was a strange. Supposedly, guy. that's you know that that was what happened. Were they, they got different yeah. stories or whatnot. Were they, about were, what were, 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 nah, listen. Ain't no different stories about shit, bro. He was a fucking pedophile. That that's what he did for a living. Ain't yeah, no but different that, stories but that's about why, that. But that's not why his channel got knocked off, man. His channel. I mean, he. he I know up. about that. He I know slowed all up about. He won't pay niggas. He won't try to pay no fighters. He, he never. Niggas. He never paid anyone. Yeah, he, he got niggas going anyone. up. He got niggas going viral and shit. He not paying nobody. Like, well, there was originally he paying, he giving chump change. Yeah, it was exactly. giving who change, yeah, yeah, who man. change. He gets thousands and millions of views, <laughs> uh, uh, to see people box, but he ain't, 
he's not giving back to the fighters. Hell no, that's yeah. why I said he, he was a and he was he, he, go, he, he ran. I think he's not even he out good, there though. in Don't the VA twisted, no more he, either. I ain't, I ain't knocking his bread and shit. He good though. He be driving them trucks and shit. But like his channel ain't hitting on shit no more because. He ain't try to pay niggas for real life. That's what it was. I bro. don't pay for shit. There used to be the, the Iraqi Iraqi guys, the Kuwait assassins. guys. Yeah. There you go. He didn't pay for shit, shit bro. It was yeah, a that fucking... Was, that Mouse, was back Mouse in the had, days, bro. Mouse should have had three of the mean, best bro. fighters on there. The three to five Listen best to me, fighters. Bro. It was a there. fucking piece of shit. Listen, it was a piece <laughs> of shit, bro. <laughs> Getting me fucking you getting me you getting me excited, bro. Is a fucking turd, bro. Is a listen, I'm from Birmingham. Is a fucking turd, bro. Fuck yeah, you know, um back in the street beef Mo. days, he was one of the Fuck he was bro. like one of the first dudes. He weren't no shit, bro. We're no <laughs> shit. That, 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 listen, listen, that 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 man, that man made his money out of fucking asylum seekers. He, people that were rolling up in Ohio, listen, is a piece of shit, bro. Got no I mean, time. I agree with you on that. Any man that has, you know, a case, you know, that says you're a pedophile, man, you know, that's that's crazy. That, like, that, that's I'll about as low as you can get. You know, that's that, that, that's more low than he get. Than he get. Like, I, I've been working in clubs. Uh, all over the UK, um, gay people, trans people, nobody's fucking trying to put their cock up a fucking uh, juvenile's ass. He's right. weird, bro. You're he's weird. Fucking, you, he, you're he's right about weird, that. Man. Get that, bro. There you go, bro. I ain't gonna lie, Miles do be on some weird shit though, man. Is a fucking out. freak. That's why a lot of niggas fall out. You know what I'm saying? I'm but being a funny, niggas, but a lot of niggas I ain't gonna lie. Niggas be hating on him too, man. A lot of niggas be hating on this nigga. Though. I don't hate him. I just, like, I, I, I nigga don't, be getting I, hated on. I, I, I don't hate him. Yeah. I just think I mean, shit. I think the thing is, I think the I people ain't gonna lie, like real talk. Like I'm from Richmond, VA. Like. He used to come out here and shit. Like, that's how I got connected with a nigga because he used to come out this motherfucker and I was boxing at the time. And then, we don't I hate pro, him. I play pro basketball. Why well, did I'm trying to get back into it because shit, I see all these old dudes getting NBA contracts. Yo, listen, like, they, they didn't get no like, NBA through him, bro. You ain't get the no, no, no. ain't getting no NBA through him, bro. bro. I ain't trying to go to the NBA. I'm, I'm, I'm good on that, though. But I don't mind boxing for some money, though. I don't mind doing some celebrity boxing matches. Yeah, everybody you know wants to do that, but listen, I'm I love him doing that. that. But, it might, it might be, it yeah, might be, yeah, it might be. Mouse, be nah, I actually though, think, I lie, but with Mouse, though, what I'm trying to say is like he kind of helped Richmond, though, because now, yeah, you know, he did. Yeah. I'm from, it's, it's a lot of violence, a lot of gun violence, so a lot of people now they, they start to. Fight I think it might be true. Like, listen, he he wasn't. Yeah, actually, that's what the whole uh, street beef was uh, really started about. It was, yeah, and then put up the gloves, you know. That's that's what the whole thing was uh, uh, associated with, just to you know stop the vi gun violence. And if you got a problem with somebody, just hit up street beef, go to the backyard, you know, and set it the right to, way as man. And like, like, if I'm gonna tell you the truth about it, I don't think he's that guilty about it. To be honest, if if we're having an honest discussion on the internet about this, I don't think he's that guilty about it. Like. When I was that age, and I'm nearly 50 now, listen, I don't think what, what's been said about him is necessarily true, to be fair. And the positive side of his of his influence in the street beefs is good. So let me be honest about him. A lot of people have been nasty about him. I actually think he's been a positive influence on the internet. And I, I don't... Uh, all, the, all this shit they're saying about... He's doing all this, that, and the other. No. I watched him in Vegas the other day. People see him all out and about, so no. I don't think he's a pedophile. You know, I don't know what really went down. You know, the only people that really knows, you know, I don't is think Mighty he's... Mouse and the females. So it's like, you know, I don't. I I don't really know. Supposedly, I don't he was think pimping, he's. I, I don't he was think pimping he's. the mother and the daughter. That's what they said, and that's how he got nah, caught up with the case. Nah, he, 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 
li- listen, I don't think that's necessarily true, to be fair. Anyone can say anything about anything when they're trying to make money, so I'm not 100% over it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> I've seen the things that he, you know, he gave back. You know, he goes back to the, uh, you know, less fortunate communities, you know, yeah. putting punching bags up, uh, you know, giving Maybe out doing that shit for clout too, bro. Some of that shit be for clout. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. No, nah, but I, clout, I, 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 I got a lot of time for him, to be honest. I think even if it's guilt. But I, but I, ain't, if... not, I ain't knocking his hustle, though. You feel me? I ain't knocking that nigga. I ain't knocking his hustle. You feel me? Because, shoot, my own, bro. I got to get how you live. That's my brand. Get how you live. Facts. Facts. But I really think he had he had a lot of people, you know, in Virginia really on his ass. And I think that's the real reason why he really got up out of there. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it, yeah, it was can't. a lot of people from, uh, you know, yeah, YouTube. Can't. Yeah, yeah, come, yeah. He can't come around here no more. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> there's a lot of people in my hood no more for sure. Because they don't at least they don't, at least they don't want him to come, run events out there. He can't around. come like he can't come like he announcing shit. If he come, he on some like now I'm ducked off, I'm secret, like you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But but I do think that like you should have a bit of love for him. I, I don't know what to say, bro. He might be a pedophile, so I, he might be a pedophile, so I don't know what to say, bro. Yeah, you know. I ain't judging that man for real. My my feeling is that he might be because he's got all the tattoos and all the shit on his face and all the shit. Real? He could come back for real, man. I see he holding them te- fights in Texas. He could come back with his shit. He get a couple good fighters. He get some good ass fights and pay them niggas like pay the niggas. Yeah, I niggas know, I know about like, that. You see who but, the fan favorites. You see who everybody want to see and shit. Everybody bro. loves him. Everybody yeah. loves him. Pay the same thing brother. you saying right now, Debo, is the same thing he was saying about Scarface from Street Beef. That he wasn't Facts. paying the fighters. Facts. And, uh, now look Facts. at Scarface. Scarface started paying them motherfuckers. Look, it's cause Street Beef, they got and that motherfucker didn't want to pay for that. Street Beef look like it's, it's looking like now with how Street Beef look. I'd rather do Street Beef than fight pro. That's like fucking shit. facts. I'm gonna get more yeah. money off me fighting in the backyard. That on motherfucker didn't want to pay for shit. Trying to do the a traditional pro route. You know what I'm saying? The troll, let me fight amateur a couple fights. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna want these backyard fights. You go crazy one fight, knock it, man. What? Go viral? That's why facts. I was doing this shit for. Facts. Facts. It, it life Street Beefs get a lot of views now, man. They get millions of views. Before it's a big man. Real Before mouse getting all the money and shit. Mouse fucked up. Mouse fucked up with that. But then he said he was good because he was premier dude. He should have stayed with Street Beefs and ran it up. He, he really and should it up have. Together, like. He should have because the thing he, ran, he didn't even have to branch off because motherfuckers weren't doing that fucking YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. And, and Mouse, and the thing is, Mouse, he was really... That motherfucker just been running that bitch up, like... Yeah, he's just been fucking running shit. Yeah, he was already, like, the biggest name in Street Beefs at that time. And then, you know, and a lot of things wouldn't have come out. Like, you know, the whole pedophile but... thing. If he would have stayed in Street Beef and him and Scarface was on good terms, nobody exactly. would have known about this, you know? And, uh... And he just yeah. had to really be patient and stop being so money hungry, you know. And he he probably was gonna get paid because look how big Street Beef is right now, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's on full, the fucking full, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just how it goes. I know they got a, a bare knuckle <laughs> boxer out of Virginia too. Uh, uh his name Barnett. You know, it's he, up to them. He it depends, with bro. Them. Yeah, oh, man, yeah, yeah. Fuck, hey, fuck Barnett, man. That nigga made me lose my last fight. Fuck that little ass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck that little nigga. Yeah, fuck I know Barnett, man. I'm mad. I lost my last fight, but now nah, real talk, that fight helped the nigga though. Like it really put me on it, like the box. Yeah, you don't wanna be fine, bro. L- l- listen, you get to an age like I'm 50 now. You don't wanna be fighting, punching people in the face anymore. Yeah, man. 
That's not a good thing now. How old are you? You don't want to be doing that now. You're gonna fucking fuck you up. Man, Floyd still fighting. I could fight. I'm only 35. Floyd, I just seen a uh, press conference. 35. Nothing. Floyd said, you. "Man, I'm about to get in." He said, "I'm getting in there about a couple months. What, six months? He back in there, man." Yeah, but but Floyd Mayweather's 35. He's not 55 like me. So. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, 55. You could fight at 55. I just thought you got to fight another 55 year old. It just got to no, make sense. Right. Yeah, I agree with that, but, but it's not going to be a good life. Is I can agree with that. I, I, I completely agree with that. Listen, fight fighting's not Have the issue. Have you ever boxed it's... before? Yeah, I used to. I used to fight with Mike Tyson. I used to train them and and the used Joe to fight with Mike Tyson. You lying? Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> used to used to spar with Mike Tyson. Yeah, he didn't knock your ass out, then. He don't lie. He knocked you out, huh? Would he? You want to see how old am I? Did he knock you out? Yes or no? No. You lying too, knocked. man. Talking about you oh, 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 am I? Oh, oh am I? Huh? Am I? Well, look at my arms. Look at that. Look at that. Look at my arms. Well, look at my chest. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. I used to spar hey, with like you. You in shape for 55 for sure. I'm not 55. I'm 51. That's great. I ain't gonna lie. You really spar Mike Tyson? How you, if you did, like, what's the story behind that? What you want to know about him? But they hate They hate me. They, they get, like, a lot of people hate me because I think Mike Tyson is overrated as a boxer. I think he's overrated. <laughs> You, can you know why? I got, I got a re but I got a reason. I ain't even trolling when I say this though. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I might troll a little bit, but I ain't even trolling because he never beat a what elite fighter he beat. Like I feel like the best fighter he ever beat was fucking Larry Holmes, a uh, old ass Larry Holmes. You know what Frank Bruno? Holmes. Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno, bro. Bruno okay. was a dog. He was a champion, though. Hey. And then, <laughs> then he got to Tony Tucker, though. Hey, Tony Tucker, we busted with, up. With the Frank, though. Frank put me on, the, put me on the camera. Put me on the camera. But y'all, hey, y'all, y'all start. <laughs> can't y'all say AJ like Frank, man? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, like, so look, yeah. Uh, what would they say uh, about AJ? Don't they say AJ the beast, though? Like, AJ the greatest nigga ever and shit? So what you want to talk look, about, Mike look, Tyson? H, say that, but, if H, about him. but look, H, if, if, if AJ fucking, he, I feel like it might be an upset at this point. The way that the favorites is, he upset. What, what, what Uchi, you want to ask me about Mike Tyson? He's back ask again. me questions about him. <laughs> ask me a question about Mike Tyson. Ask me some questions. <laughs> I want to know if he knocked you out. Like you ain't, you, you, <laughs> ain't gonna knock me out. He <laughs> knocked you out. No, you used to own pigeons. So basically, Mike Tyson used to own pigeons. We used to own pigeons in Birmingham. We used to train here. He used to train at a place called the um, it's called the Hen and Chickens, which was a which was He's a bar. Lying his ass off. Stop lying, pigeon. I'm not lying. It's true. So if 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 you ever want to know about Mike Tyson and about what he loves, he's not. He likes pigeons. Doesn't yeah, like we know, that. we know that already. He used to fly pigeons in Brooklyn. We know that. So what do you want to know about him? How we knocked your ass out. <laughs> 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 How we knocked you the fuck out, pigeon. Then he knocked you out, didn't it? No. You survived how many rounds you went with him? How many rounds you survived? Zero. I wouldn't get in the round with him. But I thought you said you sparred him, though. No. So you was capping. Okay, just making that, just getting that clear, you know. There's no hey. way I'd fight him. Hey, Debo, what you thought about Morel last fight with uh, Fox? What you thought about hey, right. I ain't changed my tune on nothing. I'm still the same OG. You know how I feel about Morel. They scared of Morel, nigga. That nigga I'm glad, wrong. I'm, yeah, I'm glad you, sure you didn't say that. posting low-key. Them boys scared of Morel and Boots. Them two oh, niggas, they scared oh, them niggas. So what you think about Boots? You think Boots that deal too, man. just like Morel is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Boots is crazy. good, bro. It's crazy how I feel like, oh, no, man, how how the mind work. But I, Boots next up, man. I don't, I don't like, 
Boost remind me of fucking Roy Jones Jr. in his prime. Yeah. That shit. Yeah, Boost Raw. He remind me of to me Sugar Ray, a little bit of Sugar Ray Leonard with a little bit of Roy. But and he got the work ethic, he got the skills, the talent. The nigga don't party. That nigga dead. All he do is want to be in the gym. Too. I ain't even know his dad could fight too. Hell yeah, his dad and his brothers. You know, both of his brothers were yeah. professional yeah, boxers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He come from that box. You know how I feel about that boxing family stuff. Hell yeah. But you th- so you agree with me when I say I think Morell and uh and Boots, they did the, you know the two future stars of boxing. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah they're gonna let it gotta let them go eventually, like the future. They gotta let the future, you know what I'm saying? They gotta let the cream rise to the to the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the cream rise. <laughs> All right, well, what you think of uh, what you thought about TO man? TO taking that loss to Cambosis. What was your thoughts on that? I know TO was the boy. Ben, they, he said if Ben had me on, man. Look at that, man. Bro, I lost money on that shit. But I feel like <laughs> I still feel like man, it's a, man, it's a fucking upset. Like it's the upset of the year. I feel like they fight again. TO gonna get his ass, he gonna knock his ass out. I feel I ain't I ain't giving up on TO yet. I ain't nah, I ain't doing it now. I ain't doing it. I didn't. Uh, uh, I ain't doing. It. You know I ride, bro. I done rolled with Wilder for three straight fucking fights. I still think Wilder beats everybody but <laughs> third. I still uh, think that shit, nigga. Wilder uh, let me down three fucking times, man. <laughs> and I and I realized why he let me down because the motherfucker don't run. This motherfucker <laughs> that gift, he don't he don't care about no cardio. He, he really think I can go in the ring and just knock everybody out. That's it. Like, remember, he was like, training though in his third fight. That nigga was in the gym working though with Malik man, Scott. Bro, he he was probably lifting, working. Uh, man, he won't, he won't do no real cardio, man. Hell, you see how quick he gassed out? Yeah. Man, after about the second, third round, he fight, man. He fighting on damn adrenaline. He hey, what you thought about fight. the way uh Fury was leaning on him, putting that weight on him? You think yeah. you know that had something to do with him getting tired? Fury leaning on him, yeah. and, you know. Uh, but see, but see, the thing is though, he but from the second fight, he knew that though, so he he man, he didn't come in prepared. Like he, yeah, I can I can give you an answer on that if you want. The Fury was mauling his ass, and that shit does take a lot out of you when somebody you know wrestling with you in the clinch. Man, he's got to be right about five six man. Yeah, got to be running. I don't think that man run, but he leave about five six a day. You think it's important for heavyweights to do a road work too and run for heavyweights? Facts. Um, I feel like it depend on the fight, the style. You feel me? You know, like they say, style make fight. Like how Fury, you know, what I'm saying Wilder need to be more on his toes. He he trying to slug it out, and nigga, you, you trying to slug it out with a man forty pounds. I can see if you super super strong, like nah, bro, he got to be on his toes, bro. That. Don't want his fight, you know what I'm saying? That, that game plan yeah. was good. Like fucking Malik Scott, man. You already know how I feel about Malik Scott, man. That man was a porn star, bro. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, that shit funny as hell. But now nah, he a solid boxer for sure, though. You feel me? But I don't know. Man. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you think, but you say you feel like Wilder come back though, and you think Wilder yeah. could beat the rest of them cats? Man, hell yeah! I feel like he knocked all them out, man. Do you think he gonna Uzi. come back though? Even Uzi, I feel like he could catch Uzi because he ain't. Oh, yeah, me he too. Ain't I be like AJ, like AJ go come in there. You feel he? You know Wilder come and try to knock you out. He not trying to box and shit. Not even. You feel he ain't even. He ain't even on some. I want to show off my boxing skill. You AJ. AJ, what the fuck AJ doing a cat? I want to be a boxer. Like, AJ didn't fucking, he going, man, I don't know. This shit crazy, man. For sure. Like yo, it. yo, Oscar, you there, Oscar? Uh, Yes, sir. I'm right here. What's good, brother? Happy New Year, man. How you feeling, though? Uh, Happy New Year to everyone in the chat and in the panel. I'm doing good, man. You know, looking forward to that fight tomorrow. Should be a good one. Luis Ortiz, King Kong Ortiz, and Charles Martin. Who you got in there? Uh, I'm gonna go with King Kong, man. I think he got he gonna with the fifth round knockout. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna that's my shot. I'm gonna call it right there. Hey, Martin, a little bit younger though. Ortiz, forty two years old. You don't think that age yeah. got something to do with it? Experience, experience is always the key, man. Martin got experience too. Martin, he been in there with Anthony Joshua. He's a former uh, champion. He won a vacant belt. Uh, what you think about the you know the youth that uh, Martin was well, Martin thirty five is damn self he ain't that young he thirty five so uh, I mean what you you think uh, Ortiz to knock him out or you think Ortiz will outbox him? Uh, I'm just calling it a knockout because I mean it's heavyweight you know 
kind of hard to really out Maybe. someone with that. I mean, when so much weight on you, unless you're Usyk, obviously. But I mean, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and give it that shot. Fifth round knockout. Mm, that's a good, good, good bet. Well, what you think about that fight, Debo? You fucking with it? You excited about that? And who you got? What fight is it again? Uh, Luis Ortiz and uh, uh man, Ortiz knocking Martin out. For real, man. I ain't Yo, really think about fight. the fight too much yet. The way I could think about what round, you know, how how far. That's a mad fight, bro. But yeah, I feel like yeah, as of right now, I don't think yeah, he's stopping Martin. He gonna stop him. About Ortiz being forty two, you think that a player a factor like his age that he's old now, like he's super man forty two, pretty old man, man. It is though, but they fuck around, let that nigga get on them pads and shit, <laughs> them PDs, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> them PD knock about ten years up off you. Facts, facts. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Ortiz the box man, he only lost to Wilder. He is older. Uh, and Charles Martin is, you know, That's he's younger. True. Charles Martin taller than him. Charles Martin a little bigger at the face off, but we you know skills wins fights, man. We just gotta wait All and right. see. But you ain't never been big on Charles Martin. You never thought he was any good. I mean, I feel like he all right, but you see what we see what AJ did his ass. You feel? You see, I walked this yeah. earth like a god and shit. You got it. You feel me? Like I know about Charles Martin. Yeah, he all right though. He all right for a heavyweight. You feel me? Ain't, Ain't really too many heavyweights. Ain't no like, doubt. Say, he, I, like, he, like Charles Martin, I hate to count pockets, but he's a, like a multi-millionaire, man. Like, no, for real? He, he must have got like, paid for that AJ fight. They must have broke him off. Facts. Facts. Shit. But he had to do something right to get that shit. You feel me? He, he did. won that belt, that vacant belt. That's why, you know, that's how he got that AJ fight. But Shit, man, we want to see what Charles Martin all about, man. He's been talking shit, saying uh, Dylan White was ducking him and all of that. It's a good opportunity right here, man. You know, so you got to take advantage. We ain't really got that many heavyweights from America that could fight. Like, we had Wilder, Charles Martin, uh, Jared Anderson, Big Baby coming up. That's Who why else we, we got, we got Big a Baby Miller. Up, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you like him, but shit, Big Baby Rich, Miller. Richard, asked, too. We got to hype too. Richard, too. Who? Oh. Richard, who broke more in the uh, silver. Oh, uh, Richard or yeah, Richard Torres. He just signed with top rank. He signed with top rank. Oh, yeah, they're gonna yeah, no, man. Yeah. and Keyshawn. Oh, yeah. You know, so Keyshawn means... signed the top rank too. They, you know, top oh, rank signed mean, they all gotta, the young uh, they gotta make that Jared and Richard fight happen for the future. Jared Anderson and Torres. Yeah, that's gotta that be, that'd be a good future. fight. That probably would be the fight. I gotta be a millionaire, but when they fight. <laughs> I got good mm -hmm. that fight front row. What up, Oscar? What you what you think about the new year, man? 2022. Who, who you think gonna be the new stars of boxing for the new year? I got Morrell and I, I think Jerron Ennis, my two top dogs, going into the new year. I'm gonna go with uh Virgil Ortiz, man. I'm really have to <laughs> Virgil Ortiz and who else? You fell off. I can't hear you. What you think about Virgil Ortiz versus uh, Boots, a Devo? Who you like in that one? Man, who you think? I just you, <laughs> you heard I said about Boots. Shit. I fuck with hey, but a lot of people Virgil like next, Virgil, though. I don't know. I just feel like they think Virgil like, better than Boots. You see, he just yeah, said yeah. Virg. Is it? Is the Hispanic community? Yeah, yeah, um, that, that, I ain't, virgin, trying, virgin. I ain't trying to them. generalize it like that because I ain't trying to. But I think I you know, I, I, I know what you mean. Shit. Though. I ain't gonna lie, fuck with y'all. Y'all got me all that race shit in boxing, but, like it ain't, yeah. It's... But you know, people nah, gonna ride chill, with their people, though. I see what you're yeah, saying because yeah. most people gonna ride with their people. Yeah, you did. Listen, I, 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 how we go. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. I could be a little biased too. Nah, but Tio still one of my favorite fighters, though. Exactly. Listen, set the bro. Tone, man, I don't care what they. He still set the tone for all these duckers, man. Facts. Duck yeah, just, it, just, just go what you think, bro. Don't, don't go on racial. Hey, hey, will, will, will been at man. Will, man. Matter of fact, all right, man. What's up with goddamn? I already know what's name coming back here, bro. Who? Man, Tio Senior. You don't fuck with bro I, no more. No, I do fuck with Tio and them. Nah, you know that after they lost, that I ain't talked to him them, but. That. Yeah, I ain't, you know what I mean? I still fuck with T.O. too. T yeah, shit. speaking of Devin, I ain't gonna lie. That shit crazy. How this shit panned out. I Listen, it's so good. I, I talked to Bill, me and Bill be chopping it up. 
I man, just want to see what's going on, man. Nah, nah, nah. Is that shit going to happen? I want to see that shit. I you want to like see Cam Haney Bosa versus Cambosis? Yeah, it's all the past, bro. Yeah, I, I don't mind Devin taking them belts up off his ass. I wouldn't even, yeah, I wouldn't even be mad at that. What you think about Dev? You think he could be Cambosis? Man, what you think? You know I you don't think. know. Some people think yeah. picking Cambosis. No, man, Dev, man, nah, I don't, I don't see. It ain't it. going to be him, bro. I don't see. It's going to be a... It's gonna be a twelve. It's gonna be a boxing clinic. Listen, Bill, so you, I, I hey, look. Man. Haney can box. Cambosis can box. He ain't gonna too. come out. He ain't gonna come out there one trying to one two knockout from the first round. He gonna come in that bitch, have a game plan set up. Gonna get that jab, man. I ain't gonna lie, Devin. Devin, he, 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 he's something to watch, man. For real, like you just like really? boxing, straight boxing, like on some straight, yeah, traditional boxing. He still pissy as hell. Though. I hate that shit though. That shit make me mad. He can't fucking stop nobody or hurt nobody for real, man. That motherfucker can't we'll hurt see. nobody. Hey, so you don't believe in Cambosis like that? You you think like he a one hit wonder type of dude? Yep. Hell yeah. Damn. Yep. Mm. Damn. Yeah, he could be. He gotta, he, gotta make, he gotta make me a believer, bro. I hate to say it. Well, really, you could be in for a very long night, bro. We shall see, man. Yeah, you will see. You've already hey, so, seen. Pigeon, who you got, Devin Haney or Cambosis? I think Haney will beat him on a points decision. All right, another one for Haney. So shit, damn near everybody picking Devin Haney to beat Cambosis. Yeah, um, yeah. Cambo I do what I like about Cambosis is that he got a good jab. Yeah, he got fast hands. I ain't gonna lie the way it's looking, all that shit, Devin and them niggas talking. That shit looking kind of true. Like I'm nigga scared of that nigga. They scared of Devin, bro. For real, you think so? Now you man, think they do? These little niggas scared of Devin, bro. It's gonna be a tricky fight. That is a tricky fight, bro. You thought T.O. was scared of Devin, or not? That that's a fucked up fight. You you're not gonna no, just no, name man. that. I don't know because he fucking lost to Cambosis, so he fucked everything up. So I can't even. No, nah, bro. Listen, listen, like, listen, listen, bro. That is a mess of fight. Then it's man. like he, it's, had, it's he where he at now. He can't. even Devin don't give a fuck about no T.O. challenge for real, dude. Yo, yo listen. That he is the most. Big, yo, yo, be quiet, bro. Nah, quiet. come on, man. Don't disrespect him, bro. That is the biggest fight. In boxing, don't history. disrespect him like that, though, pigeon man. He's just talking boxing. You ain't got to do all of that, bro. I know, bro. But listen, that's the biggest fight in boxing God. history. I apologize listen. to that, brother, man. I'm really sorry to be nasty to you, bro. It's all good. Bro. Hey, it's all good. Appreciate that, pigeon. But but I do think that that's the. Now nah, listen, I'll apologize again, bro. But listen, that's the biggest fight in boxing history. That is a massive fight. Listen, let, let, let's let's get rid of the bros and the being big mans and talking shit. That's the fucking biggest fight in history. You got hold fucking on, hold on, hold Devin, you, hold no on, way, hold on, hold no on. way. You got Devin Haney against Cambosis. Did we did we all see this, bro? You say that's the biggest fight in history. You got to be drunk. I bro. think it is the biggest fight because yeah, he, he drunk in the motherfucker. He yeah, is drunk. Yeah, no right. way, drunk. wait, <laughs> wait. No, what's it? No, what's it? Did we see this? Did we see this coming? No, we didn't. We did not see this coming. This was not seen through boxing history over the last ten years. This is the most bizarre fight. That you would ever get. You're getting Cambosis. We knew about him from the the Lee Selby fight, and we all know about Tia Female Lopez. Did we see this? Did we see this coming as a fight? No, we didn't. Did we actually plan this coming as a fight? Um, am so I you planning? Think, so you think Devin and, and you think Devin and George fighting is a bigger fight than Devin and Tank fighting, or Devin or Ryan fighting? I do, yeah, because it's for undisputed. It's a hundred percent. Man, only motherfuckers really care about the belts is like the real fans for real. The real fan, the casuals don't give a fuck about that shit. Listen, you obviously don't understand. See, the real history. fans don't even care about the best a little bit for real. I, 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 see the best fight the best. No, you, you. This is the H Money Channel now, and we're discussing real boxing. 
This is a real box. But you don't know shit about boxing, Pigeon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can be as, be as nasty as you want. And be as you was being you nasty want. first. You disrespected my, my friend. Okay. I'll so if you go. disrespect somebody, you, you can expect to be disrespected your damn self. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, Pigeon, I got a question. Was that really you? Really you in that dress in the wig? Uh, no, that was a big. Somebody sent me a picture of you. They said that was Pigeon. You was dressed like a woman. You had a, a wig on. Is that true? Was that? Oh, really no, you? I've not even seen those pictures. What what pictures are they? Nah, I just heard, man, that you was dressed as a woman, man. I don't know about that, bro. Like, what's where up with that? Was that really where? you? Where are those pictures? You need. Are, to do, you, do you deny the allegations? Yes or no? I deny them. They're not on the screen. I need to see these pictures on the screen. Shit, I, I saw a picture of you in a, in a dress, and you had a wig on with some lipstick. Was that really you? No, you need to put them on the screen. Then I can I can refute. Them. I heard you was taking people video downs and all type of crazy shit. Was that really you that was doing that? That was. Lipstick. That was me because they're being nasty. So you over did them. take people videos down. You did yeah, get they, people copyright strikes. Is that correct? Because they're posting fake images of me. So so you did see these images that I'm talking about. You acting like you never heard of this shit. I've seen them. They're not me. Are you familiar with 150 Dream Team? He's, a, he's been posting shit of me. Huh? What'd you say about 150? He Don't freeze post- up now when I start asking he you was real po- questions. He, no, listen, he was posting. Listen, this man, we going into a new year. If you're doing that type of shit, you need to knock that shit off. This is a new this- year. No more wearing skirts and dresses and all of that. Nah, man. Especially if you're going to join my panel. Okay. You hear me? No. All right. They should be posting pictures of me. I ain't know you was a snitch either, taking people videos down, snitching and shit. No, people snitching on me. I never snitch on anyone. Well, people snitch that you was wearing a fucking skirt and you had a dress on. I'll not be doing any shit like that. If you're snitching on me doing that, I'm going to fuck you up. So your channel's gone. Who's your channel? channel's gone. Who's that channel? One, that 150. Are you, you deleted his channel? No, I'm going to fucking... Not nail his channel if he's posting shit about me. All right, I just gotta ask these questions, man. I don't know if it's true or not. That's what they told me. They That's can what say they what told me. I gotta know what's really going on with you, bro, because they said you tweak it out here. Listen. So Sly said, Sly said, I don't like pigeon because he throws around the N word like Mel Gibson. Take that racist no, shit. Oh no, bro. I don't do that. I don't do that. You don't do what? So you, that wasn't you coming on people's channel saying the N-word, calling people niggers and shit? That wasn't you with those racist comments? I think it was, yeah. Apologize. Um, Apologize I'm... to me. Hey, was I, I, I respect the fact you... No, what I say, I need to apologize about word, that, bro. bro. That's hey, disgusting nah, you, what I've said. If you've been saying the N-word like ER, you need to apologize for real, bro. Yeah, I have been saying that. It's disgusting. Well, I've been you, saying. Do you apologize for those type of uh, that type of behavior? I do, and it was completely out of order. To be honest, it was bad. Like I've been saying, I even say where I live. That's bad, bro. I even say where I live. That's yeah, man. Story. We we going into a new year, pigeon. I want to see a a new and improved pigeon. Like two thousand and twenty one was a good year, but in two thousand twenty two, I want to be a better person. You gonna see a new and improved H money in two thousand and twenty two, my brothers? Do you think I should? Yeah, uh, you gonna have to ask me questions, bro. I don't want to ruin your night. You should, you should, you should be having a better night than speaking to me, bro. Why, why is you here, you bitch ass nigga? I just love your channel, man. So you a fan? Yeah, yeah, big fan. What you sipping on? I'm a fan. 
<laughs> it's all good, Debo. Man, like I said, hey, Debo, 2022, new, new and improved H money, and we coming with the smoke, man. Nice yeah, man, question, listen, man. 2022, man, everybody welcome, and we're going to do this thing the right way. You feel me? <laughs> Amen to that. Hey, man, speaking of that, man, what's up with T.Y., man? Y'all ran that motherfucker off. You know, Kino, Kayla Platt lost. When Kayla Platt lost, the nigga lost it, man. <laughs> Yo, can I make, can I, y'all listen, bro. Happy New Year, H money, bro. Still, he didn't do the push-ups. Push he didn't do shit. Up. He owe niggas money. And T.Y. just disappeared. He, I know he be listening to shit, but... You know that nigga, he welcome, he ain't blocked or nothing like the nigga come back, but he, he started tripping a little bit once uh Caleb Plant got beat by Canelo. <laughs> mm. Listen, that guy got his, blasted, man. Bro. Hey, you know he set himself up with that, man. You know that nigga won't be in that nigga. Like, why you how you figure he was gonna play? <laughs> what the fuck made you think man plant was gonna beat Canelo? Yo, bro. Like, 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 who did he team, beat? Bro. Nigga talking about Uzataki and shit. Like, he beat Uzataki. <laughs> he about to motherfucking upset the world and shit. Oh, yo, listen. That, 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 do you know that uh, Billy Joe Saunders? But he I was did live. like it, though, because Plant, one thing I can respect <laughs> about Plant, I don't think, I think Plant was really like, he, he came to fight, you feel me? But I just, he got winded. Once he got down, he couldn't keep on his bike for so long, you feel he me? Got, he got busted yeah, up, Yeah, Canelo bro. caught his ass, man. Listen, I don't um, like Canelo. Listen, bro, I don't like Canelo. I ain't even going to lie. I don't give a fuck about Canelo. I'm from the UK, wow. bro. I want that man to be Canelo fucking Canelo is the face dead. of boxing. I don't give a shit about the man, man Canelo. I Who wanted him like to then? get destroyed. Who you like? what, boxers, what boxers you like right now? Anybody who kills a Mexican in the ring. I'm from the no, UK, bro. I'm from the UK, bro. <laughs> You're asking me a silly question. I don't so like you any like, Mexican who do you like boxer. In the UK then? Anybody? I like UK beats. fight. That's why I like you UK dudes. Y'all got anybody? No, listen. Got some any, fighters. You're asking me a stupid question. Anybody who beats mean? a Mexican in the ring, I'm I'm there, bro. So you got something against Mexicans now? First, you got something against the black people. No. <laughs> <laughs> you this ain't nothing funny about that, bro. nigga. You got into a new year and you still over here with this racist ass shit. You just, Yo, you know what I mean? You got some racist ass hate in your heart, bro. I'm, I'm from the UK. I'm going to I don't give a fuck where you from, bro. That's a racist ass comment you just made. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> You've been living in China That's too, your long, bitch bro. ass up, bro. You over here being racist. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> that, and you think, that, you think that shit funny, bro. You need to shut the fuck up for real, pigeon, with that racist ass shit, man. I'm not racist right I'm here, not bro. Racist, bro. So well, what you got against Mexicans, bro? You just was calling black people the N word. <laughs> now you got something against Mexicans. I'm from the UK. I'm gonna bat my own countrymen over somebody else, bro. I don't give a fuck where you from, pigeon. Listen, bro. I'm not from your country, bro. So that gives you the right to be racist since you're not from my country. That means you can disrespect the Mexican people, disrespect the black people. You a fucking bitch. That's why you was in that motherfucking dress because you a bitch. That's why. You're being nasty. Yeah, you a fucking pussy. That's why you dressing like a fucking woman with a fucking wig on, pussy. You might as well put that wig back on you because you a straight up bitch. I'm not being nasty. I'll just, I'll just you bat a my country, man. Put your bitch ass up. You a cross dresser. And you think that's a you bad a bitch thing, ass cross dresser. Shut your bitch ass up, pigeon. Now apologize <laughs> for that racist comment you just made. I apologize about that. All right, more like it. That's more like it, pigeon. Because <laughs> I get listen, I gave you an opportunity to hop on the panel with me. Now I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. Point blank period. This ain't one of those other goofy ass channels that you go to, motherfucker. Mm, I can agree with that. Yeah, because I'm going to check you every time. <laughs> every time, pigeon. You think that I'm shit not... funny? You think that no, shit no, is no. funny? Ain't nothing funny about that. There's no, nothing I'm... funny about that. Being racist. You think that shit is a game. 
No, not a game. Racism is not a game. Racism is disgusting. So why, why are you playing like it's a game? Using the N word and disrespecting the Mexican people. Yeah, you disrespecting you the playing, minority. You this, yeah, you in England too, bro. That's why you think that shit cool, bro. In America, what? you can't play that racist <laughs> shit. They're going to beat your ass up, bro. You're going to get hurt bad, bro. Not really. I've not said anything that was that was yeah, nasty. Really. So uh, we're we, saying the N word with the ER at the end. The end. It's not you nasty. Just admit it, Sam. You say the N word with the ER attached. No, but I've not done that. No, no, no. Listen, now, you gonna get exposed? No, no, but we going into it. I apologize. I apologize. You better change your ways, Bridget. You better change your ways. I apologize. No way. Say I apologize. I apologize. You better change your motherfucking ways, Pigeon. I promise you that shit. Now listen, li listen. Because we ain't uh, listen, we ain't letting that shit slide in 2022. That shit better stop. Facts, facts, and I apologize. I you apologize. think that shit funny? That shit ain't funny, pigeon. That it shit ain't not, funny. Disrespecting it, it, nah, disrespecting no, black people. You think you get away funny. with it? You think you got a pass, motherfucker? No, you pass. ain't special, bitch. No pass, no pass. No. Pass. All right then, motherfucker. Oh, uh, check uh, yourself. Yo, so that's check what you got against Canelo. Is that what you don't like about Canelo? That Canelo is Mexican. Is that what it is? This is a new year. Now we going into a new year. You better change your motherfucking ways. How old are you, motherfucker? Chill, bro. Chill, How old bro. are you? Nah, ain't no chill. You chill, bitch, with those racist comments, <laughs> pussy. I'm 50 years old, bro. You 50 and you still got that racism in your fucking heart? You still got that hate in your heart? And you this 50? Still hate, bro. Nah, you too old to be acting like that. You too, you too old to be that fucking stupid. How about that, pigeon? You're not very You nice, piece of shit. You, you that stupid? <laughs> you that fucking stupid? Lay off the hey, drugs, hey, man. Hey, Put the man, alcohol down. Hey, listen. Uh, fuck listen. that nigga, bro. Don't let him get to you, bro. I right, know how your ass be getting, man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey Pigeon, what's your new, what is your New Year's resolution for 2022? Is it, yeah. is it A, stop being a junkie? Is it B, <laughs> stop being a racist? Which one is it, huh? Are you going to let me speak, bro? Is it, is it C? Is it C, stop cross-dressing? <laughs> stop dressing like a woman? Is that what it is? Are you gonna let me answer and I, the hey, question? I, and I heard how you like to sit on broomsticks, you fucking faggot. <laughs> I heard about that. Are you gonna let me answer your question? It's free smoke. You can answer, motherfucker. I'm not holding you back. So what's the question, bro? Why, why is Pigeon such a bitch? <laughs> you just said. Well, well, yeah, yeah, that's the question. <laughs> why, why are you such a bitch? Why do you go around making racist comments? Why does Pigeon go around <laughs> shutting shutting down people's channels? You just bragged about how you shut down 150's channel. Come on now. Why Yo, do you bro, do bitch ass shit? That's what I want to know. Why do you cross dress? That's what I want to know. Listen, bro, you're going to ask me. You want to know my question? Why cross dress, bro? Yeah. That's just the way the world works, man. I enjoy it. You enjoy cross dressing, man. Yeah, bro. So, but, but you just said you never was in a dress. Now you admitting it. Which one is it? I just caught you in a fucking lie. I just caught you in a lie. See, that's what happens when I put the pressure on you. Now the truth, Yo, the truth is starting to come out about you. Because the reason why I let you on this panel, because I wanted to expose you. That's the real reason, motherfucker. You just got exposed yeah, as a racist. And as yeah, a cross dresser, yeah, yo, bro, but I'm not. Yeah. yeah, listen, bro. Listen, so you want to be a man during the night, during the day, you dress as a woman. Listen, I'm not being that's nasty, what you bro. want. Yeah, that's, wait, that's your prerogative. If you want to stick dildos in your ass, that's what you want to do. <laughs> no, you know, right from wrong, my dude, and you still doing that bullshit. You know that racism is wrong. You know when you made that comment about the Mexican people, you was wrong, and you still did it. But I wasn't being nasty. I wasn't being nasty. Bitch ass. You was a fucking bitch, man. Hey, what's you good, need... Paolo? Yo. You need... I, no, I, I, what's apologize. Good, man. I apologize, apologize for this race, these racist comments. Uh, this drunk piece of shit right here. Pigeon right here is making, man. Uh, you know what I mean? Brothers. Happy New Year. No, Happy I New apologize. Year. Oh, I, 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 we, I, we headed towards the New Year, and you got this piece of shit still making racist comments. 
Oh, I've been no, you don't have enough race. of that. Your bitch has been on this earth for 50 fucking years and you still doing the same bullshit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I've not said anything racist to you. Oh, you didn't you didn't say the N-word with an ER? We got witnesses over here, but I heard you say that. And that was wrong. Yeah, okay. So which one is it? You that drunk? You don't know what the fuck you do? No, I've apologized. Yeah, bro. New Year's resolution for, for fucking pigeon. <laughs> Stop drinking. How about that? That's oh, another bro. New Year's resolution for your drunk ass. No more oh. alcohol, pussy. I think you're right. Yeah, I know I'm right. You know I'm right, bitch. Yeah. I, Paolo, I, I, I apologize for this racist piece of shit right here. Do you want me to go? You have an option. You can leave. It's up to you. You getting cooked if you want to run out like a little bitch with your tail between your legs. Go ahead. I just want to. Because, hey, we, hey, we going to call that a motherfucking knockout. Bitch ass. Listen, <laughs> listen fool. Bitch ass, shut your bitch ass up, bitch. Shut your bitch ass up, bitch. Why you run, bitch? Why the fuck you run? Bitch ass. <laughs> Paolo, I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to start the new year in a, hey, in a man, good fuck, way. Man, fuck him, man. He gone. Man. Wait, is he gone? Is he gone? Yeah, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? Boxes, you disrespecting yeah. Debo, calling people niggers and shit, disrespect the Mexican people, all of that. Come on, bro. He's, he's Wait, a very, very I'm bad trying to bring that positive energy for the new year. You looking at a new H money, new and improved H money for 2022, my brothers. He's an embarrassment to the UK. Fucking the worst representation yeah, of the UK of Canelo, ever, man. What he gonna do next, though? They said he gonna fight yeah, Kabul. <laughs> oh, that shit still on. That cruiserweight, yeah. You remember he met up with him. <coughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, hey, hey, niggas talking shit, but that shit a risky fight for his ass, though. Macabre, I ain't gonna. I had to look, do my research on Macabre. That motherfucker can hit something. <laughs> but yeah, that's all he can do, though, right? You gotta yeah. do more than that. You gotta yeah, be true. able to do more than hit. If you yeah. want to, you know what I'm saying? If you want to beat somebody like Canelo, you mm. see Macabo got a couple of losses. He got beat two times. He's been knocked out before. Yeah, <clears throat> he lost to Tony Bellew. Yeah, Tony Bellew knocked him out. And people were saying Tony Bellew wasn't shit and all of that. But Bellew, you know, finished him. You know, so you fucking he with that fight, it sound like. It sound he like he's going to like him. Shit, he Bellew was giving down, Usyk work. He was giving Usyk some work. But Usyk knocked him out. Yeah, he would. He did. Yeah, but it was a it was a cool fight. You know what I mean. So, uh, who, what you you like that fight, Canelo versus Macabu? You fucking with it? <laughs> Not for real, man. I, I want to see Canelo, man. Get Charlo and David, man. Benavidez. Yeah, that's a that's a fight everybody want to see, man. What you think about Canelo not fighting Benavidez? You give him a pass because he gonna fight Macabu or you don't give him a pass on that one? I'm gonna just real talk. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna tone it down a little bit in the boxes, man. They work hard for real. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a pass because he the face of boxing. Just because he just because of who he is. But if it was any other fighter, you wouldn't give him a pass. We, we did this. I, I Floyd my favorite fighter. Did Floyd, did, I, I don't Floyd, think Floyd did ever duck anybody game. though. Floyd, Floyd did fuck everybody. The game up though. He did fuck. That's why the motherfuckers act like they do now. Blame Floyd for real. What about Sugar Ray? Sugar Ray Leonard was doing some of that shit too. You think he so? Moving Hagler. You know I ain't really in tune to the old era like y'all are, man. If Sugar Ray when he fought Marvin Hagler, like he demanded a big ring, he demanded big gloves. And he, he changed it from 15 rounds, championship boxing. He made it 12 rounds. Man, weren't they doing shit like that before them, though? But not, not in championship fights. Like, championship fights were 15 rounds. He changed mm -hmm. it from 15 rounds to 12 rounds. And then oh, he put so the he, big ring with the big loves. So that, Sugar Ray was the catalyst for what's going on now? <laughs> yeah, I think he was, fat. to be honest with you. What he said went. It was that's the, crazy. The boy. And y'all be hyping Sugar up so man. Damn, Sugar was the truth though. Even yeah, though he was good, cool. he was, was awesome, the truth. Sugar was nice. Oh, you know, man. you know what made me realize how nice it was when y'all boy Roberto got that he made him tap out, man. Roberto, I mean, he, he, he was, was more because of frustration when Roberto, Roberto ran quick. Roberto got so was mad that the fight he got so mad he couldn't even hit him. He just he just <laughs> the fight. I ain't never seen nothing like that. <laughs> oh, that shit was Sh funny. Remember the first fight Roberto Duran beat Sugar Ray. 
he was the first man. And Roberto Duran was a lightweight, moved all the way up to welterweight. No tuna fight. Went straight after Sugar Ray and beat him. And then in the rematch, Sugar Ray started boxing. Sugar Ray was using his speed, his footwork, and all of that. And Sugar Ray was making him look bad. And Sugar Ray started taunting him. You know, the motherfucker was, like, winking at him, motherfucking flicking his tongue at him and shit, and doing all type of crazy shit, getting it in his head, playing with him. And Roberto Duran was so frustrated, man. He got so mad that motherfucker quit in there. He wanted Ray in the pocket, didn't he? But Ray on the second fight was on the outside. Too fast. Yeah, Ray Leonard yeah, yeah. was quick, man, like a cat. That motherfucker. Ray fell for the trap in the first you fight. Think Sugar Ray quicker than Floyd? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, Sugar no. Ray fast as lightning, dog. Floyd was fast, but Floyd. 15 fast. round machine. He was faster, dude. though. I ain't going to lie. Floyd, Floyd had a better career, but Sugar Ray, like, faster, stronger, bigger, all of that shit. Floyd and he was doing the windmill. The windmill. Yeah, he was still doing all you. of that crazy yeah. ass shit. Oh. And yeah, hey, Sugar Ray, no, Floyd Mayweather started off at 130. Sugar Ray started off at 147. And I think Sugar Ray went all the way up to super middleweight or even light heavyweight and became a champion. You gangster. Man, Sugar Ray beat Thomas Hearns, knocked him out. Sugar Ray beat Roberto Duran. He beat Marvin Hagler. It, it was controversy, though. I thought Hagler probably won, but Sugar Ray got that win. Man, Sugar Ray was cold. Who else he beat? Wilfred man, Benitez. Sugar Ray lost at the end, though, man. Yeah, yeah he, he was did, washed he up. Did. He was washed up. Then he came back for the money. He got knocked out by Camacho. He got beat a couple of times. Uh, Terry Norris had whooped his ass, too. Terrible Terry Norris beat his ass. He was finished then, Ray, though, yeah, wasn't he? When it coke it, on the coke, everything. Bitches and, and coke. And who you think, Floyd, you you care about these celebrity fights for real age, you know? Nah, nah, I don't really fuck with it. But it, it, it is entertainment, shit. though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, when Blueface fought and shit, I mean, yeah, get I some rappers like in there shit. fighting. That, that should be hard, you know what I mean? Like, it's entertainment, but it's not no real deal boxing shit that I'm really yeah. looking for. But I will watch it. If ain't nothing on, I will watch it, though. But I'd rather watch the real fighters before them, though. So who Floyd got next? He said, I just seen his press conference. Yeah, you seen him? He, he's in Dubai. Mm -hmm. You seen Floyd was in the gym with Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. Anthony Did you Joshua see that picture? Man, I, don't, I don't think nothing of that. Though. I think, man, it just was like some clout little shit. Let's goddamn. Yeah, visit. Quick visit. Anthony Joshua. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, AJ, don't he live in, uh, don't he live in uh, America now? Oh, I don't know, man. That nigga everywhere, man. He in the yeah, UK, he's like, in Dubai. But I'm, start, but I'm starting to see how niggas starting to say like he the businessman over the boxer. I can see that shit now. And I don't really yeah, think AJ? so. Yeah. Man, if he if he does get Floyd as his trainer, he gonna win that rematch, though. <clears throat> if Mayweather's there, he gonna fuck around and win that rematch. Trust me. You think so? Hell yeah. You think hey, Floyd is good as a trainer he is as a boxer? I ain't going to say that, but shit, you got to think about the Mayweathers as boxers and trainers. His father was a boxer, became a trainer. His father, probably one of the greatest trainers. Then his uncle was a fighter that became a trainer. His uncle, Roger, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, was a champion, and he was a great trainer. Then Jeff Mayweather, fighter, former champion, Trainer, and then yeah, it, it runs Black in his family. Mamba. Hell yeah. Black Mamba, yeah. Black Mamba. That right. shit runs in their family to be trainers and fighters. Uh, it do, but Andy, the best just, fighter they ever had will ever have is Floyd. Like man, he probably the best boxer ever though. Who? Yeah, <laughs> his uncle Roger Houston. Mayweather was who a two. Who? who oh, else? Who, Floyd, my favorite fighter, but who else besides Floyd that fucking uh Roger Mayweather? They got Roger the Mayweather. What's up, Roger about? Mayweather? Yeah, the Black Mamba. Roger Mayweather, the Black Mamba, was, was a yeah. two-time world champion. That yeah. motherfucker fought Chavez. He he fought Pernil yeah. Whitaker. That yeah. motherfucker knocked out great some great fighter. He awesome knocked fighter. out some great fighters, bro. That nigga, yeah. Roger Mayweather, was a beast. A gangster. A H, I actually agree roll. with you, and here's why. I'm going to use an example for another, from another sport. For me, I don't think... I, for me, Floyd, being that he's a superstar in the game... I think his ego would be too big and expect great things from his fighters that they're not ready for. And I'm going to use a perfect example. Like Peyton Manning would never be a good head coach because he's going to be putting so much pressure 
or an OC because he's going to be. His, his expectancy levels are so high, you reckon? Who, who are you Michael talking about? Jordan, but sometimes yeah. they do do it. They, sometimes they can do it. There are uh, absolute legends. No, but that Floyd has. Manage. I think Floyd has the ego where he's going to put. He has ex- definitely, yeah, he has. Yeah, he's, he's a bit. Gonna, he's like a Mike, To me, he's like Michael Jordan. I don't think Michael Jordan would be successful as a coach because he would be too putting too much pressure. Yeah, on they'll him. be he'll expecting be like, the players to jump uh, too fucking high. It's like some like in say for instance soccer. It's some a, it's a reason why. It's a reason players. why the best boxers. I mean, not best boxers, but like yeah, the best players never make the best coaches. I yeah, feel there like is that. They they didn't have a chance to study the game from outside of a player's perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. That's why you notice a lot of motherfuckers, the best trainers would be like not the best ones, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they didn't even play it. it Sometimes they didn't even fucking play it. Cause they have, I feel like they'd be having a better chance to actually study. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Like look at other, like other opponents, like look at other, you know what I'm saying? Other like players and see how they move and how I can incorporate, you know, yeah, the, the most as a, as, as a teacher. In football or offensive line. Mm. Offensive line. Like, oh. And in, so- in soccer, it's defensive, guys. Yeah. The de- defenders, goalkeepers, things like that, because they're more it's analytic better. and they look at things from a bigger perspective and periphery. It, it's where you a, see like a forward or a midfielder. Forwards, because they're greedy, they greedy, egoistic uh, bastards. Whereas defenders, yeah. they are, yeah, they fat, they they're yeah, physical. they they look out, they team players, they feeding the ego up front. I think Ronaldo, Messi, you, you know that sort of shit. Yeah, the position that you see in basketball that's more successful is probably the center position, or as a as a coach and stuff like that. Because I mean, I think it's different to be honest, Anthony. Now you compare Michael Jordan to Floyd Mayweather. Michael Jordan, he uh. He he doesn't come from a family of basketball players like Michael Jordan. He, his family wasn't known for being great trainers like the Mayweathers. The the whole Mayweather family were fucking trainers. Great, not just any type of trainer, but great trainers. And Roger Mayweather was a very good fighter who was a two time right. champion. All right, so hey, since you so high on, on on them as trainers, do you think? And it's hypothetically speaking, you know how I, I, I be doing stuff. But you think if Wilder would have trained with Floyd, he would have beat Fury? I don't know. But that's Fury, though. Fury is like, you know what I mean? I think Wilder was outgunned. But shit, you know what we, we talking about Usyk. We can't well, see about like Fury, But you got to understand, AJ way bigger than Usyk is. Yeah, Fury yeah. was bigger than Wilder. Like, AJ is the natural heavyweight. Usyk is a cruiserweight. Yeah, hell yeah. I was shocked, too. He lost. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you feel yeah, me? Like, AJ... It's a mentality. I think Mayweather could change it, but if he, I think if he does hire Mayweather, I would favor AJ in that rematch. To be honest with you, yeah, no, but I understand what you're saying, H. But I understand that he can't come from Man, a Floyd. A real tight, hey, H. Though Floyd, 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 Floyd might a, see something. And Floyd give him a good a trainer, bro. He that shit, bro. His family, his dad hey, was look, a trainer. Hey, in all hey, of his Floyd might mess up AJ. He might make him. Man, that, AJ, he. He was already messed up. He can only he might help make him. A, a real time. Fuck he with just Floyd. Got he might, cause you know, I think Floyd like MJ, bro. When it comes, you know how they say MJ was in practice and shit, bro. I think that's how Floyd. Now nah, you see, you see Floyd work with Devin Haney and Tank Davis, Richardson, uh-huh. Hitchens, yeah, all of them. That, he for work with Roley. Floyd trained yeah, Bobby they, Jack. All yeah, of but them niggas, them niggas, dogs though. Them niggas. Look killers, at Tank. Bro. Look what he be yeah, doing. Them with niggas Tank. killers though. They killers. They really yeah. kill us. But yeah, man. So I think it, it can only like help Anthony Devin, Joshua. Even, even Anthony Devin Joshua's killer. already fucked up. He just got his ass whooped. You know, Devin that was, killer. He just ain't got no heavy hands for real. But all the I, already, man, I thought AJ was a puncher. That's what they were saying. He was man, a knockout AJ, artist. AJ ain't no killer like that. That's you gotta change that mentality, I think. Yeah, it is crazy. Uh, niggas, about, about, niggas, niggas been about, telling me that. I ain't really believe it until I see how this shit unfolded. Niggas been about, telling me AJ was soft. I'm like, nah, he ain't soft. This nigga that he he ain't like you feel. I was on the train. Hey, I was so, on the hype train. What you think about when people say he can't hey, be soft? Fucking, what you think when people say he can't be soft Andy, because Andy he's a fighter? Ruiz, and Ruiz took AJ mm. soul low key, man. He took that man soul. But he came back and beat him in a rematch, man. But we see how he beat him. We see. But what he did? He knocked out Pulev in the fight after that, nigga right? Pull old ass Pulev, H. Come on, H. Man, that's bad, what they said. I'm just saying, H, people I'm say bad, they said Pulev was a mandatory and shit, right? Pulev was mandatory. 
I mean, I ain't knocking the mandatory. We know how it is, but we already know we know what it is with the mandatories. You feel me? Them the, hey, money, them, them the, them the ones you supposed to win. You feel me? You supposed to win them. Them ain't the risky fights. Them ain't the fights everybody want to see. And but the, shit. you know the mandatories work their way up. But yeah, I feel you. Pool, pool, I wasn't yeah, big yeah, on the they, pool yeah, they win, but, work. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't big on that pool level win. But you know what? Anthony Joshua fans would say, "Oh, pool level was a top." With a top ten heavyweight, a Pulev was a the mandatory. That's what they gonna say. But I agree, Pulev was old. He was old as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. He was old. So I feel you, like. But they gonna hey, say what well, was top five. Hey, he, he didn't see how AJ when he knocked it down. He just looked like he felt like an old man, bro. Like, but Pulev didn't he, did he get another fight. Only oh, got another fight coming up. He just fought. He just knocked out Frank Mir on Triller. Yeah. He knocked the fuck out of Frank Mirror too. Shit. Yo, what's good, my boy Lalo? What's poppin', man? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we hear you. What's good? Shit, another day, man. Salute, what's, Lalo. What's up? What up? What's the Salute. subject of, of today, man? What, what uh, we um, talking about? We, we I'm talking about David Morrell and Jerron Ennis. I think in, in 2022, I think they the uh, the future stars of boxing. Hell I think yeah. Jerron, and you know, Jerron Ennis and uh, David Morrell, they're going to have a breakout year 2022. I, I feel like they had a breakout year in 2021, but uh, I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be bigger in 2022. You know, so for you, who do you think is, is the two fighters? If it's, if you don't think it's Morrell or Boots, who, who would you say is the two two future stars of boxing in the new year? Damn. Um Mm, I gotta go with uh, Virgil. You gotta throw Virgil in there too, man. And I don't. Yeah, know I like that. Virgil too. Yeah. Virgil a beast, but I think Boots is better though. Well, I love I love Virgil now, but I gotta go with Boots over over Virgil. My honest opinion. But you like Virgil over Boots? That's cool. Yeah, no, nah, I mean they're they're about the same, but I feel like uh, Virgil's a little bit more tested. You know, um, he's facing better opposition so far in his career. But you know they match it perfectly. But the two I think, are skillful, man. They're both skillful. I think the reason why he he's faced better competition right now is because Virgil been with Golden Boy Promotions and Jerron Ennis. Yeah, he got he started, better promoters. Yeah, he had a better promoter with more money behind him. Jerron Ennis started off with a local promoter from Philly, and he had to you know he had to sue those guys to get out of that contract. That's why they've been holding him back. But those same guys that that Boots beat. Maurice, I mean the same guys that Virgil beat, Maurice Hooker. I got Boots knocking out Hooker too, and and even a uh, Mean Machine. I got you know Boots beating those same guys, but I feel you. But he does have the better competition. Man, and I, think I got Boots of, beating Bud and Spence. Y'all ain't gonna me like too. That. I agree with you. I'm with that. Yeah, I, ain't gonna I, like I don't agree it. with that at all. Nah, <laughs> I was just man. telling him that yesterday. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Shit, I don't nah, know, it's, man. It's, it's, it's too early for Boots to, you know, step in with the real dogs, man. The OG. I don't know. Boots said he ready. I mean, Boots man. is challenging. Don't get me wrong, man. But the boys man. say they ready, man. When they ready, they feel like they it, ready. It, ready. You, you can't. Tio, Tio said, "I'm ready to go get Lomo." Because other niggas, your boys, and you can't ready. knock him for that. You can't knock. You know, I respect him for that and shit. But I think the experience part is gonna kick in major key on uh on Boots. He's, I mean, he's never been at that level, but. You know, you can't knock him for trying to be great. So, you know, all my respects to Boots. But Guys, I have a fight for next year. I, ain't gonna, I feel what you're saying, but I feel like it's certain people, they just already at that level. Like, you feel for they sure. Just, they, ready, they ready to meet niggas on that the level, you feel me, where they need to be at. And they're going to show you why they need to be on that, why they on that level. Like, Yo, we got a super <laughs> chat. My boy, uh, Sly Tendencies. Appreciate that, Sly. Good looking now. He said, AJ tried boxing, a master boxer. That's like the hockey player challenging LeBron to, to a game of horse. Usyk is a tough dude. Yeah, Usyk got skills, man. Olympic gold medalist, former undisputed champion. He's a good fighter, but I felt like AJ should have won that fight because Anthony Joshua was the natural heavyweight. You know what I mean? So, come on, man. He's the bigger guy, stronger, all of that. You know what I mean? He got to be a dog. It doesn't matter sometimes. He got to be. It does matter. He got to be a fucking dog and show him that he come back. That's what he got to do. You got the physical tools. You way bigger than this dude. Usa came up from cruiserweight. They say Anthony Joshua, the best heavyweight in the world. He the next Muhammad Ali and all of this shit. He should have beat, beat, beat him, man. He should have won that fight. There's no excuse, bro. He got to change his mentality and be aggressive and be a fucking animal. 
Be a dog. That's what he got to do, bro. But, yeah, it is what it is, man. I have a, I have a fight for you guys. Uh, I, I have a fight for you guys for next year. How about how about Zapata versus P, uh, Pulo? Zapata versus who? Alberto P, uh, Pulo. Who is that? The Dominican guy. The 140. Fought. The 140 from Dominican Republic. Good fighter, Southpaw. I don't know who that is. Lalo, we you know who that him. is? We watched him, H, on that. We watched the card. Uh, I'm not really too familiar off that name, but... Yeah, we yeah. watched he the card anyway. Before, uh, before David Morrell. He fought before he... David Morrell? Yeah, yeah, he was on the... With Jose Venezuela Jose also. Was fought before Morrell? I didn't even see the other fight. I don't know. Man, I what didn't about... pay attention to that dude. I don't know who that is. Hey, what me about and AB and Connor? Me and YB were doing the comments. I got Connor Ben over man. AB, man. A... Yeah, me too. But hey, I don't... Hey, but I don't... Hey, I don't what do y'all think, think about? I don't... Uh... I don't think I don't think AB gets stopped though. I think he goes. I think he makes the whole twelve though. Against who? Connor Ben? Yeah. I don't yeah. Nah, I think AB will go all twelve. Yeah. Nah, AB will go all twelve. Uh, hey, are y'all familiar with that uh one twenty six pounder, Venado Lopez? Nah, who that is? Nah, he, uh, he's no. the one that upset my boy uh Gabriel Flores. And oh yeah, I watched Andy that fight. Yeah. And yeah, man, he uh he just beat another guy from the UK. And now he's a uh, you know fucking. He uh, got a deal with Conch, uh with top, top rank. rank. Like, yeah, hey, he earned that shit, man. Um, he beat all these undefeated guys, and fucking now he's got a world title shot coming soon against Kiko Martinez. So, I mean, you know, it's going to be a breakout year for him, too, man. And the thing about that... We fight Kiko Martinez next? Yeah, that's... He, Dang, so he's he fighting for the belt now. Yeah, he's fighting for the belt. The that's last fight was uh, Eliminator, and he beat the dude from the UK. He knocked his ass out. That's so, crazy. Yeah. That dude came up from nothing, bro. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, you got to keep an eye on him, man. And uh, so, yeah, I just want to throw that shit out there, but... Uh, yeah, I want to see my boy Benavides versus your boy Morel, man. I think you uh, want boy, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I think my boy Benavides is gonna hurt your boy. I think he's gonna stop him. Your boy I don't ready. Think so, man. Shit, I got Morel outclassing him. Shit, Benavides can't even hurt uh Gavril. Like, come on, man. Man, Gavril, a a lot. I a thought pass. Gavril beat him in the first fight, man. Nah, you know? I, I, I had uh, Benavides winning that fight still, but man, that's the pass. But I think yeah, it's uh, the Morel, pass. Hey, it can happen hey, again, though. Hey, I believe uh, Morel's a little bit too green, man. Uh, he was a little reckless his last he's fight. Too sharp. Look, too reckless. The he, man he got the reckless, in the man. fourth yeah. round. That's what you're supposed to do. You don't play with your fool. You go in there and get him out of there. For he ain't waiting hey, like Benavidez. There's levels though, man. There's levels. Well, when I mean, comes what down, level man. is Benavidez is on? He's fighting he, uh, fucking Kyron he, Davis. Who is that? Hey, he he he's a <laughs> man. Hey, my man. Hey, hey, speaking of hey, speaking of Morel, my man, told my man got knocked out from him. He came back though. He killing his son. Right? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I feel you, but the thing is, Benavidez going like ten rounds with Kyron Davis. Yeah, yeah. What what yeah, what yeah. what a level is Benavidez on? He's still fighting Ronald Ellis, Canelo spar sparring partners. He fighting yeah. bums. He ain't on no level like that's that. Why, that's why I feel like Man, David, hey, I, David won't beat Canelo. I don't even though I want to see the fights. I don't got. Hey, that's a 50 fifty fight. Canelo. I like that fight against Canelo. I still want to see him though. You yeah, got Benavidez beating Canelo? I don't. Nah, that's a good fight. I think oh, okay. So, yeah, so, no, nah, I don't, I don't well, have Hey, Debo, it. you just said you got David beating Canelo. Which David? Hell no, nah, nigga. I ain't saying oh, that. I thought you after, just said that. My after bad. how I see his shit unfold, I got Canelo. I got my money on Canelo over David whenever Canelo ready Whoa. to drop his What ball. about you, Lalo? Who you got? <laughs> it's a 50-50 fight, man. I mean, Benavidez, he's a dog, man. He's going to come bring the pressure. He got fast hands, the combination, the body punches, the size, and you know he ain't gonna back up from Canelo. I don't think he's gonna show him that respect that all these other fighters, you know, show Canelo in the ring. Um, but you know, Canelo got the experience, so I mean, that fight is gonna be good, man. Um, can't hey, call a winner. Hey, Debo, who you got, David hey. Benavidez or David Morrell? Shit, Morrell, David ain't got no fucking defense, man. Lalo, what I told you, man. Yeah, <laughs> this ain't no game. Hey, y'all hey, sleeping, man. Y'all sleeping. I told you. He fucking flat-footed. 
He flat footed. Like oh, Canelo kind of flat footed too, but like his head moves move, crazy though. though. Like his 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 interior Canelo game. Canelo can crazy. move though. He can box the way and, he did. And he got there. a chin. Like we seen David get fucking knocked on his ass. What's bro name? He was a fucking t- you might be right with these teams. He might, I don't know. Tim T might have some trainers. They had one dude not put David. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. David Benavidez got Benavidez dropped by that ass. bum. That bum from Mayweather Promotions, Gavriel. I thought Gavriel beat him. Ass, they had to do a rematch. It was a controversial Man. fight. Yeah, to And what happened in the rematch? He won, though. Clean. What happened in the okay, first okay. fight? You can't okay. take away what happened in okay. the first fight, though. Yeah, it, it was a good fight, you know. The first yeah, he fight, fight like fight. that against Morrell, he gonna get knocked out. Trust. Uh, he, hey, he learned and grew from that fight, man, and it uh, showed in the rematch. Okay, for sure. Let, let's ask around though. Uh, who you got in that fight, uh, my brother? My let's go to Paolo, David Benavidez, David Morrell. I'm going for um, Morrell late stoppage. In an absolute, <laughs> absolute, war. No, on, in absolute seriously, in an absolute war, man. Like one, of, one of the Bro, best. Hey, we ever. haven't seen Morel tested yet, man. Morel fighting just, the same level hey, of opposition no, just, as Benavidez. Have you seen Benavidez tested? Have you seen Benavidez tested? Hit in the chin. Benavidez, he made a man. Hey, listen, Benavidez was tested by a bump. What is Morel going to do when Benavidez put in pressure and start using the combination that he never seen before? Movement, movement. He's got the power, skills, man. He's both handed. I told you, he's going to fool, man. I think he's going to fool, man. Changes. You sleeping on Morel? He's got Ali footwork. He's got Muhammad Ali footwork. I actually, yeah. Amateur record: one hundred and thirty-two wins, only two losses, and uh, it is what it is. Like Benavides, Benavides, the boy Benavides went. Hey, 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 niggas don't know about Morel. That's what it is. I know, and that's what I'm trying to tell them. They holding that nigga back, man. They need to go ahead and push that motherfucker on the forefront. Fuck all I, these I, niggas. I think you buying too ready. Hey, Morel, Morel going to come to the show, man. I talked to Morel. Hey, Lalo, you know, Lalo, he cool with Benavidez. We got to get them on the show at the same time. I know Morel will oh, yeah. show him. I just hope Benavidez show Morel will be here. You know, they oh. can face off with each other. And we, You know what I'm saying? We can do it. We can set that up. Yeah, yeah set that shit up. Then we yeah, can, Morel want to face off with Benavidez. On, we could make a fight start just amongst this shit. <laughs> I talked to Morel. He said he want to fight Benavidez. I ain't going to lie. He told me that shit. He told it to me. I ain't even bring hey, up Benavidez. Hey, hey that boy going to get hurt, man. He said, your green. boy going to get hurt. Your boy yeah, got hurt against Gabriel. Who's Gabriel that dropped Benavidez? Man, Who is he that? talked like three or four years hey, ago, man. Your boy, was young, man. Come on, man. Hey, let's hey, Lalo, so you ain't going to ask David what's good about the ring? I mean, like, I mean, not a press conference, but like a little, Face you know off. yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I gotta reach out and shit. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said you was gonna yeah. bring him before. Nah, yeah, 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 nah. yeah, I'm gonna try to reach out and get him on here. Morel gonna be here. Tell him Morel looking for Morel gonna be here. We just Man, need Mo- him to show Mo- up. Morel gonna shit his pants. Man, Morel already called them out. Then if he doesn't want to talk about he need more time. So 2022, the new year, we're going to set this fight up. That's if Benavidez wanted. Because Morel, Hey, tell David, David I got two racks. I got two racks. He getting knocked out. That's two free racks, man. That's two free racks. I got two racks. He getting stopped. Bro, that's two free racks, man. Come. Save your money. Knock out. You hear that, Lalo? I told Save you. Save your money. 2022. I still got money. Tio, get you too, man. I feel like Tio gonna beat Devin too. Shit, that, that's that if they fight. fight. That fight might n- never happen now, man. Yeah, that, that, that's home. done and over with, man. That's old. Oh, Tio ain't coming back. Yeah, man, we gotta talk about one of the real 135 Damn, hitters, right, man, right now, Rayo Venezuela. H, we off the Tio train like that, bro. Nah, I fuck with Tio. I'm still fucking with Tio. It's just, it's just reality. That fight might never happen now. It's, it's the get back. The reality it's the of it. Back. It's the get back. Nah, I still like Tio, man. I still fuck with Tio and his daddy. He's just, he got beat, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the get back. Yeah, 2022, the year of the comeback. Yeah, 2022 Tio. is go out there, people, and fucking get it. Yo, IB, what's good, IB? And IB, I appreciate you, man. The super chat, I mean, the fucking cash app you sent me. Good looking out, IB. 
Hey man, ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, 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 hold on, hey, 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 what do y'all think about Eddie Hearn That's saying is, uh, about uh, Montana hey, Love hey, versus Teofimo Lopez? No, I mean he ain't showed up since they lost. You know what I'm saying? Well, so shit, I ain't talking to him. Next time you see him, man, tell him he fucked my money up, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ain't gonna hey, come back, man. He I'm fucked my damn you. money he up, man. Up, man. He fucking. I thought he was gonna get the first round knockout and everything, nigga. Hey, you can't, you can't, you gotta give him props, man. He went out there try to seek and destroy for the yeah, first round, but paid the price. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucked yourself up doing that shit, man. Yeah, that shit crazy, man. Hey, but what do y'all think about Tio Fima versus Montana Love, man? Eddie Hearn apparently want that fight at one forty. Yeah, Tio needs something to get back. He had something. You said Tio versus Maurice Hooker? No, Montana okay. Love. Look, look. Oh man, hey, interesting that's a fight. fight. That's a I'm tough go with fight Tio, man, I got Tio, but that I got some it. more for Montana Love. I got Tio. You think that's a you think that's a tune up fight for Tio? Um, I wouldn't no. say that's a tune up fight. I, I don't, I don't think that's a tune up fight, man. Montana Love, he got skills. Uh, that boy, nice. Uh, I don't know who will win though, man. Uh, I don't know where Tio. I don't know where Tio's mind yeah, mentally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I feel it. He could have been broken from that last fight. You never know. Yeah. So I I, I believe he should take a tune up, man, to see where he's at. I'm hearing post style or shit. I don't even know. That's hey, not a tune up uh, either. Yeah, post is not he, a tune up, man. He, Fuck went, no. he went he went like a draw. I feel like that should have been a draw the fight he had with uh Jose Ramirez. Yeah. Uh, that was a real close fight they had. Yeah. I agree, man. I don't know what they do to you, honestly, bro. Like, whoever hey. in the matchmakers, God bless them because that's gonna be tricky. Yeah, I mean, uh, who's playing for that pay per view this weekend? No, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm definitely not. They got to pay me. They I am. It's I am, but that. it's eight dollars on that <laughs> fight app. You guys get that fight app. Uh, shoot me a DM, uh, and I'll, I'll look into that app and shit. It's a fight app. I don't know if it's only in Europe or whatever, but it's like normally the cards are eight ninety nine on there, like pounds. That is. So it could right. be. But they got everything, Bellator, everything that's fight game. It's crazy. Kick All right, hey man, I just wanted to jump everything. on here and talk hey. to you real quick, man. My I'm boy Lalo, out. good looking out, man. Happy New Year, yeah, Lalo. Happy New Year, everybody, man. Wish y'all a happy 2022, man. Kill that shit. H, keep doing your thing, brother. All right, peace out, bro. Yeah. Hey, Lalo. What up, what up? Hey, Lalo. Yeah, I hear you. What's up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, what happened to the dude used to be? I don't want to say it was beef. I feel like it was good for the culture. But what's, bro, on Instagram? That's how I, I, I found about you, bro. But I ain't seen this. Did they ban that motherfucker? I forgot what bro's name. He, he was the same motherfucker. He used to be like, man, Plant was going to beat Canelo. He was one of the motherfuckers, too, used to say that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Instagram, I forgot what bro's name was. This shit was lit, though. I think yeah. he knew Carissa. Oh, um... Uh, Marshall or something like that, boxing sweet science, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. I, I blocked his ass, man. He got he got a little racist and shit, so I'm, I ain't Damn. fucking with that type of shit, man. I just want to talk about Oh, you had beef with this nigga, the nigga with the beard, yeah, he did have a beard. Oh, yeah, yeah I know he's talking about. I've been seeing him on Instagram. You be doing the with him, H. I mean, I don't fuck with him like that, but I do be. I've been like, I seen him around though, and I, yeah, I, I found hey, out he Lalo was cool. because. I found out Lalo because Lalo got into it with Caleb Plant. That's how I found out who he was and shit. Yeah, man. Nah, I mean, Caleb Plant is cool, man. I seen him at the Javante Davis fight and Cruz. I went up to him and, you know, it was nothing but love. Uh, yeah, that shit was funny, though. That, was, that's when um, Caleb Plant Canelo shit, you know, first started. You was right in the mix of it. You started some shit, though. All right, y'all, man. Salute. Right, my boy. Have a good one. For sure, yeah, my boy. Lalo. Blessings. What's good, Piero? What's good? Right, sir. What's up? What's up? Was that Debo on the panel? Yeah, yeah, yeah Debo. Hey, Piero, you feel me, my push up. I do, I do, brother. I do, yeah, I do. Man. I didn't forget, brother. I didn't forget. What's up, man? You just give me. Hey, uh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing. I'm. You talking? About I'm doing. We can't see you. <laughs> doing? How you doing, brother? You're right, poodle. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Is Piero good for it for his push up? Yeah, he good. He good. Yo, Piero, you can hear me. Can, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, hear you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, Deepo, no, I haven't forgot, brother. Man, I'm good with 10, man. You ain't got to kill yourself. Oh, shit, man. I was going to be like, because I think I owed you 100, right? I was man, like, shit, I was going to say maybe we can work out something monetarily, but I'll do 10. Give me a solid, solid 10. You got to give me a solid <laughs> 10 where your chest touched the ground, though. Woo! 
Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be tough. You want me to do it right now? Uh, yeah, what you mean? All right, I did my all right, all right. Fucking, well, Wilder got his ass knocked the fuck out. I did mine. I came on live and did him live, nigga. I'm gonna embarrass myself again, man. Hold on, let me get my wife to help me out. <laughs> Hero! <laughs> What's up? Sure, um, don't mess about, do ya? Hey, right. yo, which fight was y'all betting? I, we have been at uh, plant. Hey, come, off mute, come off mute, Come off mute. He said, "Uh, he, what you man? What was the bet though? Like, I know you had plant. Like, man, what you survived this? Like, what what was? The all right, bet? all right. Hold on, give me a second. Fella. I'm glad you're doing them though, but I forgot. I'm about to embarrass myself man, again. Like, all right. I know how Mookie. Gonna see Daddy he's out of shape. Uh. <laughs> All right. Okay, just point at me. You can not, see the camera from there. Get how you hurry up. You know nothing about. Yeah, just point the camera at me. All right. <laughs> how many got, How many is it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I'm fucking hard with this shit. Hey, hey, just give me five, bro. I ain't <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. <laughs> I ain't trying to kill you, bro. Give me, give me five, bro. Three, two more, two more, four. Got yeah, one more, one more. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Ah! yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Debo, man. I appreciate that, brother. Pure oh, man. You, man. I thought you would have forgot. You a good nah, one, like, man. I'm a man of my word, man. Uh, uh I bet with the. Uh, that fucking guy, T.Y., uh, 200 push-ups, but I knew I wasn't going to lose. But he was all, like, trying to change the bet on me. I'm like, nah, we can do something else. We can do something else. I'm like, nah, fuck that, man. I'm a man of my word. If it takes me 100 years, I'll do them. I'll go, fuck. How many you going to do? Uh, I had to do 100, but Debo let me get, get off of five, man, which I truly appreciate because I'm out of shape, man. Fuck. Yeah, that's uh, generous. Yeah, at least you faced up. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure, man. I'm a man, bro. Fuck that. I ain't trying to... Uh, my reputation means something, bro. It, 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 it used to mean something, a man's reputation, no? I say I'll bet anybody on the but Morel Benavitas fight. <laughs> That's not I, mean. I, 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 I will. I will face up. I would face up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Piro, Piro with Benavitas, so you could bet him on that. Well, no, whoever wants to bet with me, uh, Benavitas, Morel fight, I'll, if it happened, I'll, you know, name your number. No answers. I'm, nobody I'm taking you know, I don't off. think nobody I'll wants take, that smoke with Morel now. Offers. They know what Morel working with. I don't see Benavidez taking that fight, man. I don't, I don't think he's he doing the pressure it, on him though. The pressure's on. Yeah. yeah. See that you know Lalo, that's his boy. That's his boy. So, you know, at first Lalo was like, Man, who wants that fight? But now he's starting to see that people calling for it. So now he's saying, Yeah, I want that fight too. So he's <laughs> you know, at first they try to downplay him. Oh, Morel ain't this and that, you know. Hey fellas, hey. I'm gonna jump off real quick. I'm gonna load up my uh, uh daughter in the car, but I'm gonna jump off uh, back on like five minutes. Okay, brother. All, All right. Hey right. cool. H, the ring getting smaller and smaller now. Niggas can't run no more. Yeah. At first they was like, no, nah, <laughs> who's is Morel? Ain't, ain't nobody in it, nigga. It's shit crazy. I like how this shit unfolding though. But hey, you know, boots is next up too. Because now it's I'm like known, Terrence bro. Crawford. You know, I like Terrence Crawford. He's one of oh, yeah, my favorites, but I want to see Crawford fight Boots. Yeah, them niggas feeling that pressure for sure. They feeling that shit. And that's how it start, just like that. You got to spark that flame on them. But Boots, Boots on their ass right now, man. So Boots, he wanted, he want his how title shot. Boots? He only 23. Oh, oh yeah. It's about, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's still in the right course. It's game over. IB, you said you think Boots ready? Yeah, I think Boots ready, bro. His experience, his number of fights. He might not have the names I want him to have, but he's ready at the end of the day, bro. You just got to look at it. If David Morrell ready for a Benavidez, Boots definitely ready for a fucking Terrence Crawford or a champion. Hey, Boots and Morrell, they got that shit, bro. They got the skills. They got the speed, the power, the boxing IQ, the footwork. Those are my two top dogs right Damn. now, man, going into 2022. Those are my two guys right now. You know, of hey, course, I fuck like with Haney. I fuck with uh, Shakur and them, you know. But to me, I think, to be honest with you, Morrell and Boots, 
They got something the other guys don't have. They got that one punch knockout power. They got that exciting style that people want to see, like a Roy Jones type, Sugar Ray Ali type shit, like a Floyd. You know what I mean? Like the, a young the Floyd. Sneeze. That's how Boots coming like a young Floyd Mayweather type shit. I ain't gonna lie. But the thing is, H, he's gonna have to unfortunately have another fight to get even high into position. If you get me. Because he's like third. I, I yeah, thought these niggas That's was the, killers and the, shit, man. I thought these other dudes were supposed to be killers. They were so good. They were yeah, boogeymen. Yeah, and I mean, now all of a sudden, these so called boogeymen don't want no smoke with them. What's good, <laughs> Sheldon Moore? <laughs> that, that shit got me fucked up. What? What's good, Sheldon? What's up, man? What's happening? Man, what's good, man? What's up with Crawford, man? He going to show up in 2022 uh, to fight Boots or what? Crawford beats them all. I got boots knocking out Crawford. Crawford, man, we got to talk about Bud and Spence before Bud and Bud. it don't matter who Bud got to get that fight <laughs> to happen. Fuck it that. don't matter who Bud fights. They, they owe us that shit as boxing fans, man. It doesn't matter who Bud fights; he's gonna knock him out. He's beatable, not by none of these guys. I mean, shit. He, I mean, I, I seen Sean Porter. You know, was on his ass in there, and that a lot of people I thought. You no, if, I feel you, but Sheldon, his own corner was telling uh, Crawford that he was losing the fight before that knockout. H. Okay, you what got happened? it. He what knocked happened? him out. He knocked him out. And the same thing he gonna do to Boots. Yeah, Virgil, boots, ain't, boots, boots ain't Sean Porter. Boots are on, on a different boots level than Sean Porter. Whoever they put in there is going to sleep. All right, I, I, I feel the same way about Boots. I think Boots is a better switch hitter. Boots is a better switch hitter than Terrence Crawford. Then let's see it. Line it up. All right, it's up to Crawford. Boots already called them out. Boots said he'll fight him next. But you already know how the business go. But I know. They There's, no reason. There's no reason to fight Boots right now because Boots don't have a big enough fan base. Ain't no money in it. The fight, the fight. When Earl Spence said that, when Earl Spence said that about Crawford, everybody got mad about it. But when Crawford says it to Boots, it's okay now. All of a sudden, well, you know these weirdos always got some kind of narrative going. <laughs> they always got some kind of narrative going. It's just oh. common. Because no, it's two reasons why you don't fight Boots. Number one, Boots could probably beat you. Number two, there's no money in it. But it's a great fight. It's a good name for his resume. Boots is a real threat. He's a top five welterweight. Boots, he's ranked top five in every sanction body. Boots is the best available. So that fight does make sense. You know what I mean? So, so, so with that being said, 2022, do you guys believe we will get the fight that we all want? Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence. Hell no. I hope so. Nah. I hope so. Not 2022. So. Hell no. Nah. Because Spence still got to fight Ugas and shit. Oh, no, we might. We What's might out? get it, though. When is when is Spence supposed to fight Ugas? Hey, this is his son. I think March. And I'm taking all bets on Spence. I don't know. We you might get it. All. You we might get it. We might get it. Until one of them loses, we're not going to see that fight. You don't want to bet me, IB. You don't man, want to bet Spence might get upset, man. I don't know. Nah, I, I would love to bet you on that fight. But I, I also, no I also I want to bet on this, too, this it's Sunday. Too, it's too down the line for me to bet on that one. <laughs> you want to bet Sunday, man? <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to do you like that, OG. But what's up, man? Uh, I don't know, man. We, what man we I don't know. Man? I, I bet it on Wilder and for, for Furry. <laughs> you playing in Indy? You said what? They playing in Indianapolis. Yeah, I know. They playing at Lucas Oil Stadium. Oh, no, no, no bet. No bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got Lucas Oil, man. You talking about the Raiders? Yeah. That's my squad. We got to win, though. We got to win. We lose. Yeah, I went for John Madden, bro. But I told no. you, OG, I ain't trying to bet on that because I want to I wanna enjoy the game. I don't really care about the money. I want to enjoy the game. I really don't want to bet on that. I know we're going to win, but I want to enjoy the game. I don't want to be on the edge of my seat. You win that game. In that game, we out. Both teams are inconsistent teams at the end of the day. So I have a coach. You can't win the But I bet on my coach any day, though. You know I will. IB, is that a three-game on? Packers win the Super Bowl. You opinion. said what? Is that a three-game winning streak they went they on right now? We already beat. We, we, listen, we beat. We beat, we beat the Bills. We beat the Bills, the Patriots, and the Cardinals back to back to back. You lost the fucking game. Right? 
Now we about to do now y'all dirty, to do this, y'all weekend. dirty this, weekend. this weekend. What about that Buccaneers? Just because you talking all that bullshit, I'm tempted, but nah, I'm not betting on them in in Indy. I don't want to do you like that, man. Like yeah, but if you want to, we can bet a little life, 50, 20 or something. Nah, we ain't fucking with it. It's, 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 they're not a good road team. I'm, a, I'm a, like you. I'm going to enjoy this game. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, that's funny. But I got all bets on Spence versus Ugas, man. That's, that's a tough a fight, man. fight, man. I got, that's 200, a great fight. I got 200 with boxing and story in already. Yeah, let me uh let me think on that one, man, because I don't know, man. I gotta see, uh, man. You know, people just want to see Earl Spence lose so bad. They a lot of people just hate him. I just don't know what Spence gonna come to the ring. You'll know though. You'll know when you see that first. Well, what, what Spence you see come to the ring every time he fight? I mean, goddamn, you fighting Danny Garcia. I mean, shit, you could come to the ring and probably. Bro, get Danny that. Garcia was a champion. Let's not do that, bro. Come on, man. Danny Garcia was a top five welterweight, brother. You acting like I'm all. You acting like I just start saying this. Yeah, I know when he was the top five welterweight. When Anthony Joshua beat. Anthony, when Anthony, let me say this. When Anthony Joshua beats top five heavyweights like Pulev, who's old, washed up. People say, oh, he beat Pulev. Oh, he beat a uh, man. He beat all these nobodies. You know what I'm saying? That was ranked in the top five, but they still they consider it like, yo, he beat a top five heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's when people talk about AJ. AJ got the best resume. He beat Pulev. You know what I'm saying? And what have I always told you since you met me about resumes? Well, I'm saying, and then AJ beat a 40 year old P- uh, Pavekin, and motherfuckers hyped that up. So, what's the difference between Spence beating uh, a young Danny Garcia? Danny Garcia was never that good. That good. All okay. right, that's your opinion. Yeah. But you know, you know what I've always told you about resumes. You know, resumes, they don't win. You they always said it about Danny. You consistent with that about Danny, though. Yeah, man, resumes don't mean shit. Resumes don't win fights. Fight. Danny should fight. What y'all uh, smoking on, man? I want at one fifty four. A two is smoking on. Right? Yeah, I, mean, I, I, so I gotta go get goddamn. I got some Zaza. Some Zaza, yeah, yeah. Zaza man. Hey, 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 don't somebody here got the plants though? Somebody over here be growing shit. Who over here? Oh, that's be um, shit? my boy. My boy out of Oakland. Yeah, I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke you... weed no more. That's oh, my boy Taco. No what you taco. Smoking? You smoking that tobacco, bro? I think he burned it on the black or something like that. Yeah, I well, smoke that. Every every I don't smoke weed. I drink. I don't smoke weed. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not for show. everybody. Hey, listen, Lucas Oil Stadium, man, Sunday, man. We're going to do your Raiders dirty, man. Y'all 8-7, and seven, we 9-6, and six, man. You, you know what's up. And you know how we yeah, did we y'all last year. We're going to beat y'all's ass is what we're going to do. You know how we did y'all last year, man. I remember mean, I mean, you did used to have the gas, though. I remember when you had that gas, you start blaming. No, 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 no. We still got the gas because my girl smoked the gas still and shit, but I don't smoke no more. I might stop H-Money. smoking for a while. Who did you too. come up with? H Money, who did you come up with for Fighter of the Year? Cambosis. Damn. Cambosis? Yeah, the way Cambosis beat T.O. like be that, T.O. was supposed to be that dude. Like, nigga, T.O. was on the pound for pound. T.O. was supposed to be undisputed, you know, to take over. And the way Cambosis just beat him like that, I got to go Cambosis, man. That, shit, that stood out to me the most out of the year. For me, it's Cambosis. Can I, I got a tie. I ain't even mad at that for real. I, I got a tie. Who you got? I mean, when you show? look at one sixty-eight, I mean, who, 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 I still, you know, I still feel like it was fluke. A fluke win. He still did his thing, though. Yeah, see, Cam Bosa is the only person. Cam Bosa did his thing, bro. Hell yeah. yeah. He ain't give a fuck Hello, about none of that T.O. hype. He ain't give a fuck about none of that T.O. shit. Like, hey, Debo, that's upset of the year right there. That's upset of the year. Everybody want to T.O. to win that, man. I got Canelo for his first run, and I got Usyk for moving from cruiser to heavy and picking up three belts. Hey, Debo, what That's a tough one for me. I don't know which one. The rematch is going to happen, though. The rematch is going to happen. Usyk and AJ, that rematch is going to happen. Definitely gonna, definitely gonna happen. They just said you're not stepping the second. He's taking his taking his uh, shot. So we'll see. 
But it's yeah, a time I ain't, for me. I ain't betting on that. I don't know who gonna win that. I don't know who gonna win that. Man, I just I hope just, you, I just hope this American shit could bring more of the dog like, out his ass, man. I always say hey, they need to get with a hood ass trainer, like like somebody. Mayweather like, hood. Mayweather. Yeah, 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 Them niggas is hood as fuck. <laughs> But I feel like, man, them niggas might be too hood. Them niggas they might, might, man, they, they might, might fuck it. They might take the spirit out of AJ, man. Yeah, you seen Shelton? You seen Mayweather in the gym with Anthony Joshua today? I saw that. I saw that. Training now. Is he naked with AJ? Man, 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 that's what AJ needs to do, man. People got to really humble themselves, man. When somebody try to help, you need to, you need to learn, man. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather wants to help this dude. He been reached out to this guy. He should go with Mayweather, bro. You know what I mean? You can't go wrong with Floyd Mayweather. Hey, hey, hey. at once, at once, you, at one you, think, you think Floyd really want to help his ass, or he just want to keep? Yeah, staying, I bro? think yeah, Floyd got a good heart, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let the money and all of the jewelry fool you. Floyd, he do a lot of good things, man. He paid for George Floyd's funeral, paid for Diego Corrales' funeral, and also uh, Gennaro Hernandez, man. He does some good things behind the scenes. And he still takes care of Diego Corrales. But at 168, though, H, who the best Who the best smoke for Benavidez at 168 but David Morrell? <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's see. Well, Canelo, right? right? Yeah, for sure. But we know what Canelo is doing. All right, so besides that, you will have to say probably Taylor uh, Plant. Taylor Plant. Taylor Plant. That makes sense. Taylor Plant. Okay, so they Taylor Plant beef with each other. Okay, Caleb Plant, former champion at one sixty eight. And who else? Um, who else? One sixty eight. Let's see. Shit, you got Caleb Plant. You got uh, Daniel Jacobs. Who else? Daniel Jacobs really ain't shit, but Daniel Jacobs. Uh, Charlo, if Charlo move up. Who else? Let me see. Go ahead. Darrell needs Darrell. Darrell, he already beat Darrell, Benavidez. Darrell old as the as dirt. Darrell, but Morell ain't beating yet. No. Oh, he said Darrell. No, he talking about Benavidez, though. I B. He asked me about oh. Benavidez. So what about Berlanga? Edgar Berlanga possibly as well. He ain't ready. He ain't ready. He still fights. He ain't, he ain't Billy ready. Joe retired, so you can't say Billy Joe Saunders. Because I, I mean, maybe I mean, Billy Joe if he if he want to keep boxing. Billy Joe's that's a good, that's fight. A good fight. What about Lemieux? That's not a good fight. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. But the, see, the WBC ordered that fight, so he has an ex excuse to go fight this dude. So you know. Nah, bet Lemieux, hell nah. That nigga old as shit. But he gon' he do got some power, Lemieux, and Benavidez ain't really got no defense like that. But his high guard is pretty solid, you know what I mean? But he really he don't move his head like that. No, he don't move so his head like that. To say Benavidez's best win is uh Anthony Durrell. Yep, it is Durrell, and that's sad, man. You know, to be talk, you know what I mean? Because that same dude. You know, David Morrell has smoked the fuck out of Darrell. You know what I mean? And uh, ben, uh, Morrell only got six fights. You know, so, yeah, it's time that he steps it up in competition, but it's kind of hard when nobody want to fight him. I heard that, uh, you know, I know uh, Morrell wants to fight Benavidez. I heard Caleb Plant and his team wanted to fight Benavidez before. But Benavidez, I guess, turned down that fight. So that's what I heard. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. Go ahead, Shelby. No, I said, who knows? Shit, the motherfuckers be ducking that ass. Mm hmm. But yeah, the real, the real fight to make is Canelo Benavidez, man. But Canelo wants some other shit. You know, Canelo's about to go fight Macabre. So it is what it is. A lot of people don't like that Macabre fight, by the way. No, like it. No, like it. Cool or whatever, because he's going to fight a champion, go, jumps up, you know, two weight classes. It's cool, but I would prefer that Benavidez or even a Charlo fight, to be honest. Well, one of those guys that we know, we don't, we don't know fucking Macabo. I don't know who that is. I, per I personally, I'm gonna be honest. I think, I think he breaks Charlo. Charlo ain't active. But he breaks him. I think, Charlo gotta go go I think Charlo jab and get Canelo some problems, though. Give him some fits. Four minutes until, until, he until gets Charlo by. move up. I'm not going to add him into that that category yet. He ain't move up yet. He won't want to fight because he won't move. He won't move up. 
He don't even want to fight. He Charlo will have to him. come with a Triple G game plan. He will have to fight Canelo the way Triple G fought him. Work off that jab and shit. I think uh, Charlo could do some of the same things that Triple G did in that fight. <laughs> Can he keep Canelo? Better. Can he keep huh? Canelo off him? Can he with keep the jab, Canelo yeah, off? He could. He could with the jab. He's a powerful jab that Charlo got. We shall, we shall see, brother. If they ever fight, you know, the nigga, you know, the nigga won't move up. So, we guess we won't see it. He'll move up for Canelo. And that's about it. If Canelo beat Macabu, what is Canelo's next move? Can anybody answer that? Probably be 175, I'd be. 75 where he gets beat. 175 where he gets beat? Oh, Sheldon, you think somebody going to beat him? I know somebody going to beat him if he goes to 75. You're not, that, um, you're not that big on Canelo like that, Sheldon? No, no. Is that a, is that a Ramirez? Is that a, is that a... I got Canelo over Zordo. I'm not that big on Zordo. I like Zordo. He's good, but I don't think... He's really, you know, what you say he is, my honest opinion. Okay. You know what? We show what? We show finna find out. You finna know. We gonna find, we gonna find out. I, I like Zerto, though. I like Zerto, though, show. I do like Zerto. I don't know who will win out of Zerto, Bitter Beaver, or Zerto, Bivol, neither, though. But them all good fights. All good fights. But he's the man, though. So Bivol can't run, can't run. He gotta, he gotta fight him next. He gotta fight him or be stripped. Yeah, that, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We talked about fight. that. Yep. That Gonzalez fight made him the Mando, so now he got to fight. Um, fight give it can, I, can I just be? Can I just be controversial and say mm -hmm. that the only guy, the only guy that beats Canelo, um, and he yeah. could fight him in the future for the WBO one seven five, is Anthony Yard. Oh, oh, <laughs> suck, Ooh, suck wee. on that. Suck on that. Hey, I'm not I'm like hey, Canelo. No, 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 Canelo will fuck up Anthony Yard, man. Yard, the only guy who would have a chance is Canelo will fuck up Anthony Yard, man. I like Anthony Yard, but he's knocked out by fucking old ass couple of man. He gonna fuck Anthony Yard in your leg, lads. No, but Burberty has to fuck up Anthony Yard, man. Burberty has to fuck up Anthony Yard. I think Zerto Anthony Yard and better be Anthony Yard. Yeah, Anthony Yard got some talent. He got some, you know, he got some skills or whatever, but. He he's not on that level, man. Yeah, I know. What you mean the ground the groundwork is incredible. But he's he is good. Like he gave Kovalev yeah. a good fight before he was knocked out, yeah. and then he lost to Lyndon Arthur. Came back in a rematch and won that one. But new trainer, you know. the new trainer thing helps so much. New he's with Tunde, ain't new he? Tactics. Isn't he with Tunde? No, he's with yeah, Tunde. He's, he's, he's got a head coach. He's got a head coach now in James Cook, a very very knowledgeable dude. Um, European champion, British champion, very good fighter. Anyways, I used to watch the Jamaican. What is your rank now? Sorry. What what is, what is his rank? What is his rank? What is his ranking now? He's uh, uh, he's he's got the fight against um, the winner of Joe and Johnson Smith and Johnson. He's got oh, that so he's guaranteed. He's Frank Warren's guaranteed him a sh title shot at the WBO. That's what and they he, said, though. Yeah, but I, I think he'll get it. I think he'll get it. He's he'll def Frank Warren is very high on the WBO. That's always been his belt historically. Yeah. Yeah, but they had somebody else fighting Joe Smith Jr. Next, then was it saying Daniel yeah. Jacobs? Yeah, Bruno? Johnson. It's Johnson. Mm. And, uh, say Daniel Yard's Jacobs gonna fight the winner Smith? of that. Yard's got the winner of that. Uh, Daniel Jacobs fighting somebody else. He's uh, no, but didn't they Jacobs. say he's that Joe Smith was going to fight somebody? I don't know who. It was. No, Joe, Joe, Joe Smith fighting Smith's Callum, Johnson. Fighting Callum Johnson. Johnson, and Yard yeah. gets the winner of that. Yeah, yeah and, Yard uh, is getting the winner yeah, of that, uh, which will be the WBO belt. Which I'm I think I'm Canelo, I'm Canelo would attack that and make it his British homecoming because he's dying to fight in, in, in England. We all know that. Yeah, I'm finna look it up because I know that uh uh I know that Jacob's got a fight on February 12th. I'm finna look it up. That boy Anthony Yardy. I remember at one point they were saying Yard was gonna be the you know the next great. No, he's, a, he's a freak UK. athlete. He's a freak yeah, athlete. Yeah, because I got some I got some homies out there in the UK. They was telling me like Anthony Yard, that guy, H Money, he about to take over. And man, I thought he, you know, that's, what, that's what they were saying until Kovalev knocked him out. 
Yeah, he was but doing it was good bad tactics. Before you ran it out was of gas. bad tactics, no age. If you got wrong direction, you you fucked. Look what's just happened with Tia and every, every all these other guys. Tune they said to him in the round. What eight, about the last the tactics? Argument? The tactics were empty, empty the tank. Lines in the camp. Come on, you don't say that to a box in the eighth round. In that, in that, when you're in the mill like that, and you're actually winning the fight, he goes, "Lions in the camp, empty the tank." Yeah, and that's Tunde, wrong. That's exactly. Tunde if you've got tripping. Eddie Reynoso there, he's not going to be saying that. You win the fight, Anthony. Tunde wins that was fight. tripping, but that don't mean listen to him, though, Paulo. Yeah, I know you're right. You did, but because he did you go for one, it. You're the one that, that that's fighting, and you know if you're already kind of gassing out, looking fatigued, why would yeah. you do that when you already had to fight one? I think he needed the knockout. Also, he was never going to get the decision. So Tunde was on that one. You got to. I knock think him I out. think Yard was beating uh, Kovalev. He was. He was. Of course, he was. But then he, if, you know, he, he got gassed a bit and got knocked out with that fucking jab, which was obviously a bit. You know, it don't look good, but. He should have, you know, it's it was his first fight. Don't forget, he only started boxing in his early 20s. Try and put things into perspective, and he's a millionaire already, him and Tunde. Do you get what I'm saying? With the title shot, he was handsomely paid to go to Russia. They all became millionaires, and he's from the projects. He's done very, very well. He has. Started in, tw in his late 20s. Do you get what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but it's, I feel you. I feel you, you know but... I mean? it, he I made a lot of money, whatever. That that's shit. good, but you yeah. know, being one yeah, of the he's best. Not bad as far as, you see, I feel you, but as far as being one of the best, no, he's Canelo, not one of the I best. don't see that. I'm, no, I'm money messing. No, I'm money messing. Yeah. About. I'm not that fucking blinded. It's just he's my guy. I mean, I'm not that fucking blind. I know that Berbatiev's and all that would murder him. Do you know? It's too much. Shit, he could, he do they got, got the groundwork. What about a fight but, with Joe Smith? You think he could beat Joe Smith? Yeah, I can think he can beat Joe Smith. Joe Smith got Johnson. power, though. Smith can knock him out. That, that's, if he's why not they, that's why they're going that route. Going Smith that got route. real power. Smith can I know he has, but he's a, bit knock wild. His ass out. he's a bit wild and, and whatever, and you'll get He got to move. Up. He got to be able to yeah. move for 12 rounds against Joe Smith Jr. if you want to win. Yeah. But Yard's got power, though. I know Joe Smith's Smith got more power. I, no, no, I, I say Yard's got more power. No, 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 no. I say Yard's got more power. Nah, hell. Nah, nah. He has Joe definitely. Smith has got way more power. That dude yeah. is an elite puncher. Joe Smith knocked out Elder Alvarez for the world title. I know you're saying elite. No, that wasn't for the higher. title at that time, but he, he knocked out Joe Smith. No, he knocked out Elder Alvarez, the dude that knocked out Kovalev. Kovalev who knocked out Anthony Yard. You see? Yeah, it's one of those. I've got Yard. Yeah, he's proven at a championship level, Joe Smith. He he won a world title. You know what I'm saying? He showed his power, but... uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, no, Yard's got a higher knockout percentage. Yard couldn't knock out Joe, Kovalev. But... Kovalev was knocked out by Andre Ward and Canelo. If his power was so good, he, he could have knocked out Kovalev. He <laughs> didn't even drop him. He should, but... If, he did he hurt him, though. Cage he hurt Kovalev, yeah, he but he never knocked him out. He could have had him out. He could have, should have, could have, should have, could have, could have, would have, should have. That don't work. Yeah, he could have done that. He did have that don't work going, but he didn't have that experience. That's why, obviously, Canelo's and people like that would beat him, obviously, because they got that experience, the groundwork, the whole. And then his you know, loss to Lyndon Arthur. He lost to Lyndon Arthur as well. He that got was two a psych, That was a psychological one. They so lost, so it, it don't matter did, what it yeah, was. He, he got, he, he was got beat. Yeah, the it don't matter about, what it was. He got the beat. Thing about he Yard, the thing he about Yard, the thing about Yard, he lost to Lyndon Arthur, bro. He's a domestic fighter. Lyndon yeah, Arthur is a domestic level fighter that beat him. Exactly, he is, and that's a fact. But Yard know, is man. a crowd fighter. No crowd there. Four family that members. Ain't, that sounds like excuses. It Paolo. is excuses. I mean, yeah, stop with the yeah excuses, but when your dad, though. when your dad that's dies, that's a fucking though. excuse. When your his dad dies, his fucking sister or but something. Bro, that ain't got nothing to do with the ring. Uh, you can keep bringing up these excuses like T.O. did why he lost to Cambosis, or just like Wilder when he lost to Tyson Fury. Let's stop that making shit excuses. Play on you he, a bit. He got uh, beat. At the end of the day, he got beat by Lyndon Archer. That's and all. Then he destroyed him. I'm not going into the details of what was going fucking, on yeah, and all of that. But then when he came We're back, he destroyed that, bro. him. When he came back, he destroyed him. And that's and then he, he destroyed that him that in the first fight. fight. He should have yeah. did it in the first fight. He should have done, and that's why I'm yeah. saying he didn't because it no nah, he, because he he got the beat by the better man that night. You know what it was? He got beat by the better man that night. That's why. All that he other was, stuff, it don't matter. Yeah, on the night, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. He got beat by the better man. Yeah, he woke up better that night, that day. 
Hey, I, I hey, Shelton said, listen to me when I tell you. Zordo Ramirez cleans out 175. Uh, he's a good fighter, Shelton. I, I agree. Like he's you, really bro. good, but I, I don't I don't think he's the guy that you say he is. I don't I don't believe that. Um I still think but but Tervia beats him better beef. Um, you know, a Bivel. That's a good fight with Bivel. I know um Zordo in his last fight, he just went tooth and nail with a with an older Cuban fighter. That guy was past his prime and he went tooth and nail with him. You know, he actually got hurt in that fight. He was rocked. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, man. Uh, Zordo is good, but I think they they got better fighters out there. And then he went life and death with uh, the Russian guy, you know. So I don't know, man. I got to see more, man. You know, he just fought a, a washed up Sullivan Barrera. He fought, he fought a, a older Cuban fighter who was pretty washed up. So we got to see him step it up in competition. He's about 32, 32 years old. It's about that time. But he is good, though, Shelton. He's a good fighter, former champion, undefeated. I like him, but I got to see more from him. Hey, age. Hey. What's good? It's 12 o'clock Eastern time in the Midwest. Happy New Year's to all the players from the Himalayas. Man, Happy for sure, New my Year. boy, IB. Happy New Year, IB, IB. the place to be. One, two, Happy three. New Year to all the players from the Himalayas, man. Shout out to IB, Let's man. Good looking man. out, IB. Appreciate it, man. On the oh, yeah, cash app. Sure. Good looking oh, out, IB. Good. That's the least I can do, man. Get you a grandma Zaza, man. That's the <laughs> least I can do, brother. <laughs> my Zaza. boy, IB, good looking out, man. But yeah, I got an hour left until the new year. That shit finna get crazy, man. What they gonna time be is it there then? It's 11. 11 yeah. 01, but they, man, they be shooting like a motherfucker. They already been shooting. Are they? Are yeah, they, they was already shooting. Yeah, hey, y'all wanna hear some gunshots real quick? Yeah, <laughs> yeah puts, I've only had fireworks. It hey, listen, they've been the shooting yet. all day, though. It, they don't be uh -oh. waiting at 12 over here. They already been it's shooting. It's 5 in the morning yet, H. It's been they already, they gone. gonna be shooting the whole day. Gunshots. I can confirm 22 is the same. <laughs> Happy New Year, my boy Kush. Kush, my boy. Havoc IB, salute. So don't the police stop shit like that? You know, the the gunshots. <laughs> What's <laughs> that? How they going to stop yeah, it? You yeah, got the yeah, whole city. Have, How you going to stop it? The whole city is outside it. shooting guns. Yeah, because you're allowed guns. They going to have to pull up to every house then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you will, man, they, they hey, Carlo, they be shooting all day. Listen, man. usually they they will wait until you know twelve to start shooting this shit. But man, they was already. You hear that shit? Listen, yeah. fucking now, that's crazy. That is. You yeah, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that shit? I hear that shit. Only stop, if the stop, guns stop, are going stop, off, stop. they'll get the army. They'll start getting the army out. Everything. They'll think they're under attack. The country. I'm not even joking. That yeah, wouldn't be no way. Oh, yeah. Man, they've been dumping all day. They've been shooting all day. Because I had left the house for a second. Motherfucker, I'm, while I'm driving, you hear gunshots everywhere and shit. I go to the gas station, you hear gunshots. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, they already started. But listen, you hear that shit? Listen. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. That, that's <laughs> mental. That is, hey, that's... but listen. When 12 o'clock hit at Memphis, it about to be yeah. crazy. So, 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 so it's like you in a war, isn't it, Vietnam? You hear that shit? Listen. That's Vietnam. That shit loud. They, them boys dumping out there. Hey. Well, yeah, man, all yeah. the bullets be coming down. Motherfuckers be getting hit by them bullets when they come down, though. It's, yeah, exactly. That's dangerous It's going down. I hear yeah. 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 that shit, man. They're going to yeah. be shooting for a while out here. Make sure you got a cap on. <laughs> that shit real though that's mad that is I mean it's over here that definitely straight away the fucking police would come just one shot people would be reporting it straight away I got reported just putting my air rifle in the back of my car it was like I was fucking had a machine gun or something proper not allowed Jeez, major because I like going hey, the shooting the city is rabbits. already crazy that should be like that every day anyway you know what I'm saying but you know, and then New Year's now you got a you got a reason to do it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Everybody else is doing it, yeah, so you can get away yeah. with it. Yeah, it's you every, definitely yeah. get away with it. Hell well, yeah, motherfucker can't wait. They can't wait to start shooting, you know what I'm saying? It'd be little kids doing that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That is it's a tradition, isn't it? It becomes what it is. <laughs> 
Yeah, you can prop it. It's like being, it's like you're in the Gulf War there. I the ain't Gulf gonna lie, War. they already shooting over here. It's 11. They've been shooting all day. I, <laughs> is it LA 92 or what? 1992, the riots and shit. 1992. Those were the riots. That was kicking. I couldn't believe it when I turned on the television. Motherfuckers running out with anything. I was, I was there. I was in LA. I was a kid, though. Yeah. Remember my dad was out there. Telev you, plenty of people got free televisions. I know. I think everything. he got some free shit that day. I think my dad had some free shit that day. To be honest with you, my dad did get some shit. Okay. Yeah, I think everybody did. Why wouldn't you? It's just, fuck it. Do you know what I mean? Get back from the... The system that fucking takes off you anyway. I ain't gonna I know, lie. I know in LA, them people. earthquakes though, them earthquakes be crazy. That's what happens in LA. Them earthquakes, them whole. It was a monsoon it. over there. I was talking to uh, OG Show, and he said they just had a monsoon out there in LA. Well, recently, yeah, like a couple days ago. For real, that's crazy, man. I'm mm. actually be scared of the motherfucker. Them uh earthquakes though, man. Well, I, I, must, I, must, I must say, I've got to correct myself, though, because taking the stuff, sometimes, sometimes, I mean, a lot of them shops, sometimes it's family businesses, this, that, and the other, and it's a bit harsh that they should suffer, but it's what it is. So I just want to correct something. They're not taken from the system. Sometimes it's build people that build up a nice family business, yeah, and, you know, and they pay for it, unfortunately. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Big fight of big fights this week. I'm looking forward to the heavyweight card. I am this weekend. Yeah, that shit gonna be good, man. Yeah, I am. I know it's. A I lower wanted to level. start heating up though. They need to start coming with them good fights like that. Oh yeah, guys, Earl I Spence. I want to see those type of fights, those unifications and shit. They fucking are to fix that one they we know all the pol bullshit and the politics. Obviously we want them. That's the dream stuff. Who doesn't want to see Crawford boots? Fucking hell. Amazing build up that would be. Cook would you H you'd cook the fuck out of that, wouldn't you? Wh which fight? Who, um Crawford or Boots. I'm saying oh, who yeah, doesn't want, ready yeah, to yeah, I'm just saying who doesn't want to see a fight like we're that? ready to that shit. That's what I'm starting to talk they about. Happen, now. They, they're not easy to happen though, are they? I'm gonna it's start talking much. about boots on the channel, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like start talking about boots. We're we gonna focus on all of that shit. You know, you Devin Haney. We're gonna talk about Devin Haney, uh David <laughs> Morrell. We're gonna talk about Earl Spence, Ooh guys, Terrence Crawford. Yeah, it's gonna heat up Tyson Fury when Fury come back. All of that shit. You're getting suited and booted, are you? Getting booted up. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's turned twenty. He's turned twenty-four, by the way. That's still young as fuck, though. Uh oh, boots. He's twenty-four now. Yeah, twenty-four. I'd look at on his box record. He's twenty-four. I, I just I like what I see from the kids so far, man. Yeah, he's quite. Yeah, you know what I mean, Virgil. Yeah, we could talk about Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz versus Boots Ennis. Virgil Ortiz versus Jerron Ennis. I do like I do like Virgil a lot though. Do you, I'm we can talk about Virgil, but Virgil, his next fight, uh, I really don't like that fight against McKinson. The dude got 21 wins, two knockouts. Who is that guy? I don't, I don't know. Like I think I think it's I think like they say it's to try to try to train his uh skills, new trainer. I think he's a South Porn, whatever, so it's probably setting up. His skillage for his uh, an up and coming greater these greater challenges in between one, isn't it? But then he's then you'll have to step it up afterwards. But yeah, it's not a a great fight, but they all can't be. Yeah, I like Virgil Ortiz, but I, I don't yeah. like that fight, man. Uh, with McKinson, you know Virgil. I know Virgil been calling out Terence Crawford, but I believe it was Golden Boy, his team, that wanted that fight with McKinson. I don't know about that fight, man. It's yeah, I mean it's right it's there. not a, it's not a great fight. I'm gonna like, but it's it, it's an in betweener, you know, and they can uh, practice their skills. Well, Virgil is you, good too. I like Virgil. We can, can talk about Virgil yeah. Ortiz versus Boots. We can start Oof. talking about that fight. I mean, at the minute, at the minute, it's a, it really is a it's a fifty fifty because I think Ortiz is a bit more proven at the minute, chin checked and everything. I just don't like that yeah. fight, man, with that McKinson dude. Yeah, it's shit. It is what it is, shit. man. He's yeah, a young, young it's fighter. a shit one. Of course it's I know he's been calling out Crawford. I expected him to pursue the Crawford fight, but uh, 
It looks like they're going another route. He's still a young fighter. I still like Virgil. I like Boots, too. I like Virgil and Boots. I like both of them. Virgil Ortiz all, always been one of my favorite fighters. But right now, I like Jerron Ennis. He's, he's one of my favorite fighters. Jerron Ennis is the truth. He got the speed and the power. And he can switch it. He knocked people out. He's, he's a very exciting fighter. So is Virgil. But if I had to pick one, I like both of them. But if I had to pick one, I'm going to pick Jerron Ennis. Now, you guys have the right to pick who, whoever you like. If you like Virgil Ortiz, that's cool. I like Virgil Ortiz too, but I like Jerron Ennis better. That's my opinion about the situation. Uh, I do know what you're saying, but I, personally, at this current stage now, I mean, I'll probably just edge v Virgil, but... Ah, uh, you tripping, man. Yeah, yeah this, but, but... Nah, Boots, this, what, Boots, Boots, Boots is a better boxer. Boots is a, yes, Boots a, is a yeah, better yeah, boxer, yeah. bro. Boots got better speed. The, his potential Boots is, is more he, athletic. His potential. And, seen, and Virgil Ortiz's last fight, he was hurt against Mean Machine. And Mean Machine hurt him bad. And a lot of people thought Mean Machine dropped him in that fight. So Virgil came back. Virgil came back and knocked out Mean Machine, but at the same time, you know what I mean. He he was hurt to the point where he even had to go to Eddie Reynoso switch his trainer up. So if they did fight, I got boots. I got boots. Him, I beat him, Virgil Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? More speed, more athletic. He's sweet. Yeah, he is sweet. He's, he Definitely. got better movement. He got better footwork. He's, he's got, got all the work. sweetness, definitely, uh, Boots. But yeah, just at this current stage. He's a slicker boxer. He's slicker. Yeah, More, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. He's definitely, better definitely feet, sweeter. Bro. He's a sweeter boxer. And though, he, if people keep saying, oh, Virgil beat better competition, the only reason why, because Virgil, he's with Golden Boy Promotions. And Jerron Ennis yeah, has I'm signed just to saying, a that's why just, well, just Jerron, Jerron Ennis has signed that. to a local promoter. And that's why he couldn't get those fights. And Jerron Ennis was out, out of boxing like for a whole year. You know what I'm saying? But now, yeah, promotion now he's staying problems. active. He also you know what I'm saying? And people want to talk that competition. See, who, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is Virgil Ortiz fighting next? Who is that dude, man, from the UK? That dude got 21 wins, only two two knockouts. He's a who, bum. And people want to talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, is. look. What you say? He is a bum, isn't he? I'm, no, I'm Why is he fighting bum. that dude? And people want to yeah, say, oh. Uh, talk about Jerron in his competition. He's talk practicing. About that. Talk about skills. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and my boy Paolo from the UK, and Paolo just called that, that dude a bum. Of course he is. Oh, yeah, I don't just. I but don't Virgil is the truth, though. Now, Virgil oh, is yeah. technical. Virgil got a, a very good jab. Virgil got power. You know what I'm saying? Virgil, Virgil is a beast. Virgil is a monster. 18 wins, 18 knockouts. It's a tight fight. I'm Virgil Ortiz Jr. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Virgil Ortiz. Well, Don't boots, get it twisted now. Is, uh, 24 years. But if I had to pick one, y'all telling me to pick one. If I had to pick one, you want me to be, be real, Are my you, honest opinion? Right now, I'm going with not, boots. Not going forward. I think going forward could be boots. As in, because the 24, the age potential. Right now, I'm talking right but now. Right now, what are they Yeah, right now, Vir yeah. Boots said he Chin was ready check. for Virgil. Go ahead. Chin check everything. I just edged Virgil just now. You know, absolutely. Man, hey, you tripping. But, you know, well. Hey, Virgil Ortiz himself said he wasn't ready to fight no Jerron Ennis. Him and his team, they said they needed <laughs> more time. That's why they're going to fight this McKenson. Man, I'm telling you right I'll now, Jerron Ennis. I'm telling you right now, Jerron Ennis is better than Virgil Ortiz, man. Yeah, he is. Morel he's does. Morel's high on him, isn't he? Of course. So the boxers do. You know, know, a real, hey, know, you know what they so, say? Real, a real recognize real. Real yeah. recognize real. Yeah. And even. David Morrell said Boots was the truth. The boxers are That's saying, coming from yeah, another killer. Is shit but Virgil up, yeah. is the truth, too, now. You know what I'm saying? That's why Thurman Virgil's sharp, too. Virgil technical. Him. Virgil getting better. And Virgil is a workhorse. Virgil always in the gym. He's always training. He's trying to get better. That's what I like about but Virgil so Ortiz. so is Boots, though. So is Boots, isn't he? He's exactly. Also they both love boxing. He's a dedicated guy. You can tell he's about serious stuff. He's not, uh, you just can tell he's a well mannered, you know. Yeah, that's what you need know. to do, Apollo. Yeah. Watch uh, Jerron and his fights, man. It's all on YouTube. Uh, I've seen they I've got seen his full his fights. fights on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to YSM, YSM Sports Media. He he came to my channel. He, you know, he's in the gym with, with Jerron and all the time. 
Watch his channel. Watch those interviews with with Jerron Ennis. Watch Jerron Ennis' his father, Bozy Ennis. Watch Bozy. his interviews. You got to tune in and see what these guys are doing, man. The kid is special. I'm telling you, we we head into a, to a new year. In 2022, it's about David Morrell Jr. and Jerron <laughs> Ennis. David yeah, Morrell and yeah. Jerron Ennis. I'm telling you, these two guys right here that you see on the screen, they taking over boxing. They the future of boxing. We head into a new year. We got Jerron Ennis, Boots Ennis, David Morrell Jr. It's going down. I promise you that. Suited. Suited and booted. I promise you that, man. That boy boots the truth. And yeah, Virgil Ortiz, he's a monster too. We got to make it happen. The best got to fight the best. Virgil Ortiz versus Boots in it. Who's some, the best? Some Who's incredible talent fighter? though. Who has division? more power? Who oh, got man. better speed? Let's find out, man. I got Boots though. But if you like Virgil, I understand because Virgil a beast. I like Virgil too. There's some incredible fighters though. Quality in that division though. And so, can you imagine them guys fighting all each other? Fucking hell. Yeah, Virgil, he's but, special too, man. Absolutely. Yeah, Virgil all, is nice. They're all beasts. But I got boots, though. <laughs> Virgil yeah, is special. You, you but, uh, sing, I would say boots, he's more special. You, you, know sing, you sing Sugar Ray Leonard. You sing Roy young Jones. Young Sugar Ray, you young sing, Roy Jones type. You sing all that stuff on you. Yeah, I definitely sing all that you stuff. You remind me yeah. of Sugar Ray Leonard. You know Going what I mean? Forward welterweight. Boots. Because Sugar Ray Leonard started off at welterweight. You know what I'm saying? Jerron Ennis is a welterweight. He's in the same weight class as Sugar Ray. The same height, same reach, everything. S speed, power, skills, all of that. The flash, the excitement, everything. He got the... it. He you is... know? My boy YB. <laughs> What's YB, good, YB? YB. YB. Who's he got then, YB? Who did he? Who's he got in that fight? Boots. Boots. Boots got Boots. more skills than Virgil. I, got, I always. Oh have yeah, Boots yeah. It, like oh, I said, let him Boots, answer though. Let him Boots answer. You sweeter. said who, who you got? got I, let, me, let me ask I, IB. I B. Always. I don't think the fight gonna happen no time soon. But I always have Boots over Virgil. You yeah, know, you, I know what you said. I got to get what you mean. Ring IQ. Yeah, you yeah. Virgil, you're for, you're looking for Those some knockout you. type shit. But I just say up to this. Up to this. Thing. I just more more natural talent, chin. more What's natural talent. Like? I give Virgil the power, but I think more natural talent, more boxing skill, ring IQ, footwork. I give all that yes, to yeah, it's boots. Man, boots got to power agree. too. The way he knocked I've out Thomas that. Delorme in the first round, Terrence Crawford could even knock out Delorme in the first round. That nigga fucked up Delorme. Boots got crazy power. The way so he knocked you... out Sir Boots is the only person to knock out Sergey Lippin gets. Even mm -hmm. Mikey Garcia yeah. couldn't knock him out. And Mikey Garcia was on the pound for pound list. Come on yep. now. You better recognize, man. That boy Boots the truth. 2022. Jerron Boots in this. We want all smoke. Man, it's free smoke. Yeah. Fuck you mean. <laughs> it's free smoke in this bitch. Anybody can get it, including Listen. Terrence Crawford. And I, you know, I love Terrence Crawford, including Earl Spence, including everybody, including Virgil Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? It's free. But I do smoke know what you mean, Crawford Eddie. and all them. They need to get the pressure put on them, definitely. And we putting they, pressure on Crawford. Yeah, they Earl, need Spence to is, fight Earl Spence. He fighting no Ugas, right. so you know what I'm saying. Earl Spence got a, a unification fight. That's a big fight. Yeah, yeah, Let him yeah, take yeah, care yeah. of that business. Yeah. But in the meanwhile. But then, then they need to fucking face the, each other. Otherwise, it, yeah, it is. Otherwise, move out of the way. Give these the new boys a look. In, in the meantime, a look. In the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna tell you <laughs> like this. Tell that boy Terrence Crawford, Jerron Ennis looking for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, look, yeah, he wants that title shot, doesn't he? Absolutely. He, think, he thinks he can beat him and all that's fair play to him. He's got that confidence to call the biggest guy, the biggest dog like that. There's some, he's got something in him, definitely. Who said he was the biggest dog? What makes well, him the biggest you know, dog? Crawford, is, you know, that, is that the narrative? What makes him the biggest no, dog? No, no, what I mean is... I, 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 somebody you, told on, me Earl Spence. I heard when Earl Spence do, was the big fish. When, when Last time do, I checked, Earl Spence was the big fish. Is he fuck? 
He's not. He's not the biggest. Last time fish. I checked, Earl Spence was the unified welterweight champion of the world. Who was the highest ranked guy? It's Crawford. When you do a well, he's on pound for pound. But I'm talking yeah, about welterweight division. Earl Spence going for three high, belts. Earl but Spence going for three belts, brother. For a bub, I know. But Earl Spence high. fighting Ugas, who just beat Manny Pacquiao. Ugas is the man that beat the man Manny Pacquiao. The Don. Hey yo. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to God! Yeah! Happy New Year, everybody! <laughs> What's up, you man? Know? How you feeling, my brother? What's going on, man? It's money, Mr. Supreme Paulo. Paulo from the other side of the moon, baby. Yeah, <laughs> we, we all here flying, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's uh it's New Year's. We're turning up, man. We out here. We're turning up. So I just want to wish everybody that I mess with in the YouTube community and in the chat, all my brothers, you know, all my dons, everybody, you know, I can't. There's so many of you guys out there that I fuck with. You feel me? Excuse my language. That um, it's, it's just too many to mention. You feel me? But all you guys know, you know, if I salute you, 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 you are done. You feel me? So all my dons, all my donettes too. You feel me? Like um all the uh you know what I'm saying like the unique dons and the and the karma syringe you feel me all them you know uh want to wish everybody a, a super a super duper happy and prosperous New Year you feel me like I want everybody to get their dreams accomplished I want even if it's a baby step closer to get to where you want to be you feel me um I want I want everybody to get their back up I want everybody to get their paper. I want all the negative energy to go away. You feel me? I want everybody that gets in fender benders to like get out of the ICUs. You feel me? Everything. You feel me? Like I want everybody to just have that adrenaline. You know, I want everybody to go in there and fight. You feel me? Like Tito Fimo Lopez, like he's never fought before. You feel me? Yeah. Try to go in there and fight that one round knockout. You know what I'm saying? And then go to the corner and get that um, expert advice from your father. The number one, you know what I'm saying, coach of the year, and get that wonderful advice, and then move on up. You feel me? Move on up to the sky and get up to 140 and see that you ain't capable. You feel me? So that's what's going on, man. But just kidding around. I just want everybody to have a successful 2022. You feel me? And get your bread up, get your paper up, get your weight up. You know what I'm saying? Get it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Don talking that shit, man. So 2021, you going in on Tia Fimo Lopez. He so now you feel like Tia Fimo Lopez, what award does he deserve? You know, he he, he, he deserves the award of the capper. <laughs> 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 he deserves, man. He deserves. He deserves. He deserves the capper, the the white, the white PBC, uh, propaganda manipulator. Fuck you, man. you know what I'm saying? And all his followers, man. Where you at, man? Where you guys at? Where you guys going? Where you is, this, is this the one and only dumb? Why you ain't home home home? Whatever um, happened to your boy? You feel me? Where you guys at? <laughs> is it one of is it one and only Don here? Uh, What's that? Who's speaking? Now that's the Don Coco. That's what I'm saying. I said it. He's like the one and only Don. Yeah, that's the Don, Don Coco the Don, yeah, the 2019 co-host of the year. Coco the yeah, Don. Don. Happy yeah, New Year, follow, man. man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, 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 I can see the passion in there. I can see the passion there straight away. Hey, the La Don. passion. Don, Don. Yo, oh, oh, man. Yeah, so happy New Year, my brother. Don. Young, 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 young Don. Don. PT. In the place to be. How we doing? Age. Hey. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, hey. I be who I be up in the building. Okay, yeah, we got the all star panel. Hey, Sedan, I got three words for you, bro. T.O. 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 Simple okay. as that. 
Simple okay, as that. I, I'm still rocking with T.O., brother. I'm still rocking with T.O., big bro. No problem, man. Hey, you know what? And I salute you for that. Um, you know, I wish that um everybody else could be as stand up as you. You feel me? Like I, I see that you stand on your square and I respect it. You know, like a real player, I'm gonna have to salute that. But you know, <laughs> the way I feel about it is um Teofimo Lopez, he um he barked, he didn't bite. They wanted to give you something that didn't happen. The false prophet, the supposedly next to Canelo. He was not that dude. He was not that dude. So uh, sometimes you can have high hopes, but you come crashing down. At the next time you come around, maybe you could get off the ground. Humble pie, bro. Humble pie. Hell yeah. Hey man, I'm gonna stay on the um. I'm gonna stay online with you guys. But I'm um I'm gonna just do a little sit -uh, sit -uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we turn it up. We turn it up. Turn it up, New Year. Hey, so the Don, you said you rocking out with Virgil Ortiz Jr. Oh yeah, hey man, hey, let me speak on that real quick. I don't want Virgil Ortiz to get no kind of like, I don't want him to have no excuses, no kind of hand me downs. You know, I don't want nobody to say, oh, he's too young. I don't want nobody to even feel sorry for the young kid. The young kid, the young man, he wants to be great. He wants to be a champion. He wants to push himself. He wants to be the best. And you know what? You can't take that away from him. So at the end of the day, if, a, if an aspiring fighter, a young bull, he wants to step up to the big dogs and play in the pen, you got to give it up to him. All he needs is a chance. Will any of the big dogs give him a chance? Will Earl Spence give him a chance? Will Bud Crawford give him a chance? Because I know he believes in himself, and I believe in him too. Now, do you think Terrence Crawford will fight Virgil Ortiz, or do you feel like he will avoid him? Do you feel like Terrence Crawford will fight Virgil Ortiz or Jerron Ennis? I think that um, Bud Crawford, from, from the energy that I felt, I feel like he ain't gonna do it. Whoa! I feel like I feel I feel like it's too dangerous. He might he might lose. He don't want to lose. He don't want to lose. He ain't gonna give them young bucks a chance like the like the older generation gave him. Woo! Coco when, he was, when, when he was at one forty, he needed a chance. He got the vacant belts. He got what he had to do. But what, he won't give anybody else a chance now. Man, at least, at least, at least we can say that uh, that Earl, you know, Earl could take a punch, and you know why I know he could take a punch? Because he flew out of a car and slammed into a pole, and anybody that could do that and not be like all fucked up, he he done did that, so he he got a chin on him. Okay, so Earl Spence, he doing what he got to do. He gonna fight Ugas, and you gonna tell me that Ugas ain't a challenge when he can stick you on that pole? Ugas works the range, put you on. Put you right there where you need to be. Hey, man, I, I have that fight as a 50-50, but I'm leaning towards Ugas because I really don't know how Earl is, is after the eye injury, and I really don't know how he really is. But I'm just telling you, just on the fact of the matter that Earl Spence is a hard puncher, great counter puncher with a great left hook and a great body punch with the right hand, he could, he could target all that. But I'm just telling you that Ugas, he's Mr. Range. He, you think you got Ugas. You think you're in range to hit him, but you're not. He's in your face all day, every day. But you can't hit him, can you? Ooh, gosh, with no eyebrows. Oh, yeah, lather him up. Fact. Wow. Wow, Coco, that's... That, that, <laughs> that was some darn shit, H Money. That was some darn shit. You know, my boy Go came on in then, Don. That's how it is. My boy came in here spitting that real, but you know what? I think Bud would take that Virgil Ortiz smoke if they if they would have uh, mandated that fight. I don't think Bud Crawford would have let, let his title go. So would Bud Crawford fight Virgil Ortiz? Absolutely. I don't think Bud Crawford would duck anybody. You know what I mean? So uh, I got to see it to believe it. I got to see Bud Crawford openly duck somebody before I believe like, oh. Bud Crawford Has Bud Crawford acknowledged the challenge from either of those? You know, after that, after, after Virgil beat uh, mean Machine, which he did defeat Mean Machine, 
And I don't know, was it a more spectacular fashion? Yeah, it you was. Could say it no. was. You could say no, but both were both. You could also say both were dropped by Mean Machine. Mean Machine is a great challenge, a great Kate. Uh, what do they call it? A gatekeeper. Why don't we see Boots versus uh, Mean Machine and see how he does? Now, when it comes when it comes to the fight, after that fight, after that spectacular win, when 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 Virgil Ortiz showed the rage, that Oscar rage, that willingness not to give up, that willingness not to lose, <laughs> well, he called him out. He called him out. He called Bud out. He said, "I want Bud. I want that Bud. I want that Bud." <laughs> No acknowledgement. Now you telling me what? What does that mean? You tell me. I don't know, brother. The Donald I, I, Cookin, I though, that, that Oscar rage is real. I saw that in Virgil Ortiz. Matter of fact, Virgil Ortiz reminds me of a young golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya, with his boxing skills, his speed, and his power. And like Coco the Don said, that Oscar rage. That means blacking out and just going, you know, going wild, going crazy. And that's what Oscar De La Hoya did against I Corte. You know what I'm saying? In that 12th round. That's exactly what uh, Virgil Ortiz, that's what he did against me, Machine, when he knocked him out. So, yeah, I, I love Virgil Ortiz, man. He's special for sure. Most definitely, man. And you know what? Boots is a great fighter. Boots has the inside game and the outside game. And he knows how to pull back. There's a lot of fighters that know how to engage, but don't know how to step back. That's one thing that Boots does have. One thing that I do not like about Boots is he doesn't work his jab enough, and he and he's very telegraphed with his with his um with his left and right hook. So that's one thing he needs to look out for. Uh, other than that, I think that Boots is very, very talented and a, such a great prospect and will be a big challenger in the future. Now, will Terrence Crawford give him a chance? I don't know. I don't, I don't think Terrence Crawford won't smoke with Boots, to be honest with you, unless he has to fight him like Paolo said, unless he's like a mandatory, is mandated. Other than that, Terrence Crawford will stay away from him, and that's low-key avoiding, though. That's avoiding a guy because right now, of course, Boots is the best available at the welterweight division. Uh, Earl Spence is fighting Ugas. You got uh, Keith Thurman fighting against Barrios. You know, and I don't know why Crawford even called out Thurman. Thurman ain't fought in three fucking years. At this point, Jerron Ennis is a better challenge than the fucking Thurman. I got the Jerron Ennis fucking Thurman up. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see Terrence Crawford fight the best available. And at the moment... It's Boots in. It's Virgil Ortiz is fighting McKinson. Virgil Ortiz already got him a fight. He's booked already. So what Crawford going to do? You going to sit and wait on Earl Spitz, Ugas? Or you going to stay active and you going to fight Boots in it? That's, that's all, you know. And, and, think, question, of, and think about it like this, though. Like, H, you know, like, you got to think about it like this, though. Like, you know, Bud, Terrence Bud Crawford, he a free agent, though, right, H? You feel me? So... When you're a free agent, mm. you know, you got to make a little bit of a splash. You know, you just can't go in there with no, like, regular old competition. What you want to do is is put yourself out there to start making some of that money that you felt like you were missing out. So what are you going to do? Why don't you go against one of these young guns, one of these young bucks, and show them that you're the, still the top dog? You feel me? If you can't get Spence, why don't you take over there? Why don't you go over there to the PBC and knock out their youngest prospect, one of their youngest, uh, you know, most like anticipated uh, young fighters that they got coming up in the game? Boots Ennis, you feel me? Now, or why don't you just come over here to the Golden Boy Stable? I try to mess with uh yeah, get that the zone money, go to the zone, fight virtual, big money. Virgil Ortiz. When, when, when the Virgil Ortiz camp just moved into Canelo's house and is improving day by day. Facts. That's good for Virgil Ortiz to be around Canelo. You know what I mean? They say iron sharpens iron. You could spar Canelo, learn from Canelo. That'd be good work for Virgil Ortiz, man. The same Some way, Shakur works. In, yeah, the same way Shakur spars uh, Terrence Crawford and Shakur learned from Crawford. He could do the same thing. So. 
Yeah, Virgil Ortiz, man, one thing about it, he has great work ethic. Then they dumping out here, nigga. They ain't even fucking. <laughs> it ain't even 12 here. They, man, I'm a fan. What? Memphis, A, hey, bro. I'm a fucking just let off a machine gun and something. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, let me um, let me get back with you guys in like five minutes. Sorry, okay, five. Dom, for sure, Dom. Dom. We right here. And yeah, my fucking just let off a machine gun right there. Oh, hey. oh, I just heard some shit. Yeah, hey, you know damn. how it goes, bro. You know how it is out there in Memphis, bro. Oh yeah, they love this shit, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> Letting shit on hey H, but you know what? I'm gonna tell you like this though about Virgil and them. I think I think um shit, I'm I'm all for it, bro. Like I am not one of them Crawford people that don't want him to fight these boys. I want him to fight everybody, you know what I'm saying? So if he if he could fight one of them youngsters, shit, why not? I want to see Bud versus Boots. People are like, oh, don't let Bud fight Boots. Don't let the, I, I don't I'm not one of them, bro. I want to see Bud fight Boots. I want to see Bud fight Virgil. Uh especially if Virgil calling your name, call his bluff, make him fight you. Free smoke, right? That's what that's. I like that. Facts, yeah. YB. Facts, right? that's how it is. Yeah, I mean, that's what Virgil's I want to see. In, Virgil's high up in the sanctioning bodies, and so is Boots. So shit. I mean, you know, I mean, the, the two best. I mean, we can all agree that both of them, if they ain't top five welterweights, I mean, who who would say they not top ten guys? Both of them. Who would say they top not five? They top five. Exactly. There's names five better welterweights than Boots or Virgil right now. We can't. Five yeah. better than them. Who five guys you favor to beat them right now? Both of them. Right now, my top welterweights easy. We got Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, right? Ugas, Jerron Ennis, Virgil Ortiz. Those are my top five. Those are the top guys right now. Who's better? I mean, you can't say Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman ain't fought in three years. When was the last yeah. time he won a fight? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's coming right. off a loss. Danny Garcia is coming off a loss. We can't say yeah. Danny Garcia. Right. So yeah, they exactly. gotta be the top guys right now. Exactly. exactly. Sean Porter yeah. retired. Sean Porter is no longer active. He retired. Right. And Sean Porter stated out his own mouth he would never fight them young boys. That's crazy. He retired before he had to fight them. You seen that? Yeah, <laughs> the nigga retired right. so he don't have to fight them. He said, I would he said I wouldn't fight no boots in this or I wouldn't fight no Virgil. He said that shit. So and Danny Garcia even it. said he moving to 154, so they can't even say Danny because Danny yeah. said he moving to 154. And, and would you favor would you favor Danny to be either one of them? Absolutely. Hell no. In my well, opinion, absolutely not. So you know you got to think about it like, damn, when you run it back, who what other opponents are top five that are not that are not busy right now besides Boots and besides Bud? You got a champion and you got a top five guy that don't have a fight yet. So you, you know Ugas is busy, Spence is busy. Shit, Thurman is busy. The same guy that was on a 30-month layoff, like you said, H, 30 months. So, I mean, look, bro, I ain't – look, I ain't knocking free smoke. If if, if, if Bud and, and Boots can make this shit happen, make it happen. I don't know why smoke, though. though. Mario Barrios is on a two-year layoff, too, though. He got knocked out. He just got knocked out by Tank. Barrios. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's not on a two – Mario Barrios ain't on a two-year layoff. He uh, he, he fought – uh, he he, No, he fought Tank this year. He was Tank's last fight before uh before Tank fought um what's my boy Isaac Cruz. Hey I B sipping on that real shit, bringing the year in right. I B is not 12 there yet. No, it's already 12. They already been busting and shit like oh, that. Shit. Oh, shit. What, what time is it there, I B? What time, time is it? Somebody, it? It's 12:38 Eastern time right now, man. Oh, okay. I thought Somebody y'all was what I was drinking on, man. Casamigos, eighteen hundred oh, yesterday. Casamigos, man. You know we've been doing this shit, man. <laughs> you love them bottles, don't you? We all hey. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked up over this bitch. We fucked up over this. How come you stop yeah. smoking? How come you stop smoking? I quit smoking weed, man, like a couple why? years ago. I love it, though. I love it, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, why do you I stop? I love it, though. I love marijuana, though, but I just quit smoking it, man. Why? Why? I got I got it tatted on me. You know I used yeah, to love oh, it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's for but real. I used to love it. That's for real. I used to love it, man, yeah. but I just can't fuck with it no more. You got to love it or hate it. You got to love it or hate it. I work with, uh, I work with, uh, I work with, uh, older people, man. I can't smoke with my job. I can't do that no more. I had to uh, level up. Uh, it's one of the, yeah, they, they can tell if you you stoned and that. And yeah, I know what you mean. Now nah, I'm over here drunk as fuck, Paulo. <laughs> ping, ping. 
my nigga. I'll be happy to do you, boy. I even know. Hey, 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 listen, though. We over here fucked up, but look at this, though. How this look, though? Uh-oh. Hey. I'll be got a baked potato. What? what hey. That shit look what? good, bro, B. No, I'll right, be. You that boy that eating good. Hey, hey, good man, man, like he ain't been like that, man. You hear me? What? Hey, what you got? <laughs> what you got there? What is? What is that? Meat pie. What is it? Mashed potato. Is it mashed potato? Yeah, nah, baked, yeah. Like baked potato and the motherfucking steak. It's like yeah, a steak. That's and no, yeah, that's where it's at. Meat and potato, man. That's where it's at. Steak and potato. Yes, man. thank you. Steak and potatoes for life, nigga. You already know. Yes, that's where it's at. The word, the word, the word. Yeah, that's good stuff. But yeah, man, oh, I know man. a lot of people are a couple hours behind, an hour behind, you know, yeah, but yeah. You know, we, 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 we still doing it. We still yeah, doing it. Hey. That nigga did say, <laughs> hey, I'll be my boy Bud Duckin. You think Bud Duckin boots? Uh, I know Bud need to fight somebody. I don't want him to fight just anybody. I want him to fight somebody. H. H, you still there? Yeah, I'm right here. Hey, your boy Geezy said you consider you consider um Connor being a top five welterweight. What y'all think? Nah, hell nah. Fuck no. I mean, who the fuck did he beat up? A 41 year old Chris. He's Al not, he's not let me let me 10. answer the question. He's let not me answer the question. 10. Sorry, let me, sorry. Hold on, bro. Let me answer the question. Because he asked, you know what I'm saying? He asked me the question. He he said, uh, nah, hell no, man. Like, who he just beat a 41 year old Chris Air Chris Al Jerry who's washed up. Fuck out of here. You don't become a top five welterweight for beating no Chris Al Jerry, who 40 years old, my dude. And who he fight before that? Samuel Vargas? And Samuel Vargas just got knocked up by Virgil Ortiz. So Connor Ben ain't fighting nobody. Come on, man. Let's be real, bro. Nah, hell nah, nigga. No, man. He probably top 10. He probably in the top 10. He ain't no top five. Fuck no. My boy Phil say from the chat. He said, Bud, Bud is waiting on Thurman. Now, that's a bad idea. Why would you wait on Keith Thurman? Keith Thurman, he's no longer a champion. Keith Thurman, he hasn't fought in three years. Keith Thurman ain't shit no more. Keith Thurman ain't want to fight like in five years, my dude. But he, he wants to wait on Thurman who ain't did shit in boxing in so long, who's not even relevant no more. But you won't fight Boots Ennis who's making all the noise. You won't fight Virgil Ortiz or those guys, but you wait on him. I think that's kind of weak, my honest opinion, though. But shout out to my boy Phil Walker. My boy Philly was good. Yeah, I don't like that, uh, YB. I don't like that shit. Everybody say Keith Thurman is a waste of time, bro. That's what the consensus say. Everybody in the chat saying, man, everybody saying it's a duck. Boy, they saying my boy Bud Crawford is a duck. Wow. Damn, Bud Crawford in the word duck. <laughs> you know, a lot of people get exposed, but I, I like Crawford. I ain't going to, you know, say he's a duck just yet like that. You know, I might talk shit or whatever. I like Terrence yeah. Crawford. He's one of my favorite fighters, but I would like to see Terrence Crawford, you know, you know, if if he going to take a fight, you know, if he going to take a fight, I would like to see him fight Boots. He said he will fight Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman ain't fought in three years. You want to fight Thurman, but you don't want to fight Boots. And if you, know you know a real, if you a real Terrence Crawford fan, Let's hold that man to high expectations. We want to we want to see Terrence Crawford fight the best of the best, bro. He deserve it. He should. Right. So let's not sit up here and act like he shouldn't fight Boots, fellas. Hey, I want that I want that Boots fight, IB. I I think Buck could beat him. But shit, I I'm probably one of the few on the panel that think Buck could that beat the old boy. I like Boots though. No, I got Bud beat. I mean I mean I, mean, I got Bud beating Boots. I got Bud over Boots, but I got oh, Boots. Oh yeah, I beat you. Got you got Earl over Bud too. I mean, you got Earl got, over. Boots I got too. Earl over Bud, but I got I got Bud and Earl over Boots and yeah. Virgil. Yeah, I remember that. I remember you said that shit. Yeah, so you agree with me? So yeah, me, I, I'm not. I got, I got Earl and Bud over Boots, but mm -hmm. I got I got Boots over Virgil. Damn. Me, I'm not. Me, I'm not ducking that fight. You know what I'm saying? For I'm not ducking talk and being like, oh, what is Boots done? I ain't finna do that shit. Cause I, I got to keep that energy. Cause I want, I was, I was the same person on here telling Benavidez to fight Morel. So, shit, Boots done more than Boots done. I mean, 
you gotta understand, Boots is in a position too to fight a champion. So why not be pushing for him to get a title nah, shot? Nah, you know? because listen though, YB, Boots is ready, bro. Experience and his number of fight, Boots ready. He ready for the challenge. That's what I'm saying. He ready. That's what I'm saying. He, why not push for him to get a fight? If I'm gonna push for David Morrell. The fight been a yeah, yeah, for and, sure. And, 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 hey, boots ready, boots ready, bro. We ain't about to spoon feed boots like he ain't ready. Boots definitely ready. His training wheels need to be took off. He ready. Boots got more fights than fucking Earl Spence. Facts. Boots got boots got one more fight than EJ. So if, if shit, if he ain't ready now, then shit, he ain't never gonna be. And I, I believe he ready. I believe he ready. Like you said, I be. I agree with you. Shit, he ready to me. Hey, yeah. he ready. <laughs> He ready. Hey, Karma Serene said he's talking about fighting Thurman H. That's duck sauce. <laughs> Dang. Damn, that's that's real though. You see what Karma said, YB? Come on, he talking about fighting Thurman. You heard hey, it. Come on. Hey, but hey, but 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 to, but to, but to put a disclaimer in there with Karma, Boots is one of her favorite fighters. She right, she know her boxing though. I'm with her on that Bo one. Boots and AJ on the karma protection list. No, nah, Boots ain't on nobody protection list. He he free smoke. He from Philly. He ready to fight Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Anyone Virgil Ortiz, them boys want everybody, man. Boots called out everybody, dog. He has, though. He has. He said, <laughs> he said, he said 15 people turned out his last fight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, YB, and it, it's not like he just calling out some weak champions. This nigga calling out Crawford. Crawford's supposed to be a killer. He calling out Earl Spence, another killer. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Those, yeah. Hey, I would check that. I would have to check that young boy if I was the OG. He'd be like, I'm better than you at everything. I'm bigger. I'm faster. I'm smarter. I do everything better. Yeah, I'd have been like, say, young buck. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yo. Like we go yeah, and, and Boots been calling for it ain't no it ain't nothing recent. Ace Boots been calling out for Spence and Bud and all them top guys. Yeah, he told and he told Spence to his face on that on that FaceTime. You know I could beat you right now. And uh, he's able like you gonna get your turn. <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit. Boots, hey Boots, keep that energy too. I just I just remember when Boots and Bud was in person and Boots didn't have that same energy after his fight. You know, Boots and him was in the hallway. And he wasn't talking to Bud a little disrespectful way. Like, I want to hey. fight. I will, I want that. You know what I'm saying? When they was around each other, it wasn't like that. Bud was like, man, what's up with Bud was like, Bud was like, you know, on his on his big dog shit. And um, and Boots didn't really, you know, say nothing. His team was talking, but Bud was like, put him in there. So Bud I don't already, think Bud, Bud already had shit going on. But yeah, what I, I think Bud would duck him. What I don't respect is Keith Thurman acting like he ain't know who Boots' name was. Stop playing, <laughs> Keith Thurman. Oh, that's some bitch ass shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's some bitch ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know who the fuck Boots is, nigga. Yeah. Spit. Uh, your boy, your boy, your boy K. My boy KC said Boots gonna fight Ukas after Spence beat him. Yeah. I, hey, Geezy, I know Philly, bro. I uh, I know Philly, bro. My family from Philly, bro. My dad and my mom was, you know, my dad was born in PR, but he grew up in Philly. He fought. He boxed one Golden Gloves in Philly. I know Philly gyms, big dog. Shit, I know Philly about that action. I'm just saying. Yeah, Philly about that action all the way from yeah, Erie Avenue, Bloomfield, yeah, Ohio, Detroit. Y'all boys about that action. Everybody, yeah, for sure. everybody in the East Coast, everybody in the Midwest about that action. If you really want to be technical, because Ohio, y'all got more. Y'all got y'all running boxing for real. Right. We got Ohio a lot of running boxing. We got a lot of fighters coming out of Ohio. Ohio running boxing, in my opinion, I, and I'm you know I live down here, but I ain't gonna cap out. Hey, boy. what you feel about uh, uh, Bumgarner signing with Eddie Hearn? What's up? Another, another Ohio fighter, great shit. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she from Fremont, Ohio. Yup, that's what I'm saying. She stopped Terry Harper on the upset, bro, and shit, she trying to raise her profile. I mean, yep. I, I like it, and she a knockout artist. Shit, she got the look too, big bro, so she could do whatever she want to do. You get what I'm saying? So I think it's good to be with, with Eddie because. A lot of the a lot of the top female fighters are overseas, so Eddie Hearn can set that shit up with, with a lot of the UK fighters that's coming up. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's good for that's good for uh, Alicia. I hey. guess we just gotta wait and see though, because we can't do nothing to make the fights. We gotta wait and see if they happen. Yeah, Baltimore about it too. I mean, yeah, yeah, be more, yeah, be more fighters gritty. There, a lot of dudes from Maryland, DC area like them. Like Barry Hunter, Jim, you know what I'm saying? Headbangers, all them cats was really in Brooklyn. You know, a lot of them cats in the East Coast, they they bout it. It's Barry just, Hunter, D.C., though, but Calvin Ford, yeah. Baltimore. Yep, yep, Barry Hunter from Headbangers, he D.C. 
and like you said, uh, uh, your boy Calvin Ford work with uh with Tank and um and Truck. I like Truck too, but yeah, I how, I don't know. I be how you how good you think Truck gonna be? <laughs> I like Truck, man. I like Truck. You know, he got a lot of experience from sparring. He just ain't yeah. really been in no pro fights against nobody, but he tough as hell, bro. Yeah, damn. My boy KC said no one wants that smoke from Boots. Man, hey, bro, like, <laughs> I I seen Bud and him by each other, bro. Bud didn't show no negative energy, bro, like no nervous energy around Boots. Like, I'm going to drop that link of that video. Y'all got to see that shit. Bud and Boots was right by each other. Boots ain't say shit to him. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. At least Virgil called him out. You know, what while he's you there. Talking about that one that shit, of course, Stevens and all them dudes was together. Man, yeah, Boots was right but, there, though. Eh? But yeah, that was years ago, though. But eh, like two years ago, probably. But still, H, eh, he was there. Like, yo, I want to fight you soon. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm moving up. What's up with it, bud? Like, put him on notice. He ain't even say nothing to Bud. Bud but was right there. Nothing. But ain't saying nothing to him either, though. But hey, Bud told us hey, you should have checked him. Like, yo, nigga, I'm gonna fuck you up. Like he said to uh, Regis and Josh Taylor right now when he seen them. But Bud ain't saying I'm gonna fuck you up or nothing. Because like they've like been calling his name and shit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't seen Boots in person since Boots made these interviews. I'm sure. I'm sure Bud would talk to him the same way. But come they on, dumping. Oh, we got ten more minutes left. They dumping like a motherfucking. <laughs> You know, Bud ain't bullshit. Look, Bud ain't fearing no young. Bud ain't fearing no young gun, bro. I'm just gonna be honest with you, Bud. Respect him. He probably think dude can fight. He know dude can fight. Errol Spence, no dude can fight. But them boys don't fear that young boy. They was that young boy. They was that same dude that. that everybody well, I don't think they was like this type of specimen at that age, like Boots was. When, when, they scared, when, bro. When, yeah, when Crawford was 23, Crawford wasn't looking like Boots. We didn't even know who Crawford was at that age. Now the That's same right. thing. Was Spence? Right. So, well, we knew who Spence was because Spence. They said gave Floyd Mayweather a black eye and knocked out Adrian Broner in sparring and shit. So we knew yeah. who he was, but he wasn't on that level yet. Big EJ, you know, yeah, that boy Big EJ. Yeah, I look, man. I, look. I rock with boots, bro, but I, I, Bud Crawford, don't fear that kid, man. I mean, that boy is a monster, but you look, know, Bud, Bud Crawford so confident, bro. He not, he not scared of that youngin. Trust Look, me. back in the day, back in the day, YB, yeah. you know, like, if a young buck calling you out and you are OG in the game, yeah, you got to put your paws on that young man before he starts thinking he's too big, you feel me? Yeah. Before he starts thinking you, before he starts pushing his weight around and thinking he could control the yard, you feel me? Tell that to Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman was calling, uh, I mean, Errol Smith was calling Keith Thurman out since day one. And, and, and Errol Spence been pushing his weight around. Yeah, I'm right, right, man. You know that's what, what Boots is doing that's right now. Too, but you see what happened to uh to Thurman. Thurman Thurman's career done stalled. You feel me? And now he's gonna fight Barrios, which would should be an easy victory. But you never know. You never know nowadays. Because I feel like you know Thurman done lost his um the eye of the tiger, as uh, as you might say. You feel me? But hey, that's that's the same thing Boots is doing right now, where Earl Spence was doing back in the days. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sure. Not nah, for sure, he is. And right but, now, but, I don't but, know, man. But my, my era is more like but, my but, era is like more but, in the '80s and '90s. And if you if you call somebody out, you know, if you call a, uh, a OG out, you know what I'm saying? You 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 gonna get the uh, you gonna get the pause. You feel me? You know, like. Uh, oh, hold on. Hey, I want Bud to I want Bud to nip that shit in the bud. No cap. I want him to be like, hey, say, say, look, bro. Like, like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I want him to check his temper a little bit and see what he on. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, bro, you, you know I do. Like I told you, I want him to fight Boots. I want him to fight Boots. I'm just saying. Boots gonna that's check it. his temperature. Why be? It might that's be like saying. that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I want I want Boots to feel like he could beat Bud. Like dudes going there intimidated. That's they already lost the fight. So that means we are gonna see a competitive ass fight if they fight because they both believe they could beat each other. Yup. I got Boots knocking out Crawford, though. My honest opinion. I think I Boots got uh, I got Virgil Ortiz knocking out Crawford. Dang, Virg. Hey, look, Coco. You know, you know what's up. I got the juice like Ortiz. Yeah. I got the juice like Ortiz. I got the juice like Ortiz. I got yeah. the juice like Ortiz. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, there you go, Gerald. Gerald, say when that fight happened, y'all gonna see Bud Crawford is great. That's what I'm talking about, Gerald. Don, the Don, the Don, who you got winning, uh, Crawford or Boots at this stage Crawford. in the game? 
At this point, I got Crawford. I think oh, that yeah. um, I think that um, Boots is um the stuff he he he's uh he's vulnerable to uh getting caught in between count in between punches, and he's um he's too telegraphed and he and he could get countered. He he telegraphs every punch and he every punch that um, Boots throws he throws with bad intentions and with a with a with a scientist with a guy that could break down and uh. And see your weaknesses. I think that Crawford can catch him when he's loading up. Yeah, I got yeah, Crawford. Too. I got Crawford too, Coco. Yeah, and and, and hey, it's because I, got, I know I got Crawford got is the smartest the, 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 the I got Boots knocking out boots in the late rounds. I think Bud's gonna be this. I think Bud, Bud is gonna be Bud, this. I got fighter. boots knocking Bud out Terrence Crawford. Right hey, and yes, I, got and yes, boots, boots. I got boots knocking out Terrence Crawford. He got I, got I, seen I seen Crawford get hurt against uh Gamboa, I seen Terrence Crawford get buzzed against uh, what's his name, Mean Machine, and also Sean Porter hurt him a couple times. I gotta go with Boots, he's too young, too big, too strong, too fast, and that's the reason why Crawford is staying away from that kid. Hey, Phil, hey, drop, drop, that, drop that link in the chat, big dog, for this. Uh, look, and, and, and you know, hey, 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 uh, this Jeezy. Hey, Jeezy, 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 you feel me? I'm not saying that um, that Virgil is not su susceptible to getting countered or anything, but I saw the rage. I saw the rage in him. <laughs> My boy, yeah. Crawford. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Got like, the rage, yeah. I saw the rage. I saw that. I saw the rage. Hey, he, I'm telling you. I'm telling that, you about the finish. That, that bro. winning attitude, that, that no hold barred, that I'm going to kill you out of it. I'm going to get you. I'm, oh, come on, man. Like, it's something that you can't teach. Yeah, it's it's the smartness, bro. Like Crawford got way more smart boxing skills than Boots on top of ring IQ. I think Boots got better skills though. I B. I think I think Crawford got more skills than Boots. It's not far fetched, but I think Crawford got Boots when it comes to boxing skill. H. I got Boots. I got Boots when it comes to that. I think Boots. I got Boots as a better. I got Boots as a better boxer. Boots is 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 quicker. He's more athletic than Terrence Crawford. He's sharper with his defense. He can switch better than Terrence Crawford can. <clears throat> Boots is slicker than Terrence Crawford. He's faster. <laughs> Terrence Crawford didn't look so slick against Sean Porter in that last fight. You know, even his corner said he was losing before the knockout. You know what but I mean? Then what so, happened? But then what happened when he turned you know, it Yeah, up? he stopped him. He stopped him. But I'm just telling you, he was getting touched up. He didn't look too slick. His defense didn't look good against me, Machine. When me, Machine was catching him. You know what I mean? Crawford always getting caught. Damn, now, you, now you're convincing me. God damn it, H. Yeah, it, it's the truth, though. But Crawford is good, but I think Boots is better. Man, I, I, I man, no, I, I still got Crawford. I, what I about like Sugar Ray Glitter? Boots knocked out Thomas the Lord made in the Hold first on, round. Crawford, Crawford, Crawford went nine rounds with him. Hold on, let me just say this. When you think about the technical attributes that um that Boots has compared to uh Crawford, who has more tools in the bag? Boots. I think that I think that Crawford could see Boots for two or three rounds and dissect them and break them down nah, in the later, nah. later rounds. Crawford round. got the most nah, bro. Crawford got the most tools in the welterweight division. If you I got Boots. I got Boots. Boots is better. He's got more skills than Crawford. That's why Crawford don't want to fight him. That's why Crawford is, you know, staying away from Boots right now and avoiding this dude in 2022. We in a new year, and it's already ducking going on. Just like Karma said, man, I never sauce. thought I'd see the day. I Just never like Karma said, straight that, duck sauce. That, that, that Bud, right. now, Bud, now it's he the said, duck. Thurman, nigga, you talking about Thurman and motherfucking Boots is right there, and Boots is undefeated. Thurman just got beat. Come on, man. man. Bud, Bud he is calling him out. Hey, he, is. he don't want no smoke with him for Boots. He gonna sit on the sidelines and wait for Earl Spence and Uber to fight Boots. And then all of a sudden, everybody wanted to throw, uh, everybody wanted to throw uh, Loma in there, but everybody knows that the top the top fighters in boxing have been Canelo and Crawford, and everybody knows it. And you can just see it by the eye test if you don't have the skill to break down fights. Come on, H. Yeah, Everybody he's good. Like he's that. good, but Boots is faster. Boots is faster. Boots is bigger. He's stronger, more athletic than Terrence hey. Crawford and sharper. Hey, bro, them innocence though, bro. You don't. All right, I'm just <laughs> Billy right. style, man. You, know, you got real hitters, man. Crawford, hey, them innocence, bro. Crawford hey, say cool. he a bug. I thought Crawford was a boogeyman. Come hey, on, they man. cool. I'm telling you, hey. though, bro. Crawford, Crawford, like Crawford like doesn't, bug, have, man. Man. doesn't have the size though to compete with uh, with Ennis. Crawford doesn't have the. Thank you, the Don. Thank you, sir. Crawford, Crawford. Virgil Ortiz might stop boots. 
Virgil Ortiz might start uh, stop Crawford. <laughs> he might he stop could. Crawford. He could stop anybody. I'm just saying, like we know, we keep saying, like it's a foregone conclusion that Boots will beat Virgil too. I'm, yeah, I, I got Boots. I got Boots over can, Virgil. Just, but Virgil just, got to fight. Know, we, the we just is, talking from what we see. Yeah, yeah I got you. But Virgil mm -hmm. got a fight already with McKinson, so Virgil's booked already. Now the, the only fighter, fighter that's the best available fighter out of Philly to me is B Hop, but right now Boots Boots is putting on for Philly. Yeah. If, if, if Crawford well, can beat Boots, why Crawford Boots. just don't fight him and beat him and get a, a big payday? Fortnite too. Fort nice too. If hey, Crawford hey, can beat it, Boots, why he just don't fight Philly, him and beat him? You, you my dude. You from Philly, ain't you happy? Hey, hey, uh, YB, if, yep. if uh, Crawford is that good like everybody say he is, why he just don't fight uh, Boots and beat him and well, get that payday? Well, that's what I never understood, H. How come when a guy is such easy <laughs> work, when a guy is such easy work, why can't we just get him out the way? Exactly, on, he's so good. Hey, brother, Boots please is so take young. Boots ain't got no please experience because like, they think you ducking, bud. Or they, they dumping out. Ducking. Then they clapping out here. They Ooh, think you ducking, PC. Them niggas clapping like a motherfucker. Man, all I just want to know is like, where, where, why can't we get more than one fight or two fights a year? Why can't we get a nice three fight a year and you can knock down these um these young prospects? Why you? It's almost like you protecting these young prospects and and helping them get this um clout and building them up. And they sound like the play. older fighters are being protected. These guys. Yeah, the no, no. What I'm saying is that these older fighters are protecting the young ones by not taking them out the game. Man, if I was if I was an OG, yeah, I would have New Year would just have to... New Year in Memphis right now. You know what I'm saying? With the New Year, Coco to Don, New Year, H Money Boxing. I got Jerron Ennis, Boo Tennis, the LeBron James of Boxing, the Young Phenom, and David Morrell Jr. from Cuba. David Benavidez don't want no smoke with him. You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, salute to my niggas in Orange Mound, Orange Mound yes. Memphis Projects, man. Salute to my niggas in Orange Mound. I got a few niggas from Orange Mound. Yeah, they dumping yeah, right now, boy. It's starting to it's starting to pop off over here too, H. But it's only ten o'clock. Damn, them niggas shooting like a mother. Where are you at, Don? I'm in Oakland. Do they? Oh, they shoot there, surely. <laughs> they shoot everywhere. This is <laughs> yeah. America, man. That yeah, that's that's a tradition in America yeah, on a yeah. New Year. Yeah. Get your gun you know around. what I'm saying? But yeah, 2022, Coco to Don. Free smoke boxing. Hit the fucking like button. Jerron Ennis, Boo Tennis, Boxing Phenom, the next Sugar Ray Leonard, the new Roy Jones Jr. Let's go. David Morrell Jr., the next Muhammad Ali, the new Cassius Clay, Morrell Jr., 2022, H Money Boxing. Those are the new stars of boxing right there, man. Morrell Jr., Boo Tennis. It's boots time. Boots, boots, boots. We looking for the smoke. Terrence Crawford, it's free smoke. We These hold boots. Smoke. What's up with Earl Spence? What's up with everybody? These boots were made for walking. Boots. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking away. Free smoke, Morrell. Benavidez. Free smoke. Boots in his. What's up with Terrence Crawford? Earl Spence and Ugas. And that boy Ugas. Where they at? We want the champions. Free smoke in 2022. I promise you. Morrell Jr., number one. Morrell Jr., Benavidez, you better stop running. We're going to find you. We're going to find you, boy. Duck of Vidas. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, serious about this, though, like, I'm serious about this. Like, yo, uh, um, you know, Vidas, I ain't having this dog. I have no, like, real challenge. <laughs> and you know, the man right there, he, he already done dropped his belt twice. But then again, he still wants a challenge. So why don't you get that belt? Why don't you get that belt for Morrell one time so you could actually hold some so somebody could actually look at you? Because right now, you just have a name and with nothing to prove. You know, you got no, no like on the for real though, Duck Avidas ain't got nothing on his resume to tell me that he's something special. Like at least, at least take this young man out. Man, the young man told you he's gonna fight you in the streets. Morrell said that so. I'm like, damn, that's disrespectful. How are you going to tell somebody I'll even fight you in the streets with no response? With no real response? Man, them some fighting words right there. You tell me you can knock me out in the streets, I'm going to have to handle your... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's my, that macho thing you've got to, like, it's show up, isn't you? You can't you talk to nobody like that. You're going to no, tell me you're going you gonna to take my lunch. You're going to take my lunch? Oh yeah. hell! No. Yeah, he said in five fights time. Yeah, that's ducking, isn't it? 
man. That's, that's, yeah. Hey, Duck Abita is sitting right there looking for a handout. But you know what it is, though. We know what it is. Morel, Morel out there hunting him. And, you know, you got all these fights. You got all these people all around you. But you ain't mentioning no names. All you're doing is just sitting around waiting for Canelo. Canelo ain't coming back down, brother. Hey, you got to move up. You, Ivy, that's you backstage, Ivy. That's the real you, right? Okay, yeah, I think that is him. There you go. That's my boy, Ivy. Yeah, that's me. That's me. That's okay. me. I be. I be who I be, baby. Yeah, yeah hey, so the new name, year. Uh, it's only a, it's only a couple names that we want Bud to fight, man. We know who that is, man. Number one is Boots. Yeah, he don't want that. <laughs> Number they one so is weird about what girls doing, doing man. Y'all got Boots problems, man. Hell I mean. Yeah. Both free agents and shit like that. Fuck all the false narratives. Oh, he about to re-sign the fight. Josh Taylor, Josh Taylor got <clears throat> Josh Taylor got a situation he already about to go into. So right now, it should be Boots versus Terrence Crawford, man. There's no excuse, I be because look, you can't even say he's on the wrong side of the street because now he could go to any side of the street. He a free agent. Look. Why don't you just do what Canelo did and go over there to the PBC and handle the handle the work? Hey, hey, bro, I'm over there trolling my boy Havoc, bro. I'll, shout out to you, Havoc. Happy New Year, brother. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> nah, I know you rock with boots, fam. That's what's up, man. Hey, um, hey, what, hey, YB, uh, young, young Don, you feel me? Like, uh, I, I heard you on, um, what's that? Uh, I heard you on the show earlier today on, um, on, uh, oh boys, um. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. did a really good job on that show today, man. I'm telling you, I, um, damn, I forget his name right now. You talking about Joe? You talking about Joe? Yeah, yeah, the OG Joe. You know what I'm saying, that dude. Hey, appreciate you for listening, fam. Thank you, brother. Yeah, man. You know me. I keep my ears to the street, so I really want to uh, let you know that you did a good job, man. You, you real professional on that one. Um, you did that. Hey, thanks, brother. Thanks. Hey. We all know Canelo was fighting every year, though, bro. That's something that we can all agree on, right, the Don? Most definitely, man. I ain't trying to hear nothing else. I mean, <laughs> we can get into some arguments real quick. <laughs> hey, now, the Don, is, is Cano would Canelo ever duck Benavidez, bro? Is that shit legit or is that shit bullshit? Nah, it, it's, some, it's some baloney. It's some bullshit. You know, like, at the end of the day, um, Canelo, Canelo is just moving his career the way he sees fit. And uh, Benavides had a chance to do what he had to do, but he um he he cut himself short by missing weight and getting into some um some um some some of the stuff that I kind of do. So you feel me, like <laughs> except I in the boxing, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. So it's all good though. Hey, but Benavides, man, he got to get that morale work. And Canelo ain't even Canelo ain't even trying to see him like that. Like to be honest with you. Canelo ain't trying to work with you unless you got something to offer, and that's the problem. If he would have, if, if if Benavidez would have continued holding down to that belt, he would have got the work, but he didn't get the work because he lost his belt, and that's it. That's final, man. No other if and buts about it. I think Canelo's going to keep going for for more and more and more greatness till till man, he, Canelo, till, till he can't. Can he's going to he's going to go on that Cristiano Ronaldo stuff right up to thirty six, whatever. All going well, seven eight, all going Canelo, well. Of course, Canelo can, why... Canelo can be um, Canelo can be AJ. Straight up. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll tell you what. Do you know what? Joking aside, years, joking aside. A no, I'm not even sounds, joking. Yeah, joking aside, I can see that. And we're not even to joke because of the robotness. The, 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 give, the pressure. Give me a small the, guy who's the, 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 got great Canelo's movement, right movement. Shot to, uh, against a big dude in the street any day. The Canelo's they block block movement will cause havoc. Yeah. And, and, and Anthony Joshua is like right there in his midsection. I know it sounds it ridiculous, be, but it I, be I know like what a you mean. It's a duplication of a, of a Mike Tyson versus a. Um, what was this Larry one? Larry Holmes. People, Larry anybody, Holmes or, or, anybody um, of these guys, they would get whacked. Or, 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 left or, or, or Trevor. Or Trevor. Bourbon. Hey, Co hey yeah, Coco, yeah, Bourbon, Canelo yeah. cleaned out 68. So if Benavidez won't fight with anybody like in 68, why not like David Morrell? 
Canelo already cleaned out 68, man. He already handled his business there. So if you want to... Hey, Jay. Fight, Benavidez, <laughs> hold on, let me, go hold on, let me, let me hear you. I'd be saying, hold on. Because I feel like Canelo will go to 75 when he's done with Makabu. So if, if Benavidez really want a shot, he might have to move up to 75 and get in the mix up there. And really yeah, well, I agree with you, I'd be, you know, but here's the thing. You know, he, okay, Benavidez had the chance when he lost the belt at the weight. Like when he when he lost the belt at the at the weight, when he came in two pounds over, the WBC granted him the the chance to to fight um uh Bevo and and have him as a mandatory as a number one contender, even though he even though he he, he didn't he didn't uh, even though he lost his belt he they were gonna grant him that. They were giving him a favor. He chose not to do that and decided to stay at 168. He he ducked the smoke already. Now, Benavidez, he's a young man, but he's already outgrowing that weight. So what is he doing? You tell me. Why doesn't he want to move up to get the smoke? I mean, I don't, I don't know. We got to talk to Benavidez about that. I don't know what he, I mean. And that's why I call him Ducavidez yeah. because in every example that he had a chance to move up or do a challenge, challenge himself, he didn't. Because like A said, it's only a couple fights for Benavidez still at 168. That's either uh, Morel or, or what you want to plant, what you want to plant. He just got beat by Canelo. So, and, and we all know Benavidez can move up to 75 comfortably. Yes. So now, but what? Know, but what? His, will his power carry on? Because I mean, he's a he's a volume puncher. Yeah, I don't you really see? think he got. You know what I mean? For his size, he's a he got quick hands and shit like that. But as far as power, he's I a mean, volume puncher. That's he's a, a quick. That's that's a question. If his power move up, but I don't really think he's that much of a power puncher. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? He 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 really a good a, a good a good. Accumulation, fast, fast hands, volume puncher. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we well, here's see. the thing. What are you gonna do when you try to pressure somebody and you can't intimidate them with your power or your quickness? What do you What do you have left? Your defense, right? Now, when you're when Benavides is walking forward like Frankenstein, what do you think is gonna happen? He doesn't have good lateral movement. His he he. His, I mean, your best bet is just to outbox the opponent. That's your best bet. He 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 parries he parries shots very well, but how long can you parry shots when 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 the onslaught is coming in? I mean, I understand what you're saying, Coco, for sure. You know, parrying punches is just you know what I mean. Some in the meantime, in between time, just to get over. It, you know what I'm saying? When you're mm -hmm. doing your thing, but ain't nobody about to sit there and parry punches all night. You still got to throw punches and land punches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's what he does, though. Is, I'm is just telling you, that's his style. A defensive style, you know what that's I mean? That's his style. That's what it does. That's what he does. I'm telling you, that's what he I've does. I've never seen Benavidez as a big power puncher. That's all I'm saying. So No, that's fact. 175 is like, where he's everything is. He's a volume. You know, he's an accumulation puncher. He's going to wear you down. If he move up to 75, man, that, that mixture would be crazy, bro, because we all know who all the hitters is at 75. We got Zerto, Bivar, Bitter B. If Benavidez okay. move up. You just said the name. You just said the name right there. How do you think Benavidez will handle Zordo? That's a tough fight. That's exactly. a tough fight. Exactly. That's a that's a way better competition that he's ever faced. Just on that name alone. And he's a champion. Zordo's a champion. You think he he wants all the smoke? How come he don't want to? Why don't he challenge himself and take that belt? That's my question. That's a good question. And Coco to Don, we need some answers. Because he don't want no smoke. That's why. He don't want no smoke with Morrell. I told you, bro. He want to know some. You knew it. You told me. His energy changed, bro. He went from a boogeyman. From, he, he was calling Charlo a pussy and all of that shit. Talking all of that shit about Canelo. But when it comes to Morrell, oh, Morrell is such a great fighter. You know what I mean? The energy is not the same. And guess what? When Morel just knocked out his last opponent, um, Benavidez's father came to the locker room and wanted to take a picture with Morel. 
Benavidez's father want to take pictures with him. And Morel said, with all due respect, I want to fight your son. Man. That's what he said. I want to fight your son, bro. You want to take all these pictures with me and be my friend, bro. I want to fight. With all due respect. Hey, Morel give put some work in on, on Benavidez, no doubt, bro. I don't think Benavidez can handle him, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, that's why I think he's avoiding him. Because uh, Morel, like, dude, he's just too good. He's too good. Like, he has everything that I, from right now, from what I see, he hungry and he got that work. He got that work for Benavidez, for real, for real. Yep, you already know, man. He's not ready for Morel. Morel is bigger, stronger, and faster than Benavidez, bro. Morel Brez tall. He's 6'3. Benavidez is only six foot and a half. You know, and I'm, not, and I'm not just used saying to fighting those saying. small guys. I'm not Go just ahead. saying this to just say it, but did, have you seen how Morel can work the range? Just keep himself in range to 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 do a proper attack and also not overcommit? Man, I'm telling you, he has all the attributes. Joe Joe, our brother, Coco to Don, our brother Joe. What's good? Don, Happy New Don Year, guys. IB, our brothers. Paolo, Joe Joe is here. Happy New Year, Joe Joe. Happy Joe New Year to everybody. Year. 20 crew. Don How are you, my friend. You're all right. What's going on, fellas? How's everybody Yo, doing? Joe, I'm good. Hey, I'm can you guys can hear me good, right? right? right yeah, back. we can hear right you. I'm, 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 I'm currently walking my dog, and I've got 1% left on my phone. <laughs> I'll be right <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Joe, Joe, what's good? Joe, Joe, happy New what's Year, going, Joe, Joe. What's going on, H Money? Happy New Year, brother. Great year of uh, it's been a great year with you on the show, and uh, I'm looking forward to a, a for great years to come. Yeah, it's got you getting you know bigger and bigger doing your thing, man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, my brother. No problem, brother. Let's keep it rocking. Oh, I got I got two words for you guys. No, three words. David Morell Jr. <laughs> yes, sir. You already know what time it is. Morell Jr. Big time on him, bro. The animal. Fact, bro. Yeah, the monster. Yeah, Multi-skilled. The lad's got everything. Definitely has. What about boots, got, though, Jojo? Jo what about George. boots in his? He's oh, yeah. He's, he, he's my top five. He's my top five. He's up there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. He's got it all. He's got it all, too. I'm not sure about uh, – if I don't know if he can beat Bud yet, but he's uh, he's – He's, uh, he's up there at the top with the top dog, no question. For sure. I got him beating Terrence Crawford right now, and he's calling out Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford ain't said nothing. He's waiting on the sidelines. He's he trying to fight against Earl Spence and Ugas, but they fighting each other. So why not True. give Jerron Ennis an opportunity, who's a young fighter, who's calling you out, who's a top five welterweight? Jerron Ennis is the best available. While Earl Spence is fighting uh, Ugas, you know – Terrence Crawford should fight Boots in it. That's true. And, you know, you're right. I mean, that's debatable. That fight could definitely go either way. I edge Crawford, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if Boots beat him. Knocks him out. Not just beat him. He, he would knock out Crawford because we see Crawford get hurt. We seen Crawford, you know what I mean? He's a great fighter, no doubt about it. But he, he gets hit a lot. Sean Porter was catching him all night. Boots is fast. Boots is tall. Boots is strong, man. And Boots going to hurt him. Right. I'm telling you. And he got that Philly experience. That, you know, Philly's the cap pretty much what? It's the capital of boxing, right? Pretty much Philly. I mean, it's one of the best boxing cities out there. Yeah, no doubt about it. Absolutely. Uh, we, the train we, is, uh, you know, so. Uh, Joe, Joe, the Philly thing over here, and they've always spoke about Philly like that. The fight place of America, so to speak. It's got that, it has got that reputation. Right. Yeah, I've always yeah, that, got that awesome. impression. That's how it's been uh, portrayed, so to speak. And it, it kind of is. Absolutely. I've gone out there a few times. Uh, my grandfather promoted some fights out there. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, his name is Don Elbaum. He's actually my promoter for when, I, when I used to fight. But he's he promoted. He had a lot of up and coming. He had like um, Bernard Hopkins, one of in his first fourteen fights, like on the Blue Horizon. Uh, Steve Upshaw Chambers. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. A bunch of a bunch of names like guys. Uh, Ray Robinson. Like before they got to the top twenty, like you know, in, on the come up. Like he was a good, like very good local promoter out in Philly. So out in South Philly. 
So, you know, it's a pretty historic stuff. Yeah, no doubt about it, brother. So you excited for the fights uh, tomorrow? I mean, tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we sure. got fights tonight? Yeah, Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz yeah. is fighting Charles oh, Martin. Shit. I wasn't even tripping about that one. What about Sanchez yeah. though? That's Canelo's teammate. You got to support. Yeah, that Sanchez. is a hey man. That's a um. That's the next heavyweight right there. That's a Coco. Cool cool. That's what I'm saying. My bad. I mean, I don't mean to cut you guys off. My fault. No, you go ahead, Joe. Go ahead, Joe. Joe. I, yeah, no, yeah. I, I was saying I, I like I'm. I think Sanchez honestly is the best heavyweight right now, besides Tyson Fury, my opinion. I don't know if I'm moving him a little too quick, or I mean, just from my test, that's what I, what, what, what my opinion. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm right now. I'm borderline. I'm not ready to jump on the train, but I'm, I'm looking at him really closely. But I just can't oh, pay yeah. for this paper. I, I, can't, I, I can't do this pay per view, man. No way. I'm not gonna do okay, it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm nah, gonna man, do it know, just for my grandfather because he's not. Bullshit. I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend anybody that loves the PBC, but come on, man. That's that's just too many, man. That's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? That's, you. that's just too much. And I you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna. And at the end of the day, you're gonna give me King Kong Ortiz. All respect to King Kong Ortiz, but he, to me, that's not the main event. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna give me an old, an old fighter like, oh, uh, oh, uh, what is it, Gerald Washington? That's crazy. Right, right. Good point. That's crazy. Come on, man. I've seen. I, I could. I could watch YouTube clips of Gerald Washington, and I'll be bored. I, I'm bored as hell watching him just off the top. You know, and even when he fought uh, Deontay Wilder, I was not impressed. So you think right. I'm gonna be impressed? You think I'm gonna be impressed when when um when Ortiz comes in and he's and with his left hand stance and steps one foot at a time, trying to inch forward and inch forward and inch forward, trying to find the range, trying to find the range. Come on, man! It's gonna it's gonna take all night. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. The numbers are gonna do all that too hot tomorrow. I mean, t tonight. But no, man, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it just for because I don't have too many years left with my grandfather and that's like our tradition we do. So I'm going to buy it like no matter who's fighting, but I feel you Coco. I know you're saying that. Yeah, I don't man, blame him. You know, like to be honest with you, you know, like, you know, I'm already like kind of turned up. I might even do it uh, on the strength, but I mean, I, <laughs> you feel me? But I ain't turned <laughs> up enough to like make some bad decisions yet. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm mm -hmm. trying to turn up, but I ain't, I ain't there yet to make some bad decisions. That, to me, that's a bad decision. Man, I, I I support I support fights. I like to buy pay per views, but I, I can't I can't buy that one. At the end of uh, that's how I'm gonna start my okay. So if I gave myself a New Year's resolution of of saying, man, I want to see some quality fights, and I'm gonna pay for the fights that are worth the money, and then I'm gonna start it off with that one. That's how we're gonna start off the year. Man, that's a tough sell. right. Right now, yeah, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> a tough one i don't understand though guys like can could you guys like maybe uh explain to me why what, what this pbc like pay-per-view the bullshit like with keith thurman mario barrios that's pay-per-view i heard too like i don't understand i'm not i'm not really getting that like why i just think that they i think i think they're low on money because i think that the, i think that fox showtime and um whatever you know like Whatever other avenues they get their money from, you know they're they're not they're not supporting the product. You feel me? They're not they're not willing to pay the the, the fighters their wages. So the the way that they're going to supplement that is that they're they're going to pay the fighters uh, a fee, and then whatever they can make out of that pay per view is that every you know they're going to try to they're going to try to what they say the back end. But honestly, how can you pay anybody back end when I don't see that that pay per view making any money? So basically, I think they're just gonna like they just had a they they promised these guys fights. So they promised uh, I bet you they promised uh, Ortiz a fight this year, and they they right. they got to the they got to the end of it, and they were like, "Fuck, what are we gonna do? We gotta get this guy a fight." Well, man, the budget's already blown with Canelo. The budget's already blown when we uh, when we were when we had to fight Ugas and uh, and Manny. You know, we we already blew a, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of money with the uh, with Tyson Fury and 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 Wilder. And I mean, you got to think about it. They've had some big events, and they. But you know, at the same time, what they're trying to do is that they're trying to show these fighters that they ain't even worth that much money. Man, right now, if you try to tell me that t the tank stock 
Tank stock is definitely dropped. So you cannot tell me that Tank right now can demand the kind of money that anybody else can because right now nobody the the numbers show that no, he's not a draw now. That was the worst thing that they could have done with 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 Tank with something like that was put him right in a, a in, the, in the middle of the uh, on a Sunday uh, night uh, too, right? With football and, and shit like that. They they ruined it. They 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 messed up Tank right now so bad. You know, next fight now, Tank has to fight somebody big time. Like Tank has to fight a name, because if Tank don't fight a name, he ain't gonna get no numbers. And you yeah, know the sure. money team is for all sure. about the numbers. And now they, I know they're scratching their heads because they were thinking, man, we we could have got this one. We could have. Uh, they thought that Tank could sell on his own just on the knockout possibility. Well, what happened now? Is that Tank did not get the knockout. He struggled with a smaller fighter. And, you know, right. at the end of the day, the people were not interested on just Tank. People were interested in Tank and somebody. The 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 thing that, that the thing that bought the thing that made Tank get people to buy was, oh dang, Tank, the little guy is going against big old barrios. Man, that you know, that was a challenge. That people went in thinking, oh man. Tank is going to wash this guy. Tank is going to walk over Cruz. It turned out to be a good fight, but the public didn't right. know that. You know? Right. So now... With exactly. The, good breakdown. Good point. Right. So now you got these guys like um, like Ortiz. I bet you Ortiz demanded a, a grip. Ortiz was like coming off uh, two Wilder paydays. Uh, I, I, I don't know what the numbers are. I'm not even going to try to suggest... Uh, I, I, I'm not even going to try to say anything because... I'm going to be wrong because I don't know the exact numbers. But all I know is that he got a lot of money. He got a lot of money for those two fights. So he's expecting something similar. And even if it's just half of that, he still is still a considerable amount of money. You know? And and right. I bet you the network was like, we're not going to pay this guy $3 million. Are you kidding me? Pay this guy, pay this guy up front uh, 500 grand. And if the pay-per-view does well, then he could have some back end and get some more money out of that. But we're not going to cover the whole cost. Are you kidding me? Right, right, yeah. I remember so back when, like, when HBO, when like HBO, before HBO ran out, I remember uh, the first time Ortiz, when, uh, when he came on the scene, when the first time I found out about him, when he was, if you remember this, Coco, he fought uh, Brian Jennings on HBO. That's oh, yeah. like when he first came on the scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, and nah, that was know, all he, those fights were free on HBO. Yeah, exactly. Like that but, era. But see, here's the thing that's happening: fighters are getting hidden behind pay per views, behind apps, behind everything that you have to do to watch a fight. The exposure for the fight is so hard. Like, so nowadays, even for ESPN, we could get an ESPN fight every once in a while on regular ESPN. But then again, if you want to watch some other fights, you got to go to the app, or you got to or you got to do their pay per view. Then, when right. it comes to all the zone fighters, you have to have the app. So then, and then when it comes to the PBC, um, you know you could get some free fights on 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 Fox. But then on, uh, but you got to pay for Showtime. And then other than that, you're paying pay per view. So it's always it's the, always a catch. It's always so, a catch. So fans fans oh. are not falling in love. Like the regular fans are not falling in love with these fighters, their charisma. They don't even know who these guys are. So back in the day, what, what was so genius about um, and it was kind of a necessity, but it was kind of it was kind of a genius thing that they had was they would they would give you fights on on regular TV on Channel Seven. They would give you fights, so you could right. understand the guys. They would you know they would give you things for free so you could understand who these guys were. You don't even know these guys anymore. True. You know, the only, the only news that people get that are not in the in boxing like we are is just bad news. Every time somebody, oh, who's this fighter? Oh, damn, he, he did that? You know, that's what happens. The bad publicity. Yes. It's unfortunate, you're right. It's and bullshit. not all bad publicity is good publicity. I'm trying to tell a lot of people say, oh, well, all publicity is good publicity. Not all the time, brother. Because De La Hoya made so much money on the Golden Boy image. Right. You know? 
And then and then the only one that was successful really with the bad guy image was a Floyd because everybody wanted him to lose. People would buy his fights hoping and praying that he would lose because they didn't like him. For whatever exactly. reason, but they didn't like him. He made it work though, man. He <laughs> shit. But even though they didn't like him, right, man, they gotta respect that skill, man. He's best oh, best listen, defensive I've been, fight I've ever. Been to the MGM. I've been to I've been to Floyd Mayweather fights. I I I totally I totally like I I I, I appreciated him. Unlike other people Definitely. that say they appreciated him but never seen him fight. I actually went to his fights. Oh that's, See, that's the difference. I I go right. to fights. But I'm just saying, like, I'm old, I'm I'm that old where when when Floyd was fighting, I was capable of buying a plane ticket and going to watch his fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So the thing right. is, it's like, but ESPN used to cover Floyd. He was a main topic. When was the last time anybody other than the, the YouTube or, or some, some random um, website is reporting on a fighter? The, the mainstream is not. And you know why? Because these guys are hidden. Nobody sees these guys. No, all, all this pay-per-view crap is bad. It is. it is. I think I agree with you. Honestly, a lot of these guys have, I mean, they say whatever they talk about Bug Croft and they say he's got no personality and all that, but you know what? They, what about the Charlos and even Brona? He never made, well, he never made it to pay-per-view though. And I mean, he, they, a lot of these guys have entertaining um, personalities and they're, and they're not, and they're not known. They're not really, they're still not known. Like the casual fan don't, don't know a lot of these guys like a lot of my friends that are just casuals that are into only like the heavyweights or like they don't know some of them don't know the Chalo brothers and i think they're entertaining you know their person you know what i mean do i make sense like what i'm saying most definitely man the charlos are very entertaining the charlos yeah. should have been pushed man two twins that are in in two twins that are champion in boxing that right there is a meal ticket on its own how are you not promoting right. these guys better? How are you not pushing yeah. these guys? It's, it's sad. That right it there, is. just on them being twins, and they're both champions, and they're both very good. I'm not going to say they're elite, but I'm just right. saying they're both very good. And and just being very good, you they could have they could have made a killing with those two guys. How are these? How are those two guys not household names? How are those yeah, two guys not in, in 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 cereal boxes and? And, and and instead of having that bad image, why didn't they push them with the good image and, and the wholesome image? So, so they could be welcomed right. in everybody's home. Instead, they let these guys run around, run. See, the thing is, they're letting these guys run amok. The, the, what do they say? The, the patients are running the in, asylum or whatever the hell? That's what's happening. Right. So these yeah, guys yeah. are just running amok, getting drunk, going in front of the camera, slurring their words, and everybody sees it. And do you think that my uncle or somebody of age wants to see that some young dumb acting a fool? No. They no, right. they want to see they want to see guys that are out there doing wholesome stuff that are out there in the community, you know, that are, you know, things that should be applauded. And you know what? And they don't promote the stuff. A lot of the things that that happen behind the scenes don't get promoted. You know, Devin Haney has right. had a taking drive for years. You know what'd you say, Coco? What'd you just say? My bad. What'd you, Devin Haney? What? Devin Haney has had a turkey drive for years in the hood, and nobody right. speaks anything about that. There's several That's fighters right. that do so many good things in the community, but it doesn't get highlighted. Right. They, right. They don't. All right. the people it's really sad. want they don't to get the, the negative stuff about them. Right. There's a lot of positive. You're right. There's a lot of positive things. A lot of the fighters are very humble people, actually. Very. Right? Exactly. Very, they only and, want to hear the problems, and when they get in trouble, the public thinks a lot of boxes, you know, all, all troublemakers, and you know, rough shit, around the edges. Bullshit. Right, actually, some of the nicest people out there. Most definitely, because they've been through it. See, a lot of the times, uh, people are people have to go through something so they can be something and become something, because then they understand what it takes to get there. Exactly. But that's the well, thing. Well, I mean, man. I'm, I'm looking for hopefully. You know, well, my fault. I didn't mean over to no, you. No, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead and cook. No, I'm just saying, like, uh, 
hopefully, um, you know, we got we got a pretty good start. We got uh, to start the year off in February. We got um, we oh we got Gary Russell coming up. He's back in the ring, and then we got what Castano versus Charlo in February. How do you see that fight? I honestly, Coco, I think uh, I have Castano. I mean, I have I have Charlo uh, adjusting and and I. Uh, Winning a, cl- I, I I give Charlo the edge this fight. I think he's going to. Uh, it's going to be like a, like a eight rounds to four or seven rounds to five. I I think I think uh, you know what I mean. I think he's going to do enough to. Uh, I think the pot. I think he's going to have more time and and more, I mean more. He's going to be better with his patience this time around and and time him better. That's my opinion. Could be wrong though. Could go either way. It's going to be a great fight. But that's that's. My opinion. I think the timing is going to be a lot better. I think he's going to be more patient, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't think that um, he'll be able to handle the pressure. Yeah, you might be right. We'll just I have think to that, see. It. I think that um, I think that Castano has um, an awkward punch where it's the same kind of punch angles that um, Maidana has, so he doesn't see him coming. So that's what that's what hurt him. He knocked him to the ropes. Anybody else would have would have considered that. A knockdown because the ropes held him up. But That's um, true. but um, I have Castano again. Um, I I think that um, I think it's gonna take because see here's the thing, who who's gonna give that kind of work in that camp, in in uh in Charlo's camp that 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 could give him that kind of that kind of pressure that kind of work because that's what's coming because. There is no ands and there's no if ands about it. You know what I'm saying? Like Castano's coming inside and he whether you like it or not, he's coming in for that work. He's coming in there. He's gonna be in your chest. And and, and I don't think that I don't think he I don't think that Charlo feels too comfortable in there like that. He didn't he 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 proved it last time. And you yeah, can yeah, you him, might be, you look, might be right. I feel like he just kinda held back where he could have it looked like he could have, you know thrown more and I don't know I hey, I, I could be wrong I have, to, I have to watch the fight again but man. look at look at look at, look at the way that Castaño when you, when you see that fight look at the way that Castaño nullified um nullified Charlo's jab only only by simple head movement and just a little bit of um bob and weave and was able to penetrate was able to get inside on him and make him uncomfortable he, he uh, that's true. So much of the action. The thing is that he, Castaño was the one that was the the reason why I know because I I I, I study this shit. Castaño dictated the pace and dictated that fight and the way it was going to go down. And I'm not saying that he dominated right. every single aspect of the of the fight because Charlo did have some moments of success and he also was able to um, nullify and hurt Castaño. So I'm not I'm not taking that away from him. Well, I, I but, did I had Castaño winning that last fight. I believe seven to five or eight rounds to four. I can't I remember eight, exactly. That, it was a solid eight four for me. Um, right. But, I just I is, just seen some I just some things just like you know tell me that like I think uh, Charlo is gonna adjust and and get him back. I kind of like the Harrison the two Harrison fights as. Yeah, I, I well, and I like, was thinking about that, but kind of similar, was, like but, but, maybe. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, uh, Joe. Harrison is a different type of dog. Harrison, he was he was not like a like a pressure guy, like like this guy. You know what I'm saying? It's a different kind of animal. No, that, that's know? true. That wasn't the best comparison. You know, like, I mean, like, like in terms of like winning, of in terms of uh, how do I say this? Like, like he, si, he, he I know, was I know, si, a boxer. He was able to outbox right. the boxer and hurt the uh, and hurt the boxer late, right? When he when, remember when that fight, the second fight, right? He he hurt him late, yeah, and that was it, right? That that's what I that's what I mean. Like I feel like he's gonna adjust to Castano, time him, and just and catch him more, Castano, uh, more Castano flush punches. Like and... Castano, Castano's in Castano's in your grill. That's Castano true, but that's the beauty of this. Way. Castano that's doesn't know how to like fight, um, going backwards. <laughs> There's just no other. He's gonna have to to beat to beat that kind of dog. You have to be the dog. So it the only way that Charlo's gonna beat this dog is he has to become a dog too, and mix it with, I, mix I, it in. 
mix it with. I think he, I think he, I think he has it in him. If he really, if he, if he gives it his hundred percent best and he's really, you know, and he doesn't let his head get to him. And because that child is kind of, I feel like he's, uh, like an insecure dude and like let shit get to him, man. I think he's better than that last fight, man. I do, but I, I could be no, wrong, bro. That's why well, I, I, I could well, be wrong. I see what you're you saying. You could, you might be right. I mean, no, well, I I'm not taking, wrong. I'm not taking away from you, Joe, but I'm just telling you how, how styles work. You know, styles make fights, right? Oh, absolutely. I think I've been watching boxing since 10 years old, but I still have a lot to learn. There's always, you can don't know, you know, no one knows every single, you know what I mean? What, what, okay. Always, let me, always. Let, me, let me say this. What has given um, North American fighters problems and and fit in the last couple of years? What what See, what has the what has the style been portrayed, and and what has been popular in 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 North American boxing has been the jab and stick and move, hit not get hit. That's fine. Yeah. What what has what that's the the Floyd Mayweather and and a lot of people adopt, uh, adopted it and and they do their own interpretations of how to do the the shoulder roll and how to stick and move and and how they want to pivot out of um how to how to pivot out of uh aggression but if you really think about it what what causes havoc and what causes problems for these fighters an aggressive the pressure. An, an aggressive fighter that's willing to engage and and willing to Willing to go through that jab and, and willing to go through that work to get to his work. Why do you think that uh, Tank had such a hard time with with um with Cruz? Cruz. Because Cruz the, was the, coming the in style, on the pressure. Right. Cruz didn't even have a jab to work with, and he still got inside. All he did That's was true. have a high guard, and 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 it was looking for an opening, and he was able to get there. How did how does Canelo destroy all these guys that are supposed to be such elite boxers? He works his way inside. Walk, no matter how right, big you down. Are, no matter how much reach you got, that's what's killing the style that they have adopted here is because they they forgot about being a dog and being a and engaging. Like that's true. They, <laughs> you wanna you wanna win every fight on points or what? Or get a knockout when when a guy is tired and you and you finally get him out of there? Right, that that right there's way more entertaining. I'm telling you, what was Costumato, the old late great uh, Costumato? What was his? What was his? What was his? His ideal boxer was the one that could elude, hit, elude being getting hit while he was being aggressive while in the pocket. Right. Mike Tyson was the best at it. He was in the pocket, and and I seen him not even throw one punch while people are throwing haymakers and trying to connect with him, and he's right there. Just moving, bobbing, and weaving, and next thing you know, pop, pop, and it's over. True. So all all that fancy, looking pretty off that jab and all that could get nullified by a good inside work. Right. I mean, I got a question for you. Speaking of that, this reminds me of like, do you think Pacquiao fought when if Pacquiao Mayweather fought? Like I let's say five six years prior, like when when everyone wanted to see them fight in their in their prime, what would your outcome be? Who would you pick? No, I had Mayweather. I yeah. don't think Pacquiao could ever beat Mayweather. To be honest with you, no. No, I, I feel I well, I feel the same. I feel the same. And, and I'm not trying to diss on um, Pacquiao because he's an all time great, but um, even a younger Mayweather would even been worse for for Pacquiao. I mean, right. Well, a lot of people. That's interesting because a lot of casual fans I know, the the, the, casuals, the casuals that don't know well, as much as us, so like, like think that Pacquiao no. would. Right, like a lot of my friends that are only into like the, like the Deontay Wilder fights and like the you know the casual fan fights. Or they or they all say uh, like one of my best friends. He says Pacquiao would have killed Floyd. And no, like, no, the absolutely thing is, not. The problem is, is that here's the problem. Pacquiao relies on his speed and his foot movement to come in and out, and he relies on his quickness to engage and disengage and and tries to close the distance. But the problem with that is that it'll work with a lot of people, but it wouldn't work with Floyd. Why? 
because Floyd knows how to keep his distance. He knows how to look when there's been times in, 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 in fights where somebody's coming in on Floyd and he'll stand still. He won't even move back and he'll use your momentum against you. And, and, and what does he do? A nice pull counter and he lays your ass out. Even at an old age, right. he was still working the nice pull counter. Oh, yeah, definitely. So the thing is, Manny could have – Manny, I'm not saying that he didn't have a shot. I'm just saying that, shoot, prime prime Mayweather versus prime Manny. And, and we could put – okay, Mayweather at 35. No way he's – no way he's losing to Manny. No way. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Mayweather at forty, he's not losing to fucking Manny. Come on, because Manny, Manny, his angles and his quickness and everything great, but Mayweather's IQ and skill is just better. Like he's just and he's smart. He's smarter. He's just a. There's no. There's no way. He's faster no way. than him. He's than him. Look, his Mayweather, timing, his vision. Mayweather had all the attributes that made um, Manny great, but Floyd was. Better than him at those just, attributes. Just, just better. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, you're, you're a little better at explaining things to me. That's exactly what I was trying to say. When it comes to speed, Floyd was faster. When it comes to quickness, Floyd had quicker hands. When it comes to reflex, Floyd had quicker reflexes. When it comes to ring IQ, Floyd had better ring IQ, better presence. Floyd could work off Absolutely. the ropes like nobody's business. Floyd will lay on the ropes. How many times have we seen that where you think that he's getting hit? He's not getting hit. Off the, all those shots off the shoulder, off, and, then, and then he's got the other. Come on. One of the greatest defensive fighters you'll ever see will ever. be Floyd Mayweather. If you study right. him. Prob probably the best. Exactly. Defensive. One definitely top three, four. How many times did, he, did he have an aggressive fighter like blowing his wad on him while you think, oh, my God, this is going to be it. He's going to connect. No, Floyd is right in the pocket, nice, cool, and collective. And next thing you know, he he pot shots him, and the and, and, and his <laughs> opponent takes two steps back, thinking, "What the fuck just happened?" Right, no one does that shoulder roll like Floyd, man. Nobody. <laughs> There's been so many guys that took like Brona tried to mimic him, and a lot of other guys. They just no one, no one that perfects it like like Floyd. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. You know, a lot of guys try to do it, but they're they. They lack it, you know. They 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 don't have. They know the technique. They know everything about it, but they lack the the gift, the the ability, like that God given ability. Like everybody could, everybody's strong, but they're not everybody could hit a home run. You know what I'm saying? There's right. just certain things that happen in life that some people are just talented to do. And it's what you put into it, and Floyd. Exactly. I put, put put his put his. You know, he was uh, all his whole life was all about training. Floyd Mayweather a lot, was a lot of born these to be a fighter. Slacking off, partying and shit like that. Like Floyd Mayweather you know, was born to be a fighter. You live, breathe, eat, shit, box, and exactly. He he dominated the sport for years, and and I'm not going to say that he doesn't dominate the sport now, but I'm just saying he's just doing a bad job of being a promoter. Right. That's all I'm saying. Like, I, I appreciated his career, and I still – I'm not going to dog Floyd. I just think he's not doing a good job with Tank because right now Tank's stock went down, man. And I like Tank a lot. Right. It's. I thought Tank – because I think Tank is special, but see, this is what happens when you sit on a guy for too long. They sat on Tank for so long, and now – Yeah, they now, did. <laughs> Now it doesn't look like Tank is that hot commodity anymore. They should have like this last fight instead of Cruz or instead of um of um of having that fight before it was canceled with uh Romeo whatever is what's his name um. Roley, Sorry, say that again. Roley, Coco, can they, instead, oh instead yeah, Roley, of yeah. Fight with Roley, they should have started. They started. They should have started looking at one of these guys like like Devin or or somebody like that. Like you know, like like pick a name or even my uh or even uh Garcia. You know, just or, or or even just some beef with with these guys to get them in the ring, because then they could have had a trilogy. They even if even if Tank lost, they could have had a rematch. You know, right? 
And then, and then yeah, everything's kind of dragged out. Like, like, Marvelin Marvelix Hagler, he went in there, and <laughs> these guys were getting, these guys were having great fights. And then, even if you win or lost, you, we we still looked forward for the rematch because the fight was so great. We couldn't wait. Right. But now they won't even give us the fight, and we can't even anticipate a rematch because we don't even know if these guys are ever going to get in. Right now, we should have already had the Teofimo Lopez Devin Haney fight. Right, and you see what happens. Cambosis comes in, and I and I like underdogs. And right, I mean, my bad, cutting you off, but I like see what happens. Like that kind of messed up everybody's hopes because now the if if they if Haney fought Lopez now, like would it feel the same? Because after him, just losing no, it's to, over. Like Lopez, for one, Lopez is moving up to one forty. And right, but, my, two, but I'm just for two, saying, for like Devin is chasing the belt. Devin doesn't care about like it wasn't really about the Lopez thing. Like the thing is about. Um, Devin Haney, he just wants to be great. He he's striving. He, his whole desire in life, he had a dream. His name is Devin the Dream Haney. He wants to be great. He he's chasing what everybody wants, the belts. He wants to be great. He wants the legacy, and people right. are, are are downgrading it. But that's what he wants. He doesn't really. Right. He doesn't care who has the belt. As soon as Teofimo lost the belt, he went after Cambosis. He, right. He but you see what to, happens when they marinate when they try to marinate a. Like the the best fight and the best too too long. Now this type of shit happens. Like yeah, every everyone's ex you know you know what I mean. Yeah, like can't both just end up I, gets I, an upset. Hey man, I, you know, I, I just like the it, Anthony I, Joshua Ruiz with everyone wanted to see Joshua Wilder back then. Remember, and then it kind of fucks shit up. Like I predicted, I predicted a long time ago uh, on H Money when me and H Money used to just do me and him the shows. Um, in the archives, if you look it up, man, I I, I called this long time ago. I said the Crawford and Spence fight will never happen, and the AJ and Wilder fight will never happen. And this is in the time where things were hot, and people were thinking it was. And people were talking about the the money, and, and oh, man, uh, this guy's ducking this. I said, this fight's never going to happen. I said it. And, you know, I, like, like you know, I always I always just think about it because I always think about it in this, in, in, in this aspect. If the fights aren't made when they're supposed to be made, it's bad for the sport, and we all lose. The fighters lose. Right. The promoters lose. The fans lose. Everybody loses. Right. Definitely. Definitely. It's, uh, there's been so many fights that got away that we didn't get to see in the past. Don't get me wrong. We've seen a lot of great fights, but, you know, there could have been so, a lot more, man, a lot more. That we, hopefully, in these next few years, we see more of you know the promoters working together and uh, you know, you know, um, getting given given the fans more more of the best fight and the best man. That, that's that's well, what it's all about. I think that this year, to be honest with you, I think that this year the the promoters did a good job. I think that uh, we did get they to did. see a lot of good fights, and I I think that um, with all the with everything with all the due circumstances, I think that the. I think that they had the the with with all the circumstances that happened, it made the promoters have to work a little bit harder and and give us good cards because they they needed to have more attention to the sport. Because no, you're right, you're right. They did. I mean, like I'm just like these fights like that. I always want to see like Boo Boo Chal or or you. I want and uh, can't think off the top of my head. There's a few more. Like that, I really wanted to see that never happened. Look, but, man, like back fight, then, like Paul Williams versus Canelo, I wanted to see. I know we're going a little further back. No, yeah, no, but but like, I want to. I want to like, talk about that Boo Boo Charlo that you just mentioned. Yeah, Andrade has been one of the biggest, biggest what ifs in boxing history. I think right. in, when 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 everything is all settled and everything is done, and you and and, and we look back and they're gonna say. What if, <laughs> what if, right. but he, but nothing happened? What if, right? but he never got it there? Because, see, the thing is, I think that Boo Boo or uh, Andrade, uh, he, he almost like sabotaged himself. In the aspect that, for one, he had a fight with, uh, with one of the Charlos and then he pulled out, right? Then he had some problems with his promotion. Then he then he, he signs he's the first one to sign to sign with the zone. So he was the first one on the zone. I remember I was like, oh Andrade signed with the zone. Okay. But the problem is the problem is with Andrade is that 
It's not that nobody wants to fight him. Is that he has no appeal. He has no right. appeal. Right. So people don't really right. look for Andrade. Right. Well, he ha he happens to be like a, an acquaintance of mine, like I somewhat friend from from the gym and the boss. Like, but I don't. I I never asked him if I can talk about his business on a podcast. So I'm not going to get into no, anything. Okay, but no, but I, I no no no. But I respect. I, no no, Coco. This is fine. It's all good. I res I respect. Everyone has their own opinion, and I'm not saying you're right or wrong. I'm just saying like I'm just saying he's a friend of mine but it's it's all good i'm just saying like so i can't really i can't no, really no, no. say and like i can't really count you any disrespect all i'm saying is from my oh, i know you don't i know you don't from my from my boxing perspective is that right now look right now and, what is he gonna do he's just gonna no, fight another, another look he needs a name bad right he needs yeah a name he, he does i'm i'm dying for and, him to get a big fight man and 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 it doesn't help and it doesn't help that when when you go up to Canelo and you're not even in his weight class and you're and you're over there like in in his in the press conference calling him out that's a right. problem that's a problem because if anything he should have been looking for that triple g fight or something you know what i'm right. saying right the biggest why, the biggest pay and, is... and why the zone couldn't work that out Maybe you know because Triple G owns like I think he owns like a little bit of percentage in in the zone, and I think he controls his career enough that he said he didn't want to fight Andrade. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to fight right. Boo Boo. And then right, Triple Triple G should be the easier fight than Canelo to me. Yeah, but but look, man, like you know Canelo, though, top I'm, dog. Every everyone wants a piece of him at once at 60, 68, 75. Everyone wants a you know. Everyone man, I just think that I'm Roddy, man. I, man, what I'm telling you, he's gonna be the biggest what if, man. I'm telling you, like, if he's getting older, bro, he's already in his thirties. He got all the talent in the and world, bro. And the thing is, he's a likable dude. But oh yeah, yeah, and, good, and good, then, good, then, good, but, good. But the thing is, nobody takes his call out serious. No, like nobody's. No, nah, I hear you. None of his, no, no other fighter. When Andrade gets on the mic and he's like. Yeah, man, I want, I want, oh, uh, I want Charlo, and I want this, and I want that. All the fighters that he names, they're like, so they don't even. He's a champion. They don't even look for his belt. What kind of, what part of the game is that? Yeah, it's unfortunate, it's man. Crazy. He's a, he's a. They don't even want to unify with him. No, I, I hear you. It's it's, un, it's unfortunate. Like. I want to get him. I want to get him on the show soon. Just like it's taking some time because, like, every time well, I just a, asked him the I, other day, I, I but I, I haven't been down there until I just finally started man. going back down to the gym this week, and he was actually there. But I don't know. He wasn't in, like the best mood, you know. Sometimes you get those days. I'm like, yeah, you got to come on my 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 guy's podcast soon. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like, well, I think you know, that he, he, he will eventually. I want to get him on here, guys. Andrade's probably hesitant because he gets a lot of hate. You know he's yeah no nah, he, he'll he'll be good. he'll come on he'll come on though soon I'm, I'm boys with his brother his brother's actually a good friend of mine Micio he got like he got like ten to twelve different brothers like and they and then uh like like the, a lot of like he got a lot of like half they got a big ass family yeah I fought I fought I, I fought that. on his brother Tracy Johnson's undercard my pro debut in Boston uh, what do you think brother. what do you think he's gonna do then you know because I mean look he needs a fight he needs a fight a name and. And right now, the last thing I heard is that they were trying to stick a mandatory on him, and he was willing to. And I don't know if this is true or not because I'm not, I'm not, you know. But these are the things that I hear in the streets: is that he was willing no, to like, vacate the belt. So say say that again, Coco. You went out on me a little bit. Got I heard that. Yeah. I heard that they were um they they were gonna put a mandatory on his belt, and that he was willing to vacate the belt to. To like not fight whoever that mandatory was because I I don't know the 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 name right now off the top of my head but it was something like that I heard about a month ago that he was John uh, uh, is it now that dude something. Uh, uh, John something is is his man was his mandatory right uh, Beck I'm sorry that's his name yeah something like that Johnny I just can't Beck. remember like I I it was it was a quick it was a quick snippet it was probably it, I read it and 
I didn't think too much of it because I thought it was fake news. Because I, I because I think that Andrade, I think that Andrade like really loves his belt. I think that he knows that his belt is the only ticket that he needs to keep himself ready for something. But the thing is, I don't know if he, I don't know if he believes that he's gonna get a fight on on the zone now. I think that he's even questioning the zone. I think that he's at the point where he's like, should I stay with the zone or what? You know, because he's not getting the fights. Yeah, not, man. But I thought but I thought he, he was gonna do? be get. But he's I thought he was bad. at least I mean, gonna get triple G. Ready. No, he is. He is. But he's not even active Eddie. enough, though. He's not even active enough. Like I need to. Like Andrade needs. Even if he's, he needs to stay active because look, he him. looks sluggish. Who did he fight the fight before this last fight where he knocked this dude out? He looks sluggish as hell. Yeah, no, nah, he don't look. He definitely doesn't look the same. He might as well nah, just start look. getting paid and just start bum bashing and get his name ready. Who did he just fight the, before this fight? Um, K, uh, Luke. Uh, oh no, no, Liam Williams. Yeah, but he looked sluggish. He looked like he was like he looked ring rust. He looked rusty, man. I think and, Andrade and you know, and all that's with, why I was Andrade, trying to bring Andrade's people in style. for the draw, Andrade's man. Got that drunken master style where he needs to be up in that ring. So I'll tell you this: I don't think anybody beats uh, the 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 boo boo for that fought. Uh, you might you might not agree, but this is what I think from my test: the boo boo that fought um, Willie Nelson and. Uh, the do before him. Um, I think that when I think he, I don't think anybody's beating him at that. When he was, you could definitely see the ring rust after Boo Boo Nelson. You can definitely see the difference. I think you can definitely see the difference he, in his ring rust. But that's Andrade. my boy. I you know I ain't knocking him, but I'm keeping it real. Like he don't mind no, me. I already I, talked to him. I, I already I already Andrade talked to him like about like mention him on a podcast Andrade. to keep Andrade. it for three months Andrade. or I'm only, I'm and trains hard. Like he beats fan. everybody. Oh, hold on, wait, I can't, like I can't hear you, my I, bad, bro. I have nothing but respect for him. I'm just speaking, like, from what I see from the outside. That's all I'm no, saying. No, Coco, you're not, you're not saying anything disrespectful. I, I feel you. You're just saying your point. I feel you. I mean, your opinion, your opinion, you're just saying your opinion. It's all good. I, I, of course, everyone has their own opinion. Not everybody's going to. I is just, it's all about his focus and his, in his training camp. You know, the guy's better than everybody else. Everybody knows that. And they don't want to give him the fights because of that. You give Andrade no alcohol and hard training for six months, he's going to beat everybody. I didn't know Andrade drank. He does. He parties. How do you know that, John? I just have oh, that's, what I've heard. that's what I've heard down the line, you know. I already I partied know, a little bit. I can't, can't always believe what you hear. Bro. I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't know that. Sure. That's, that's, uh, that's what I've that's heard. I don't know. That's what I've heard. The most nah, he, yeah, nah, nah, nah. He, he, he's a hundred percent dedicated. He ain't. Nah, he don't. He don't think he parties a little bit. Uh, that's what I've heard. A little maybe, bit. maybe, maybe like the night after a fight, but he don't fucking. Nah, he's he's all in. Like I've known him for years. Like sparring at my gym with Speedy Ellis and shit. He's all. He's all about it. He's not. He don't fuck he's, off. Then what do you think Andrade beats everybody, man? Andrade. Besides Canelo, I don't know. He may. I don't know if he can beat Canelo. But with the Canelo's don't. A, a few weight classes. I don't, I don't no, know Canelo's that. all over the place. Canelo's fucking all over the place, bro. Forty-seven long ways from him, man. No, I'm, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not Andrade, talking about. Sheep. Andrade's not going to get the Canelo fight because Canelo's no. already way above his. Like he's already, Andrade would have to like move up, baby. Why doesn't Andrade do this? He can. You know, why does okay, why doesn't Andrade do this? You know how he has that belt, right? You know, holding that belt gives him pr special privileges, which means that he could challenge the the ch the champion above on the on the next weight class. Why doesn't he just challenge the the why doesn't he just move up, bro? And and and, and make a name at another division because obviously it's at a stalemate right there. The Charlos don't want to mess with him. Who could he, he fight at 168? Uh, Collins going to be Andrade. That's kind of ridiculous. I don't think. I don't think on the cellos aren't good as Andre. No, I'm not I saying don't. that they are or not. I'm just saying that. But they they've already made. They've already had bad business, so they're not even dealing with each other. So that's a stalemate. So what's the point of staying around with them when you can't even unify with them? Get the right. Go and 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 make your own. Make get some. Go somewhere else with it. 
Move up. Well, you still. Well, they 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 were they were talking about uh, him and uh, Saunders were going back and forth re- revisiting that fight at one sixty eight. Oh, I think that Bub- I think that Andrade could beat Saunders. Me too. That would be a good yep. fight, actually. Yeah, that's a very interesting fight. I think that I was Billy Joe to... thinks that he's that slick, but he's fight. not that slick. I think I think Billy Joe thinks that he's slicker than he is. <laughs> that's well, that David that David Lemieux fight got to his head. The styles make fights, so I mean, he's tailor made for Billy Joe. I agree with that. I thought Andrade was going to beat uh, Billy Joe when it was about to happen. He obviously, but but, but, but we got to give Billy test. Joe a little credit, though. He beat some guys, man. I mean, he beat Eubank, who's a who's a good fighter. He beat out. Uh, no, he's no more. He, 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 he beat. He beat. Listen, guys. Throw up, man. He, he beat. He beat, he beat Andy Lee. Up. He beat Andy Lee. Was a very good a fighter. Very good boxer, Billy Joe. A very good amateur. Billy Joe. Player. Yeah. I'm, I'm not taking away from Billy Joe. I'm just I'm maybe just one of the styles. biggest fights ever. Andrade has, Andrade has better movement and he's 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 better at working angles. And I think he would make it hard for for Billy Joe just because of his awkwardness. I totally agree with you. I oh, think I, yeah, I agree. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, That's all I'm saying. I'm Andre, not taking away from Billy Joe. I think Billy Joe is a good fighter. I mean, you put Billy managed. Joe against anybody, but he's Billy Joe is not elite. Billy Joe will beat. Billy Joe will beat. 93% of all the fighters out there, but he's not going to mess with the top dogs. Coco, I got yeah. a good good question for you. Uh, so, uh, real quick, uh, Billy he Joe or... Uh, percent well, oh, would he come a good game plan, well, maybe man? maybe 75%. I'm trying to be generous. Oh, I wasn't trying to dog the guy. I mean, 70, but he's 75%, but he come a good game plan. Something can happen, man. We all yeah, know I mean, that. I, I was trying to be generous with the 93, but I agree with the 75 Billy yeah, Joe or Caleb Plant? At this uh, point. Tough to... Go ahead, Caleb. Joe. Joe. No, nah, my, my, my fault. Billy Joe or uh, Caleb Plant? Who, who you got? Oh, who no, you guys Plant got, got him. Plant. Plant got I him. got Plant. Plant got him. Right, what, what, one by one so I could hear all these. If the... I'll go first. Plant. I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude, guys. I'm just, I just want to hear all you guys. You know, I want to hear everybody. Plant, Plant, do you want me to break it down or just give you the answer? I think Plant beats him. I, I think can plans break it down, too. break it down if you want. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, All right, break well, it down. So Billy Joe is not as fast as Plant, and I think that Plant is way more active than Billy Joe. And Billy Joe doesn't doesn't know how to um, set up a shot, and and Caleb Plant has a better job than um, than Billy Joe. You know, so, and I so think that point. I think that Billy Joe got hurt. In, in the Canelo fight, and I think that uh, I think that Plant learned from the Canelo fight. So at the end of the day, both of them are um, kind of s- neutral styles, but I think right. that I think that Plant has way faster hand speed than, and I think he's I think he's gonna beat him to the punch, and I think that Plant could counter and beat him in the exchange in the exchanges. Yeah, I think playing with him will be a, a really good fight. I mean, I think it would sell a lot of. I mean, that, that is a very interesting fight. And I want to tell H Money, Happy New Year, brother. Hey, yeah, man, Jonathan, oh, Happy Jonathan, Jonathan, New Year to everybody out there, Don man. Wilder Happy Wilder New Year. Don Wilder, Happy New Year. man. I've been. <laughs> we've, we've always saluted each other in the chat, man. It's an honor to be on the panel with you, brother. Yeah. And I know I'm a little intense sometimes, bro. But happy New Year to everybody! You know, yeah, yeah, man. Happy, happy New Year, Year Coco. All the best, Coco. I've Coco. I think this is my first time on the panel with you. So, and I've I've talked to you for a while in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I, happy I, uh, New Year, Joe, and Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, I know, Coco, I know, Jonathan, I know. You, uh, we've, we've been, New we've been, mates. we've been in the chat for years. Me and Joe, man, Don Joe, Don Galati, yeah. man. We've been, Hell yeah. We've been friends in the chat for years, but man, it's good Never. to talk to you, and it's it's yeah, uh, really good to um, talk some boxing, man. I mean, I like for to sure. Yeah. Man. I you like know, to, I got my Gerberto Ramirez, man. That's my man, man. <laughs> Gerberto Ramirez is is the man I love, man. He's the he's the ultimate of boxing. You like Zoo, though, don't you? Mm. Ain't my boy. Yeah, hey, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Like the monster out there. Yeah, I just need him to go up a couple weight classes. He, he is a big boy, definitely. He's, uh, Who are you guys talking about? Zudo. Oh yeah, hey man, that's a beast. He's a beast. 
Yeah, yeah, he really he really impresses me. His like his, his he he could he's kind of got it all. Like I just his last fight a few weeks ago, I just was watching him the other night again. I, he's a guy that I could just watch over and over again. That's like the style that that's he my type of some, style. That really that crowd. sweet science style. Ooh, the crowd was going crazy like over that he, guy. I'm sorry. Can I just say this? I like how he's not scared to exchange with guys. Yes, I, I like I like that he has touched, that macho. Yes, but- that macho mentality of like, if you want to throw down with him, he's willing to throw down. I, I enjoy that. It I, that old school kind of like, I'm gonna throw down and and meet you in the middle of the ring and not budge. I I appreciate that, and that's a lost art. I think he gives Canelo hell of problems. My opinion. I think Thank the only know. fighter that can beat Canelo is a fighter that'll meet him in the in the ring and not give ground. You have to fight fire with fire sometimes. Yeah, but somebody that, who don't want to even mess with fire, man. That's the problem with Gabriel Ramirez. 43-0, and 0, all those knockouts, and still no respect. Still the industry don't want to even... Is, it's it's ridiculous, man. No respect in the industry. No, in, the, in, the white, in the YTBC community, you don't see a lot of people talking about the man. They don't even mention... He, you could mention Zurdo and you could mention his name and a lot of casuals or a lot of people on the YouTube streets that are on these streams every day don't even know who you're talking about. I just feel like the whole division's is quiet. Though. The whole division is quiet, kind of. Like, I don't know why. I don't get it, but the guy I feel like the so whole division's not talking too. about. And it's one of the best divisions if you look at it depth-wise. There's That's a, a good of, point, Paulo. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Loads of depth and loads. Of, I mean, like I say, I I love, for instance, a guy who's like a contender, like a. It's very y- even. Yard. I know Up Yard won't be. He won't be the Zordo. He won't be the Zordo. The guy is the best man. I'm talking about a super champion. There's a lot of quality. It's a great I mean, division. I don't care right. if he wins or loses, right. man. I want him to fight the best. Why don't we have a tournament in that division? I would like to see a tournament to see who's the best. And yes, yeah, good Canelo idea. having a go with those guys, it's brave as fuck. I know it's Macabre first. He's tasting the water. Obviously, he's a big boy. It's a big guy. I don't blame him. Uh, but the, just the challenge alone to go to a 175, that's incredible. In he imagine place. three matches between the best or four matches between the men's, the best in the 2022, and we see who's good and who is not good. I mean... That would blow the doors off this industry. Most definitely. And if we could put them all on the same card, too. Jeez, Louise. Okay, now. (laughs) Can you imagine if we had, like, a tournament with the lower divisions and the the higher divisions and and just all stack it in, like, in in, in, a couple of weekends, consecutive weekends? So I like them talking. Like they did with uh, that one with – Usyk won the Ma- yeah, Ma- yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Muhammad that, Ali that, tournament. Did a really good they job did. with that Usyk uh, tournament. They should do that with the heavyweights, but that one seven five that would be an awesome thing. That would right. They did it it's with John the tensors. These cards, man, stack them. They well, need to start stacking it's, these it's, cards. It's, it's, they're all good, but I want to see. I want to see separate the great from the good. Like we think Zerto's the best. I want to see them all fight each other. Like Coco, that was a good, good idea. The ch- Tournament at 175. I want to see all these dudes fight each other. Let's see who the real best is. I think it is Zerto. Let's see, though. Same at 135. That division, 147. Let's, yeah, 135 let's just see who the best is, man. I need to see. We need to see who the real, the real best is. We need to let them hear us. Incredible. But they wouldn't sit at the table together and make that. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Jose. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year Jose, Jose Year. man. How you been, How you Jose? Jose Manuel. Happy New Year. Oh, he left. Who is that? Jose, Jose Manuel. Jose Manuel. Oh, it's Zerto come out here. I mean, but the guy is so humble. He is so humble. And so, I mean, so much heart in there. And he is so powerful and so technical but nobody how, wants how did, to how did golden boy get that fighter from the pvc such a talent mm. oh no from top rank i mean that's amazing i just, yeah. he, I just hope he keeps on training that hard forever and just keeps on crushing Can I tell you guys something? and you know he's still paying top rank out of like his purses 
to, because to get out of that to get out of that contract, he's still trying to he's still paying to get out of that contract. Okay. So oh, technically, yeah, he's right. still, technically, um, he still has like a a string attached with a uh, top rank. Top rank, right, right. Even yeah. though he's oh, fighting uh, under the new promotion, but um, he he did sign a big contract with uh with top rank, but he was unhappy there because they weren't challenging him. <laughs> Right. I remember the first time I seen him was, uh, I think, 2013 against Vlasov on HBO, but Boxing After Dark, I believe. It was like the co-main event of, of uh, Alvarado Rios. And I could be wrong. I thought it was – I'm pretty sure, though. I, um, Even the I analysts remember are scared. I think it was – I think, I think, I think, I think, I think it was – I think it was that. I'm pretty sure it was on HBO. Entertaining people and whipping people's asses. They're scared to say his name. He what would, makes he would him be, so scared of a guy the, that's so the, good on the, on the undercards and stuff like that. He was he was on the come up, man. He was, he was such on a like Canelo fan. Canelo undercards back when Canelo was on HBO, wasn't he? A couple, couple yeah, he couple was times. on the undercards, and Canelo Canelo was actually on uh, Mayweather uh, undercards for a little bit too. Right, I think he he's the fighter of the motor. year. That's what I think. I think he's the fighter of the year. I think yeah, he's well, the fighter. You know it's it's hard to take away from what he did this year. You he's know, active. People, he's active. The just the activity alone, but not only that, but just fighting undefeated champions, fighting champions alone, and and gathering the belts and becoming undisputed, and no matter what people want to say about the competition, he still did it. Right, and, and he, he fought good competition, bro. He fought. And, See, and, Caleb and Plant's a top guy. To right, Caleb Plant's a top guy, a champion. Like he he does fight top. Like Colin Smith you know, was a champion. I mean, I could, we could go down, we could go, you know, all day, all night about it. I think, I know we had a couple cherry picks, like, for tune-ups, but, like, I mean, he, Canelo's resume, man, it's, 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 Look, man, it's, I remember, it's, it's, it's I remember top notch. It's top notch. Most definitely. But I remember before every fight, before every Canelo fight this year, people that hate Canelo would give a reason to why the other fighter, the other opponent would win. So when they would be, when they was plant, they were like, "Oh, he's gonna have that jab. He's gonna outbox him. He's gonna dance. He's gonna move. They're gonna go twelve rounds." Okay, they said the same thing about Billy Joe. They 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 said they said that um, what was his name um, uh, when when he fought um Smith? Oh, he's too big. He's too big. He's 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 pushing him slow. You know, he's not gonna be able to go up there and and beat him. And he beat him with a body punch. Then, even when he went right. up to uh, fight the Crusher, there were people that were saying, "Oh man, you know what? Crusher, Crusher just beat um uh, the young, the young, um, the young uh, prospect from um what was his name? Uh, God, what was his name? It starts with a Y. Um, he bald headed I... Rivas. He just beat Rivas. Oh yeah, I lost you. Yeah, yeah. He, he went. He, he uh, so Crusher was just beat Rivas on a tough fight, and he and he knocked him down, and he won, and and you're telling me that he wasn't a threat? He was he, most definitely right. a threat. But I don't and see you know him what? saying really good about it, Ramirez's Crusher, name. Uh, if you really him. think about it, before Canelo beat it, before Canelo beat Crusher, um, Kovalev was the top man at that division, at, at that at that weight class right there. He was the man. Right. He still. Nobody, right. He was, nobody I understand. Was that, nobody was saying that um, anybody was beating the Crusher. Nobody was saying, "Oh man, this guy's gonna beat the Crusher." No, the Crusher was the Crusher. That's that's true. <laughs> that's what I don't really understand that whole like. Oh, they said he was uh, Kovalev wasn't the same. Whether he wasn't the same or not, he was still beating anybody else in the division. Still, besides yeah, maybe Kovalev was just a little bit after that um, yard fight. And, and you I don't know, know what? No, 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 yard no, fight. Maybe he not had a little bit concussed, and it only had six weeks. And I think he needed like like more like six months. Well, After yeah, that you're yard right, fight was, was pretty rough. I mean, was you don't think yeah, the yard fight was rough? That was uh, that was a war. You're right about that. But you know what, though, the thing, the the the, the beautiful thing about boxing is you got to time your opponents, pick your spots, and get the win. You got to win at any cost, and you know you got to get it. And that's how he did it. He picked it. He picked the right time, and he did it. I mean, he day, learned a lot from difference. Floyd Money Wayweather, I think. I mean, but, you know. He, he did it. Like, at the end of the day, he did it. Like and He did he, it, and I'm not going to cut him a horde. Look, I mean, it was a big for win for him. It was a huge win for him. I'm not even trying to cap for Canelo. I'm, I love Canelo, 
I think he's I my like favorite Canelo fighter. Too. I'm not fucking hate yeah. on him. Look, uh, he's my favorite fighter, but I'm just saying, like, even if he wasn't my favorite fighter, his accomplishments this year outdid everything. Absolutely. But what about uh, Canelo fighting Gilberto? I don't think he ain't even he ain't even mentioned his name on who? that. You know, Gilberto and Canelo. Fight. Gilberto who? Gilberto oh, Ramirez. That that's oh, why Ramirez. what I want to see. Yeah, that's a good I fight. See that. Yeah, he don't, but he I don't, think that Kovalev that. fight doesn't get. I think that Kovalev fight doesn't get enough. Doesn't get enough too. credit though. It doesn't get enough credit. I don't think because I think Kovalev beat the top guy uh, Sullivan Barrera, didn't he? Oh no, 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 no. Never mind. My bad. No, that was Andre Kovalev Ward. Andre Ward beat Bar- Ramirez. Andre Ward beat Barrera. My fault. I was just yeah. Andre Ward was the one that cleaned the Kovalev division. Versus yeah, she did. Okay, right. I was wrong on that. One. Right. Still, Kovalev was up there. Come on, man. No, not, about nobody was beating Ramirez. him besides Andre right. Ward. Not six weeks, completely re- repaired. I want to. He will still beat him. Kov- and I think, Kovalev and I think lose. that Kovalev was going through a lot. You know, like um, during this time that that Canelo got him, and I'm just, you know, I just speak the real man. During this time, he was having legal problems, and uh, he needed he needed a little bit of money because he he had a he had a case coming. If you guys remember, right? You guys remember. Yeah, he had the, yeah, he had yeah. the whole issue with uh, something with the uh, kicking a dog in the park, and he had a whole thing. And his, girl, and, and his wife or girlfriend, and, uh, yeah, and, and some other and stuff that you know I don't even want to mention is that kind of right. stuff. Right. Right. He, he, he had some issues, and and I think he was drinking a lot, man. I think he was on. I think he was drinking, and they they saw it, they saw it, and they and they got him, and yeah. they knew that they they knew that he needed the money, man. You can't let your guard down, man, in this industry, or the dog will get you. Yeah, but for for the people that say that that knockout was fake, I want I want everybody to Help. rewatch that and 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 look at Kovalev's neck, and you you tell me if you want to fake your neck getting twisted like that. He lost. He lost. Yeah, but I'm just saying that people say, "Oh no, he he laid down." Look at. <laughs> Look at his neck when he gets hit by that punch. It it goes like it twists. Yeah, first of all, I just I don't believe in any that late. I don't think anybody lays down. I, I just he didn't lay all. down. Just, there's no way. I don't. That's I don't believe. He didn't lay down. He got. He got. You're right, Kovalev. Out. He got knocked out. Yeah, that's my opinion. I think Kovalev was tired. He let his guard down and he got caught. But I think his brain was so yeah. jiggled from yard, man. Uh, he should have weighed it off a little bit. I think he could have took that shot, maybe. Now is yard or is it Rivas? I, I get these two guys mixed I mean, up. I mean, yard, right? yard, no, 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 I know by that yard, is not he, he, he yard hit him a lot of Rivas, times, really, really hard. Is Rivas the um, the WBC? Um, what's his name? Like champion? Like the? It like the inter. Uh, What's that so called? Many that division? The Bridgerweight. The Bridgerweight. Is that is it is is it Rivas or is it? Yes, I believe so. Uh, you talking about Oscar Rivas? Rivas. Yeah. Is it is he the champion there? I'm I'm pretty sure. You know, I'm kind of out of the loop with this new Bridgerweight thing. I've the past few months I've been I'm not like a hundred percent like up to par on that. Like I think a, Canelo a could be Rivas. Going on. I I think he's got a good shot. So what is that bridge or weight? Two hundred? I believe so. It's uh, yeah, I believe so. What like uh, two hundred to two o? Like is it one ninety five to two o five? I'm not positive. It's right around there. Man, I if I, Canelo, I gotta look into that. If anybody in the chat uh knows exactly, Canelo, uh, I think uh, maybe that's. Too I heavy think it's for up Canelo. to two hundred. I do something. Oh, oh, is, it what's up, buddy? is it is it two hundred? The is the minimum is two hundred, or and the maximum yeah, no, no. is two ten or something. Yeah, something like that. Bridge, it is something like that. Yes, two. I thought it's two. Okay, yes. Yeah, so two hundred. Like the official says that Oscar Rivas is the bridge away champ. So okay, yeah. I got that. Yeah, he is the okay. champ. Yeah. Okay, so it's Oscar Rivas. Hey man, I hope my boy weird. Sonny. I hope my boy Sonny Conto goes down to that because he's. I don't think he's a real heavyweight from Philly. The I don't know if he's a prospect. If you guys heard of him, he's a good friend of mine. He's like a, got a lot of. He's got some natural talent, but I I don't see him sticking with the heavyweights, man. I do. He's not. 
a, he's not a real heavyweight. His size, they they think he is because of his height, but man, he's very fragile, like very lean. I think he should be a he'd be a great bridgeweight. I don't know if you guys yeah, that, know him. That, sorry, that sorry to get off subject. Like fire, it random, says but, here, but excuse me, like it says here. The he's a hell of a fighter, this kid. He come, on the come up. My fault, Paulo. No, sorry. It just says the WPC announced the establishment of the Bridgerweight four months later on November the 9th. Established boxers weighing between 200 pounds and 224. Oh, 220. 224? Yeah, 224. This division sits between the WPC's cruiserweight and heavyweight. And so that's what it is, 200 and 224. Wow, how do you guys how do you guys feel about quite big that is I mean, that that's, that's Mike Tyson's weight two two four back in the day. How do you guys feel about about this division? I'm I like not it. over keen. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't know this. I'm no no. I'm not over keen on it to be honest. Personally, I like it because I, I wasn't at first, but I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead, go go. My fault. No, it's all good. Um, I'll just say why I just like it. I like it because it gives um, guys that are not big enough to handle big dudes that are like 300 pounds to 270, you know, like, you know, they're just getting like, a, like, like, what's that one Polish dude, Kowalowski, you know, like, it, it, you know, there's guys that are just too big, that are just I, fat. I, I, and do, too big. I, I do agree just, with that. Like, there's That's... guys that are right. athletic and, and are big and, and, you know, they just need their own division. And they are getting bigger now from that perspective. It kind of makes sense. Seven. I know what you mean. Come on. So it's a, you, yeah, need it's a good point. The, you need a division for the six six foot guy, the six six two guy, the six five guy, you know, like the six foot guy. No. <laughs> They're all six six now, aren't they? So I get yeah, I get what you mean. The heavyweights, they six six plus, aren't they? Hey fellas, okay. I'll be right back. Yeah, you get them yeah. um the six foot six guys and above on there, right? Well, well, Sonny, Sonny's like, I think he's like six four or six five, but he's like, he's a very, he's very lean, like, he's like two, he's two ten. I don't know, I think he'd be a better, I think he'd be, a, I think he'd be a really good bridge of weight, honestly. I just, I, I don't know, man. You get to, if he gets to the top, like, against like guys like Frank Sanchez or, um, Fury, or you know what I mean? This is, uh, I think they're a little too big. Which guy are you on about? About my, my, my boy Sonny Conto from Philly, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Conto. I, I yeah. think he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I well, like Big Baby Anderson, I think, you know, beats him. And like, well, I mean, it's my boy. I'm not going to knock him on a podcast or anything. I'm not, and I don't, no disrespect. He's a beast. Like, he knocked me the fuck out. The kid, great, great box. Very good. Very good heavyweight, very good in the amateurs. No disrespect to him. I just don't see him beating these top heavyweights because of the size, man. I mean, the big difference with these top with these top dogs and size. Yeah, I've seen that Conte. He'll be good for the that you know, like we, Bridger weight or cruiser weight even. Yeah, he you would su- he would suit that. I've seen that Conte is Yeah, yeah he's a good no, he's a good fighter, but like Real heavyweight at the for top for top notch right now. I don't I I don't see it. Maybe he's twenty three. I mean, I guess he's I don't know, it's possibly still growing. But as for right now, I don't know, man. Yeah, he's um... maybe maybe one one to twenty eight thirty years old. Maybe right, Paulo. Maybe by then, but. You know, yeah, he don't look even, like a real. Heavyweight. I don't know. Even then, I don't know. I mean, I've seen a, a bit he's a bit of him. Yeah, he's he's pretty fucking lean, man. You don't look you don't look like yeah, a real. He's lean. He's, he's, he's tall he's, though. He's tall. He's got the he's shoulders. Tall. He's got the shoulders, sort of the arms and the chest and whatever. But he's lean. He's thin or everywhere else. So to see. Do you get me? Yes, absolutely. He's like his waistline, like he's... legs, this and that. He's not solid, but he's like big up top sort of thing, thinnish neck. I mean, is he? Does he take? Does he take Big Baby's power, Anderson? Does he take? You know what I mean? Does he? Big Baby, I don't think the, so. No, no he doesn't man, beat that's the guys thing. at the top. No, he definitely. What does he you know? weigh then? No, I don't think so. I mean, I like Big Baby, man. 
Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Hey, Sonny, if, Sonny, if you're ever listening, no disrespect, brother, you're a beast. I'm just saying, like, the size matters. And oh, yes, no disrespect to what he is. You know, man, right, I like right. Big Baby, man. That dude, that dude has skills. He, you know, he's he's powerful. Classic, classic six he, three. Oh, yeah. uh, Don he, he, he could hit with both hands. He's uh, athletic. He's yes. the size of like George Foreman, yeah. but he's you know a young George Foreman, and um, I could only I only see upside on him. I think that top rank is going to start pushing him real. Like, and he's solid. He's not like Mr. Muscles or anything like that. His yeah, body, no, he's, his body set like a heavyweight. Natural, a little bit of yeah, some fat on yeah, him. You he, need that. I'm telling fat. you, he has that same body as a young you George need, Foreman. Exactly, he you need hard, that for a bit of that fat because otherwise, you know, it's too much muscle. You know, it's going to exert too much energy. You need a bit of that juice and you know the fat, not too much. But you you get what I'm saying, don't you? Just that. Yes, George yeah, Foreman. you get the real heavyweight look. Yeah, that everyone thing, not too much. Look, I mean, look how Fury gets away with all that fat. So not quite like that, but that's the beauty of boxing, though. Everyone, like <laughs> you know, you, you, a lot of handful of fighters who don't they have no muscle and uh, or like not a lot of like you know they don't look like the UFC guys, like but they can fucking fight. Like, look yeah, Rocky Marciano and... didn't have the best physique. You know, if anything, he looked like just a common man, but he was kicking butt. Yeah, even Sonny right. Liston. Sonny Liston and, and wasn't retired muscles undefeated. for Brussels, was he? He was just the, the, that right set. Man, um, uh, Mano de Piedra, uh, Roberto Duran, another example of a man that doesn't have a lot of definition in his body, but was a great fighter and heavy-handed. The goat. And right. then another, I mean, another example before he screwed everything up and pissed me off was uh, Mike, Mikey Garcia, man. Mikey Garcia never yeah. really had like that physique. But he was a great fighter. Right. That's right. He wasn't and, he didn't really have that much definition, Coco. And right? another and right? another fighter like trim. And another fighter that didn't have a lot of definition. And, Brandon Bam and, Bam and Rios. Physique, but he was a great fighter with um Well no, he wasn't great, but he was like a tough dude though. Brandon Rios had no muscle and he could bang. Yeah. So. Look, Julio Cesar Chavez, uh senior. He'll be he's on the pocket all day and he doesn't look the most intimidating guy, but he he had you know he had what it took, <laughs> right? Hey guys, do I have background noise? Am I good? No, you're good, right? Well, yeah, look, uh, muscles don't mean definitely don't mean everything in this sport, <laughs> you know, like a lot of, uh, a lot of casual Salvador fans. Sanchez, look at Salvador Sanchez didn't have the best physique either. Right, right. I just, I just watched him actually on YouTube earlier. Um, I've been watching old fights of my uncle lately. I just watched him. Um, who the hell was he just fighting? It was, it was Sanchez versus um, Azuma, Azuma Nelson. Yes, Azuma Nelson. Yep, yep. That's a yep, great fight. Right That's a great awesome fight. You fight. know, Azuma Nelson, uh, probably one of the greatest uh, African warriors fighters that ever came out of there. You know, like after, I'm a, I'm you know, like fight. after. You know, like it, it took everything to it took everything in in uh Sanchez's uh repertoire to beat him. It took hard absolutely it, it was, was a hard fight, yeah. and you know what? After that fight, Azuma Nelson went on to have a great career. And oh, unfortunately, made him great. Made and, him great. And, and unfortunately, um Sanchez died in that car wreck. But man, that division was hot. I want. I want uh, to. Shoot. To me, that's the biggest tra tragedy in in boxing ever. <clears throat> Most definitely, it's the biggest it's because sad. he's my favorite. Um, he's my favorite, like top Man. three fighter. I've got him, Duran, and um, sort of like like Ali. Salvador uh, Sanchez. Salvador Sanchez had everything, everything, in the tool chest, and you know what? It's something about him. His skin, yeah. he he would never cut it's that face, mate. That yeah, like face, had that it face. was hard. It was hardened at that age. Unbelievable! <laughs> it was hard as fuck. His face is the he had a leather of face. a boxer. If there's face. ever been a leather face, he had it. Exactly. Yes. He and and talk to talk about a poker face. No one has oh, a yeah. poker oh, face like his. I think I've only seen him smile once, 
And yeah. that was when it was right before the um with Gomez. Um, the fight with I the think. Puerto Rican. I forget his yeah, name. Gomez. Right Wilfredo Gomez. Yes, Wilfredo it was right Gomez. before yeah, yeah, they yeah, announced right. Give them the cheeky smile. Goes, oh yeah, yeah, you want it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I've done all, I've done all that. I've done all that. That's my week. uncle's my uncle's favorite fighter. And uh, oh, sorry guys, I got a call coming in. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shut them down. Hold on. Stop calling you guys. All right, um, that's my uncle's favorite fighter. I watch a lot of old school fights with my uh, with my uncle's got me. I'm trying to learn more about the old school era. I'm 30 years old, so you know, 1990, I was born. So like all the everything before that, I'm still, you know, you know I'm, still I'm, learn, I'm still I'm still learning. I'm still learning. You, you, you know what learn, I want to see? Is um, I want to see these fights that I used to see on 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 like HBO on PBS, like the 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 Tuesday night fights. I want to see all those old fights when when guys were like on the up and coming. Like I used to see fights on 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 cable, but they were just on like they were just on like Tuesday night, you know. And and I miss all the ESPN like um Friday night fights. Friday night fights, uh, yeah. But not like yes. the, the problem is like I um I was able to get a uh, an uh, uh you know um Gotti I uh, 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 I don't know if you remember when I had my channel, Joe. You remember when I had, yes, when yeah, you, I, I do. I yeah, I I had I had your I subscribed to that subscribe. I to had um, I had a I found um, I was able to find um, uh, Arturo Gotti's first fight, and uh, he had uh, Panama Lewis work in the corner. And uh, okay, yeah. And uh, what's funny is that YouTube YouTube gave me a strike on that one. Because uh, CBS, really, CBS has all the rights to the, all those old fights that were on like Tuesday night fights, all those Tuesday night fights where they had all those young up and comers coming up. So, oh, right, right, we can't see any of that right now. There's, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there has to be somebody, a librarian out there, that has all those great fights because there's such a that. catalog that's missing, man. Fucked up. Right. My uncle taped a lot of fights of v, uh, v, well, VHS. It's funny. My grandfather's office back in his book, uh, his when he was a promoter. He and running football cards and stuff like that. He we got an office in Salt Medford out in Boston. We and well, my aunt lives there now, so it's not the same. But like we had, we used to go there all the time and watch all tape fights. We I learned a lot of old school fighters like Simon Brown, Tyrone Trice, uh, a lot of great fights. Um, We've watched Tommy Morrison, uh, Mike the Body Snatcher, McCullum. Oh, I'm Morrison. really getting ro ro Roger Mayweather, uh, who I yes. think was who I like better than Floyd. A lot of old school fighters, man. Like I learned a lot from my uncle, but I still got a lot to learn. Like I probably don't know as much as you guys, but like I'm getting, you know, I'm learning hey, something man, new I, every I, day. Hey, I, I I watch I watch boxing, I watch fights all the time, every day on my spare time. Um, I live for you know, it. Um, ESPN mm -hmm. Plus has a great catalog. Um, and, uh, when it comes to like the, the zone, they have a nice catalog with, uh, with the Pacquiao's and the, and the De La Hoya's, if you want to go into, uh, those kind of, in that era. But, um, if you want to watch the, a couple of the old black and whites and, and things like that, um, uh, you got to dig for it, but it's on ESPN plus. You can see some of those old fights, man. It's, it's something I, I, I enjoy watching Sugar Ray Leonard. Um, I think it was ahead oh, yeah. of his time then. Uh, I mean, not Sugar Ray Leonard. I mean, Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think he was ahead of his time. And um, yeah, man, I just enjoy the sport. Like um, when I'm not when I'm not listening to boxing, I'm watching boxing. And when I'm not watching boxing, I'm either working or thinking about it. You know, like <laughs> same here. Yeah, I think that I think that's all of us on the it panel. Really me, man. <laughs> I mean, in chat and chat and the whole show. I it's think that's all of us. That's. That's why we tune in. I follow this guy on YouTube, and he keep he, every day he puts a he releases something like a, a copy from VHSs, like two hours, three hours, four hours on on a particular boxer. Like today, he released Tyson. Then yesterday was Roy Jones. Then Prince Nassim, Steve, you know everyone. Sonny Liston, old school fights, Sugar Ray Leonard. It's crazy. Right. You know, what? Yeah, it's good. Old school fights. That's you know, awesome. Good, good quality. All all copies from VHS. It's called Nick M's Boxing. Um, oh, nice. What what is it, Paulo? Say that again. Put on YouTube, for instance. Go on YouTube and put uh, 
Nick and then Dash M's as in yeah, yeah. M, M's classic boxing channel. He posts oh, nice. shit loads of old school VHS tapes from the HBO shows fucking on everybody. You can imagine. Awesome. Old school. And up to not long ago. But the old You know VHS. the sport it's even in one lifetime you can't get it all in, man. Yeah. <laughs> right. It takes right. I think it's, it'll take like two or three lifetimes just to get it all in. There's been so many fights, so many different fighters and genres and um that it, it it takes like right now we're living this generation but i'm telling you just to catch up on the old stuff it's impossible so so far he's, tape, he's, he's, tape, he's put up say something like let's say seven uh 63 tapes boxing tapes for instance all of three and four hours plus just old school fights of anyone you can imagine it's incredible Ernie Shavers, Gary Kutzia, Lennox Lewis, Costa Zoo, John Ruiz, for instance, two hours of John Ruiz. No, there's four hours of John Ruiz, the old heavyweight. Just anything you can imagine. It's crazy. You guys want to want to hear? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, Paul. No, you're right. I want to say this one quick uh, fun fact of like, so I'm from Boston. So my grandfather, Johnny Gagliotti, he was, a, he was a promoter in the 90s, like a big time local promoter. He had Mickey Ward. He had Hagler for a few fights. And he had John Ruiz. And, uh, he had John Ruiz, like his first, like he got John, my grandfather, Johnny Gagliotti. He got, you could look it up. You guys can look it up on Google too. It's all there. YouTube, Google. He had this, he got John Ruiz, like his first, I believe, I believe like 13, 14 fights. I'm not exact. I'm up it's some, something around there. But then my grandfather, unfortunately went to the feds and that he had Mickey Ward too. He got Mickey Ward a ton of, up and coming wins locally at Lowell, right down the street from us. And uh, Mickey Ward was like cellmate to my father. I mean, excuse me, he was working at the jail. I think he was a god. My when my father was doing time, and we got a good history. Like we got a you know good boxing history. So you know, I grew up on this. Like very, uh, Vinny Cardo. I don't know if you guys heard of him. Uh, they were my grandfather was supposed to have the um, Benny Briscoe versus Vinny Vinny Cardo fight. It it fell through. I kind of forget the details, honestly, off the top of my head. But, like, uh, we come from a historic, you know, family around here. And I know Speedy Rashidi Ellis from my gym. And uh, I'm hoping he gets a big fight. You know, we see Boo Boo comes down and spas. And Boo Boo's from Providence 45 minutes from, from here. So, so, you know, we have some good history around here. Boston, we got some good local up-and-coming fighters coming up. Adrian Tonka Sosa, 12-0, and I believe. Uh, he's with Lou DeBella. Uh, shout out to Adrian if you're listening. Uh, and we got Anthony, Big Daddy Hines, my boy. He's like 12 and 0, super middleweight. He's a he's a killer. He's you know we're trying to promote him and get him r- rocking. And uh, I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm rambling on. I'm just excited for these next few years, man, with all these dudes. And my boy Speedy Rashidi, he he wants all the smoke, man. He, he got all the talent on the road to be to be anybody. But I don't know. If, he can be boots and a couple. You know what though? He's got the talent. He's got the talent. He's just the power. And the power is a little suspect. But my boy Rashidi, he's you know he's a he's a good ass fighter and a great kid. I would shout out to you, Rashidi, if you're listening. And but yeah, H money to go to all day. I got I got to leave in a couple minutes, guys. And sorry for going on a little rant, but just you know amped up to be talking with you guys, man. Great great show as usual for real. Yeah, man, Joe, cool. man, you know, like, got to get it out, baby. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I appreciate you, man. One I time I was, um, I kind of like was, talked to everyone in my bad guys. I kind of went on, but just no, excited, you know. What the first time I heard you jump on the panel, I was on my way to the um, to the airport to drop my mom off, and um. And I heard your story about your grandfather, and you explained it, and I was like, okay. So, yeah, man, I, oh, I yeah. salute you and your family, and I wish you a happy Appreciate new year. It. And I, nothing but the best for you, man. Uh, it's been a oh, pleasure. Yeah, I kind of repeat. You, I kind of repeat myself, and p- pleasure knowing you too. I kind of repeat myself. Like I don't come on all the time. Like maybe like the past few weeks. No, like no, twice no. But, week, it, but it's good though. It's, it's just, good. You know, it's a. It's a. I haven't it's been on with you it's yet. It's a beautiful story. And um, no, don't. You know, I'm not. Try, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to let you guys know, like the, I, you know, my background, because I've known you for a while in the chat, and uh, 
You know, like we come from, I come from the boxing life. You know what I mean? My uncle was a pro fighter, my grandfather. I turned pro after only 10 amateur fights, but it, it, he turned, he has the pro connections and I had some skill, but I just, the party and overtook. I'm, I'm yeah, better off just. That happens. I'm just, it happens to the best of yeah, us. Yeah, I'm not. I, you know, I was a good club fighter. I can hold my own against, I'm good, I can hold my own against like, Good fighters, but you know, just not world championship status. I keep it real. It's all good. Most definitely. You know, you know I I fell in love with I, boxing. I can I can box a little bit. I got I got some experience. I just I'm more I'm better off as the and uh watching and coaching and talking about it with you guys. At this Hell point. yeah, and I think that's the best part. As long as you're appreciating the sport, I fell in love with the sport because of my grandfather. He was a boxer and he was the champion in the navy and. Um, so we're very and, similar and, and just, um, like some of the things that he would teach me while I was little and, and just his, his advice, um, right. For as long as I had him, you know, um, uh, rest in peace, you know, like, yeah, he, rest he in peace. Yeah, okay. Sorry for your loss. And, and, and I think, I don't know, I don't know if it's for everybody, but to me, boxing comes in the, like in the bloodline, you know, like. I, I, I can't escape it. And even though I wasn't allowed to box because my mom didn't let me, uh, I played other sports right. and I was very competitive, but um, it's, it's definitely awesome. something that I, we used to buy all the fights. We used to always watch boxing. Like, and like throughout the eighties, we just had the pay-per-views all the time. We had big fight parties. So it's been an integral thing. It's It's been a beautiful thing in my life. You know, like I don't, I don't Absolutely. ever want to go without it. Absolutely. My grandfather started me into boxing when I was uh, like 10 years old. Like, so when I, when he got out of the feds, he just every weekend, I, he, he lived actually the next street over to me where I live with my mom and uh, and so it's funny because every weekend he'd have me over, right? He'd, and I didn't like the fights at first, but like the first, like when I was younger, up to, up until the age of 13. And then I, you know, just something just changed. I don't know. I guess I wanted to, act like a tough guy, like my uncles, you know, they were all like tough street guys and stuff. And my grand and I get trying to, trying to be yeah, like them. And then I started, then I, I started like it. Oh yeah. yeah. Talk, to you, talk to you later. All right, Coco. All right. And then I just started really, you know, and then he, he, he made me fall, he made me fall in love with the sport. And now he don't even like it. He's 83. He's just kind of done with it. He just kind of like, you know, cause he's at that age where starting to get forgetful and, you know, shit like that. Outlaw, my brother was good. Happy New Year, my brother. My brother, so I'm bro. Yeah, I'm here, bro. I was just here. What's, What's good, bro? My bro? Happy New Year, bro. Happy New Year, Hold on. Let me switch to my uh, laptop. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Oh, good, bro. <laughs> You're all right, Outlaw. Happy New Year, man. What's going mate? on, bro? Happy New Year, bro. What's going on, Latin? What time is it there? What time is it, bro? It's 6.45 p.m. Quarter seven, lad. Six so nice afternoon. But get gets to get dark in about an hour, hour, hour and a half. Oh, so, here, you know. oh so it's the evening there. Yeah, but it's still the sun's still out, bro, because you know it's summer. So. Yeah, you got you guys see it out first, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah you so do. You really do. New Zealand, there. New Zealand might be in front. I don't know. Yeah, you definitely see it out there way quicker. We're we're out of time. We are. You're what time is it now, bro? What time we is got, it you let? We've got it's basically twelve hours difference. Oh, so it's about six in the morning. Seven, like. It's seven forty four forty seven here. Okay, where, yeah, Paolo, um, where, where, where are you? Oh, my fault, my fault. Oh, no, I'm just, um, what's up, bro? No, you're right, mate. I'm, I'm what's in, up, uh, bro? I'm in Robin Robin Hood land. If you know, obviously Robin Hood, Kevin and Costner, that cheesy film. Oh yeah, Nottingham. Nottingham. Yeah. I'm a Robin Hood. Yeah, not you know, you know, not you know. Uh, Robin Hood land there in the forest. Near that. 2.48 right now. Yeah, it's, it's seven. It's quarter to quarter to eight in the morning. 
Yeah, I remember you. I come on, Joe. I think you were talking about your um, family. And that. I remember I was talking to you, Brian, in a chat like ages ago. I can't remember which channel it was on. Do you remember, bro? I think it might. Did you do you watch Anthony's Thunderdome's channel? Might have been on there. I remember. Wait, I remember. Are, you are, you are you talking to me, bud? My my phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is yeah. My name's Jed though in the chat. Jed, Jed, Jed yes, chat. Jed, yeah. Jed, yes, brother. Yeah. What's up, pal? Sorry, I, I didn't. I couldn't. I, it doesn't say. On here, who's who? Is it yeah, I money's... come on the outlaw anyway. I'll come on as the outlaw because that's my gym's name. Outlaw. Oh, outlaw. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? So, want to just say that again? My fault, brother. It's kind of, it was kind of hard to hear you. Yeah, I think I remember talking to you. You were talking to me about your grandfather and that chat ages ago. Maybe it was on one of Thunderdome's videos. Did you watch his channel? I think it might yes, have been on there, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I watched a few channels, you know, I, yeah. back when, when I first started. When I first started, he was the first channel that I saw on YouTube. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where it would have been. Way, way, way back. But um, no, my point, my point was, I was just saying to Coco. Uh, sorry if I'm rambling on, guys. If I'm, I'm not trying to be boring or anything. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like half asleep. But uh, but what I was saying was like, my grandfather. It's funny. He got me into boxing. And, and now he don't even like it because he's just he's just so disgusted compared to the old times, like with a lot of the judging. And at least he's if he, well, you know, when, you, when you're in it, well, he's in his 80s, so he's like, you know, it, it, things the the mind's not as fresh, and it's just like opinions change and feelings on things that you love in life, I guess, change. But you know that people aren't the same when they're that age. You know, don't blame me, bro. The sport, you know, there's, there's definitely some frustrating things with the sport, you know. So I could see why. Right, but I'm, I'm right, right, right. But I'm in which I understand that. But at the same time, we, you know, I'm, I think we're gonna have a good year in the sport, and uh, I'm trying to gonna try to keep it positive with the sport. But I just definitely want to see these divisions, like especially the 135 pound division, man. The best fight, the best. Just like H Money's always saying, and all you guys, like we just, I just want to see the best fight, the best man. Like, well, what's been, been good, um, what, what's been a good sign, bro? The last few years is um all these undisputed like divisions, like that's that's a good boxing's going in the right direction, you know. We've had Crawford, oh, Taylor, yeah. Usyk. Um, that's uh, that, is, that is true. Yeah, um, even. Charlo and Castano are going to fight for undisputed in a few months, so I think we're on. That's the, true, that, man. That's, that's true. Yeah, maybe that's maybe I'm being a little too hard, just as like a hardcore. No, fan. I still maybe agree I'm with being... you. I, I still I still do agree with you, but I just think that that's one thing which, which I've been happy to see. You know, I think that's that's good to see that undisputed no, sure, coming a, sure. a more regular occurrence. Right about you're right about that. You're right about that. Yeah, and we got. Do, do you guys know the opponent for Gary uh, Gary Russell? He's fighting right uh, soon next month. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure who the opponent is. Though. Yeah, it's the guy from the Philippines, uh, Manny Pacquiao's fighter, Mark Magaseo. Mark Magaseo. Oh, okay. Have you have you seen him? Hate you? I never watched. Yeah, he him. fought on a, a Manny Pacquiao Ugas undercard. He knocked out a guy named uh, Seha. You know, but he came from behind. He actually was losing the fight. He got back up and he he knocked the guy out, but. He does have powers. He's bigger than Gary Russell. Um, Gary Russell's coming off a layoff. You never know if, he, if he's kind of right. rusty. You know, if he get hit with a big shot, you never know what could happen. But I expect That's Gary right. Russell to win. Right. Yeah, it should be, it should be interesting. But if he's like any rusty or anything like that, you know, it only takes one punch. And, he, you know, that guy has power. That Max Ayo has some power. But I expect Gary Russell to win a fight, though. He's undefeated right. as well. Yeah. yeah, looking at the guy's record, undefeated. So he's yeah, you know, yeah. That's 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 a good challenger. I'm gonna have to go watch that fight. Who was it? Sayhari knocked out. Um. Oh yeah. Say it again. Who did he knock out? H. Sayah. Sayah. I think he went like twelve rounds with Rigandow. He was a he was a contender though. He knocked out a you know he was a, a decent fighter, and Maxeo knocked him out. He he got dropped a couple of times in there. But you know, Max Ayo got back up and he got him. You know, I see you a backstage, Taco. Connect your device, Taco. I see you backstage. Happy New Year, though, to everybody, man. It's a happy you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 2022 is gonna be a great year for boxing. 
I'm I'm expecting big things from Jerron Ennis. Boots Ennis, I like that kid a lot. What you think about him, Al? Sure. Yeah, I agree, bro. One of the best prospects in the sport. I think him, him, um, and, uh, what's the the Cuban, uh, Morel? The one, yeah, one Morel, two guys. those are my two guys. Sweet. What yeah. up, Taco? Big Taco. Where's the boys out, bro? What's up, brother? Yeah. Happy New Year, pal. Happy New Year, Taco. You already know, celebration. Come off mute. Yeah, you're on mute. Come off mute, Taco. Yeah, happy I mean, new year, to Taco. Taco. Happy new year. Happy new year. Yeah, I know he's partying right now. My boy Taco, <laughs> you already know Taco. <laughs> 2022, Taco. That boy Jerron in his boots in his. That boy, oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> telling you, boots. You know what nah, I'm he saying? He is nice, bro. <laughs> he is nice. Yeah. Hey, Taco, my boy David Morrell Jr., Devin Haney, 2022. Devin Haney, undisputed. What can Haney, 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 Haney. <laughs> Haney and Cam Bosch. Come on, Man, we you, better Taco. see it, bro. Come on, you, though. That's why Come I want to see it. That's why guys, we you, better Taco. see it. Haney, Cam Bosch. He can't hear you. Come on, he's you. All out he's on mute because he got the speaker. He's got so the speaker. Out, so he's probably yeah. blasting the music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Celebration. You already know, Taco. Yeah. <laughs> so Hell hello, yeah. Great good times. Come on. It's money. Who do you got in the Charlo fight? Charlo Castano. I'm going to go with got? Castano. But I like Charlo too, though. But I got Castano in that one. But yeah, man. In, in 2022, let's go for the undisputed. Us Usyk and Tyson Fury, undisputed. We going to have... Uh, Ooh, a Terrence Crawford a and Earl Spence. Terrence oh, Crawford God. and Earl Spence oh, in, in 2022. Come on. Devin Haney and Cam Fury Usyk. Big yeah. Yeah, Usyk got to beat AJ, man. I seen Anthony Joshua. He's hanging out with, uh, Floyd, with fucking, uh, Floyd Mayweather and shit. Oh. So, man, it looked like he training hard. He's learning some pretty Floyd stuff. I don't think it's money for it's pretty. Taco, what's good? Come off mute real quick, man. Let me hear what you're saying, man. Man, yeah, what that is. Hey, <laughs> hey, y'all don't even know about the bloody pack, though. Y'all don't even know the bloody pack, you feel me? <laughs> hey, pure THC, you feel me? Out pure pack, THC. You know, y'all don't even know about this. You feel Man, me? What, what's this up with new, it? New. You know what I mean? Y'all can't get this nowhere. This is real exclusive right here. You feel me? My cuz make this. You feel me? You only can get this when I tell y'all the online site to go. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, hey, what's good with it? it. Hey, what's what it's like? What it do to you? It's going down, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you know what I you know you know what I know about bra bloody nose after a night out sniffing all that Colombian. That's what I know about the bloody nose. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what my nose be looking like, bra. <laughs> okay. My boy that's Taco my... turned up on the new year. Let's go, Taco. Yeah, turn up. It, Taco. Devin Haney versus Cam hey, Bosch. Hey, in my Wukanda, though. In my Wukanda, though. Yeah. yeah. You see me in my Kashiki. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm in my Wukanda. You feel me, shirt? You feel me? <coughs> 2022, we bringing it in. You know what I mean? You feel me? Hell yeah, that shit fresh. Get it. Yeah. My boy Taco dripping. He that's dripping on him, Taco. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you, 2022, Devin Haney versus Cam Bosis. Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Come on now. Let's make it happen. These fights better happen. Bro. You see uh, Anthony Joshua, he, he's hanging out with uh, Floyd Mayweather, man. So it's like he taking this thing serious, man. What y'all think about that? Outlaw, got, what you think he's about got that? New trainer, right? yeah, he's got a new trainer as well, eh, H? Um, like Joshua. Yeah, I heard about that. But what you think about Mayweather helping him? I like that. No, I can only help, bro. You know, Joshua Mayweather's one of the you know the best to ever do it. So why not? You know, if he can, if he can thinks he can bring something to his game, it can only help. You know, can't hurt. And I mean, he just lost to six. So what's he got to lose? You know, he can, he can only help listening to more people. That's why Roy Jones tried to even reach out and give him some advice, but he, he didn't really want to listen to that. So so maybe he'll listen to Floyd's. You know. Because Roy I think Jones Josh was going to win. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. No, you go ahead, bro. Go, go, go. No, I just want to. I'm taking Joshua in the next fight. I think. I think he's going to. I think he's oh, going to. I think he's going to beat him. 
I got two minutes to roll up. I got two minutes to roll up. You only got two minutes to do it. I got two minutes. <laughs> Hello. Two minutes hey. to make time. Hey, hey. Y'all see that good? bloody pack, man? Yeah. Woo! What's up with oh, that? Man. What did it do hey. to you? Hey, that's pure T-A-C, man. Pure. Hey, that was pure Magic Wanta in the pack. Ooh. In the drink, though. What you, hey, what did, what you mix it with? Man, I don't know what my cousin mixed that shit with, but that shit got me <laughs> faded, nigga. Really got you faded, though? <laughs> I feel you, bro. Cause I feel you, man. I'm turned hey, up I'm, myself. Hey, I'll be lying to tell y'all if I'm on, if I'm not on right now. I'm on <laughs> like a motherfucker right now. Oh, man. I hear that, bro. I hear that. And that's Good that shit. nice shit. level shit. Taco on that next level shit, well, man. Oh, shit, H. Hey, we got one minute, bro. Fuck. Well, he's the he's in the twelve o'clock, like, o'clock. o'clock lad for you. It is a New Year's. Yeah? Oh yeah, look. <laughs> now nah, he got about one minute left. <laughs> That's when he got one minute left. Yeah. One minute until oh. the new year for him. Hey, where, where I ain't gonna make it, bro. <laughs> he, I ain't gonna make it. He's in California. Yeah. He's not making that's it right. That's three. Oh shit! I was just thinking. That's right. It's three o'clock out here in Boston. I'm like, wait, yeah. what are you guys talking about? I forgot. Like one up for the new year, Taco. Man, hey, hey, I might go out and go bust my shit one time. Ah! Yeah, you. <laughs> Damn, so happy he's still in 2021. Year, my boy feeling still, good for sure. He's still a year behind us. Oh, he's I hear people busting. <laughs> oh, I hear people busting. They busting. So let me go and bust my shit. I'm gonna eat busting. Yeah, they sure. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, 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 Happy New Year, brother. Happy New Year, Young Taco. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, love it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Celebration. Hey, here. My yeah, brother Taco. My shit in. I can't even bust my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout Happy out to New the Year. Family. You feel me? The family right here. Go outside the front, y'all. Let them know. Let them go. Go outside the front. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Taco, taco, wait, taco, know. Where, where, where's Taco from? Wait. He's from Oakland, California. Oh, nice, Oakland. nice. Hey, hey, y'all. That's how you Hold do on. it, Taco. Hey, hey. that's what's up. Hey, this for the new year, y'all. This for the new year. <laughs> hey, for the new year, man. I can let one off for the new year one time. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, y'all heard that shit? <laughs> no year, you feel me? Hey, hey. hey. Go. You know what it is. Hey. Let hey. know. That's what it is. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, one more for my nigga Dolph, you feel me? <laughs> hey. One more for young Dolph. <laughs> Hey, happy new year. <laughs> Rest in peace, dog, man. 2021. My boy Young Dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey, exclusive, man. Live on H Money, man. All y'all can get the realest shit on here, man. You feel me? The real like, shit. Yeah, man. Man. Oh, you smash the like button, man. You feel me? Only real motherfuckers come to this channel, man. All you fake motherfuckers gone, man. You feel me? <laughs> That's hey, channel on YouTube. Mike, like real yeah, mother, Mike, you know, Hey, is, hey uh, where can y'all where can y'all find this shit at? Y'all can't get this shit nowhere else, bro. Nowhere else, nigga. But Ace Money, nigga. You feel me? Real hood shit, nigga. No, that's how you it, do nigga. it. Respect. Oh, they busting they shit. Hey, they busting they shit. Hey, 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 but they busting they shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, another one up for my nigga Nato, man. Another one up for my nigga Nato, man. Yeah, shout out um, to Big Taco, man. Appreciate that, my brother hey, Taco. You already know. Up for my nigga Nato, man. You feel yeah. Me? That's how you do nigga. it, look. Hey, hey, real nigga shit, man. Nigga, real nigga shit. 
You already happy know, New Taco. Year, you already know. Happy New Year's to my nigga Ace, bro. Nigga, we Man, out for here. Sure, Taco. You already nigga, we out you here. Know, here much you know, Taco. Down, I appreciate bro. that. You already know yeah. what time it is. Ace money come out here, nigga. You already know, Taco. We gonna turn up. That's for crazy. Sure. That's how you do it. That really is how you do year. it. 2022. <laughs> David Morrell, yeah, David Morrell, and Jerron Oh, Ennis. day. Oh, my Ennis. Come on, David Morrell. Yeah, you go now. Let's That's go. the way to roll. Fuck firecrackers. That's the it's way. funny. I'm with That's you nice. on Boots, bro, and Morrell. But the only thing is, I just don't know if Boots can get by Bud yet. I just don't gonna know. Smoke Boots going to smoke them. <laughs> Bud is good, but Boots That's is better. That's a great fight. Boots is younger. And I love Boo, uh, Bud, but if I had to pick one, I'm going with Boo. Over everybody. Very close fight. I feel you. That's, the, that's definitely it could go either way. Sure. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that'll fight a Boo, so I don't think that'll happen this year. I can't do it. I, I, th I think Crawford will probably fight Taylor. I think that'll probably be the fight that happens this year. And that's, that's a bang up, too. I'd love to see that, too. Yeah. I think that's that's a, a hell of a fight right there, man. Paolo, who, I mean, uh, my fault, not Paolo. Outlaw, who do you have in that? Who do you have in Crawford, that one? Crawford and Taylor. I'd still favor Crawford. Yeah. But, yeah, but it is a good fight. No, for sure. Pond, salute. Happy New Year, bro. Yeah, Taco, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my boy. God damn. <laughs> my boy turns up, man. For hey. sure. Hey. Hey, hey nigga, we know he's playing. <laughs> hey. I see. Hey. Hell yeah. Hey, we know he <laughs> Oakland, California, man. Oakland. <laughs> you already know. My boy Taco, man, that's that California love, man. That's what it's all about, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the whole of Devin Haney. Is it giving that? That's how it's supposed to be, just like that, man. Short. That's that California love, man. You know what I'm Andre saying? Andre Ward, too. Andre Ward's from Oakland, right? Yeah, that's OG, Ward. man. You know Bill Haney, though. You know Bill Haney, real one from Oakland, man. Shout out oh, to yeah. Bill Haney. You know what I'm saying? That boy Devin Haney going for undisputed, man. Devin Haney on a mission. He wanna be undisputed. I hope he get. I hope he gets that man. I hope he gets that. I'm rooting for Devin because he's, <laughs> he's, he's money, nigga. It's he, money. He lives time, for nigga. the sport, eight, man. Nigga. No drinking, no nothing. Eight money, yeah. nigga. Fuck all that shit, nigga. It's eight money time, nigga. Yeah. Eight Facts, bro. You already Facts. know, Taco. Eight money. Eight money. Eight money, nigga. Eight yeah. Money. Facts. Let's go. Let's Straight go, up, Taco. Nigga. Facts. Let's go. This we're gonna play what? Definitely gonna blow. Yes, sir, Paolo. Man, my brother JK, you know what time it is. You know, my brother. brother. Always, my bro. Play with Always love you. I appreciate Sunday, that all the yeah. time, y'all. Everybody know Yo, that. It's you gonna know? play well. You know, H Money, I've been rocking it's with you too since you started. Watch, 2022 is gonna be a better year, it's man. Going to it's, gonna, it's gonna get better and better. Yeah, Watch. You get bigger and bigger. You get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no one's putting much work as H Money on YouTube this year, bro. Well, he he didn't know it. That grind, <laughs> no, outlaw, that's, that, that's the grind right there. Yo, yeah, real love for the sport. Yeah, true right love, there. true love. True it's love for the sport. Guys, they in the gym, they working and you training, do your amateur trying to get work. better. Yeah. Just like right. H, H, said, H, H, H money, you ever come out You ever come out to Boston at all? Uh, no, nah, I've never been over there. I, I really, you know, haven't traveled like that. Like nah, I feel you. Cause I got like I got this a lot of good prospects out here right now. Like I got to do twelve and 0, uh fourteen and oh, like like dudes on the come up, man. I I I'd like to maybe one day like get on the show, but it's up to you. You know. Say it again. 
I have. Can you can you hear me? All right. Yeah, I hear you. Can I you hear me? You know I, I, yeah, I, I have. I have a lot of like up and coming prospects, like fourteen and old, fifteen and old, like dudes, like that. I'm trying to get more publicity with, like, like maybe one day I could get them on the show just to. Uh, yeah, get for there. sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, anybody's a friend of yours, man, is a friend of mine, man, and they welcome. You know what I'm saying? They welcome Appreciate to the platform that. anytime. You know, it's an open platform, and I love boxing. Hell yeah, and and like they're good. They're not like the most like best promoted fighters, but they're they're real talented kids. Like a couple a couple different guys we got yeah, from. Give me the best ones though. I want the best now. No, nah, I got I got some I got some killers, man. Adrian Tonka Sosa, he spotted at Mayweather's gym. He spotted uh, Cambosis. Adrian Tonka, he's actually with Lou DeBella. Um, he's from our gym, you know. You, well, you know Speedy Rashidi. He's from our gym, and uh. We got we got a few good guys. Anthony, Big Daddy, Hines. He's twelve and zero. We got some good up and coming guys from Boston coming up. Yes, for sure. I want the top guys. I want the best ones. I want the best of the best. That's what I'm looking for. The best. No, I feel I feel you on that. I I, I think they're right up there. But <laughs> yeah, it, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, it's like you said. You think they good for sure. Oh yeah, no, I appreciate it. Well, well, this this year we'll get it rocking. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I'm ready for the big fights, man. You know, I want to see what's next for. Oh uh, yeah. What's next for Terrence Crawford? What's the next move gonna be? Is he gonna sit and wait for the winner of that fight? Is he gonna sit and wait for the winner of Earl Spence and Ugas? We gotta wait and see. Or does he go up to one fifty four? Or does he fight Boots Ennis? That's the fight that I'm pushing for. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I believe in Boots Ennis, and I think Boots is ready. Boots called out Crawford. You know, uh, Crawford need a dance partner. Boots is ready. Yeah, I'd like to see it. Right. I, 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 think, call, I think Crawford fights Taylor. That's, I, think, I think that'll probably happen. I'd like to see Boots, though. But I've got a feeling Crawford probably will fight Taylor. Like I was saying before. You, okay, you think he'll wait for Taylor? I think so, yeah, because they've got the same kinner hand. You know how he just flies both of them? Now somebody got some noise. Well, dang it. JK, that's who? Who is that? Oh, that's me. Who is that? I think that's coming from you, Outlaw. No, you good. But, yeah, Terrence Crawford, Josh Taylor. I know Josh Taylor still got to fight at 140. Josh Taylor still fighting at 140. You there, Joe? Oh, oh yeah. Am I am I thinking of somebody else? No, or did he not just say? Did could you guys hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Did, did Crawford say? Um, didn't Crawford say did, did, did he was moving up to one fifty four? Am I thinking of one of the other top guys? Um, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I, I could, I could, I could be wrong. I thought, I thought I just heard that from somebody. No, I don't. That that, that don't sound. I don't. That don't sound right. I thought it was Crawford. Some one, one of the champs I, I just heard about. I can't I'm trying to think. Oh, shit. What do you think of that? If you ever went up and fought Charlo, <laughs> or, or fought him in a catchweight? Nah, I really don't want to see him move up right now, man. You nah, got man. unfinished business at one forty-seven, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you beat Terrence Crawford. I mean, Terrence Crawford beat Sean Porter. That's cool and all. But a lot of people be Sean, uh, Sean Porter. That's not enough at welterweight. There's, there's too much smoke at welterweight, man. Yeah, you gotta yeah, fight fact, the, fact. the rest of those guys. No, I want fact, to clear out the division. Wipe it out fact. like you did 140. Yeah, absolutely. That's all I'm saying. I want to see the best fight the best. I want to see him fight Jerron Ennis, man. You know what I'm saying? Like Josh Taylor, that's a good fight. But Josh Taylor's still at 140. You got to stay busy. You got to stay active, man. No, for sure. Yeah, you can't just sit around wait on people, man. The boots is available. You available. <clears throat> Let's make it happen. Nah, you know what I mean? Man. Why nah, not? Man. That's a good fight. People want to see it. I right. demand Bo it. Right. And boots is a free agent too, right? He's not. He's not with uh. I think he got a promoter though. I think he was Salida. Yeah. Salida Promotions. Dimitri Salida. They got a uh, Clarissa Shields. They got shields. Right, you know, right. Some good fighters. They got Otto Wileen, Jerron Ennis, Brian Norman Jr. 
They got some guys over there for sure. Right. They and they also don't they got a they got a contract with um ESPN too, like top rank, right? I well, he's so been fighting on PBC. He's been fighting on on a Showtime. Like <laughs> Showtime, Showtime. Showtime. Right, but I, I they got some fight. They they got a con. I believe they got a contract with uh ESPN now too, though. So it shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be like the hottest fight to make. Like honestly. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I hear you, bro. Oh. I hear you good. Oh, all right. Yeah, because um oh wait, like Crawford's all done now, right? With top rank. Yeah, he done with top rank, bro. He's that shit is over with. No more, bro. He told you remember he told Bob Aram to his face. He said, Bro, yeah. I'm, I'm leaving Bob. I'm not with Bob no more. Yeah, let's make you know what? Let's make that boots fight. You're right. Let's make that fight. The time is now. Like, I mean, how long are they gonna? What are they gonna do? Are they gonna pull that shit that they pull with like like Mayweather's pulling with Tank? Like they, they let's make the boots Crawford fight now. You're right, man. Let's see that fight now. Hey, that's the best fight possible right now for him. You know, who else is he going to fight? Danny Garcia? Come on, man. Boots is way better than Danny Garcia, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right, right. Those are those are the top two right now, Walter Witt. You know, because Earl Spence is fighting Ugas. So you can't fight Earl Spence because Earl already got a fight. So what, what you going to do? Sit and wait forever? Nah, create your own lane. Yeah, no, no, Don't no, sit absolutely. and wait. You know, what's the next best opponent? Sharon Ennis. Get it on. Fight. That's my one and two right there. Bud and, and Ennis. Let's really see who's the, who's, who's the best at, in that division. Because I think either one of them beat uh, Earl Spence and uh, Ugas. I want to see what happens with like, like the like the middle, like the mid, the middle tier, like Rashidi, uh, Virgil, uh, Jamal James, all them dudes. Like, I want to see all them mix it up with each other. Like, I'll tell you what, though, uh, Joe. When you look at Jamal uh, Ennis, is how it's proportioned. It's uh, you look at Morel. That Ennis, he's got the physique, mate. If ever there's an eye test, he has. Definitely. Oh, yeah. That boy, so the truth, he knocked out Sergey Lipinets. Sergey Lipinets went 12 tell. rounds with Mikey Garcia. It, and Jerrion has knocked him out. Even Mikey the Garcia could have knocked out Lipinets. Why Mikey Garcia could have knocked out Lipinets? And Mikey Garcia was on a pound for pound list, man. Quit playing, bro. That man, the real deal. Ain't just no eye test. That motherfucker's special. That motherfucker could oh, fight. Yeah, nah, nah, the way he beat Lipinets is a great beat the fuck that was out a of great Lipinets. statement. That was, that was a big time. And then how about how, how about how he just beat uh Delorme Delorm? Yeah, Thomas Delorme may knocked him out in one round. Terrence Crawford went damn near 10 rounds with that dude. Yeah, that's and he won rounds against Terrence Crawford Delorme. And Delorme just was winning rounds against uh Stanionis. And he fought Jamal James. Right. Yep, hey, you hit me down, bro. Is it all right, man? Yeah, you good, perfect. You good, brother, perfect. How you doing, bro? Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on, bro? What's up? Are we bro? talking about still boots and Crawford? Uh, talking about he was talking about, I think, uh, Jerron Ennis and, his, you know, some of those guys he knocked out, like Thomas Delorme. You know, Delorme, I believe, went about eight rounds or nine rounds with Terrence Crawford, and Boots knocked him out yep. in one round. And before yeah. that, Delorme just went 12 rounds with Stanley Onis. He went 12 rounds with Jamal James, you know. So, yeah, and Boots just destroyed that dude. Like, nobody ever did that. I think the judges had him and Crawford even as well. About the time yeah, of the yeah. it was a close fight with Crawford. And Boots knocked him out in one round, just destroyed the guy. He ran through him like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, that was a big statement, big statement, so. Yeah, they, so they can't say, oh, Delorme was old. No, you can't say that because Delorme just went 12 rounds with undefeated fighter Stanley Onis. Went 12 rounds exactly. with Stanley Onis. 
Yeah. D- yeah I, 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 a good, a very good, te- a very good. Uh, what's the word? Bar- um, like a almost like a, like a, a gatekeeper yeah, yeah. type of. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like he's a good um barometer or whatever. Like you said, bro. He tells you where Bar- you are. Yeah. Right? Yes. Exactly. 100%, yeah. Bro. yeah, I agree, man. I think Crawford should fight Ennis because, like you said, Taylor's fighting Catterall. Spence is going to fight Ugas. Let's make that fight now. Let's make that fight this year. Let's get it. Why, Let's fucking get why it. Why not do Crawford boot stamps? I'd be, I'd, I'd be one hundred percent up for it. That would be a dream fight. That would. That would remind me of Roy Jones versus Tony. Remember, Roy Jones was like the up and comer, and Tony was like the pound for pounder. Mm. It was like the. Oh, yeah. it was like the. That, that would remind me of that fight. You know. Incredible fight. The skill set, fucking okay, no. But, um, yeah, that's diff- a brilliant yeah. fight right there. That's like a chess match with spirits of great exchange. That's everything, actually. I mean, everything. Crawford, Skill, Crawford, IQ, everything. Crawford and his boys know it's a tough old fight, though. They wouldn't take it. Like I keep saying, unless they bloody have to, because they know it's a fucking possible. Oh, it's yeah. tough as fuck. I think Crawford's got the IQ and the experience, but I think Boots has got size, speed, athleticism, like all the intent, you know? That's I, why, think, that's why I, I think it's, it's harder fun. than Spence. Boots, now, I, I got a harder. question for you guys. Sorry to over talk when you're when you're done about that fight. No, no, I think uh, Crawford does uh, potentially, potentially, we don't know, does uh, Spence easier than he does Boots. Boots is a harder you, fight than Spence, in my opinion. But do you guys Crawford. see those two taking a lot of risks against each other? Like, do you, do you see a lot of exchanges? In that fight, or do you see more of like a, like in a, more of a chess um, match? Yeah, calculated. I know what you mean calculate. It will be calculated, but maybe but see, left I, I think Boots is going to force. He's going to come at Crawford early if they were fight because like Crawford's kind of susceptible early on. I think Boots will try and take advantage of that with his speed and you know how quick he is, how athletic he is. I think he, I think he'd probably try and jump on Terence early, try and catch him early. So I think that fight will probably. Get going pretty quickly. They'll definitely, they'll definitely be a bit of a chess match earlier on, and yeah. they'll be thinking in there. But I think it'll heat up real quick, you know. So I think Boots will look to touch Terence early because that's right. when Terence is I, most vulnerable. Should I say? Should I say like what I really mean is like, uh, do you think the casual fan would would, would enjoy that fight? Yeah, I think um, it'll be a, a blow. I think it'll there'll be a fucking um, a yeah, I think it's still a ring blowout. I do. It won't be. It's, no bloke dominating on the outside. I actually think it'll do because the skill sets are so high of both. They'll be fighting it out to the death in the middle. Believe it or not, right? Because a lot of like fights like that, some of uh, I think it's like fifty fifty. There's a lot of high IQ fights like that. You know, the a lot of my friends like like uh, casual fans might not find interesting like we would, if that makes sense. Yeah, like because the, they can like, be stalemates. Those fights can be stalemates, but I think in this particular fight, because they do like to engage, Crawford likes to engage, right. have a little fight fight, and and Boots also likes to, you know, in, the, in their East clever way and whatever, and they'll they'll slug it. There'll be definitely moments of they'll, they'll slug it, and someone obviously will come out on top. Right, that's what I think. There's definitely moments of heated exchanges. Oh, definitely. But skill, not looking like... Like, style, mate. like right. a style cancelling each other out. No, they'll definitely touch each other up like fuck. Yeah, I think I think that's a brilliant fight, man. I hope we get it. Yeah. I hope we get it. Knock down each, all that sort of shit. So that stuff. Definitely. I think that fight, yeah, exactly. It has a little bit of... Uh, it'll give, uh, give the fans a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Yeah, you'll be the young cat, isn't it? Absolutely trying, trying it, trying to fucking get the the marbles and the the old boy um, hanging, you know, sort of on. And the young cat's very, very good. And that young old cat's not going to want to take him on because it's a fucking dangerous fight with no reward, unless he has to. And I keep saying unless he, it's like number one mandatory, blah blah blah. So that's not ducking, but he will duck him until so. Yeah, he's gonna duck right. him until 
he can't. That's why I said uh, Boot is going to need at least another fight to get into the number one mandatory and all that. And then the pressure is on, on all the boards, on all the functioning bodies, sanctioning bodies. Yeah, that, that's he's, how he's like, one, he's like a man on one, but three, three, three on the other. So another fight, then he builds up, and then and then he fuck it, Crawford has to, unless or relinquish the belt or whatever. Yeah, that will take a few out. months. That's going to take, I think, a month, a year though. But like we're saying, we just like to see it next, you know. That's... Oh yeah, could tell me about it. Who doesn't? But that's like I was saying, Paolo... boxing porn. <laughs> But <laughs> like I was mean, like I was saying to Joe a few minutes ago, lad. I think um, I think I said it to you as well. I just think I think Crawford Taylor is what they'll, I think that's the fight that's most realistic next year. I don't even yeah, see the it's more realistic. I mean, yeah, I keep I, I keep saying that, and we will see Crawford Taylor before we see Crawford Spence. I agree, especially with Kinahan advising both of them it now. Just will. It just is, yeah, exactly. That makes it so much easier to make, you know. I, th- I think that's why Crawford was in Dubai recently. He's probably meeting up with him. The and guys keep probably... saying it's going to be hard to make because he doesn't. Um, Crawford doesn't want to work with, um, possibly with, what, top rank. Oh no, nah, he'll still work yeah. with him. But no, I but think... Taylor's been calling out Crawford for two years. He's always wanted that fight because it's his. Def- that's his his um, legacy defining fight. Crawford will still work with top rank as well. He, he just will. he yeah, might not be signed to him, but he'll still do work with him. But like I keep saying, I'd love a Crawford boot, this and that. But when you look at all the, in realistically, you kind of think, no, nah, it's not going to happen like that because it's too much. It's too much at stake. So why is yeah, he? Why, why history, would he like, like fight boots? On, it's such a hot guy. Okay, right, no, the Taylor gonna, fight is definitely more him. realistic. I think yeah. it, is, it is a duck. It will be a duck. Anything they choose, it will be a duck. And you can see why, because he could lose it all. The hottest guy on the on the block. Give me, give, give, sorry to over talk you, my boss. Give me either brother. fight. Give me either fight. I'm good with either fight. So which one we got then? Crawford Boots. I mean, and who? I'm, cool. I'm cool with either one. Crawford Tyler or Crawford Boots. Uh, yeah, definitely great fight. Great what about point. Spence Ugas? How, how do you see that playing out? Can Ugas cause the upset? Do you think with Spence being in that, you know, coming off another layoff, can Ugas no, pull no, off? I've got, I've got Spence winning. Yes, yeah, so I, I think, think Ugas um, gives Spence. Uh, I think there's a chance he gives Spence a lot of problems. I mean, especially with uh, given the circumstances. Like, I think uh, Styles make fights. I think that. Uh, I mean, I don't know what Spence gonna. I don't see him getting having an easy time getting inside on Ugas. Like, no, I mean, I don't. No, only, yeah. only two guys beat um, Errol. Beat um, Errol. No, three Crawford, like an Ortiz or a Boots, for instance. That's about it. Yeah, not, yeah. An, not an Ugas. Okay, Ugas. Yeah, he beat uh, Pacquiao, and yeah, he's been robbed, but he's. I'm sorry, he's, he's not going to. He's not going to do Spence. No chance. I think, like Joe no. said, though, I think you. I think I think Ugas will have some success. I think Ugas will have. He's got like, a chance. Sorry, but he's not going to do it. With him, though. Yeah, I think you will too. I think Ugas will do well, but I think Spence might stop him late to the body. Maybe ten round. Yeah, nine, ten round. Well, got, let's I've see what, what Spence as, we get. Let's see. Let's I've see what higher seventy to uh, thirty I of that fight after everything. After everything that's happened to them, uh, you know, you know what? Though? I thought I thought he looked good against Danny. His first comeback. Uh, I mean, I know he's had the retina now, another layoff, but I thought he looked good against Danny. I thought he was a bit cautious in the first couple rounds because Danny's a big puncher. You know, Danny can still punch a bit, sharp counter puncher. But I thought once Errol got into the groove, like he started, I thought I thought he looked good against Danny from about round two or three onwards. You know, after a couple rounds, so I, I thought Errol looked, looked like his usual self, pretty much. You know, so I, 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 I think he can come back all right. Yeah, he will right. do. He I think Danny was the, the perfect fight for uh, Earl to come back with, honestly. But I mean, nothing that uh, Danny's a great fighter, no disrespect. That is him, a but... good point. That's a good point. Uh, it, it wasn't the hardest style matchup, no doubt. I just I think like... that was a tailor made style. Yeah, 
That Errol. that is a good point. That is definitely a good point. Cool. I just mean I was just looking at Errol how he reacts, what he's doing. He still looked like the old Errol, you know, pretty much. But it wasn't. Oh, no, it that, wasn't. that's a great that. No, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. That's a great. That's a great win for uh, Danny Garcia. Is a top, a top. He's a top guy. He's a top guy, and still top. He just definitely uh, beats a lot of guys like on the on the come up, like like out there. Still, right? I'd have to say so. He's the top, yeah. top. He's the best gatekeeper at that division. Oh, well, yeah, Dan, Danny Garcia is an elite gatekeeper. Absolutely, he's the best gatekeeper. Ugas yeah, is a, um, sure. very, he's a he's a trickier style matchup to spend. And he's not a top that. boy because he just doesn't throw enough. He's always looked shot putting the, well, uh, the left team over team the left he over. Though. Think he's trying to do an Amir Khan on everyone. Well, he's just a counter puncher to the core. I think that's, that's just his style. Yeah, that's his style. He's he's never going to get many decisions on a tight fight because he doesn't throw enough. And his um, and his feet are stuck in cement. But he's so solid he's a as Good he's a counter puncher with, 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 great with, with, with has. feet that won't move. So he's kind of limited, you know. Uh, one, one thing I like about him, heavy puncher, great chin. Danny flat yeah, footed a bit, bit flat foot, bit yeah, uh, basic foot foot foot. yeah. But he's hell of a puncher and great chin. Oh, guys, I just seen Melvin Everett in the chat. Uh, says one through ten, what number of a chance uh, do you give? Do you guys give Ugas versus EJ? Ask them in the chat each money. I've just said um, it earlier on, mine seventy thirty. Yeah, I'll, oh, sorry, I'll, I'll, give it, I'll give it a four just to be a bit more generous to Pella, but I'll give him four out of ten. That's I'll what I was going to say. Four. Yeah, seven three. Yeah, seven three. Yep. Three out of ten, I give him chance. Seventy thirty. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Cush, yeah. Uh, yeah, Cush in the it. chat's got got Ugas, I think, because he said he gives him a six. It's mad, isn't it? So he's favouring Ugas. So I've heard something. I think it's a very entertaining fight, though. It? I think. I mean, I think it's going to be a Kush, Come and tell us how, how he does it. Sure. I'd like to see Kush, Come and tell us how he does it, Ugas. Because it's mad how I can have it. Some people would have it sixty forty one way, and then the others might have a sixty forty that way. And, and, and you know, Pella, I'm only going like that because because the layoff. Like if this was Spence a few years ago, I'd probably even have it twenty seventy five. You know, in Spence's favour seventy five eighty. Do you like, think the Pacquiao win is is influencing any of the decision? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it, it was a good win though. I know, I know it was an old Pacquiao, but. Pacquiao still was the favourite in that fight. You know, and what, about, to see. what about the Horn um, Pacquiao fight? What 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 was that class then? Uh, well, I think Pacquiao got robbed in that fight. Yeah, I had it was still tightish. It was tightish though. Uh, right? I had an eight four to be honest. I can't see eight Jeff four. Really okay, winning, okay. Winning that fight, you know. But I got to be yeah. honest, eight four with a, with a ten eight round. I think Horn True. was more than lucky to get that. Yeah, it was a freak decision because I I'm pretty I, sure I had Pacquiao winning that clearly. Yeah. And so that I I was watching it live on, on the bookies. I had money on Pacquiao. And, and like I, I tell people that, that wasn't even in Horn's home country, that was in his home city. Like he grew up ten minutes from that arena. So it really yeah, wasn't in the stadium. Yeah. In the stadium, yeah. So that's like Carl Froch boxing in Nottingham Pella, you know what I mean? It's really a hometown crowd. So Yeah, you know it is then. It's going to be hard because Pacquiao was, you know, set up really, you know. It's going to be hard but he, it. but he stood his ground though a bit. Oh, no, he's he a tough guy. No, yeah, you know? he's a tough guy for sure. Yeah, he was. Oh, he, all, was he was big on, and awkward, and he was awkward and lanky and big. And Horn's awkward. a tough bastard. He, he's a, yeah, he's, he's, he's a goal. tough, tough fucker for sure. He made it hey, hard. Can you, you guys don't hear any? You guys don't hear any background noise. Everything's good. Nah, it's all good, bro. It's all, it's all good. Luck. Oh. All right. So yeah, um, I've I've got Spence, Spence beating him. I think people are reading too much into well, the pack, pack well, just, and, and the layoff the, and everything. Hello, the question you asked Kush, uh, he, he answered. He said he thinks the jab. So he thinks if Ugas could take away Spence's jab and out jab him, that'll be the key to him winning the fight. Plus Ugas is high guard in his defence. So I'm, I'm guessing he thinks he might be able to out jab Errol and, and um. You know, and keep the fight at distance and probably avoid getting caught clean because we with his high guard. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, hey, this is 
This is a elite box, and you never know. Pro, but I got this, these two are at the uh, top. You know, the, you never know. I mean, yeah, you, you, I think you, this is a hell of a fight. I, 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 I give him the four, a four out of ten. So like, I sound like I'm. Do you I sound like I'm contradicting myself, but like I, I'm not. So let me put it this way: I'm not surprised if I'm not surprised though if Ugas won the fight. I just I don't see it, but but I'm not surprised. Like, like this, it, it all depends. Like because styles make fights. Like and and, and plus Earl is, he, he, I don't know, man. The ring rust and everything. But then again, man, he just. He's just a straight up dog, man. Like, nah, I don't know, man. I don't see. I, I just. I don't see. I don't see Ugas doing it. But if he wins, I'm. I'm not surprised because the IQ is there, and you know, and they're they're both elite. So this is the beauty of the sport, man. We just got to We got to see. Man, imagine if Ugas beat Pacquiao and Spence back to back. No one would have saw that coming. Yeah. I kind of like that though. Upsets like that, but at the same yeah. time, it's like. Oh. <laughs> Outlaw, you know how Kush, you know how Kush says he, he fights with the high defense. Yep. Yeah, arms up. I asked the question, say so for instance, to you guys, what is Spencer's one of Spencer's best attributes? For instance, is it not like his body, body, his the body, body work? Exactly. Best Top one of the best the body, body punches work. in the sport. Exactly. Yeah. So if you got a guy with the his uh, his at high attribute is the high guard, but 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 I guess what Kush is saying is that if he can win the battle of jabs, he can keep Spence, I guess, away from the body. You know, he can keep it at range. Mm. I'm I'm agreeing with you. I don't think he can either. But I I'm guess just that's yeah. It's, is. I I mean I understand that obviously. Like you're saying, there is these are all the little things that can play into it. It's but debatable. Think, it's definitely debatable. Like, yeah, of it's course not it impossible. Is. Oh yeah, I respect yeah. that. But I'm just saying the body work. Because that's one of the Spence chops away. He's chopping all fight long. Yeah, I'd say Spence, Chocolito, and Canelo are probably the best body punches. Yeah, exactly, and they, they swing. They swing round arms and and elbows. It's like as if the arms extend, so to speak. Fighters have got fighters have got that ability. The the arm, as in when the arm extends. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah They so can that, whip yeah, it. They can. There's like it's the, that whipping effect. You know I mean, and he's a whipper. If you get me, you can whip round. Canelo, you does, know, I'm really looking forward Canelo to Canelo does man. that. All these top guys go to do it. Yeah, but yeah, so I he he'll chop him up. He not he actually knocks uh, stops him late. In my opinion, that's your prediction. What what yeah, round? Yeah, uh, but I just think like late, like nine, he like between nine and eleven. Okay. All right. I'm saying my prediction now. You remember it? If you, yeah, it's on. So it's what they're fighting soon. Yeah, I'm going for a late stoppage. Spence. They're fighting. They're fighting in March, right? Yeah. There you go. Yes, yeah, so I'm giving you my prediction now. Late stoppage, Spence. No, no, I know. I know. I'm just double checking with you guys that that's when the fight is in March. Yeah, right? it is. It is. Mate. That's, yeah, it is. Oh, that's something to look forward to. I didn't know it was that close. That's, that's, bloody, that's interesting. Actually, we're on about. Yeah, it's just around the corner now. Now we're in January. Hell yeah! Literally, I'm I'm what? looking I'm looking I'm looking forward to that fight, man. Yeah, it's very good actually. It's a it's a it's a great fight, really. For sure, we got yeah. Castano, Charlo. We got we got we got Spence and I, Ugas. We got um Gary Russell back in the ring, and we got, got a shitload of prospects that are going to be got, spread I mean, out all year. Too, you can't forget them, and then I'm. You know, so far. So, I mean, hey, you know, I, I bet, like, when it's all said and done, it's going to be a big, big year. I can feel it. You guys watching the heavyweights tomorrow? Or oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I might watch that Sanchez's fight back on replay. Against uh, Hammer. He's probably one of the guys I've watched the most in the heavyweights on Hammer. Or oh, Tiz Martin, I mean, I can't believe that's paid for you. you they should pay me to have to watch that fucking fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, I mean, it's, we know it's lower level sort of thing, but it's at least they sort of evenly match, so to speak. If you look, I'm looking at the odds. There's not a guy that's an incredible, the biggest favourite is Sanchez, but the rest, it's like, ooh, who's going to win? 
I think Ortiz yeah. should should be able to win that fight. Though. You got that Jonathan Rice versus Coffee. Oh, the rematch. Yeah, you've got your Washington versus Demo Demazen. And now, what channel are these fights on? It is on or no Fox, Fox, right? I think. Oh, not bad. <clears throat> I <laughs> think it is not bad though. I'm watching it on an app. There's this app you can get called Fight app. I don't know if you can get it. Try it on your app store called Fight, as in F I T E. Was there any app well, in Japan last if, night? They usually do a New Year's. I don't know if there's any fights. Yeah, I, I watched the fight last night. Is it good? It was, I mean, I only watched the sort of like nine rounds properly. And uh, I had the Ayoka, the Japanese guy, sort of behind but then he won towards the end i mean some people are saying it was a 7-5 to ioka which is probably right but i think it was i th i think i thought the other guy won if you get me really he wasn't ioka wasn't active enough because yeah. ioka is one of the best fighters at the lower division can, can you guys yeah but sorry sorry to cut you guys off not my fault i just can you guys fill me in on that's kind of hard for me to hear what just uh, who, who are these guys you're you're talking about right now, it's kind of hard for me to hear. It went a little staticky. Uh, Ioka, you know Ioka? I think he's at us. Super fly, super, super fly away. Or a fly yes, away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ioka fought, dude. yeah, in Japan yesterday. I think pretty sure it was. A lot, lot of good, the few real good fighters up from out there, huh? They're coming yeah, up. Especially, yeah, especially yeah. lower, the lower weights. I mean, they kind of dominate the lower weights. They've, the, they've got they've got a pound for, in my countries. in my opinion they've got a pound for pound in the um, in the top five. I've got a Japanese you know, you know I've got a Japanese in my num at number five in my pound for pound top ten anyway. Anyway, yeah, and, yeah. and Ioka, so Ioka, Ioka, would good be, uh, Ioka would probably be top fifteen or something. You know, some people even have him top ten. They do so actually, they, outlaw. Yeah. You're right. They do. People. Yeah, they got some good good fights. Yeah, for sure. Fighting nation. The low weights are very interesting, actually. Them, they're all and, and, and don't they kind of fight each other too? Like uh, Chocolatito's division, they're all they they mix it up pretty well with each other. Not as much politics, which is good, you know. Right. You know what? I hate to say it, but one when, when they Francisco Estrada, all them dudes. You know, you know when it starts to get when they stop fighting each other, when the Western promoters get involved. As much as I hate to say that. That's when they start having the politics. But when they stick it to just Japanese promoters, the fights always get right. made down there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They make them fight and each you other. You know, they actually have uh, those fights, those low weight fights, I, I feel like are underrated. There's a lot of skill. There's a lot of skill, man. Like they, they're, they're not Definitely. just like rock them, sock them. Like a lot of people are, think like they, 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 there's a lot of skill. Like Chocolatito's. One of my favorite fighters. He's a master. He's a very he's, the skill. He's top top notch, elite IQ, ring IQ. He's, he's one of the most skilled uh, fighters. Fighter of the year is a chocolate eater, Estrada. That was my fighter of the year. So that says everything. What you guys are right. saying. Good, good pick. Right. I like the skill set. Roman reminds me of. I like that style inside fighters. You know, Duran. It's the he's the only Absolutely. guy about out there left, sort of left, that can do that Duran shit inside, do the blocking, you know, all the blocking shit with the arms, the elbows inside. It's just it's poetry. He, he reminds me of Chavez a lot, Chocolita. He the way he cuts the ring, fights on the inside, you know. Reminds you of who? Chavez. Yeah, 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 and oh yeah, he's got that also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got all that shit. I used to love those HBO cards, but. You know, chocolate eat on a lot of the cold main events. You know, the only uh, thing that the thing that Chavez and Duran have over Chocolito is though um, they could box on the back foot at times. Mm, which I don't think Chocolito yeah. can really. Obviously, he could probably do it. I've seen him do it a little bit, but not like at a high level. Whereas Chavez yeah. and Duran could even box yeah. guys on the back foot masterfully, which that, shows Ro how incredible Ro they were. Roman when he fought that um, that Thai bloke, what was his name? Super, yeah, Roman was uh, like, he, need, he needed to stay away from that yeah, guy. He, he, he just couldn't. He just couldn't hunt. He was that summer guy was on something. He was. He was just so <laughs> fucking full. He wouldn't stop when he was. He, was a he, fought, him, he fought him twice. He, did, he fought him twice, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he got knocked out in the rematch. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was too big and long and strong. He was, and... He was a fucking killer. That <laughs> he, was, he wouldn't <laughs> stop throwing that dude. Fuck it out. He's a tough motherfucker. That division doesn't get talked about like as much as I think it should. Man, there's some fucking great talent. That, like, and the parity, too, right? The parity in that division, I mean, right? Am I wrong? The, the par- no, you're 100% like, right. 100% correct. Mm-hmm. Some good stuff, you know what I mean? A lot of the the casual fans, they don't really, they don't really, you know, they don't really get into all oh, these. Those guys are tiny, and man, sh- have, you got exactly. actually, you actually watch them, right? You really pay attention, man. You see, go you know, I mean, I see. I am a fighter, and I've, I've uh, ex fighter, whatever. I had a few fights, and and a and a hardcore fan. So I guess it's different than the casual fan point of view because they don't really know boxing like us, but. You see the actual skill, you know. You you kind of know like what they're thinking. If you got any experience, or just yeah, even if you could, you could even say, if you, you never fought, course. even if you never fought, and you've just been watching since you were born, you you know what I mean. You know, yeah, so you could see because you've been in the ring, so you could see what they're doing. Like you, you could see the right, little things, right. you know. Exactly, and them, those dudes are nice, man. <laughs> yeah, Shit. better than people think. See, it's a shame because even boxers don't know who they are. Like, you know, I, 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 this is my gym here. I work in the gym. We have a gym in my family, you know, and I talk to up and coming fighters. I go, you got to watch Chocolito. You got to watch. They're like, that, they don't even know who I'm talking about. You know, they're like, oh, who's that guy? I'm like, fuck, do, do, do some research, you know. You should be watching. Yeah, <laughs> you should know who he is. He's that skilled, you know, but they don't, they don't even know who he is. So, so that's how right, I'm going to put some respect on the younger. Uh, sorry to cut you off. Nah, you gotta you gotta put some respect on them, the, those lower weight classes, man. Hundred percent, bro. Anybody who steps in the ring, like I get it, I get how I, people don't understand how hard it is. Uh, even fighting, I mean, even fighting one round, and I'm I ain't a world class fighter, but you know I, I have some experience. Um, I'm a club fighter, pro, you know, a couple of pro fights, ten amateur fights. And uh, it's, I'll tell you, even just getting in the ring for one round, that shit ain't easy, bro. <laughs> that shit is not easy. Like, there's nothing easy about So, like, when I – it's tough for me to – I don't call nobody a bum, all this stuff. I talked shit about Canelo once before because Boo was my boy and whatever. I was just fucking around. But, like, that dude's a legend. And I, I don't I don't knock – I don't call anybody that steps in the ring – a bum because I know what it takes and how it feels. All right, Pudo, how you doing? Happy New Year. Merry New Year. Como estas? Tudo bem? Tudo bem, tudo bem. Tudo bem. Is that a young Anthony Quinn on your picture? That is the young Anthony Quinn. And, uh, I thought uh, it was. Very happy distinctive. New Year to everybody on the yeah, panel. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Jay. Happy New Year to 174.8 pounds, Gilberto Ramirez, for kicking everybody's ass in the division. <laughs> Is that Johnny? <laughs> You're number one. You're definitely his number one fan, definitely, Jonathan. I'm going to give you that award for the year. Peter, salute. Zudo's number one fan. Fair play to you. Shelter he, as well. He's Shelter be raving about uh, Zudo, and he is. He is a beast, definitely. Hebrew, what's up, brother? Albania, shalom. Yeah, but the uh, Liz is skinny, Girl, maybe in his position. Uh, yeah, maybe he needs to go up to 225 pounds. Maybe somebody will give him a fight up there. He needs to go up heavier weights because nobody's going to fight him in his own weight. It's the truth. Oh, Ramirez? Yeah. They all scared, man. It's a fucking pitiful. They don't want to smoke with Zerto. Yeah. They're I, fucking I'm, I'm being, with you they're that, fucking being chicken ass uh, shit. Zerto beats them all. Zerto beats them yeah, all. Yeah, I mean, they all being. He needs to go up like a couple weight classes. They're all being chicken ass shits in that weight nah, class. I don't think Better B have is scared of anybody, but I just think Zerto is better. His, his his IQ overcomes uh better be his power. Deserto just all around better, I think. Get them. 
I agree with you on that one, but John. He needs to go up, man. They ain't nobody going to – they're all going to run, man. There's another manager saying, hell no, man. You want the liver shot? You want to go down? You want to be on your knees on the ground? Yo, ha- happy new year, my brother Hebrew and Jonathan. And pure roll, my brothers. Yeah, man. Let me know your age, man. Let me know your brother. Happy Eggs. New Year, Hebrew. Eggs Happy New Year. Money. Hebrew. Happy, Happy New, New Year, year bro. Even Happy New Year, week. my brother Jonathan. Eleven yeah. eyes, Hebrew. Happy What's New Year. On, I've been Apollo, staying man. with you crazy all the time, man. You know Same what I'm saying? Same old Same old role. Same old role. What's up, hon? Happy New Year. Yeah, man. I got to wait a couple more months for my New Year, man. Yeah, we got to mix some stuff up here, making some people uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> It's all right, you know, man. Sometimes I'm a little out of control, but it's okay. I hope it's a good year for boxing, man. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's going to be. It's going to be. I, I want to say this real quick. I just seen Terrence Crawford. He was celebrating uh, the new year and shit. And uh, I guess he was at a party and they gave him a cup, like, you know, with a glass of a drink in it. And he was like, nah, I ain't going to drink this, though. It was like, here, take it. I know you ain't going to drink it. He put it down like, nah, I ain't going to drink this, though. And I like that. Like, I respect Terrence Crawford a lot. You know what I mean? It's nothing against uh, Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I understand what he's trying to do. He wants to wait for the undisputed fight. But, you know, Boots in is he's hungry. And he wants that fight. You know what I mean? You know, so it's no disrespect to Crawford. I'm going to make that clear. I, I love Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. You know? Terrence Crawford is it. Eight packs of the black man, man. He is the ultimate purist. He is the ultimate naturalist. He is the ultimate boxer. But he don't get no pads if he ducks. So yeah, because they don't like that. the <laughs> ultimate of him. Right. Straight up. That's my fighter, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but we gonna keep this shit real, man. Fuck all that. Everybody get it, man. Bro, hey, you know, I just want to piggyback off what you said. You know, you, you want to keep it real. That's exactly like Boo Boo's my favorite fighter. And I'm even saying, H knows, I even said, I think if he went up to 68, I think Morel smoked him. And that's my guy, dude. We just keep it real on this channel. That's they what I love about you, this channel. Show up for work. Real and work, I love Boo Boo. He's an awesome. He's my favorite next. fighter. But David Ooh, Morel Jr. Fighter. smokes everybody at 168. Everybody, even Canelo. I got Boo Boo in that one. Ramirez, he best did not get out of 174.8, man. Yo, uh, Piero, I respect that. That's what's up, and that's debatable. I, can, I mean, I'm not surprised that that happened, but man, I just, I, mean, I think Morel is just too, Mayweather too tough coaching to What y'all think about strong. Mayweather coaching Anthony Joshua? He I better, like that. Because Anthony Joshua needs some help, man. Yeah, Mayweather can go help him. He would team money now. He gonna fuck around and leave Eddie Hearn. You know, you let Mayweather get with him. Al Heyman and those guys get Anthony Joshua. Yeah, man, he gonna be in good hands. I'm telling you that much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be interesting be, between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Mayweather, 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 Mayweather gonna motivate him. We gonna see Anthony Joshua big ass in our shoulder roll yeah, like, <laughs> man, like, He got the legs to move. He just don't move his legs, man, the way he should. Uh, I you like know, that for Anthony think. Joshua being with Mayweather. Mayweather gonna make yeah, him better, bro. I'm telling you. I think uh I got Joshua in the rematch. He kinda, he's he's kinda, kinda, what he's doing he's right now with working man. with Mayweather, he's gonna fuck around and win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, doing the show Mayweather, Mayweather gonna turn him into a dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. I bro. think it'll be more of a tactic he'll use. Mayweather, I mean, yeah, yeah, was dog, man. Mayweather was a heartless killer Maybe. in the ring. See when Mayweather did the victory man, tease? Man. Me, man, he fucked right. up Victor Ortiz in there, man. Mayweather don't give a fuck. He got to turn Anthony Joshua like that. You know what I'm saying? And Mayweather, he going to help him, man. He, and you know what I'm saying? He going to help him for sure. And Mayweather well, just looking at him months, like, right, Mayweather in the gym with him like, yo, this dude is big. He's strong. Mayweather like, yo, if I could coach this kid, I can make him probably really a great fighter. You know what I'm saying? Or he can help right. him become a great fighter with his coaching and his teaching. You know what I'm saying? So Joshua looked like he want to learn from what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? Hey, Even hey, though he got his ass whooped, he still want to learn. But I like hey. what I'm seeing from AJ right now. 
I'm liking hey, this hey, man. All he had to do is even his structure out, and Joshua was gonna be okay. Yeah, if he, he moves he a little too, bit slicker, sometimes, sometimes he, gets, right. he, get, he get too strong in the legs, and then he get too strong in the motherfucking torso area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, How we be Mayweather seeing Joshua. ain't gonna play with him. One thing about no, Mayweather, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He even up that structure. H man is going down with yeah. Anthony Joshua. Yeah, I'm yeah he and then he got Mayweather. Else, that's that's true, I want to really just like, on, man, One on thing about Mayweather. Mayweather, he just ain't in the gym wasting his time with him. Just you know what I mean? Fuck that Mayweather. Ass, man. Now, Mayweather gonna thing. tell him the truth. What the fuck he need to do? One thing about Mayweather, he always speak his mind. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he always and he don't never waste his time. So remember Mayweather even told Tank, like, yo, you losing this fight to Barrios. He said on an unofficial scorecard, Mayweather told him the truth. He said, I ain't gonna lie to you. He said, you know what I'm saying? Tank got mad. He said, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You know what I mean? And that's what Joshua needs. He needs somebody to tell him the truth. And Mayweather gonna do that. Only I think thing he's I have a problem with Mayweather is his gold watches and his fucking fancy cars. I don't care about the rest. No, Mayweather's <laughs> pretty good besides that. <laughs> That's that team money right there. Yeah, man. But, you know, talk shit about all the fighters, man. But I fuck with all the fighters, man. Hell yeah. You know. So, Respect to everybody who just steps in the ring. Man. In that ring, bro. For your entertainment and the motherfucker want to boo the man and he got a motherfucking a, a boob on top of his fucking eyebrow, bro. That shit ain't cool, man. For real, man. We got to be put some respect on these fighters, bro. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, definitely. He wants to beat Usyk. He's got to get a little bit more slicker in there, man. Yeah, and maybe man. there's the man to do it. Man, Anthony, uh, Anthony Joshua needs to work, uh, get his pivot back like he used to, and and, and boxing angles, man, like he used to. What the fuck happened, bro? His dad and uncle's good at his trainer too, man. I, I like them both, man. Anthony Joshua they're, needs to they're pivot right. and throw that uppercut. We saw that with Dylan White. The money, they're okay. We saw that. We saw Anthony Joshua when he fought Dillian White that last time, man. That was Anthony Joshua. He was pivoting, moving around the ring, man. Man, he got nervous. He stopped right? Just, the, the way he stopped like it. Scarecrow and Mrs. King, my dude. Scarecrow and Mrs. King, bro. Just standing in front of that man. <laughs> he just standing in front of that man, man. Come on, man. But hey, he 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 still competing in that ring though. I'm good for what nobody say. What do you Hebrew uh Hebrew can, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, I got a quick quick question. What do you think uh how far do you what about what do you think about um Big Baby Anderson? You think uh you think he's the real deal? Man, Anderson I saw one fight. I need to watch more of the man, man. He he, he. He is an excellent fighter, man. And I want to see, I really want to see him get in there, you know, and, and, and get up there, man. You know what I'm saying? All these people that's out here, man, that's got all these special talents, it's, it's on hold like a motherfucker, man. Uh, that's Anderson, what I don't like about Anderson the sport. Anderson Silva, oh, Anderson 35, Uber. would have been a uh, world champion. I'm telling you. It says defensive ability. Counters and, and to be uh, to be big like that, he he moving like a motherfucking uh super middleweight. I was gonna just say that he he's very he's he's very elusive for uh, for his weight for heavyweight. It's a good fighter, man. Anderson, yeah. Sure. yeah. I want to see more of him. I think we're looking think at the future, card tomorrow. future unification, Frank uh, Sanchez, Anderson, or maybe Hergovich. I think they're all going to be in the mix. And the, oh, the heavyweight, the future for the right heavyweight there. division, the future for the heavyweight division is is looking pretty damn good right now. We we got some entertaining, some future entertaining uh, potential fights. Uh, you know, I hope, I hope, I hope we get, and I, I think we will. Man, that's a damn good fight right there. A good matchup. Sanchez I Anderson. I got Ortiz oh, yeah. over Mark, Mark, Martin. Yeah, Ortiz over Martin. 
I got Ortiz yeah, over Martin. Oh, okay. I like Ortiz. Well, I got Sanchez winning too. I got the LA boy. Do it in the rain, though. It should be good to that we had one That's super good. fight at the end so we could actually call it a real pay per view. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we needed one super fight at the end. We could have called that a real fucking pay per view. That had a good, solid undercard. Otherwise, I'd almost think it's a, like a. Damn, Fox I want to see that fight card. now. I want to see that fight. Frank Sanchez and Anderson. Oh, that, isn't yeah. that, that that's a great. I think about that fight a lot, man. That that is a fuck. Oh man, that's a hell of a fight. Of, like, that's a chess match. Anything handle with that spirits, of exchanges, great exchanges. Uh, that's that. There's everything in that fight. There's skill. There's right. I mean, that's an all around great fight. I, I oh, at least by. On, I think on the Cuban style in a uh, soft top match. Kang on that, oh, that pink cat coming out, man. That white pimp cat, man. That is pretty sweet. Last time. I think the uh, Cuban style and the Southpaw uh, matchup. I just don't want to see no fucking headbutts, man. I hate that shit. I for real, man. I feel like that fight would would uh, show a lot of. I feel like they'd exchange a lot, though. I feel like the. I feel. I feel like. Uh, I feel like Anderson would kind of, kind of, kind of bring the action of Sanchez, and he'll have no choice. But to, you know what I mean? Because his, his ego, he'll, I, I think I think that would be a lot of more action than people think. If you I make sense. Of what you think the ego is going to bite Anderson in the ass? I mean. Hey, man, anybody remember Salvador Sanchez? Hell yeah. Man. Yep. That um, was a beast, boy. Oh, my goodness. Man. A lot of punches, though. Man, that's that, that right I was uh, shit, I wasn't born <laughs> last fight. Well, that was what the '80s, early '80s, bro. Yeah, I watched yeah, the early whole fight. '80s. Yeah. My, 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 I just watched uh, Sanchez first. Uh, oh, no, no, wait a minute. I, I mix him up with uh, Alexis Aguilo for some reason. Like, Who's the one who fought Azuma yeah, Nelson? You just gotta put a mustache on that guy, man. <laughs> Right? I recently watched Mom and Ali and Holmes. They should have stopped that fight in the fifth, man. That was ridiculous. I watched both of them, but I mixed them up. I, I watched stupid, uh, a lot man. of old school fights with my uncle. We just walked uh, out. Yeah, I saw a few chess, actually. Sorry, sorry John. Pretty that's pretty much you man. That's just a bullshit. What you know? Well, what he, 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 Eber, you watched Salvador Sanchez? Why you you watched you you watched one of his fights on YouTube recently? Man, yeah, I watched about four of them. What was it? Uh, Wilfred Gomez. Uh, what was the other guy Wilford name? Gomez. It was it was Zuma Nelson. Zuma Nelson was the first one I watched. That was the first so, one. So did, he, didn't he fight? Did he fight Aguela? Uh, my, is that a, is that the same weight class? They both. They both. Aguila. Oh, uh, they. He was a. Uh, wasn't he in the uh, featherweight division? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. That was featherweight. Salvador Sanchez, correct. Yeah, he's in the featherweight, so he uh no, he didn't fight Aguero. No, he fought. No, nah, he didn't fight on Lopez. He, uh, it was a uh, what's that other? What's oh, the, that? Lopez, yes, that Lopez. 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 He saw the Lopez. Lopez. English dude. Danny Lopez. Lopez in a uh, it was a, it's some guy. His last name began with an A or some shit. Oh, Gallo, oh Gallo, oh Alex Gallo, oh Gallo, yeah. Alex, oh no, what's that? Is it that one? Man, that's 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 the contracts are signed and everything. Yeah, I'll just watch uh Jess. I'll just watch that Jesse uh Magdaleno and uh No Need to Nerve fight, man. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah, man, that shit was crazy, man. <laughs> they was in there punching each other side the head like a motherfucker. I'm like, God damn. That's what I want, man. Hey, didn't Donair? Didn't Donair? My bad, Hebrew. Didn't, didn't Donair just just uh win? Have he had like a? Yeah, he's a champ. Yeah, man, he's yeah, still. He's, damn, he's, he's past his prime, isn't he? He's doing he's doing big things, isn't he? Isn't he past his prime? Thirty-nine, thirty-nine WBC uh bantamweight champ. Yeah, he he. he Good for that's him. Where, that was his original weight, anyway, man. 
I think he started losing when he started uh going up and down and wait. That felt like that first loss. To Rigondeaux? Yeah, coming off that loss to Rigondeaux to uh Vic Dorchinian. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Man, he and then and then Nick was right and got his ass. So yeah, he was he started going up and down and shit, man. Man, Nikolai's back at his red weight. And then Lomachenko, man, stopped Put him in the six hands on his yeah. ass, man. He didn't know which way to go, man. He was just that man, Loma just had too many angles for that man. That just shows you how fucking good Loma is though for real. Man. To Come be on. the Nicholas Walters. Like Loma that. beat him with ease. Damn, man. He beat my dude up and got it, went in there and got beat. That's how boxing go, man. It's always somebody whoop your ass. It's unbelievable. I was big time. <laughs> I was big on Nicholas. I was big on Walters, too. Hey, man, he beat no need to the nerve. I watched about five of his fights. I was like, <laughs> who the fuck is this? <laughs> who the fuck is this, yeah, man? Bro. My dude like that, man. I had to go watch yeah. him, man. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, dude. Okay. <laughs> 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 I had to give it. I had to give it up, man. An old Nick, man. He, he put the hands on those. Wait, what happened? What what happened to uh, Walters after? Did he retire after that, that was fight? It. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long one. <laughs> he, like, he, he, he was he was a beast, bro. But you know, Loma just embarrassed him. He just <laughs> he embarrassed him, man. He just they just saw him. He just threw his look like, oh man, fuck it, man. I can't beat the man. Yeah, I thought this dude was gonna start running shit, dude. Loma I was mad at a motherfucker, man. I say, oh look, man, you gonna destroy my dude because let Loma do that. Like, do you like that with all that? Oh, but Loma, man. Loma was cold as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the corner. He didn't he want to come out the corner, man. Damn, he was intimidating too. The axe man, the shit, the nickname, like damn, Loma just. Hey like, man, you should have seen him. how he was sitting on that stool, <laughs> man, looking over. There. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was uh, sitting looking over there across, like, what I got to do to fuck? What I got to do to this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I hit this motherfucker uh, the nuts or something, boy. Cause this motherfucker. Every time yeah, he blink, boy, it was a punch on his motherfucking nose, man. That shit was funny as hell, man. <laughs> he had no, he had no answer for. He yeah, had no answer, bro. He was trying though. No, he was. That just shows how. That just shows how good Loma is, man. Like, especially and he's like, he Tank don't fight him, man. That's yes, reason Tank is running from him. Listen, Nick Walt is so motherfucking fast with his hands too. Yes, yeah, man. He he was he was the real deal. Well, that just shows like it just shows how good Loma is. Like again, that dude, man, good. He was punching that man in between his punches, man. I'm like, God damn, that's fast, <laughs> bro. That's fast, bro. And that was you a punch, prime you punch Nicholas, Nicholas Walters. Walters yeah. You punching Nicholas yeah. Walters in between his punches? You fast in a motherfucker. Just fade that. Oh, you yeah. got to give it up, bro. That counter yeah, punch yeah. he had for Nicholas Walters was just so motherfucking amazing. He couldn't even he couldn't even blink. <laughs> he had to keep his <laughs> eyes open. <laughs> the whole fight. Who oh, that taco? Bro, in the Loma, I feel like Loma is. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like Loma is past his prime now, and I still got him beating everybody. Funny, man. Man. He's a funny ass guy, man. I watched like Spencer for no reason. What's that, John? Say that again. Say it again, bro. Did you drop off? <laughs> that was you, Joe. Taco, what's up? Uh, no, I, my nigga Taco. Taco getting faded right now, man. This nigga getting faded, man. <laughs> <laughs> he got the seat. <laughs> oh shit, my boy. Put him up in the air. Come on, you taco. Where he at, bro? Did I freeze up? I'm on right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, I froze Good up. Good to you, up, brother. Taco, taco happy New Year, bro. I'm turned up, up as well, you, brother. Hey, boy, that's that feel good smile right there, boy. Happy New Year, taco. Cali in the crib. What's up, man, Cali? 
J- Joe, do you smoke? You smoke cannabis, do you? Oh, uh, no, man. I just, I just, you, you know, I, uh, I got, I do some uppers and like, you know, I get turned up with the, with, I got some Crown Royal, I got some, I got some root bear smearing off and kind of, oh. you know, a little make up a little bit. Man, believe it or not, child, I'm sober as hell right now, man. I ain't drank shit, I ain't did shit. I went to sleep through all that damn shooting and all that shit, man. Good for you, Roy. Pro- probably yeah, better man, off. I went on to sleep, man. I ain't getting nothing. I ain't do nothing, man. You know. Was there any sh- lot of shooting there also in Louie, was there? Man, stop, man. Oh, my God. Man, they started shooting at like 5 o'clock, bro. <laughs> okay, well, well, West, isn't it? It gives it, man. Okay, corral. This motherfucker get dark at four thirty. <laughs> okay, <man. laughs> this motherfucker would come outside like they stepping out the Alamo or some shit, man. Crazy, this motherfucker. What <laughs> about in LA, uh, Puro? They out there Yo, blasting on, on, the, on the on the rail though. We should all meet up uh, within a year or two in New York or Vegas or some shit like. Uh, each money box and uh podcast crew at, at a big fight, no? Get shirts yeah, and everything. That stuff, yeah, that stuff's good as I mean yeah, I get a, travel get there, some yes. shirts and, 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 and stuff oh, like yeah. that and pull up on motherfucker. Damn right, that sound good. I'd be like, that's, that's them H money. That's the H money cash right you. there. <laughs> you already know he bro. 2022 is non-stop <laughs> smoke. No, nah, okay, you know, bro. straight smoke exactly. all year long. Exactly. Straight smoke. You feel me? That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Straight up. All gas, no brakes is the motto, Wait, bro. You see, I'm talking about smoking that fat ass butt. That was straight jungle. smoke right here. Broke. That's what we bring it all year long. <laughs> that real smoke. You feel me? No, H Money dude. stays bringing the smoke. I remember on the boxing voice, bro. You cooking dudes, bro. Straight cooking dudes. Man, every time he went over to the barbershop conversations, man. I, oh, I keep watching the videos. Hey, man. Yeah, he <laughs> laughing so hard, man. H the camera up on Fred and shit. Yeah, you yeah. already know. Yeah. 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 And just like so my boy Ari said, straight mm. heat. My oh, favorite yeah, video, yeah, yeah. Hey, my yeah. favorite video out there is when you went on the barber shop. <laughs> you went on the barber shop and you fucking cook, and he goes, "Oh, and you Will Smith." Because you oh, Will, Will Smith, Smith fuck, that was fucking. I've watched that uh, so many times. It's fucking. Hey crazy. man, <laughs> nah, I'm talking about the one. Hey, Will Smith, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, I'm talking about the one where you was you was outside cooking no, that ass. Fucking man. Cooked fun, fun. You want. Yo, you cook 78. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's like, like wow, the bitch. Shut mm-hmm. fuck that. You a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was legendary. That yeah. shit was legendary, Paulo, man. I was like, man, dude, I played it right back like three times in a row, man. That shit was funny as hell, man. Okay. He couldn't say shit. What, what, he was speaking all facts. What can he say? He couldn't say shit. Hey, Tony, if I ever have a comeback fight just for like the hobby, like I, mean, I ain't going nowhere with my career, but if I ever have a comeback fight, man, why don't you back me, bro? I'll, I'll give you a Yeah, cut. man. Push, <laughs> nah, it's not about the money, man. You ain't got to give me nothing, bro. I do this because <laughs> I'm your friend, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, uh, horn, bro. Yeah, man, I got you. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about that. Mm-hmm. I got you anytime. Just let me know. Thank you, brother. I got you, too. You're welcome, man, my America. brother. Anytime. Hey man, it's the community, man. This we gotta stick together, man. Real talk. So I, got, man. I walk, I walk out the boxer. Like the uh, Al Green, here. like Al Green said, here, bro. <laughs> Everything gonna be all right for the good times. However you wanna bring it. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's all gonna right. be all right. <laughs> Straight up. If you do your push-ups, it'll be all right. Let's go and do some push-ups right now. I'm look. Uh, I'm looking for a bet at the minute, but no one wants to give me the bet if it happens. Morel Benavides. Oh, oh man. Push-ups, money, fucking anything. <laughs> Hundred like punches bet, to the bet face. Two packs of rabbit doodles, man. I don't feel like bet on somebody for some push-ups tomorrow, man. Wait, Paul, Paul, are you, Paul, are you have you. Who do you got, Morel? I got Morel winning. Oh, 
Yeah, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Damn, man, every come on, Paulo with the sucker. Someone man. has Benavidez, though. I forget. <laughs> was it Piero? I could be wrong. Hey, I'm a so, good matchmaker. Somebody has. Hey, man, it's gonna be a damn good fight. It's gonna be a damn good fight. I must say that, man. I, I want to oh, see definitely. the fight, man. All these damn matchups and shit like that. Anderson, motherfucking uh, Sanchez. I, I just my vision turned on. I'm, I'm like, I was at, sitting at that fight already. Because it's a bit like this, Hebrew. If you said to me, I'll join a bet um, Boots versus Crawford, or that I'd say to you, Crawford wins. But then you say to me, do you want to have a bet on the push-ups? I'll say no, because I know Boots is dangerous as fuck. Sanchez I'll only bet why I think I can it. win, if you get me. I ain't bet no yeah. one. I'm just saying, I'll, as an example, I driver, Boots is dangerous as fuck. I'll recover and gamble, gamble on the name, man. That's why I don't bet y'all. I'm recovering, man. You don't know, get man, this girl. I, I, I said that, that shit, shit like, like some drinks. Well, I, can't. I could have picked my nose, man. I t- try, try betting football. I can't, man. I'm, I, I just think, I think that should have been disqualification on that last fight, man. He did not shit on purpose. Who did, which Gambling one? don't work out uh, for me, bro. Sanchez did that on fucking... Um, if they the jog bot man, he did you that shit so? on purpose. You think that fucking shit was on accident? That fucking shit was on purpose, man. <laughs> and then I jog back up and fucking farm the rest of the actually, I didn't even purpose, get to see that man. Fight. I've watched thousands and thousands and thousands of like that shit was on purpose. Mm. I, I thought what did you who just said Haney? Who, who just said something about that? Was it illegal punch? Should have been disqualification, man. Mm. He was on his knees. He fucking sucker punched him with a fucking punch from hell. Oh, damn, bro. Yeah. John, are you talking about... What are you talking about? The uh, Jaguar fight? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Jaguar fight. That was, I watched oh, a lot yeah, of fights. I know exactly what he either. did. He did that shit on purpose. Mm. It wasn't an accident. It wasn't some kind of uh, like, oh, I, I accidentally did it. No, you have to want to do that. Hey man, you could we could see. I mean, rewatch it. He knew that guy was on his knees. He knew that where he was. Man, Jay I Dub only just rewatch it. I was turned the fuck he up. He knew exactly what was going on. Hey Jay Dub only it. just seen. Go ahead, He's my a bad, professional. Though. He knew exactly what was going on. I only seen the uh, highlights. I got to go watch that fight. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually gonna watch he that. Knew he like, dropped to his like, knees. When I can get back out in the living room. Yeah, I, I mean, that was like like he was trying to golf him, man. He was like, oh, I'm going to fucking go to driver all the way to like the, to end him right there on his knees, man. It's fucked up, man. Yeah, and they don't call it because, oh, we want San- we're going to promote Sanchez, man. A job no, that shit ain't cool, man. It ain't cool. Man, man, we got to protect shit. these fighters, man. What is wrong with That's motherfuckers, that. man? If this is supposed to be our sport, we got to protect our fighters. All the fighters are our fighters. Fuck is you talking about? No, we don't want to see no motherfucking body die in the ring no more. Eyeball no, fall out. None of that it's shit, man. Not after that. Yeah, that it should have been a disqualification on, on Sanchez. He knew what he was fucking doing. He knew. It's crazy, man. It's not like some kind of, like, oh, I accidentally did it. No, I knew what I was doing. And I did it to try to win, and that's what you you need those those uh, the, the the dark arts also in boxing. We need that to get experience. these ops out of boxing. You know, to, like we the, need to get the, the, the opposition Fury, out of motherfucking boxing. Boxer, but he knows the dark arts of Fury. He's yes, a good boxer, but, but he'll do those. You know. But the, yeah, we got to give it to a gun by getting his Holyfield. ass back up off his off, off of being a sucker punch like that and getting it back up and fighting after that. We got to give our a, a Jagba is a tough motherfucker. Yeah, Paula, what did you mean by the dark you know. Jerry, what do you mean by that? Dirty tactics? Are you saying? No, like, what no, you mean? I, of course, it was a dirty tactic. He did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. I got I got to rewatch the fight in a little bit. I, I, he knew I, what he was doing. There's a sucker punch on the ground in the Grefton call it. 
He must have felt that yeah. power had to go and try to end that shit right quick. If, uh, if uh, the only thing I see wrong with uh, FA job, but man, he ain't got no bounce or nothing. He just walking around the motherfucking ring. I ain't seen that motherfucker yeah, bounce not one time. Feel, I feel like you know, he's kind of similar to to uh, Wilder. Wilder. Yeah, I, I, I want to see that fight too. That's I a good fight. That's a good fight. I've been wanting to see that fight. When I first saw Jago, I was like, damn, what the fuck? That's Deontay that's a really good fight. Jago is my boy, man. I, I tell you what, that, that's uh, the guy I really like. I like a Jago. He trained with Charlo, right? One of the brothers was uh, Ronnie Shields. Man, yeah. that motherfucker bring the frosty <laughs> mini weeds out of motherfucker. He can jump out the range. He's like left you. Ronnie Shields, though, isn't he? He's not with Oh, Ronnie he did? Shields. Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah, he's not uh, with I've been, Ronnie. I've been, I've been, I've been a, kind of a little out of the loop. He'd, uh, he'd, yeah, he him. didn't have Ronnie Shields in the corner for that Sanchez fight. He's left him. Because oh. Ronnie mm. Shields had two of the Nigerians, didn't he? Him and the other dude, the smaller one, the light heavy. I think okay, was, yeah. I, I wasn't you know, around for... I was on a little vacation for... That yeah. time period, so I kind of fell out of the loop. What's his name? A Jabba. So he's, he's also a Jabba something, but he's doing better. He is. He's in, he was in one of the fight contenders of the year, actually. This dude I'm on about. What's his name? A Jabba. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, he was. He was in a classic. But obviously it was, uh, you know, it wasn't a high level for, okay. you know, right. a title. Right. He, didn't, he didn't get the shine, so to speak. I know what you're saying. Yeah, right. Right. Um, well, yeah. the heavyweight divisions are uh, really, really like, uh, in my opinion, it's uh, it's really coming alive, and we got a lot of interest in potential future fights to be made. So, and you know, maybe we could get maybe, maybe we'll see uh, after Fury. We'll see what's up. I mean, a lot of good talent, right? We got we got good competition up there, like the Klitschko era. It's, it's night and day compared to now. We got Big Baby, you got du Dubois, you got Hergovich, Joe Joyce, you got all these up and coming dudes. So I mean, the, the division's getting a lot better, right? Yeah, that's right. Definitely, it has got better. But more, but more Thank God the Klitschko's are gone, man. How about ruined boxing, whether two punches and tying up. Or three punches and tying up. I am so glad oh, they're you gone. Saw too. You saw that too. Oh yeah, that style was. Yeah, oh, man. And they always that's fight. That's that's they always fought someone smaller, also so they could push painful, back, painful, push painful, down, down, painful. Down, so down. thankful they're gone. I don't want to see them ever again. It was still smart. Throw two punches and grab your ass and step back, oh. so you can't get none. What you mean? You, you telling me someone like Manny Stewart what isn't a master of knowing everything in terms of the dark side and the, you know, normal side. You know the tricks of a trade that you do need it. It's like, <laughs> if you try and be, if you do go in boxing trying to do be Mr. Clean, then you're going <laughs> to, I'm sorry, you're going to have find it hard. Sometimes you need that little bit of dirt. That's how the earth is. You need a bit of dirt in there also. <laughs> and, yeah, that's, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. It, someone like Manny so Stewart, he knows all the tricks. Man, you can't let no motherfucker get comfortable in the ring on you, man. You gotta rough their ass up, man. Let them yes, know who's exactly. the motherfucking boss. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. You gotta rough right. things up. Yeah, for it's real. Rough it's rough you gotta it up. stop this shit, man. You gotta nice, stop this. What do they say? They say nice you know boys. Nice boys. Nice boys. Come on. Nice I mean, boys. Wait till I hear you, know. Man. Wait till I want no Van Damme it. shit in the ring. But I mean, damn, still rough a motherfucker up a little bit. Damn. It's a fight. I remember the first day I was dating this girl, man, and I told her about the Fury Klitschko fight. I, it was like the it was like the first day we officially became like dating, and uh, she she came to my house for that fight, man. I was like, damn, that was like a fucking snooze fest, bro. Uh, Not no disrespect to them, like, like I I was gassing the fight up like it was gonna be a war, but I I should have known better. <laughs> not the best introduction, <laughs> definitely not. Not the best introduction. That's the, yeah, that's the light. That's it's a shame it wasn't the wildest stuff. Either of the trilogies, to be honest, at least there was more drama. There was more drama, wasn't there? 
And I like the sweet science and the chess match type. Like you got it, but like that was a little casual girl's not going to like that shit, is she? (laughs) No, (laughs) (laughs) she's not. She's not. She's She's going to be entertaining. I was like, oh, (laughs) damn. Klitschko's sure. hurt boxing more than anybody has ever hurt boxing. Yeah. They put the, put it this way: I have to turn away from boxing a little bit, as harsh as it sounds, because obviously I just come out of the nineties <laughs> on a high like that, and you got these this dude. Nah, I was like, nah, I can't be doing this shit. I'll just just turn my head a little bit, to be honest. We all entitled <laughs> to it, you know, to do that. And uh, no, I just, I did straight up. I thought, no, nah, I'm not putting up because he could see straight away. Manny Stewart could go to like the rain forever. <laughs> one of the and best the way... trainers, though, man. I done seen Tim in there, Klitsch go lose it. He always got there, a knock the man guy. out. Punch, he told punch, the man, punch. throw your damn punches. You got to throw your hands, man. We don't need no more bullshit yeah. decisions, man. Go ahead and throw your hands, man. They say I'm try. <laughs> 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 he went in there, thought, thought his hands, man. The fight was over. I was like, that's all the fuck you had to do, silly. No, the way I was like gassing the fight up to this girl, I was like, oh my god, you got to see these two guys. They're so great, like, oh, blah blah blah. I was gassing it up to like, like, like Rocky versus Rocky Four, like type oh, shit. Like, oh, no. they're gonna be like Rocky, <laughs> Rocky, Mister T, Drago. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, just like you could see it in her face. I was like, oh. he ain't no Drago, man. He was Rocky like, versus Drago. Was... It was oh, not a good shit, first dude. Dude. It was just like, mm. <laughs> Ivan Garrett, the last person he killed was probably a mouse man in his house with a trap. <laughs> hey man, oh, shit. fucking trap shit, man. <laughs> trap, trap. She hey, was like, man, "What the fuck is this, man?" <laughs> hey man, the lions den only your age buddy boxing man for real. Hell yeah! You guys, are the best channel, bro. For real. Happy New Year, everybody. For real, man. I'm, I'm about to. I'm unfortunately, I gotta dip off because gotta hey, go check man. on my How grandfather, you man. Too. Some shit going on, but um, hey, love you guys, man. I'm looking forward to the next, the next year. Get getting bigger and bigger. Um, we're gonna have some fire shows. I got some. I got. I still got Rashidi and Boo Boo on board, brother. No, not everybody's a fan of them, but you know they're top fighters, and and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help man, you guys. Bro, I'm gonna do whatever I can man. to. I'm gonna do whatever I can to help Age Money in the show grow. But I mean, he, he don't need my help. Bro. I know that. But I'm just saying, like, hey, every, a, every, show on everything, YouTube. everything counts, man. Yeah. For sure, every, and um, every little bit count, man. I got prospects, Rashidi, Boo Boo, up and coming next few months. Uh, a lot of stuff, you know. My grandfather's doing better, so I'm back down the gym, and uh, we're gonna get shit rocking. So, love you guys. Happy New okay. Year! I gotta okay. jump yeah, off. Nice to hear from you, man. All right, man. You be peaceful, man. Take yeah. it easy. Happy, Happy New Year, Year brother. Enjoy. Happy New Year. I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow in the chat whenever I could jump on. This hey, week, man. To the next on. episode, Joe G. Salute Hell to yeah. Joe G. Yes, Salute sir. Salute all you guys. Hebrew, uh, Paulo, Jonathan. Hey, everybody else in the chat, happy new year. Let's keep it rocking. Yes, sir. 2022. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, Morel, man. Let's go, Morel, man. Hey, man, he gonna be he gonna be some uh spectacular man in this in this sport, man. I want to see more of all the fighters, man. I want to see the competition. Get in there with competition. What's the hold up, man? We got to kick this year off straight up, right, man? For real, man. Head on head, man. Fucking real, man. All these goofy motherfuckers, man. Boy, wake the fuck up, man. We want this community to grow, man. That's exactly We're the what ones that are going to push these guys to so go to the and to go and fight to each other, it. man. We're the, we're the guys that are going to make them do it. Exactly. We're the ones that are going to the make them wake the fuck up. We are the bosses. They got to understand that, man. We're going to go, we're gonna push them. We're going to push the industry. We're going to push the talk. And they're going to have to do it. We're not going to let them slide anymore. No more. 2022, we're going to make them bite. 
Who cares what about these promoters? Get, what they ass gonna We're gonna get make bit. them fight. What they ass gonna get bit? Best on best. And the fans can make it happen. They just, just, they just don't understand, man. How the game used to go, it still can get. We can get it right back. It's a good. They ain't gonna game. play us no more. They ain't gonna play us no more. We're gonna tell them what we want. Yeah, like Jake Luther Paul, Omar, Tyler man, Willie, sixty-five thousand pay-per-views. That's bullshit. We don't want that. I want to give a shout out to Omoy. He say he new to the channel. Welcome to the Lions Den, bro. Welcome to the jungle. Where cooking goes on and on and your ass get cooked on this panel. I mean, we don't care about somebody fighting that's nobody on somebody that's somebody. There's somebody that's 43 and 0. We want somebody that's 43 and 0 against somebody that's 30 and 0. You know, he deserves that. Prospect. We need respect out here. Yeah. These guys earn their respect. We don't, Terrence Crawford earned his respect, he earned his big fights. He went in there and got them done, too. You know, these guys are undefeated. Even even people like Earl, I mean Earl Spence earned his fights. Keith Thurman earned his fights. Put these guys together. They earned their fights. Not your fucking punk ass promoters. They didn't earn shit. These guys earned it. Through their nose being busted, their orbitals being busted, their livers being pounded on, their ribs being pounded on. These guys earned it. You didn't earn shit, you fucking promoters. They you didn't earn, earn shit. The money that, that they ain't really have to work hard for. You think these guys pounding in the in the in the in their in their uh, gyms that they're doing? thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of hours of work. They earned it. You fucking motherfucking promoters didn't earn fucking shit. These facts, too. These are facts. Everybody didn't wanna earn fucking shit. They didn't earn it. They made it, but they ain't earned it. These guys earned it, but you disrespected them. You're and fucking that shit fucked up. Money. That shit fucked up too, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit fucked up, man. These fans out of order too, man. These motherfucking fans is out of order too. They ain't yeah, just a bunch of thing. fucking they show up in the last fight of the of the night <laughs> and they show up and buy a ten thousand five ten thousand dollar or twenty thousand dollar ticket, you fucking bitch ass motherfuckers and even show up for the rest of the fight. Fuck you. You even watch the rest of the fighters, you fucking cunts. I mean, you don't even show Ooh, up dude. on the Joe. on the undercard. I mean, hey, John D's or Boxer fans, boxer fans, they just riding with the Cheerios, man. They just They're riding with, the in with their fucking it. kids. Like, oh, I flew with my kids to Vegas and I bought a, a whole bunch of expensive tickets and we sit in there and watch one fight, you fucking bitches. Fucking disgusting. Once you get your disgusting ass out of the ring. And fucking get the fuck out of the fucking arena, you fucking cunts. <laughs> Who are you on about, Jonathan? I'm talking about these rich people sh- showing up in the last minute and only oh, watching the main event, you fucking cunts. It's you aren't boxing privilege. fans. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you're fucking important. Yeah, it's called the gate crash. Mm. It's called it's called a bunch they of turn, fucking uh, well, uh, just uh, people that want to get that shown on TV. Motherfuckers turn up in the back door. Well, you know, you, at least I can say about they Bob Arum. At least he door. shows up in the first first fight of the night and Helicopter watches the whole on fight. on the top of the casino. Helicopter on the top of the casino, down the elevator, chilling elevator, back door, and it 
I come straight through. You motherfucking queuing at the back, at the front, should I say, mm. in the rain. They come on the top helicopters, on the helicopter pads, especially in Vegas and that shit. I mean, mm-hmm. how, you know how, they do that. Hey, how man, many times are these UFC fights? They're completely empty to the end because their their families make it a oh let's oh boys and girls let's just show up in the last three or four fights and let's let's go to fancy hotels and fancy and fancy uh, restaurants. But fuck those fucking important. kids and fuck They're their too parents. Too important to be sat there with you watching the first fight, preliminary fight. I love watching the first preliminary fight. I watch it. I love watching every fucking fight on the card. Do you know why? Because I'm a real fight fan, and all those little fucking little bitch-ass kids and their parents ain't nothing. They are too privileged and rich (laughs) above you. Oh, you know they're too I mean? privileged and rich to even know what fighting that's, is. Exactly. That's hey, Justin, at. why you ought to see them spoons like that? You know, it's not going to be like, no, it is not. If you've got a million, you don't want to be sat there. With the oh, they're too, they're too privileged to watch yeah. a good fight. Oh, my God, there was a really good <laughs> fight, but I was too good to watch <laughs> that really good fight. It's fucking, oh, disgusting. It fucking is. That's how it is. <laughs> them motherfuckers, it's last minute bash. Wash out the... You know, absolutely <laughs> fucking disgusting. Bash, wash out with like thrash. Oh shit, man! I, I wish their fucking kids would shit so their long, fucking man. pants. Fuck those kids. Fuck their parents. They all, they all, they all know, man. You're absolutely right, though, Jonathan. <laughs> you are. That's why it's that. I hope they sit in the front row and fucking and act like with their stupid little smirky smiles up front. <laughs> One of the funniest things was when I was watching one fight and LeBron was sat in front of Tyson. Tyson couldn't see. He was having like you couldn't see Ty because LeBron's a big dude. If you're five ten like Tyson, you don't want to be sat behind LeBron, do you? Hell no. But anyway, they turned up last minute. They all do last minute um, appearance. That's how it is. For the main, they turn up for the main. They're fucking dressed for the the main course. Injections over in Panama. They come for the main course, main course, and then they leave. You know what I mean? And they have the the dessert elsewhere. Fuck Mm -hmm. coming for starters. Too too, too important. That's what it's like with them fuckers. Their heads go. You know it is. You get fucking in another planet. That's what happens when the kids or the parents in the house, man. We know that. Yeah, they're flying their airplanes. It's like a little vacation for them. It's so disgusting. <laughs> and they're like, I mean, uh, That's rich. Money stupid talks. Stupid fucking pricks. Shit walks. Hey, man, that buddy had a head and ego up so high, man. They don't, they don't even know if they the parent or the kid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Parents say, Mom, didn't I fucking tell you to stay out of my room? Now, who was the parent here? What the fuck? <laughs> I just said that to my mother, man. Believe me, man. I wouldn't be talking to y'all right now. The hell? Talk to my parents like that, man. I'd be half dead somewhere strung up, man. Can you imagine spending $20,000 on a ticket first person and showing up for two fights? What a dumb fucking bunch of fucking kids and fucking parents. Fuck hey man, off. it ain't tricky if you got it. <laughs> In Vegas, man, what a bunch of oh, idiots! Oh, God. oh they hey, shut their face full of lobster before they come out. Hey man, listen, man, them mother got enough money to wipe their ass with, man. We can't. Yeah, they're wiping them. their ass with lobster, man. They got that old ass that's buttered up with fucking lobster. Hey man, this shit fucked up, man. Okay. Okay, man. <laughs> hey, man, he took Ricky Schroeder and grabbed him by the neck and slammed him on his head, I'm man. Gonna, I, man, we'll see Ricky Schroeder next time, man. Man, Ricky Schroeder right in the front row, man. Hey, man, that shit fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why do we call these dudes out that they act like they're something special, man? It's like, they ain't special. You didn't even fucking watch the whole damn card. I think you're fucking unspecial. You don't fucking watch the whole card. You don't even have damn discipline to watch the whole damn card. 
<laughs> he say he want them to be there. Why is three people with a hundred thousand? <laughs> not, Floyd's not, not gonna sit there with fifty people watching the first fight. Don't nobody want to Jonathan. Don't nobody want to be in the club where ain't nobody there. <laughs> hey, you can't even you can't even watch two guys beat the fuck out of each other or like in the undercard and just go crazy on each other and give their heart. I mean, you don't even have enough discipline to do they that. They haven't got time, time, Jonathan. They haven't got time. They've no, they haven't got time. They, they got time to like stupid with their fucking kids and they act is. like they're important somewhere. Like when they're not, but they probably can probably made free money somewhere. Uh, I just, they actually irritate the fuck out of me. Looking at them and on the in the in, up there in the front row just pisses me the fuck off. So expensive tickets there. Yeah, thirty, forty thousand dollars, and they're just they show up at the end. I, I want to slap 000. everyone right in the face. Forty thousand, you sure? Yeah, you... up in Vegas, it's twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars on the front row. For on like fight? big which cars, like when you're, you're when you're which when you watch like Canelo, Pacquiao, joking, uh, any of those kind of things like that. Twenty grand, for yeah. Shit. Like when it's the uh, big, big names. But when it's not so big names, you can buy them really cheap, you know. Uh, man, I ain't giving no motherfucker no twenty thousand dollars for no motherfucker fold up line chart to sit in the front row by no damn ring. Oh, these guys are all just want to see their face on TV. They don't give a shit. Yeah, the showcases that that's I mean, fucking a white yeah. fucking putting extra they lipstick on for us. That's the era we living in. That's the era we living in. Motherfuckers want to have the fortune and the fame. Can't knock them for it, man. It's it's mad. Oh, I can knock the fuck out of them. That's what I think. I think they fucking just It's always been like that. When you watch the old fight, there's always the celebrities of the time there. What? Oh, my God. And I'm always watching the 80s, 70s, this and that, which there's good footage of in color. And you see all the guys. You see Michael Jordan in the crowd. You, you see, see the guy, yeah. Sylvester Stallone in the seventies in the crowd. Some but I wouldn't. Spots. I wouldn't knock him if they would sit for Shit, uh, two or three, four hours and watch all the good fights. I wouldn't knock them. And they show up for fucking one hour or thirty minutes. That fucking pisses me off. And Jesse Jackson, they just made Jesse Jackson, people are not political uh, or whatever in the crowd. All that's sorts. all that's that's all you saying. Somebody just made twenty thousand dollars an hour. Yeah. I, I hour. just think it's I think it's they like they don't really care about boxers. I think they're just some fucking shit. I think their kids are shit. I think they're shit. And I think they need to fucking grow the fuck up. If you want to come out to a boxing man, I don't care if you want to pay if you really love boxing that much, show up and watch at least man. five or six fights. Some people look at other people like dollar signs, man. We know that. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. They turn up there. They just turn up last minute. Yeah, yeah man, just show their damn fucking dirty-ass face. The face that we turned up there, the celebrities. But that's how it, that always has been like that, though, Jonathan. Always. Them guys, they don't want to mix because they, they've they gone that higher le level plateau to you. They think they're so damn good. They that's can't even they look think. at nobody else. I'm not saying that's that what it is. Arrogance. They that was, exactly that. was excellent, man. All that money, money. Money brings that, can bring that arrogance. Because you think you're another level. Yeah, but it's yeah. not even a <laughs> small amount. If you watch these UFC events, nobody's there until like the very end. All these rich families will fly oh, in. Even at, at fight nights, they'll just fly in and everybody shows up at the end. Bosh, bosh, helicopter on top right, of the hotel. You oh, fucking right. shithead families. Man, come on. Have a little respect for the fighters. Have a little respect for the people with that's going on in here. You don't have no respect for them. You don't have no respect for the blood and the pounding that's going on in there. You don't have no respect for them. You're like for the arrogance, for like some kind of hype at the end. So you I don't want to sit in the firm. I wouldn't want to sit that close to the damn rain anyway. Motherfuckers sweat, blood popping off, motherfuckers all in the drink. All yeah, it's shit. mad actually. It's what mad. the fuck you mean? I don't want to sit up there up that, that, that close anyway. Shit. It is violent. I've been running, you know, it is. Rain side is crazy, bro. 
and some of them. But it's say, a yeah. whole fucking ring. I'm oh. telling you, if you go to these fights, you watch it. It's the exact same thing everywhere. It's just Who rich people showing out the last tickets? two my fights, three fights. Nobody. It, it's like you can have a whole empty arena, and then they show up. These rich people. They don't care about the us. They don't care about the fighters, and they don't care about the industry. They care about showing their face on TV and like dance around and eat oh, now at fancy window. restaurants. It's definitely a shop window. That is the best shop window ever. Every way championship of the world gets seen on the yeah, that is. Man, everybody the, going. Everybody coming to see it. Yeah. You you forever in in, in memory. No matter if you rich, poor, check the check, man. Look, motherfucker, come and see that fight. Man. It's like they that. Uh, like, what, what's his name? That fucking bastard, um, Donald Trump. He's for he's forever covered in so many fights. That bastard. Yeah, fucking. He's a bigger oh, fight fan than the yeah, other motherfuckers he, are. Yeah he, yeah, he bought all that fucking shit. Fucking bastard. He's another one. Yeah, I fucking hate that. Fucking bastard. Donald Trump's a bigger fight fan than one. those guys are. Those guys, those guys Can you imagine him and Don, King, him and anyway. Don King doing business? Oh, my Lord. Probably Don King will probably fucking watch more fights than these dudes were. Them two I'm did some what? business, didn't they? Them two. Don King and, <laughs> and Trump. <laughs> At the Trump Plaza. I would put the, those little fucking pricks back. in the same ring. These are actually probably Don King. Would actually, I don't like Don King, and I think that he would probably watch more fights than those guys would. Those we've guys got, would probably Don show King. up for for five minutes, ten minutes, I've got, twenty. I've minutes. got love hate relationship with Don King. I love him and I hate him because obviously I, he's. I one don't of really his, hate Don King. I'm, I'm going to tell you, no, you it's mean, not he, because. I mean, he I has think done some bad things, but he's done some people. very good things and been involved in some of the most important shit in boxing. I, you know what I mean? But I know he's a he's a dodgy fucker, isn't he? Obviously, that's boxing. I just don't mad. know why they... Uh, like I was watching that, like I was saying earlier, I watched that fight between Holmes and Muhammad Ali. And why in the fuck did that fight... Why did they have to almost beg for that fight to be stopped? That fight should be stopped in the fit. I mean, come on. He wasn't. A lot of it was also Ali, though. He wouldn't let, uh, he wouldn't listen to the people that wanted to perhaps say to him, look, it's too much. And the, 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 it had to carry on because when you're the man of the people, there's always, they always want that one last bit. And he but wants to keep kind that of one, the ref one didn't want to stop it. He was play. never going to listen to anyone, Ali. Because when you and get that involved, it's so much. fucked up in man, a game. Yeah, exactly. He got, he's but does he even when he, he, got when he said deep, it? The, the deep, ref didn't want to stop it even then. Saying like he's, everybody was out of place that, that night, he bro. Wants to die for it, he'll die for it, Ali. I mean, many of course he's going to die, die for, for it, but yeah, that, that's just the sadness of it, to be honest. Because you get caught up in it. He's the man of the people. The man of the, you know. So you want to always, you want to always get carry but on. The man of people you know? wasn't doing nothing that night. Exactly, man. He wasn't yeah. doing nothing. I know it's terrible. It should have stopped it's, five years. It should have stopped five years or more before. It, it ruined years of his yeah, thing, and then when he came yeah, again, so the guy to me should have retired after. Should have retired after the second, um, the third Ali, uh, the third Fraser fight, through in Manila. That's when okay. he should have retired. Done. Those last four years or whatever it was, uh, or three or whatever, that's definitely put the nail in the coffin. Bless him. That last fight, the, I still I think really he should have fought. probably was even so retired bad. after four years. In his hand, years. In his hands in shut fight. off when he couldn't even throw his hands, and the ref wouldn't stop it. And I don't remember who he fought, but it was like his hands wouldn't move. The, the brain is shut off from his hands. And it, it was, it was so hard to watch. Countries wanted him there fighting in all over the world. He fought in every continent. So he was one of those guys where you're always getting that call. I mean, they won't leave you alone because you you are the greatest. And he was already then. So he's fighting all over the place. Look how many times he came to England, Germany, fucking everywhere, Africa. It's, it's, just another, it's just another thing altogether to these people, you know, anyway. Fought in that's Japan. Why fought was, re- that's why he was great. He, he went to all over every continent. <laughs> Conquered every continent is what I'm saying. 
Yep. There was, there was, this is that one fight where his hands shut off, just or he got the brain damage. I don't know, shavers or something like that. But man, oh my god! If you imagine they are fifteen round pounders and all. Jesus Christ! Oh. You don't even want to think about it. Every time. <laughs> he <laughs> wouldn't. Yeah. The thing crazy thing about him, he wouldn't stop just, even when he's getting beat up. Broke I don't think Chaz yeah. fights. I don't think Chaz fights. They were fifteen round fights. Yeah, I mean they were all. What they're just. Oh, they were deaths. They are they deaths. They were, I don't. It's just them fights with deaths. Can you imagine? Was, fifteen that's why rounds. Those people were stronger back then, man. Lord, they had to work. They were. They had to write. They had Stamina to do everything that level. people ain't doing today, man. Kitten Orton could be a, a, a world, world champion right now, man. Kitten Orton could be the world champion. Okay. I'm telling champion you. is the champion, but I'm saying the champions back then were stronger than these motherfuckers. Today, they barely have to do anything. Motherfuckers Too much plastic. Have to actually it's work. Like- too much plastic, yeah. You don't have to wind your window in the car anymore. You just press the button. Everything was metal now. All that shit metal. plastic, man. Yeah, it's plastic. It's lighter. See what I'm saying? Everything is getting smaller, man. It's Go just... to the store and get a, a, a Snicker bar. That yeah, motherfucker going to be a bite yeah. size for a dollar instead of what you're supposed to get. Inflationary times, my dude. Come on, man. Motherfucker better wake up. Straight up, man. Against um, what's his name, um, Norton. 15, yeah, all fifteen rounders. All fifteeners, and bro. One of one of them, the half of the fight with a broken jaw, carried on. Motherfuckers now stopping with a cut and stuff. Carried on. He should have stopped straight away there and there. Broken jaw, carried on. Go and watch the fight. Joe Swan Flop. And you're thinking this is round six or seven happened or whatever, if I can remember. And you think fucking hell is going to fifteen. You what? Against a, a Norton. Going, against a Norton. That's proper G. We was back then talking about man, he got beat up in round thirteen. What you talking about? <laughs> and fourteen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they are talking about twelve rounders, bro. No, I can't. No, it is that. Championship rounds, round nine. Is it full? <laughs> I know it's health and safety. I thought it no, was, thought it was just 11 and 12. They talking about round nine. I know, yeah. It used to be, yeah. It used to what? Be. Round nine is a championship round? No, they said, yeah, well. God damn, the, man. The last third. You do hear commentators say that. Yeah, the last We're getting years. in the championship round. <laughs> We're going to get a bit of championship right 10, 11, and 12. Okay. But it's health and safety, I suppose. You don't want them getting too battered, bashed up, do you? Yeah, they chopped oh, it off, man. Motherfuckers in there, damn, they're looking like some spaghetti strings died. in there fighting, man, in 15 that dude, rounds. That dude died or something in 82 or whatever, and then they changed the ruling, didn't they? they yeah. Went to, they went to 12. Oh, damn. What's that dude died? I can't remember his name. Damn, no. man. I could just remember his face, man. Dude, this shit yeah. is crazy, man. Uh, and then it went, they said, oh, we'll go to 12. Round. Then championship rounds, it was a bit. And it seemed like the rounds. Hey, Paolo, this seemed like the round was four <laughs> minutes long, man. Yeah. It seemed like the 15 round fights, it seemed like the rounds was like four minutes long, man. Like, damn. I think the, I taking think- the, shaving those three rounds definitely saved a lot of lives, I think. Yeah, I, I think so too. Cause yeah, people, yeah, those I'm last three you, rounds is definitely where that's the nail in the fucking coffin stuff. It's too they come much. out that ring. They come. They fucking both, man, both man, fighters they, be over there bent over. Like, yeah, shit. yeah. yeah. <laughs> can't, they can't see After for a fight, month. man. Both fighters be like, shit. Did yeah, I just do that? Yeah, it's too much. And that's God, awesome. Damn. That's a long motherfucker, man. That's a long time, man. To be standing up, running around, chasing motherfucker, wrestling, and tying up and throwing your motherfucking hands, man. Shit, 15 rounds. Oh, man. Them boxers were stronger, man. That's why I say, man, people be talking. I'll be listening to them talk. But like, I'm like, bro, they was fighting 15-round fights, man. We talking about 12, bro. 
You came up watching 12 rounders, bro. I came up watching 15 rounders, bro. What are you talking about? Yes, and, and loads they of They need to go watch some of these 15 round fights, man. Get off these motherfucking new sport motherfuckers and go watch them. Ain't nothing like the old school. That's what paves the way for these motherfuckers y'all looking at now. It's a long journey, 15 rounds. God it's damn, like, it's like a long three fights in one. You get like that, those early rounds, it's like one fight. And then you got all them middle rounds. That's another he fight. Say, he and then you got no the fight, finale. A journey. He and said it's got, a journey. Yeah, it, is, it is a journey. Then you got the finale. <laughs> it's like get ready for the. You got the Martine, the fucking. God the, damn, boy! You might the late those. night, and then you get, then you get the midnight. <laughs> hey, Paulo. I mean? Hey, Paulo. Hell yeah! You might well throw a seven in a stretch in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, don't you? Martine late and midnight. God right. damn, man. <laughs> These motherfuckers <laughs> in fights today. They walking around throwing their hands up, doing flips off the motherfucking top rope. Get your ass in there and go 15. I mean, look crazy as hell. And them motherfuckers go for it and all. At the in the last round, and they they know they tired. They in the man. It was the Warriors, man. And, then, and they fucking go for it from round one. It's not like oh, they you can say oh, they take it easy and pace themselves. No, because they fucking nah, well, got it. They are. They look, gotta look, get it in. Look at look at uh, Ernst and um, your word meant everything back then, Holmes man. What was like, yeah. uh, 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 that's what you talking? Okay, we gonna see about that in the ring. And motherfucker had to do that in the <laughs> ring. Um, we talking shit. Got to be about that shit, man. Okay. And them fighters back then was about that, man. Then that it was about that. That was the the personality. No motherfucker. That's yeah. what it's that. That's you know. That's how. That's why your your, men, yeah, your that. mentality was built like that. You know, you've yeah, got yeah. to last that. The different cloth, different cloth. Yeah, you could totally different. Totally different. It's a lot. Three That's rounds. That's why I be listening lot. to these young men talk on her, man. I'd be like, okay. Three I rounds guess, is a lot man. extra. I guess, yeah. man. Canelo look like that mad uh that, that Max dude from Parker Brothers. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> He looked just like that dude, mad. Remember the little bug two kid with the freckles? Mad. That comic he's, he's, book. He's, he's, he's unique, he is that lad. That's man, this dude, you gotta, this you gotta right give it here, to him. He's, he's he's unique. He's got his own little thing going on. I ain't talking about his I ain't talking about, totally his I'm talking about what totally he looks like right here. He, <laughs> he, he, bro, he's totally different, that Canelo dude. He's got his own thing going on. Do you get me? <laughs> You yeah, get, for real you, though. You get these unique athletes, you do, and people. Sometimes they just come they just out do. of nowhere. It's a handful of them, and they want to learn. And they want to learn. They want to improve. Mother. They got that thing about them. No Mother, strokes, bro, no the... drinks, no nothing. They just all about that, you know, all about it. Who is the Who is the number ten contender? You know what I'm saying? All these motherfucker people. Is on hold. All these people is on hold, man. Why should he take all the tough challenges or whatever people perceive to be to the tougher challenges? Motherfuckers want to fucking start getting fights themselves. But, but that number ten and, getting, you know, move, and moving their career around and and trying to get in there in place. Get your own fucking place for you know what I mean. Yeah, Position. Well, yeah. I think a motherfucker need to uh really be tripping off these other boxes too, man. I'm so sick of all these same motherfucking names. Fight then. Yeah, just fight. All trust. these motherfucking names and talking all this shit. Well, get in there and bang then. Where the glory at? Ain't no glory on your motherfucking cap piece. Your eating piece. That's all these niggas doing. Running a eating piece. Get in there and motherfucking fight so we can see what you talking about. We hear you. 
We want to see you. We are the fight fans. We want to see a motherfucking fight. Nah, 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 nah. I want to see you fight, motherfucker. Yeah, Apollo, man, we, we just got to sit back and wait, man. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, man, we got to sit back and wait to see yeah, what the fuck man. And I want this, I want 22 to be the year, man, where we just, uh, we blossom, we, we bloom, man. Yeah, the new year is going to be unbelievable. There's loads yeah. of new crop, loads of new young fighters. They know these fighters, promoters, all them, they know fighters, they need to go ahead and. Go ahead, Paolo. Go ahead. I think it's boxing's in a, it's it's apart from we don't get the fights, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all the politics, but it's in a good place. There's talent everywhere. Man, and ain't it in a good place? Um, well, the, well, this cool. starting point, this starting point, it is at a good place right now. If we can get these fights and keep it at you know consistent, man, then oh, we yeah, there's we'll some be good young ones. Hey, man. That's all they need to do, man. We supposed to be excited every week then. All these motherfucking fighters, all these goddamn belts and all this shit, motherfuckers supposed to be out here with black eyes and lumps on their damn head <laughs> from a good fight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying hurt or none of it, like badly injured. I'm just talking about some, you been in the fight. We can see it. Okay, so what's next? But I don't want nobody to die in them fucking ring. I just want to see a good fight. With the top challengers, with competition, all this competition out here, all these champs running around with this money and these bills, but ain't nobody fight. The fights that we they that they know we want to see. Make that shit happen, man. Just make it happen. Yeah. Who we got on the panel, yeah? It's just me, you, and Piro and H. Piro. Puro. What up, what up? What's going down? Same old brothers just got home. I was uh, driving home from my sister's house. Driving home for Christmas. You, give me you some... know it. You know it. <laughs> driving on to the field. Driving home for Christmas. You driving so. now? No, 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 no. I, I, oh, I, you I, already I, made it? I already made it, sir. All right, all praise it. Hey, who's, sir, sir. who's that dude in the beach? Is that McGregor? No, that's, uh, no, that's uh, Jake, Jake Paul bitch and ass, man. Wilson. Who is it? Yeah, that's the knockout pitcher, man. Oh, oh, well, that dude, is it? Yeah, I'm yeah. just uh, uh, clowning this uh, this dude on the on the chat. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, man, man. hey, man, Piro got the peaks. <laughs> I, was I, know, looking right? for that, I, I was looking that was for that McGregor. Salvador Sanchez. I was waiting on you to throw him up there, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I remember uh, you talking about him, but I had a, I had a, uh, what happened was uh, I was on my phone, so I couldn't put him up. Hey, man. Hey, man, dude. Dude, he got, he got a sneaky right hand that's just so fucking out of nowhere, man. You would never knew he you never knew he was hit with it. I saw him knock dude down with that, hand, that right hand he had. He'll rock to the left and then throw the hand coming back to the. I mean, he'll rock to the right and then he'll throw the right hand rocking back to the left. Mm. And that motherfucker will knock your ass out if you ain't paying attention. Yeah, that was cheeky, that one. <laughs> that shit was tricky as fuck, man. I'm like, how is he getting that off? But he's got amazing footwork, hasn't he? And he's on his toes beautifully, hops lovely. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking motor that he never. I, yeah, I never it's seen a beautiful. Him tired. That's I what just, I like about I watched that. Watched the dude. He was fucking he was phenomenal, toes. man. That's good stamina. Fifteen rounds. That is. I'm and looking at guys. Tend to yeah. It's just... I watched him defend his title seven times. Yeah, that's mad. That is. I mean, look at his age. Everything that's fucking. That is. That is. That's good. That's great, man. Forty that's something good. fighter. Like was it twenty one or whatever? No, twenty three. 23, he passed away. He died at 23, so yeah, thinking, already then he would have had fucking hell. He the, he the, man, he still had hell as to go, and he was good like that. I know he had that defeat, but they like learning things at the start, and you don't know how it was. You know, it was only a decision. 
Mm-hmm. I ain't seen it wasn't that. I ain't a knockout that. and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I'll struggle. And, the, and then he just got better and better and better as he had the better, you know, but training but, facility, but, you know, all that stuff, yeah. you know. Especially in that time, too. Mm. Yep. He was focused in that time, in those times, in the early 80s. Yeah, man. It was, it was a killer. Shit, man. He uh, um, he could have knocked out a, a Bazooka Gomez in, in, in one round, but he wanted to uh, punish him. Yes. Yes. My dad Wheels. used to tell me that story. What's up? Who was that? Wheels Gomez? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're Fredo Gomez. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's that's uh, shit, that's one of the earliest stories of boxing. My dad told me. I think that what was that? Uh, he fought him uh in eighty. I think it was he fought like, him in nineteen eighty. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Twelve, tw- yeah, twelve, sixteen. I mean, uh, not twelve, six, twelve, uh, nineteen eighty or some shit like that. Yeah, I don't know. Good. I just I know, I know I ain't seen no losses from him, but I know he. he I saw seven defenses. He beat seven up them? seven people. He beat yeah, up no, seven he people. Was, he was he was a monster. Yeah, he beat up seven people, bro. I think him, Chavez, and Loki Canelo are the only ones that are like literally uh like made a, a punish the fighter just for talking shit. Cause he could have been knocked dude out, man. Yeah, I agree. he could have been knocked that man out. That's why I dropped him like a that for, right for, hand. That right hand was hurting him. The That's right hand. Dropped, second drop. That, hey man, that right hand in the third. You saw how he was looking. Mm-hmm. Uh, that 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 right leg buckle. He was like, "Oh shit, this <laughs> motherfucker hit it's hard, the motherfucker, motherfucker boy." <laughs> right. Yeah, he had to get his legs back. You heard? Me? I'm oh, like, picture. damn. Yeah, that yeah. shit right there, man. Hey, man, them them so, old school fights, man. You got to look at the fight. You got to see how strong it is then compared to today. These dudes today ain't Harley, man. Shit, Canelo did it twice, man. But them the ones that's that's that them the ones that we have of today that's chasing the glory. Yes, sir. That's who remains the strong. Them the remaining strong motherfuckers that we got in modern time today. Third motherfucker body else is the motherfucker, man. You you trying to oh man, I ain't finna be uh jumping in there getting beat up man, for no two meal. You crazy. Man, get your ass on, nigga. The fuck out of here. You supposed to take the challenge. You a challenger. Even though, even if you a champ, you a challenger if you testing some testing yourself. Damn, Facts. man. Facts. You ain't trying to test yourself. How you call your motherfucker self a contender? You ain't That's contending true. shit. Right? You're contending. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I get you. Straight up, man. I mean, I be, I mean, use your common sense, but it ain't all that common. Right? Not, not, not these use days at least. Use your fucking brain, man. These days at least. Oh, my goodness, man. Mushy, mushy pee for a brain. One little mushy pee. That's what we got out here. <laughs> the man is, the man eyes is rolled in the back of his head, man. You talking sure. about let him continue? No, rub his gloves off, get in there. What? That man half dead. These refs, all this shit need to get out of boxing, man. Right. <laughs> For real, man, all this all this fookery needs to get out of boxing. Straight fookery. Yeah, man, shit's stupid, man. From the fans all the way up to the motherfucking stupid motherfucking the backstage can't get the motherfucking shit right. Two piece in a biscuit, bro. But man, damn, you heard me. It's it's dumbass paperwork in the game. It's I I done heard it all on H Money, bro. <laughs> I didn't heard it right? all on H Buddy, man. I thank little bro though, man, because I've been looking for the little the boxing talk. It's been out here. I just I I'm late, shit. shit but I, man. hey, man, I've been having fun though with it. So, man, you know, man, you know, that's me. Wow. Don't get offended, right? <laughs> just talking shit, man. Damn, it's the internet. 
It's a new year, man. Come on, man. We ain't gonna hurt you. Damn, man. You gonna reach out and touch yeah. someone? Well, almost for me, but you know, <laughs> but shit, man. Damn, man. My new year don't start till, till March, April, man. But you know, man, I'm just saying, man. Come on, man. Extra food. At this, the 2022 needs to be our year. Yes, sir. Straight up, and nobody. We we want to. We 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 got to come together so we can watch to the backstage. We have good shows, motherfucker. We'll listen. Ah oh, damn, man, that's all it is. Then it's, then we can get in a motherfucker earth, then we can get shit done. The fans make it happen. Yes, they do. Because if we stop, then what? They can uh fight each other and promote each other. Give a fuck. Right. Straight. <laughs> straight. <laughs> I mean, I mean straight up, bro. Shit. That's what happens when you fuck around and talk shit. Man, and you, yeah, you get your ass beat the fuck up. Especially if it's a real one, man. It's fucking the ones that don't say shit. You know that's what it is, man. That's what the my pops used to killer. say. Yep, mm-hmm. you know, because silent that's what's killers, about. man. Yeah, like the, Wilfredo Gomez was talking about, like, yeah, the Mexicans, they fucking, they suck, and man, they, and they do all this shit. And uh, I, Salvador's actually didn't say shit. He's just like, all right, <laughs> all right. Yeah, he said he was just playing with him. Hey man, you can tell he was in there talking shit, bro. Salvador the Sam just had the best shit, poker bro. face ever for me in boxing. Hmm? Say it again, Paulo. He had the best poker face ever in boxing for me. Oh Salvador my Sanchez. goodness, bro! That's this what I'm dude, trying to say. His face was you like need from that beginning. poker face. He just didn't even during the fight, <laughs> fifteen rounds. He's not giving you anything away. You know, the facial hey, gestures. Hey, even, even if you that, hurt The him. weaning pain when you go, oh, all those facial Because that gives a lot to the other boxer. Did it hurt? Hey, man, no. I promise you, man. It that doesn't man give had the anything best away. Face in the world. I promise you. Honestly. No bullshit, that bro. poker face is just, from start to finish, it's like, regardless of what A happens, real life poker face. A oh, real yeah, life he is, one. He's the G. I'm, I look for stuff like that. Now I give it to the, the I give it to the lady tells, Terminator. You know. Hey, I give it to the lady Terminator. She had a poker face, could no motherfucker resist. You hear me? <laughs> Remember the lady Terminator, that yeah, third one? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah she yeah. never smiled, do nothing. That motherfucker was poker faced out. But this Saint Chess yeah. dude from in round boxing, one. You need that. You look, need coming that. to the ring, Paulo. Coming to the ring. Yeah, same yeah, face, yeah, same yeah, face, yes, like at, yes, ra- at the end of round finish, twelve, yeah. uh, round fifteen. He got the same face. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's just that, that like one, it was a mask, Paulo. Hey, like it was a mask called straight up. <laughs> it, it fucks up the, the opponent. It fucks up with the guys. The opponent's head. The it dude ain't. The shit. dude ain't even show you that you hit him hard. You hear me? If he yeah, even, that stuff fucks your head up. It's like fucking hell. He's not. You know. <laughs> Because you want some signs, you want some man. That shit is scary. You know, he just no. scared the shit out there with that tactic, man. He never showed no signs of frown, smile, nothing. Frowning thing, yes, the frowning, all that sort of stuff. Very hey, important. man, the dude didn't even show a mean look on his face. It was just straight. <laughs> Up, Nick, I tripped off that Paulo man. I really tripped. I'm like, damn, is this motherfucker even breathing in that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is that. That's another thing. It doesn't give side the signs of tiredness. And once None again, fifteen shit, round fight, he's thirteen, it'll fourteen it'll... round, and he's like. And he's not. He still won't got give his anything hands away. He's like he's even tired, let alone. Uh, Right, he still got his hands up. He's steady he, coming he, forward. Yeah, exactly. And he's, <laughs> still, he's still rocking and on he his got toes. This poker. He's, that's oh, scary as hell. Come on. Oh, look, Paulo, that's I'm scary to motherfucker. The man I'm still not got telling his hands up. Now, featherweights now <laughs> would be absolutely obliterated. I'm not even joking. Oh, with you. man. The man got his hands up. I'm telling you now. Forward. You uh, put Fabio Dos Sanchez now with the dude, now, whatever the weight. <laughs> And he's fucking punches. ripping him to bits. I don't give a <laughs> shit. It's round 14. 
<laughs> it's round right. 13. I don't give a fuck who it is. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Well, they go about Lomas done this, Lomas done that. Like, they may not come on. Hey, man, this man steady coming forward with his hands up, throwing punches, and with a, a, with a poker face. He ain't got no, he ain't got, his face is bland, and <laughs> But that shit's very important. I can't, we can't it's scary that above, enough for the, the, fa- the mental thing with the face, you know what I mean? Yeah, that the face, face in man, boxing, it's important face. that that plays well big in it, because you look at the face for signs, don't you? Right. Is he wincing? Is he wincing? Yeah, he, he breathing hard. Oh, none of that oh, shit. You're looking at his breathing, you're looking at everything. If you got Ain't a G sure. there, you got a G that is always the fucking same. Dude. It's fucking hell. Hey, hey, that shit's scary, man, to yeah, a fighter, man. Adversity. He, got, he, he has adversity. Got to be. It had to be. Though. It had to be scary to him. The way they were, you, you could see how he was moving forward on him, how they was moving back. Like, am I fighting a person? Like, he fight a robot, man. And he and he wasn't look he and he wasn't looking down to where he was gonna punch or none of this shit. You hear me? Mm. The he thing is, he, he cleaned he cleaned up everything off from. Oh uh, yeah, he he, 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 he cleaned up like the best Asian guy. He beat the best European guy. He beat English French dudes, best South American. You know, he cleaned them all up. Really, I know that he could have still. You're still young, and he was going to even achieve more. I mean, we're talking about a Hall of Fame already. He got Fighter of the Year award also. He shared it, though. I think he shared it with someone. I think it was Sugar Ray, maybe. Someone. The, one of the few times that the Fighter of the Year was shared with someone. Yeah. Bit harsh, but I think it was Sugar Ray. Well, he's with because of his, something like that. I don't, do you know? Four years out the Olympics, nineteen eighty. Uh, uh shit. four he, he, years he, out the Olympics. Yeah, that probably was Sugar Ray. It, it sounds right. Because of his win against Durant, he shared the fight over there with someone. The, the award was given to two dudes. It's, I can look one. it up right now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Look I think it up. it's eighty-two, but I'm not 100% one second, sure. one second. 1982? <laughs> I'm so getting, what, I'm be guessing the, that, but I'm not hundred uh, percent sure. I mean, I can't fucking remember everything. Years years and being I can't remember everything, but I've been, I'm a bit inclined on that. But regardless, yeah, he, yeah, I think he did share it with someone that I know. So what's that? Six years out from the Olympics, oh, it would have been eighty-two. Be... It probably would have been Duran's. I know I don't. I'm not Duran. Um, Sugar Ray with Sugar Ray, maybe. It's probably uh. So the, dude, so the dude at 23 has achieved everything. Fighter of the Year, Hall of Fame, uh, fucking, yeah. That's what he's a beast, to. man. That man's a beast, bro. I'll tell you what, though. Zuma did give him a fight, though. He gave him the mother. He was okay, in there. You know, he dropped, he an unexperienced, there, there. unexperienced. No wonder why Zuma went to achieve greatness. He gave him that fight right there, Paulo. Hey, Paulo, that fight right there. He learned a lot from that fight. Of course he did, like like Canelo did with Floyd Mayweather. It's that sort of shit. Mm -hmm. It was his learning. Yeah, it's that sort of stuff. It made him great. You need these things that not all help you, should I say. Not necessarily make, but give you that confidence, uh, all that, you know, everything. All of that. Mental. Factual facts. Yeah. Because he, he, uh, when he dropped them, he was on his shit after that. Yeah. I mean, Azuma and came out that fight. And then didn't even look like they was tired of none of this shit. Yeah. I was like, damn, these motherfuckers. But they the little guys, though. So, But I'm still saying, like, damn, they didn't even look like they was fucking tired at all. Mm. Only fatigue that Nelson has is because he, he, was, he was getting hit with that right hand. They yeah, was in there yeah. banging though. I ain't they taking were, yeah, they nothing else. Oh, they, 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 they was banging I, like a motherfucker. That's what I mean. There's no setting that yeah, they set the pace, bang, bang, they're slapping each other, you know, bang, bang, bang. But, but Azuma's a, obviously was a young guy, wasn't he? Yeah. Yes, sir. He was young dude. You young dude, so you had that fresh, you know, he still had that freshness. He's like twenty four, twenty three at the time too. Mm. That was young guys back then. But uh, just like they are today, just like they are today, 
discounted him all the time, picked him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He let him follow him around the ring. Yeah, that's he what I'm saying. A couple yes. of rounds off in that in that fight. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Those 15 rounders, they can, and then it reset and let's go again because those last final ones, fuck it. You know, like I keep saying, you think you get to ten and you got another five? Fuck it. I kind of think that he was like fighting two fights. You understand? The they first do. Half and then they the did. Half. They did. Like, I, you used to see fight, three fights, fights in one the fight. Yeah, um, yeah, in a fight, right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know where I'm at. You understand. Yeah, you, get, you get five rounds of, like, the fucking start or whatever, you know, where they're setting, you know, just it would be cage in the middle round, dude. Yeah. It would be another style, and then obviously from the last five, it would be like, right, you know. Yeah, yeah I'm saying. Phases, saying two, phases in the in one fight. fight. Yeah, phases in the fight. yeah. Yeah, that's how that's how I was looking at those fifteen rounders. Like this dude ain't even boxing like he was just boxing, but it's working for him. He found what was working for him. He hey, that's two fights. Cause that's how that man was fighting. You could see how his opponent was reacting to the way he was punching him and the angles he was coming it from. When you could see that the uh the, his opponent was just he was just overwhelmed, folded over. Them heavyweights did well to do 15 rounds also, looking at it. Oh, my goodness. I was trying to dude, stay away from that. Now, come, Them, come now they, they look like they was fucking noodles in there swinging. <laughs> well, dudes, now they fucked. They, well, they're not even boxers. Some of them, whatever. I don't know. They're not like proper ground boxers. They probably come from another thing. I just, after a few rounds, they fucked. Man, these fighters today, <laughs> man, they swear around the heavyweights. The bell stuff, ring, man, they instantly oh, throw their hands up. Damn. We don't see no fatigue or none of that shit today, man. Unless a motherfucker's just hitting the body the whole fight. I suppose maybe they bigger or whatever. I don't know, but them six foot threes, this still went six foot, six foot, six foot three, still went uh, 15 rounds, didn't they? Man. They put those. those. That that's, that's That's a hard thing to do, man. Heavyweights. Heavyweights. 15 rounds. 20 ounce motherfucking glove. How many did Ali do? 15 rounders. He did a few. Yeah, he did 15s. He did he did a whole bunch of 15 He would have yeah, Norton, that's three. 15, uh then you've got fucking Joe Fraser, Nelly, no. Nelly all fifteen. Nelly right, bro. Then you know some of them didn't go to fifteen, so Riddle, shavers, what fuck you say? Loads of fuckers, all them uh, European top talent, Kuni. Yeah, man, there's a there's a lot of fights, man, that people need to go back and watch from uh, the the earlier times, man. Go oh, study that shit, man. Then you compare it to today, man. Then you'll see you can see what's going on in boxing. It's simple. But the times have changed. Bro, you gotta go back, bro, and, and see what was going on in the past. Then you can see what the fuck is going on today. It's the same shit, actually. It's just different motherfuckers, man. These motherfuckers is. I don't know, man. I'm going to have to agree with Jonathan. Motherfuckers disgusting, bro. With they mental. They good in the ring with they mental. You got to be mental. Come on, man. These fighters need to stay focused, man, on what the deal is. Bell's glory bag, bro. They got you fucked that order up, man. You fucked up. Straight up. Yeah, man. That's what I do all every time around this year, man. I go to sleep on this shit, man, for real. <laughs> Motherfuckers out here shooting and shit, man. All type of shit. It sounds like chaos, man. 
He had no, I was over there. Uh, like she house, boom, 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 boom. You're in, God damn. You're you in the deck. Then half these motherfuckers don't know how to shoot. Shots fired. Shots fired. Then it's a motherfucker. First time every year. Uh-uh, man. I be all the way laid down. Fuck that, man. And I need my motherfucking bullets. I ain't shooting shit. Unless I'm shooting at something. Fuck. But you know, man, shit. It's one of them days, and we in those times, man. I hope I, I hope everybody make it home safe, though, man. And you know what I'm saying. Thanks. Enjoy theyself and make it home safe, man. Do everything responsibly, and uh, we can continue and, and keep our community strong, man. For real, man. Get everybody. Get we all. I'm not excluded from nothing I say. So don't get. Don't don't be. Thinking I'm trying to judge you with none of this shit. Me too. Fuck you, man. Straight up, man. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Mm -hmm. I, well, I look like lying to you. We talk shit, man. That's 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 different. When it comes to when it comes to trying to check me on something, man, you better have your motherfucking facts together. Facts are food. Yeah, you got to have your shit together, man. Come swinging your motherfucking ass this way, man. I ain't got no beef with nobody. I don't hate nobody. You understand? Sir. This the only thing we got for right now that's going to keep us together. We can't even get this shit right. Y'all bring all that outside shit right into this. But it's third, though, man. It's going to always be, man. Tell a motherfucker, correct it. And so don't get mad when you get corrected. My turn coming. You're my right. turn coming. You know what I'm saying? That's why shit. I correct myself right off top, motherfucker. Like, like damn, he checked the shit out of self. Yes, I'm a man. You supposed to correct your damn self. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck, that's why you motherfuckers is out here loose ass cannonballs rolling down a hill. I tell you what, though, uh, Ebru, he did that that sneaky right hand by uh, Sanchez. I'm just watching some stuff now. He, Good man, <laughs> he's good. He had a great left hook, also. Okay, yeah, that left hook was putting that mark. That left hook was dangerous. That's what reminded me of uh, yeah. need, no need to the nerve. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, he could land. And it. Lemieux had a motherfucking Lemieux had a motherfucking ugly ass left too. And he My precise, was he's, on he's that. precise as fuck. He's precision. Oh, Sanchez? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, man. You can tell he Papa really fucking twists his knuckles and shit. It's... Hey, man, he sit on all his punches yes, with both hands. And he, he was puts dangerous. His knuckles in, definitely. Not. He was dangerous with both hands, too. That left hook to the body. You can see he 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 run him right into that his right defense, hand. Defense, his defense, he's blocking with with his arms and shit like that. It's just yeah, another easy. another. What fuck. fight you got? What fight you watching? Just like highlights and stuff. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you just yeah. you just you just seeing poetry, in my opinion. Man, it's like he painting a picture on yeah. a box. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's all it is. That's what it looked like in the ring with him. Big, it's a picture, yeah. And then that <laughs> bounce. He painted a picture is, off with the boxes. When you're watching, guys, you want to see. It's like they should be painting a picture for you. It's like fucking hell. Oh, we'll get some cigarettes, fellas. Are you back? Yeah, man. That's what. That's what it is, man. It be. It be. Uh, paint a picture, man. You got two paintbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> For real. And that, that, yeah, that, I don't know how he throwing it. He throwing it off of, he throwing, he throw that motherfucker off of a, a jab so fast. He, he throws it anyhow. Even if Where, just, just with a lead, lead, when he lead with it, that's what, that's what he hurt him with. Yeah, he could lead with it. Yeah, but he, his arm could be stretched halfway up, and you'd still get the whip. You'd still correct your ass with that right hook, right in your face. Now, that's what I was saying. He was throwing. He threw a punch, and in mid punch, he turned that motherfucker to a hook. 
he was throwing a straight right hand, but in mid punch, he turned that shit to a hook. I, what the fuck? Azuma Nelson, he caught him with the left hook. He, he caught his ass with that left. He kept hitting him with that left. Yeah, he did. Yeah, because he dropped his motherfucking hand when he what, Azuma he dropped did. his hand when he threw in the jail. Azuma did put it on. He did put it on on him. That was like really the toughest one I seen them fight though. That was the only motherfucker gave his ass some problems in there for real. I ain't yeah. see nobody else getting no problem. I ain't see the loss though. I ain't see that fight he lost. I ain't see that one. Yeah, that was early on when they're starting off. Oh, I ain't see that. Oh, yeah, one. it's one of those scenarios where when they were starting I... off in his first like five fights or something. See, because it popped up. I'm like, who the fuck is Salvador Sanchez? I'm talking about, I just started watching this dude. I've been watching this man. I watched like seven fights. I was like, damn, dude, cold. Damn, damn. And let's see, I just figured out, I thought he was undefeated. Went out undefeated the way he was fighting. But you know, it's always one, man. So if you think you the biggest, baddest, toughest motherfucker out here, is somebody out here that's going to whoop your ass. Know that shit. Know that shit, man. Uh, so you rolling with that fighter with an O, oh, is somebody out here in this world that's going to beat his ass? Can't get around that shit at all. Yeah, man, I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. And, uh, you know, let's get this year kicked off right, man, because what we saying, it was a good year. 21 was good. 20 was good. This one right here, man, we got to come. We got to come hard, man. We got to have new attitudes, man. We can't come together. How the hell are we going to get to the backstage, man? That shit ain't gonna never happen, bro. We got that. We we want motherfuckers to come to the show. We over here bashing the hell out of each other, talking about cooked you. Come on, man. We want to get big guests on here. We want we want to get them in here so we could get in their motherfucking head to see what to get to see what we want. We can't do that if we over bashing each other all the goddamn time, man. Free smoke, don't, don't get it wrong, don't get it twisted, but you know, when we got company, motherfucker, we got company. It's called special guests. <laughs> God damn, man. You know, we're guessing that we don't know who on her, man. You don't know who in the chat. They ain't gotta say nothing. We don't know who would come over here looking like, nah, fuck, nah, they on that motherfucker tripping. I ain't talking about no motherfucking boxing. They talking about killing each other over there. But it is the jungle. It's the fucking internet, man. Damn. But this is what we trying to do at H Money. We trying to be the only channel that's going to bring this truth. You know what I'm saying? Hardcore. To the muff, raw to the motherfucking bone, and and don't give a damn about your feelings. And we gonna do what we do here at all time. We gonna all the time. And I'm just I ain't no different from nobody. Straight up, man. That's what I bring to the table. We sitting on this motherfucker telling no lies, bro. Get your ass on. Keep that shit 100, man. Yeah, man. If your ass sitting somewhere sober like me right now, I ain't had a drink. Got all the drinks. I got all drink. I ain't drank nothing. Got all the drinks. I ain't drank shit. I've been asleep. Trying to go halfway. Shit. All this goddamn shooting out here. 
I'm just glad ain't nothing come through no windows or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Check out everything in the house. Make sure everything right while you go to sleep. If you're still up to the playback game, to the watch worlds, go check your motherfucking how to make sure all your wires is together and shit. I don't know where they, which direction these motherfucking bullets going. You leave home in the motherfucking house, catch on fire because of bullet and split your motherfucking wires on your house, man. Y'all better start looking into this shit. I don't know what happened. Check everything. Make sure everything right on your house, everything. When the smoke clear, though. Straight up, man. It's a wild, wild world out here, man. There's just a handful of motherfuckers that's going to tell your ass how it is. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker was brought up on these goddamn lies, so we can see that right on this motherfucker, right here in the YTBC. Motherfucker will come straight lie to your motherfucking hearing. And if you believe it, then okay. Your character show. It's simple. It ain't nothing. But if you can't see through this shit, then you know your power line dormant in you. You need to turn your power key. You turn it, push that motherfucker and break it. Turn your power on. It's starting to mind. But if you ain't gonna mature and like goofy shit, then I mean, well, you know, you continue on, on that path. You know that shit fall right off the cliff. Looking at your cell phone. Yeah, man. That's that's what it is, man. See, the truth gonna remain. It needs no disguise. It don't need no help. None of that shit, bro. We don't need none of that shit. It is what it is. And that's how you know what it is when the motherfucker can't control themselves when they hear it. Let's get it together, fam. Straight up. We sit here and talk about this all day. People. That's why we got to get in these motherfucking early get these motherfuckers on the show, man. That's the only way it's going to happen. Real motherfuckers. Real motherfuckers, man. Four thirty-five. In the AM. 435 in the AM. Mm -mm -mm. Now, what if a motherfucking war kick off right now? Everybody shot all their bullets up. The fuck? No. I guess fun is fun. Anybody uh, get up. hurt? Anybody get hurt from the bullets coming back down? So many bullets shot in the air. Oh uh, man, I hope not. No. Square business. I hope not for real. That's a dangerous shit, man. Fucking driving in motherfucker. Your car window knock out and shit. Why you driving just out of nowhere and shit, man? That's dangerous shit, man. For real. Like I say, these first of them, it's a motherfucker. Every year, it's a motherfucker that's shooting a gun for the first time. Every time. That's why I don't, I don't get involved. That shit crazy, man. Guns don't kill. People do.
straight up. When you got the gun in your hand, motherfucker, you, you pull the trigger, it ain't no accident. Because if you didn't pick that motherfucker up, believe me, that motherfucker gonna sit there and rest until you pick it up. So let's stop the madness, man. You're actually killing off your own family, motherfucker, with everybody. Black on black, white on white, whatever the fuck it is. Motherfuckers need to quit being fucking cowards and be strong. Live another day. Motherfucker can't take no ass whooping because they ain't never had no ass whooping from birth. So they motherfucking head is a brick and they ass is marshmallows. Straight up, man. Spur the ride, spoil the child, man. We, we know this shit, man. Timeouts and shit, no. Ain't no discipline in this shit. Oh, I just bust a motherfucker head, stole out the store, and all I have to do is stand right here and time out? Cool, I can get that off again. I'm going to beat they ass, though. Put some of that motherfucker whooping on that ass, though. Naked ass. Motherfucker will stop this shit. Believe me. Little Philip and Kern and June Bug and all them little motherfuckers will stop this shit. Believe me. They soup y'all ass up. That's why this generation is like this out here. Ain't no discipline. Ain't no kids raising kids. Grown ass kids raising their kids. Ain't no light in this shit. Being goofy. <laughs> he cursed, man. Nah, you put something on his ass for cursing. What you mean? That's what's wrong, bro. Well, 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 come on, come, come in, Kush. Come fuck with me, man. Shit. Why is you at work? You already know how we get down shit. We don't, we don't sit in this motherfucker talk all facts all night. Already know, he wrote What's all up, gas, really? no brakes. Man, you it's all me. gas, no brakes. You know that? Already, man. You know. Shame. All, all year long. All year long. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's all gas, no brakes. All we gas, turned no up brakes, all bro. year long. You better know that, T. You, you, I mean, you set the tone every night when you step in here. You know what I'm saying? You know how yeah. it is. Yeah, it, I it's try to, man. to be killed out here, man. This shit, real, real life, this shit ain't no game. Facts of food, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all we trying to bring out, bro. We ain't got no receipts, man. Shit dead, bro. But the shit talking to chin smoke is going to be there, man. Shit. Yeah, you already know, Hebrew. Yeah, man. my boy Kush, he might be at work though. Shit. So I mean, I don't know, man. Shit. Well, you just yeah, I'm right back. here with you though, man. Yeah, you, know? man, you already so, man. It's the thing, hey, man. We always growing <laughs> in this motherfucker, man. Shit. Hey, Hebrew, man. You know you the champion right now for sure. You the undisputed champion. Oh, there go Kush, your boy right there. He bring it out. Up. Yeah. That's what's up. That's there what's up. Uh, what up, so oh. What's up, Kush, man? Shit, I thought your ass said you stay at work, boy. You got a bed what, at this. What's good, month. Kush, my oh, brother, man? Oh, Happy oh, New oh, Year, oh, my oh, brother. What'd you say, Kush? I had that shit playing twice. Y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know I'm at work, but I'm going to still pop in with y'all for a minute. I'm on my little, my little lunch break and shit. That's what's up, man. I, saw, I was That's like, shit, he ain't got on here yet. Hell yeah, I, I you know I pop on shit. What y'all think about the fights today? Shit, man, I've been today? sleep all day, Kush. I ain't seen nothing, bro. Yeah, there's some fights coming on today, right? Ain't the ain't the Frank uh, oh, Sanchez? Fight today? Sanchez, yeah, he fight today. Hell yeah, I, I know he got that uh replacement opponent. What happened to the first opponent? I don't know. The phone guy. Let, I don't know. Nobody knew. Damn, damn, I ain't even know no uh, changes was made. 
Yeah, he has a replacement opponent. I forgot the dude's the new guy's name. But they say the new guy is, is a pretty good fighter too. He just kind of dirty. It. We was talking about it yesterday. Oh yeah. dang. Shit. Okay, uh, uh, hey, it might be a test. Hey, a hey, cushion might be a test for him though. Shit, never know, yeah. man. I go. Dude might be able to get on his ass. We we never really seen the guy, so we can't say how he gonna look against Frank Sanchez. Man, my, motherfucker better not be guesstimating out here, cause uh, the I didn't think that happened to him, uh, for great fighters, really, yeah. really good fighters, bro. Oh, that's how you get set up sometimes when they throw that replacement on your ass. Mm -hmm. Shit, don't give you yeah. a lot of time to prepare. This motherfucker in the mountain training. You heard me? You ain't ready for this. Just throw a Man. motherfucker in there with your ass. You heard me? For real. They'll do that shit to you. And I want to see uh, I want to see Leo. Sa I, I think Leo's on the car. I want to see him Santa fight. Uh, Leo Santa Cruz? Mm-hmm. Okay. He on the car. They got him. They got uh, that dude Michael Fox getting that uh, that rematch. What the fuck is this shit in the sky? So he... uh. Well, this wow. is this this is this this is first fight back from that uh tank fight. Leo, I think so, bro. I think it is his first fight back. Okay, well, shit, he because he been in the gym training like a motherfucker. He I been like in how the, gym. the tank fight. I've been watching him. He been in the gym like a motherfucker though. He didn't make like four videos. He just in the gym. So I want to see what he look oh, like. Cool. When he he, he hard to not like. It's hard to not like Leo. Yeah. Yeah, he he got he got hands, man. He just lost focus in that tank fight, bro. Tank was just he overwhelmed him with them uh body shots and shit, man. He's finished, bro. That just opened his head up, man. I felt like he got he got too overconfident and tank <laughs> tank hit him with that shit, set him up. But he, nah, he caught him throwing his doing trying to throw that double jab. He just didn't throw that motherfucker right. And he just caught him in between that motherfucker. That was that's all it was. He left it out there. Yeah, you can't get you can't uh you can't get complacent in the fight because I feel like uh he knew he felt like he was winning. He felt like he was winning the fight. Yeah, he, he was won. very confident. Hell yeah. They had a good game plan. He had it. He just lost focus, man. Man, he's trying to throw that double jab. That motherfucker was hella slow. He just threw a uppercut between this shit, man. That's he all kept he kept doing that shit. Yes, bro. <laughs> Doing that shit. He can't do that shit with Tank. He's gonna time he that, shit. that shit. He caught on to it and he timed it. That's the ring IQ. He saw that shit coming. He knew what to throw to. Man, that was some cold shit right there. Yeah, that boy, man, that boy, that boy just he just lost it. He just, it's like he just I don't know what he was. It, he was overconfident. He got too damn comfortable in front of that motherfucking dude, man. Yeah, Hawk, he's too small, man. I want to see what that, it looks like. Put that nigga in the chat. That nigga uh, trying to call himself Mauricio Sui, man. Hey, bro, like, nigga, you not no <laughs> real boxing fan, bro. You just on this channel detracting boxing, bro. If, you, if you're not no boxing fan, then, then stay quiet in the chat, bro. And learn some shit. Because you, yeah, you don't really know about boxing, bro. To say, oh, it's no more excitement in the lead up to mega fights. Man, what the fuck you talking about, bro? We sitting up here clamoring for big fights. What are you talking about, bro? What? This, this <laughs> in the chat, bro. So I'm trolling the chat, bro. Like, just in there talking out the side of his neck. Just saying bad shit about boxing, bro. Just stay quiet. So, so he must be a fan of something else. MMA. I'm UFC. I'm yeah, a UFC fan, mm -hmm. but this ain't no UFC channel. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man, that that that's it'll be all right. Uh, it'll be all right. Marcus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go you, you, just, you just gotta hit the panel, man. Yeah. You gotta hit the panel, bro. You was on the bench. You are not in the game. You see, that's the difference between. That's where these niggas get me twisted in the chat. And they get the feeling like I'm one of them. Like nigga, nah, get on, get on the panel, then. That's it, man. Let us hear what you're saying, cause ain't no emphasis in the chat. No, nah, they ain't gonna do that. I can't hear how you saying it. Ain't no emphasis typing. Too much smoke. Yeah, I, I I can't know if you and your feelings to dry your motherfucking ass in the coffin. For real, I'm excited about the fights coming up. Yeah, bro. I'm man, excited. I want to see the same fight back to the ring. <clears throat> 
Bro, let me I want to like- welcome everybody that, that, that's coming back to the ring back, man. I want to see these fights. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody, you know what I'm saying, ain't feeling like I'm feeling it's okay. You can stay in your category. But other than that, man, I, I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want boxing to be back the way it was. If we can get it, we got the opportunity to get it back the way it was, but who is going to join up? Who going to team up to get it done? For real. Straight up. Motherfucker can't even come it's together, man. There's too many clicks. Yeah, and that's, that's why we're not really together like as boxing fans. And that's all right. When the motherfuckers do it, this year, this year is going to be different. I mean, I, I look we're going like, to filter it out. He's going to fit. Go ahead, Kush. Go ahead. Boxing not, boxing not struggling in other parts of the world. Boxing is struggling, it seemed to be, in the United States. But boxing don't have to. Boxing, the, the populace of people that it would take to make boxing thrive in America, we don't need everybody to watch boxing for boxing to be in a good place. We just need the core fan base to all be on the same page. You right. see what I'm saying? These right. guys stop putting every fucking fight on pay-per-view. So that, like Coco was saying earlier, he was preaching when he was saying these motherfuckers shit used to be on fucking Channel Seven. Used to be able to fucking turn on the TV and or go to a bar and that shit is on fucking regular ass fucking TV. Worldwide sports it's always like, was yeah. on ABC, bro. It was always on TV, man. Come on, I never, I never really, really was uh old enough to to really be in that time and enjoy that. But I, I can imagine how that shit would be a lot more exposure for the fighters. You see what I'm saying? Bro. The images that they, allow, that they fucking allow these fighters to portray, they should be having more conscious of how they publicizing these fighters and shit, bro. Like, they kind of demonize them. I was listening to what uh, Coco was saying. I agree with what he was saying about the Charlos. Them twin, them twin dudes should be on the fucking cover of a Wheaties box and shit like that. Hey, they bro, should be a fucking be just like- dude stupid. Oh, we gonna publicize this. It's gonna be just like Demolition Man. Remember the restaurant? It was just Taco Bell everywhere. If they do that, Kush, then it's just gonna be boxing everywhere. Mm-hmm. All the sport, all, what, what, what's the use of looking at other sports for? For real. It's gonna be just boxing. So they gotta balance it out, even it out. You know what I'm saying? So that's, yeah. what it, that's what we need here. We don't need boxing to boxing in the time when it was as flir- flourishing as much as it was. It was the most popular sport because it wasn't very many other sports yet. You see what I'm saying? Now it's so many right. other fucking shit people can get into. You got to make way for other shit. Boxing never going to be bigger than the NBA. Well, <laughs> everybody play basketball all around the world. Just like with boxing. All around the world. What are we talking about? In the beginning, in the beginning, boxing, oh, boxing, oh, wow, wow, and baseball okay. was is was where it was at. Either you had was the nigga known for having the coldest hands in the world, or you played baseball. <laughs> That's what it was. It wasn't as many sports to compete with. Not look how they fucking uh robbing motherfuckers in the Olympics and shit. All all these robberies, all this co- corrupt shit in the sport of boxing, that that shit draws fans away from the sport of boxing. Yeah, it go deeper than that, but we ain't gonna go into that. Yeah, yeah United yeah, Nations got saying, all, like, everything you, you to do with to that. As if, like the UFC killing boxing, no UFC is 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 taking boxing fans because they keeping the fucking uh. More real right. model of what boxing supposed to be. USC That's is all they doing. That's <laughs> they, all they, they doing. Showing exactly your ass what boxing supposed to be. Mm-hmm. They have tournaments. They have fights all the motherfucking time. Ain't no motherfucker ducking. You got to fight. All that, bro. They just showing you the UFC just really showing you what boxing is supposed to be. But sitting up there getting paid pennies for it, though. <laughs> You see what Man. I'm saying? So if you're gonna glorify that shit, bro, you gotta you gotta keep it 100 on if you really are with the best interest of the fighters, cause they ain't they ain't getting they just do over there. Right, spots. You know what I'm saying? 
Friday Night Fights. That was on TV. It had to be the shit, bro. That shit had to be the shit. Boxing <laughs> out the door. TV, bro. Shit. Now, here we go. Everything. PB, PPV. Subscription based. You see what I'm saying? And that it's shit. subscription based. I don't, I don't care if that shit would cost five bucks a month. You feel what I'm saying? People are not going to fucking Damn. come out of pocket. You got to throw shit in front of people. Shit, you got to have me a restaurant oh, yeah. some yeah. wings and throw that shit in front of my face. They're selling your ass pay-per-views like magazines and the Avon lady ran this motherfucker, man. Oh, door to door to your motherfucking ass trying to get some pay per view money, motherfuckers. Motherfuckers acting like the, the sport uh struggling, like motherfuckers ain't watching boxing. No, the reason that they doing the shit is because y'all buying the shit. What the fuck are you know, talking about? They just do a hundred of them. <laughs> that's that's why the numbers ain't reflecting what it should. They it's doing not- too many of them. There's too much shit going on in boxing right now that don't need to be. Doing too fucking much, man. All these motherfucking fighters out here ain't fighting. They just want to b- walk around, snap pictures, and talk shit, man. Get them motherfucking lace up going and let us see the fights. That show us that you a true champion. Fuck talking about it. Show us that you a true champion. Go fight the best motherfuckers. Chase the glory. That's how you get the motherfucking Canelo Alvarez money. Floyd Mayweather money. The fuck is we talking about, man? Niggas spoil, man. They want to sit up there, think about they purse. Literally, nigga, think about they purse first before they lace up. The shit backwards, man. You got to you got to you got to go after it. You feel me? Yeah, like man. I was studying uh Lennox Lewis earlier. I was watching a little documentary on him. This motherfucker was going after the money. He he started off to slowly build his career in the beginning, but he went after the money. If the money wasn't in the UK, he was going to the US. He was going for the biggest fights. You see what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like, motherfuckers ain't doing that but nowadays. That's a difference, because it's a difference when you're going for the biggest fights and the money. That's still glory, because all that's come together. But that's how you're supposed to do it. Well, shit, I was she he he dangerous, he a risk to my O. So shit, I'm a uh, man, get the fuck on, nigga. You supposed to be challenging and fighting every motherfucker that challenged you. The fuck is you talking about? Get in the motherfucker right. ring. Lace your gloves up and get in the motherfucker ring. That's all I want to see. Give a fuck about how much money you you got. That don't make that don't make you great. You see the cool the cool thing nowadays is, is to protect your protect your favorite fighter. Me, I'm not protecting my favorite fighter. If Terrence Crawford is supposed to supposed to fight Boops and he meant to lose, then shit, he meant to lose. That ain't gonna affect how, how I feel about him. It'll affect me it if happens. he's a motherfucker. Shit, shit happens. That'll affect me. That'll affect me as a fan. I'll be like, bro, I can't fuck with this dude no more. Man, I'm telling you, bro, bullshit. if he fight any motherfucking tomato cans after this, bro, I'm done with Terrence Crawford, bro. He cannot. He cannot. But I, I'm also I ain't, not I ain't put putting them out. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't putting them out. But, bro, if you do that shit, bro, you don't fight no competition, bro. Man, stop, man. I can't. I can't see him fuck doing that. that. Tune up and and uh, dance, walk, walk partner, and all that bullshit, man. Fuck that dance partner. It really, people. It don't make no sense for him for him to fight nobody that that don't have a name right now. That's what. That's why we saying that because it don't make no sense. He's going back. You don't fight nobody under Sean Porter level. No. Why would you do that? No, no shit. That's how, that's what I mean by going backwards, motherfucker. You go. You go. How the fuck you gonna go in there and fight motherfucking Sean Porter and then call motherfucking Emmanuel Augustus off the couch? Fuck out of here, nigga. The que- the question is, is is Keith Thurman and people eyes really revered as a top guy. And most people seem to have thrown Keith Thurman away. <laughs> That's so I I see him fighting Josh Taylor. He and uh he and uh we gotta see what he do with this young boy that's coming off a loft and learn from his mistakes. Mm-hmm. If he learned from his mistakes. 
Keith Thurman should 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 be stopping him. Yeah, he should, he's supposed to. Because that That's if he don't stop, though. If he don't stop him, then he ain't who I think who I think he is. Talking he about he go twelve rounds with Barbie. <laughs> yeah, he ain't Keith Thurman no more. If he go twelve <laughs> rounds, we we'll know we'll know then, man. We'll know. That's that, what I'm that'll saying. Show me. <laughs> that'll show they me. both covered off. They both covered off a loss. So so who who I'm asking you, Hebrew, who's an acceptable fight? Because Keith is tied up right now. If Josh Taylor don't don't use his mandatory uh claws moving up with the WBO to fight, but who you who you think he fights? Ain't nobody left, Kush. We already talked about that. That that's what I'm saying. He he's gonna fight boots. That's what, he that's, got what I, that's it. What what else is it? What else who else is it? He gonna go to the to the to the contender list and fight somebody? Yeah. I mean, I seen Bud and uh, Josh Taylor. They was they was talking when they was in Dubai. I seen I seen a little some shit on YouTube, and they seem like they've been entertaining a fight with each other for a while. Even uh, in the interviews leading up to the Sean Porter fight, Bud was talking about what's a bigger fight or as big a fight uh, for him to fight bigger than Sean next. And he was he was talking about Josh Taylor as if he wanted to fight him. Nigga, I'm still Let's going, see. nigga. That nigga Taco. The goddamn right, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Taco said, I can't wait to take my home. That boy got it. Nigga, that boy got a 40. Playing, nigga. That boy got a 40 ounce with, with a tube on the side. What, boy, what's that? <laughs> oh, that's a fucking, uh, that's a piece. <laughs> That boy got a ball. Look at that chemistry. Hey, that boy over there, mad scientist. Boy got the chemistry. Got going. Shit. <laughs> hey, that boy talking about Doctor Jekyll, bitch. That boy a mad scientist. <laughs> Smell it through the phone. Smell it through the phone. Hey man, hey man, this shit cold blooded. About to change my stomach and leave on, leave on my phone. Phone. boy. Hey, that boy is turned the fuck up. <laughs> hey, happy duty here to my niggas, mate. Hey, man. Salute to you, Taco, man. You at the crib? Nigga, oh, crazy. That's I'm what's at up. The crib. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Got fucked up. Hey, man. Hey. We all hey, heard talking about the community. Hey, Morel knocking out everything. Yeah, man, I can see that, bro. Until that test come for him. That test come, he uh, he ain't got nobody gonna want to test him. That's that's the thing, man. He he just showed too much, man. He supposed to sneak it, be sneaky with it, man. He in there put the hands on dude, man. That last fight, god damn, that left hand up. Uh, God damn. He's solid in a motherfucker too, man, in the ring. Nigga, I'm hiding a he, motherfucker. That dude, David Morrell, a beast. I can't He's count. solid in a motherfucker. <laughs> Think Morrell solid, man? I'm talking hey, about a, a ring that all nigga, around. Hey, Morrell has just knocked me out. <laughs> but you drink, I might be out for the count, man. I love y'all niggas, man. All right, man. Hey, man, get you some rest, man, boy. You can probably <laughs> keep your eyes open, man. <laughs> hey, I'm off tomorrow. I don't got to work, so I'm good. Oh, I'm okay. To my, I'm about to go to Pop's house and play some poker and win some money. Oh, oh shit. Hey, oh, I'll be on that poker, boy. I'm hey, man, you got to have that shit. Salvador. You got to have that Salvador Sanchez face, man. That poker, real poker face, man. Oh, mamas. Oh, mamas. Hey, hey man, Taco is going to be over there laughing at them people, man. Kill Tony. Kill that fucked up. You gonna hey, be laughing nah, at that thing. Hey, I be killing the poker though, bro. Real shit. I be bro. What I, you play? I, I play hold them, man. What you play? If I ever have a like a hundred thousand to burn, I'm going to Vegas and play poker, bro. I swear to God, if I had that shit, gonna be like a slot machine, boy. I'm Quick going, and burn. Bro. I, hey, I got the game, bro. I know how to play that shit, bro. Well, would you play Texas hold them? Yeah, I play Texas yeah. hold them, man. Oh my yeah, I play Texas. Oh, I like yeah. Omaha. I, I like the, I like the four cool, cards because it gives you a little bit more, you feel me, a little bit more outs. So we play the Omaha. So the four cards, you feel me? It's a High little low. bit better. It's a little bit better to me. You know what I mean? 
You can make mm-hmm. your hand out a little bit better. In Texas, hold them. It's a little it bit come like Yeah, it come like it is. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like it is. Yeah. I mean, either you got some or you bluffing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You well, got some you, you got to do less math when you play. For sure. It's less you math to it. That's the truth, man. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't, or, or, or you got an ace and you just trying to ride that ace. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. You ride that motherfucker. Why there was so many hands with just an ace? Yeah, you got ace king and you just trying to ride with it. Like, you feel me? Like, nigga, talk over, over there. Fucking you. Bluffing like, I got a straight elbow. or a, a pair. You don't even got a pair on the board. You just baiting because you got an ace or you got pocket aces. Like. <laughs> nigga, I, nigga, I have Man. nothing and I put all my money to the middle of the table and stand up. Nigga. Bro, oh, nigga. nigga, you will get eight up <laughs> fucking with me. Man, nigga. Like, you, go, you might wear a walk go away, go away go 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 Walk on by, nigga, boy. You might wear that cup back. Nigga, I'll call your ass. Nigga, you ain't going to be talking about it. I let nigga go. Nigga, you going to have to take all mine. Nigga, I'm calling your it's ass. Nigga. He all like, in. He gonna call. Y'all both walk away. I got full. Nigga, we'll put it all in on me. Nigga, I'm calling your ass. He got me fucked up. You gonna knock me out. Knock me out. You gonna have to knock me. Nigga, you ain't finna pull one of them. We know where that hundred grand gonna be. But you know what? But you know what? You know how I what I learned at poker. You pay. You basically, if you go into a battle like that, I'm paying to see the hand. That's it. Oh, okay. So she better know when to hold him. Fucking with me, bro. So to and me, for that hold, he been. Me, hey, you hey Taco, I'm, you been playing at Omaha too long. To me, to me, <laughs> to me knowing when to, when to fold him and to hold him. To me, knowing when to fold them is it smart? It's it it, it, it it it's smart out when you when you feel it. It is. You know when to go out. You never fold up. You but, never fold. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. But I didn't fold it. But when you but when you man when when, when you feel that feeling the nigga plant nigga I'm nigga. I pay nigga, to see those cards. Your teeth, nigga. Bro. I'm calling your shit. If I see I'm, your I shit, I'm paying to see those cards. <laughs> Listen, man. I had good foes with the with the uh, pocket aces, bro. Hey, hey, you gonna always and it's two have kings on the board. But I see, still fold it. But see, that but, motherfucker had a but full sometimes house on it. when you go in and when you, when you, when you play Omaha, it always sometimes come up to two players, right? Right. So if if it just come up to you and a guy and he go all in, it's like fuck, like. What can I do? So now yo yo thing is to me how I, how I play is nigga I'm gonna play to see this nigga hand like nigga fuck it nigga I'm nigga, see what your hand That's is all, all in, in all in, in is you paying to you see what the motherfucker got the other motherfucker got it it's it don't even it, 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 like win lose or draw you playing to see a hand That's it Yeah go Should ahead and give me all, all in Chris right now Taco Yeah. Shit. Give me all your little, your little tricks of the trade, nigga. So when we play, I and take all that money. Damn. That's why I'm about to win tomorrow. I even told him some of my game tonight, and still about to kill a ass. You shouldn't have did that shit, Taco. Hey, no, keep I mean, it No, it's family. So we play the all the time. So we kind of like know each other game. So it's. It, it's more like for fun. Man, like, the core is gonna it. fall how they fall. That don't make that don't make no difference. Yeah, it don't even matter. It don't, it don't yeah, matter. It, 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 I can tell you this and tell you that, but where the cars the cars, go, where the cars go, the cars you know they go go where the cars fall, motherfucker. That don't make it what it is, motherfucker. It don't make that my game, motherfucker. The right. cars, I'm, I'm gonna play my, my game. Fuck you, hey, mean right? My, hey, cause no, how I play is. I play the board, and I I, I I play the odds. And the thing is, how I play is, I look at it like this: like when when a flop come out, I'm I'm fishing. It's it, it's fishing. Now I sweep the hundred well, couple it, hundred it's up quick. Fishing. And, and and that's it, cause 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 when the first three cards come out. If it don't come out in your favor, or if it do, say say if you got say if you got um, ace deuce, right? right? And you got ace deuce and five uh, five three 
five three four car um five three six come out or something like that. Right. So now so now you got a bike, right? You still need a car. Mm-hmm. Depending on the suit. Right. What the suits look like too. Right? Mm -hmm. So just because you bite on now that's a bite because you're gonna make a person pay for that. So that's almost like you got a fish, right? Man, I'm checking on that first one, man. I'm gonna see what everybody else is gonna do. No. Man, you better not go when you check because now because not open, bro. Because I'm gonna tell you. You gotta build your pot. Man, you gonna get you gonna get you knocked out with a pot. full house. That's why you gotta pay. You gotta make you gotta make a person pay to see the next card. I'm making you pay to see it. You want to see? You gotta it? put a little hey, something up on. Hey, you I'm closer see, to you. you I might be closer to you to get in your card. You might have a pair. You don't know what they got. They can have a pair. They right. can have a good. They can have a three of a kind. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Right so off it's the like, nigga, It's like, nigga, you're going to have to pay to see this card. So now they pay to see it. The so, so, so Taco go raise right after the flop. Yeah, the next <laughs> need, yeah, the next card yeah, comes. Okay, you're right, right. Make them, make the next pay card to see comes. Everything. It's my card. It's cookies. <laughs> it's over. I ain't going to go all in on you. Over. I'm for I real when play nah, that, that, that would be smart. I ain't gonna go all in on you, but I'm gonna make you pay a hefty fine. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. Man. But I'm trying Put to get a you little out five dollar bid on them. That's Put a, a thing, little five. That's the yeah. thing. You want to get a person out of there because sometimes if a person hanging there and for a river and a river hit, mm. he can have a higher. He can have a higher straight. He could have a right. Uh, he had a four seven. He could have a flush. He could have a straight flush. He got royal flush, four of a kind. So it's just so much. It it is. It, it's, it's so much shit that go into that shit, bro. That's the combinations, Taco. It's so many combinations, bro. It's so many combinations. How a person could kill you, bro. So it's you don't know. It, it a person can have all spades. You right. can have a straight. Which one better? So it's like, you know, the flood. That poker shit addicting, bro. You gotta be careful. It's shit. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I say if I had a hundred thousand to burn, <laughs> oh, yeah. you gonna have to have it because you gonna be to burn that little little twenty. That little shit. twenty hey, gonna be gone, I went, boy. Hey, I went to play. I went to play at the tables one time. I learned my lesson with that shit. I'm like, you can't, I, you can't come in there with little money, bro. You. you Man, at all. And I gotta have glasses. And I gotta have glasses because I, I played myself. I end up having a four of a kind, and I know my face told the story because nobody bet. <laughs> yeah, everybody bet folded. Them. You gotta everybody take your folded, time. And I'm like, damn. My That's why I face. say you gotta check. Sometimes you can't just be make paying, make a motherfucker pay to see the card. No, it's all your the time. face. It's it, it, it's <laughs> your yeah. it's your. And like, then, and then, knowing Taco, it was probably four aces and shit. He probably over there like motherfucker. He short his teeth and shit, man. Put your motherfucking shades on to put your bag on, motherfucker. <laughs> you know tripping, man. Why you do this shit, man? Hey, hey, I was hot. I was like, damn, and I knew it. And you know how you know when you fuck up. Like, yeah. like, like, damn! Somebody looked over there at his ass, like, nigga, we know you got a good head. Everybody fold. Yeah. You know? He I sit there with four everybody. Ages, everybody fold. Like, like, <laughs> bro, how straight possible and shit. I you got a trick, a motherfucker, man. That's the name like, of the no, game. Look, bro, look, I did it, and as soon as I did it, I knew I fucked up. Yeah, it happened just like, like that. So I, so I had to bet. Like it wasn't, it wasn't no keep riding out. You see what I mean? Everybody like, gonna ride it out, and you still was gonna get the little short money. Had those glasses, man. man. Next yeah, to you gotta have when it. I go, Taco, you got you there? You froze up, brother. Them glasses. 
Them glasses don't be helping niggas, bro. I still man, be yo motherfucker teeth still showing, motherfucker. People when I go to that, when I yeah, go to that poker table, nigga, I'm going with my glasses next time. Yeah, man. Hey, man, and then keep your motherfucking mouth shut. Motherfucker, see your. No, tip. I didn't say nothing. It was just the. No, nah, I, I said, motherfucker, it. see your your facial, your yeah, countenance. Like they, they yeah, you gotta keep that shit straight, man. And I couldn't. I, <laughs> I know, motherfucker. Like, bro, bro, like, like you know how you, bro, like I had it in my hand, right? I think it was like three. I think it was like four or, or threes, right? So I'm like, fuck. Uh, but like, see me, me personally, even if I have something low. If it's a good combination, I'll pay to see the flop. You gonna send this still? I'm a, like, so if I got if I got two three, or if I got two four, or anything that's in a straight possibility, I'm going, nigga. I, nigga, I'm gonna pay to see the flop. Cause anything can happen. Nigga, I, I mean, I, that is a carnal rule, bro. I was taught that early on. You feel me learning poker? You like, like you don't just poke I gotta, hand, bro. <laughs> I got to see how those I got to see how those three cards come out. Like if I got a combination, like you feel me? Now if I got like if I got like 2-9, I'm out of there. <laughs> she 28, I'm out of there. Like I oh, said 28, like, oh, 28, oh, yeah, that's dead. I'm folding. Like like, like not like, if I got so, two of that suit though. I got to see that flop. Yeah, so like, so if I, I got a combination, I know what you mean. I can get a straight, especially in Omaha, or I mean, in, um, Texas Hold'em. Yeah. I'm going to see what's up. Like, if I got, if I got 9, 10, I'm going to see what's up. Man, if right. I got 2, 3, um, 2, I'm gonna 4, see what's up. 2, 5, I'm going to see what's up. I'm going to pay to see the flop. Yeah. Especially if I'm suited up. I mean, it's gambling. You gotta. That's what it's. It's a gamble. You gotta play. You gotta. You, you gotta play to win. You gotta be in it to win it. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the most hands I won, been on betting on those lower cards. Them two. That two five. Two five. Yeah. Three five. Yeah. The motherfucker straight five. All you need is one card. It's, you ain't even see the turn or the river cards yet. Three cards come out straight. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, what? Pay me to see the next cards. <laughs> yeah, you got you got to, bro. Ain't no Pay chance. Pay me to see the next cards. Yeah, open that shit up, bro. Pay me to see the next cards. I'm not. Nope. Mm -mm. Fuck it. And if they check it, all around get, the board, and I still raise your motherfucking ass, you still got to. You got to. If nah. I if I get people, if I get it straight on the flop, and I get everybody to bite in to to see the next, I'm going all in on the next hand. They go, everybody gonna fold. You gotta everybody gonna fold or if you got something, you're gonna go all in. You're gonna be like, oh, he must have got something on a just now. That card must have oh, made man, it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make so, them pay again. You, know, you see, 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 poker Until is mental. They fold. So, yeah, Until so poker they fold. Is Listen, you so gotta make know. them, you gotta make them pay again, Taco. So, you gotta make no, them pay again. Gonna, see, 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 no, he gonna think that that card that just flipped made my hand. I know, I know exactly what you're saying. So, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm so, a raise, so I'm a raise people, to see if you got something. Right, right, right. So he like what that card. So well, he must be looking for. Do, 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 you do, already do. got the hand. You got a straight yeah, on yeah, the flop. I already got the hand though. Right. That's what I'm saying. So you got to pay. So so that, that. so if I that's why I love getting the hands on the flop. I love getting the hands on the flop. <laughs> I love man. Full house on the flop. You heard me. Two nines, a nine, three, and an eight come out. You know what I'm saying? Man, you get a, you get the. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm raise. Kidding, I'm gonna raise uh, right off top. And I ain't even Just betting a lot. I'm betting. No, a lot. that's how you rack because, up your, look, your chain. This, this is how my people. This is how my people. This is how we gamble, right? We um, we do it in like coins, like so. So twenty five cent is the buy in, right? Right, right, right. But you can bet up to. You know, whatever you want to bet, $5, $10. Right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> whatever you want. <clears throat> but the buy-in is $0.25. Cent, so we keep it friendly. You know what I mean? Right. So it's almost like you're paying in, chi in, in, in chips. You see what I mean? 
So mm. it's like 25 cents to buy in, bam. So if like if I get that shit on a flop, I'm a, a nigga, I'm a charge nigga a dollar to see the next card for sure. Damn right. Dollar fifty. You feel you me? Gotta come. Yeah, you gotta you know what I mean? So these these this is how we play at, over here. Yeah, you know I mean, but this I, I feel like my game translate over to that to over there because it's it, it's still the same thing. I'm playing the cards. I'm not I'm not playing the person. I'm not I'm playing exactly. the cards. Exactly. That's where a lot of people get it twisted, Taco. I play the cards because the cards ain't gonna fall like you thinking they gonna fall. So I'm gonna man, deal with we, the cards instead of the person. Man, we 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 got some games. We got um. Seven cards, bro. We do a seven cards, no peak. <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, nah, bro. <laughs> if y'all, if y'all got some gamblers in y'all household, hey, bro, y'all got cousins. Look, <laughs> if any of your people play cards, right? Play seven cards, no peak, bro. So this is what you do, bro. You deal however many people playing, seven cards. If you want wilds, because sometimes, you know, you can do wilds in poker and, 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 and like, close houses and shit like that, like, different areas, like, everybody. But, like, if you're doing a, a Pacific yeah, everybody don't play your fellas same. and shit like that, you can have wilds. So, what we do, we have a couple of wilds. So, I say, I would say, king, queen is wild. Is that for the hand or for the whole game? This is this, this is for for the for the whole game. So you deal people, everybody in the in it that's in the game seven cards, and then you got to flip over after everybody got their cards. You got to flip over. You got to put the cards on the the rest of the cards on the on, on the table, and flip over the first card. And whoever's playing closer to the dealer is the next person to go. So, the, so whatever that that card is, that person gotta beat that card all the way around the table until everybody. Nah, else. nah, nah, nah. Because when that person beat the card, the next person gotta beat his card. Because most likely his card is the next. You feel what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah, I see. So, so his card most likely is the next. So, say for example, it kind of it, it kind of works out. So, say for example, you the the second person next to the dealer, right? So, say for example, that first card is an ace. Now, he can't get a king. He can't. He got to either get an ace or you know what I mean. He can't. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he, he can't. Got to get an ace. Beat your card. He got to get either get an ace or a wow, right? <laughs> Bro, Man, I seen that shit take a nigga out. <laughs> Man, listen, man, we didn't down here, man. We didn't change the motherfucking Uno game around to motherfucking the regular poker cards, my dude. I mean, long that was long time ago. We call it Uno hey, Advance, man. And that it's shit insane. fun, bro. And that seven cards, no peak, bro. You get a lot of money. And then so, so how we bet? So how we bet is when the um say if the person, so say if the person who who up right. So say when they beat that card, say say they flip over, they have a say 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 that card I flip over is an ace. It's my turn to flip over my cards. I flip over a king, and then I flip over a wild card. Now it's my turn to bet. I got a king and a wild card. So basically, I got two kings, and I got. I got um what five more cards left. So it's no telling. It's no telling what what what, what my other what, what my other cards is. You know what I mean? Cause it's no hey, taco. It sounds kind of complicated, but I see what the game, I see what it no, do. No, so 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 no, it's not complicated. Look, so once you deal everybody, they 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 seven cards, right? You put the turn card over. The, clo the closest person to the dealer got to beat that card. So if that card an ace, so I turn over my king, I can't beat an ace with the king, right? Right. So I turn over my next card, 
And that card is a wild card because I remember I said Queens and something else was Kings, Queens and Tens. I'm going to say Queens and Tens was wild, right? So I, right. I turn over my next card. It's a Queen. So now that's two, that's two Kings right there, right? So now right. I got five more cards. Now it's my turn to bet. Now I beat that card. Now I put, say, remember I told you my our buy-ins be 50 cents. So it's like now you got to – now it's kind of like – now it's oh, like, bro. ooh. Okay, hold on. Oh, damn. I got five more cards, and I got a wild already, and I got a king. Ooh. <laughs> so, basically, you building your hand up in the game. So, now it's like, okay, all right, I'm going to bet $2, right? So, now I'm going to put up $2. The next person next to you still got seven cards. The other person still got seven cards. The other person still – so, it's like everybody – so, now it, it – it, 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 it makes it a little bit more difficult to actually play the cards. You see what I mean? Because now everybody got theirs. Everybody, everybody got their own seven cards. <laughs> Every- so, so what if they got two kings as well? You got a king in the wild, and, they, and the person next so, to so you, second you person to the dealer, so got two king, two it, actual kings. It still kings. go to. It still. It, it still keep the. The poker principal um principles straight straight flush royal flush so is so, that based off that one card that was flipped no after that after that person after the person next to the dealer beat that card that card is erased like the deck is no more evolved into the game right oh so it's just your seven cards so now, yes, it's just those seven cards you have oh, in your hands. Okay, I got all oh, that. Makes sense now. Okay, right, all right. right. So, no, that, so, so that's just your actual it, hand. The right, deck out of right. it. Right. Okay, I got so you. So it got make you. it. It make it to. It make it to the person to the next to the dealer. Has to has to accomplish something. Sometimes it works out in the person next to the dealer. Sometimes it'd be a deuce. I fl- like you will flip over a deuce. He like damn. All they gotta do is be the deuce. Like fuck. <laughs> right, right. Okay, yeah, this shit crazy. But then yeah, motherfuckers yeah. gonna lose their motherfucking money quick. But then like you gotta this. look at it like this though. If you if that's you, that kind of sucks for you because now you don't even know what you got. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, you don't even know. Came up. You don't even know if you got any wilds. You don't know if you got any more aces. You just turned over one of your cards and you beat it. Now you don't know even know what the rest of your six cards look like. <laughs> no, nah, man, I ain't gambling. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna lose. Hey, and then look, it. hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you this. But then you got other people around the board that's getting their hands, and you gotta still bet to see your hand. Yeah, that shit crazy, Taco Bell. Gonna lose right. quick in the month. Hey, right. hey, that's what I'm hey, gonna lose so quick as hell. So look, so look, uh, you could go around, right? You could. The infant times I was next to the dealer, I turned over one card. The other person next to me got a straight flush. Mm. Now I mm. got a bet, and I got, you ain't, uh, you and, ain't I got and I got six cards left. <laughs> That's real gambling that right there. That nigga flipped on one card. He got straight flush. Hey, I'll, hey, I'll, I got six cards. The person next to me got a straight flush. Everybody else either got hands or you don't even know. So, so the possibilities, <laughs> bro. Because you, you can't look at your card. That's dirty right there, shit. Bruh. Wow, they ain't gonna man. lose quick in the motherfucker. I ain't fuck with that shit. Ain't, ain't <laughs> no, but I tell you, you don't though. That's why we keep the games. See, when we play, that's right, why keep we keep the, the uh, pot low. Yeah, keep it, the pot value low. Yeah, yeah. Buy-in. So, right, right. Because so motherfucker gonna get mad quick in the motherfucker. But <laughs> yeah. that's like playing bingo. Right? Hey, motherfucker gonna get mad quick. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. bro. That hey, <laughs> hey, that seven cards no peak. That the pots would at least get up to probably around like fifty to sixty dollars easy. You're quick too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taco, so y'all want to learn how to whoop feet? 
Fucking <laughs> shit right there. You talk about taco. You go the money go going quick, and you gonna see it leave quick. <laughs> hey, hey, but hey, I tell you, look. So how we play is we let like so everybody have a chance to deal. So right, everybody got right. their games of playing. We play talk. We we'll do space. We got AC Ducey. I don't know if y'all y'all know about AC Ducey. We know about that bag. We play it. AC oh, Ducey. Oh, hey, hey, Back Ducey. Gammon. Back okay. Gammon. Okay. Back okay. Gammon. I we got, got AC Ducey. So so when it's your turn to deal, you could deal whatever you want to deal. So a lot of times when people is down. They deal seven cards, no fee. <laughs> Man, dude, damn right. That's a come up like a motherfucker. Fuck where I get a hundred thousand at night. Yeah. If a motherfucker gambling like that, motherfucker, you lose your money quick as hell in that game, boy. Hey, but AC Ducey is a motherfucker too, though, boy. Man, bro, my first come ups was on AC Ducey, nigga. Like a hundred, yeah. I, I won like a hundred dollars my first time playing. Oh man, I, hey, you was hey, playing, dude. Like you get around that boy. You get around that boy, boy. <laughs> hey, I oh. cheated like a motherfucker. I was looking at everybody. I was a dealer too. I had, I had like an ace and something else. I had like an ace and something. And I was looking around. Niggas was drunk and shit and talking. Mm, okay. I, I see what's up now, Taco. You a Houdini? Yeah. You a Houdini? Huh? I, I had to do it, bro. I gave him the change because he over there yeah, gave him the change bro. in the buffer court game. <laughs> uh, bro, that pot was looking so scrumptious. Hey, bro, man. and look, I was parkering a whole lot of people. I'm talking about. He didn't spike the punch, Kush. He just spiked the punch, Kush. Everybody fucked up. I kid you not. That pot would at least about like two two hundred dollars, bro. Mm. No lie. In the AC Doocy game, bro. AC Doocy, bro. Damn, bro. No Damn. cap. No cap. Okay. That, that, that's the 50 cent like for a corner game, game right there. But, the but you know, because you know, if I parker you, you got to pay the pot. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you got to pay. Yeah, man. That's why, hey man, see the motherfucker quick card games like that, man. Hey, fuck that, man. Hey, we about, I'm about to do that money. That's like the little game. I'm about to do that shit tomorrow. I'm about to go to hey, my man, you might as well just walk in. You just walk, might as well walk in, sit at the table, just start giving hey, your money to a motherfucker. Hey, if H go live tomorrow, I'm about to be at my people's house tomorrow. I I come on there, and I, I probably won't be. I won't. I won't have no sound, but I, 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 I show y'all like you feel me how nigga do it, bro. Like y'all already know he going loud more, man. Bring it, bro. Like so, like you feel me? Hey, man, this should be fun, bro. But I love this boxing shit. But this gambling should be fun in the motherfucker, bro. Hold on, man. Seventh inning stretch, man. Hold on. Yeah. I fuck with this. Oh, uh, keep cooking, though. Poker. Keep cooking. I love poker, yeah, yeah. bro. I fuck with that shit, bro. Hell yeah, Texas hold them fun as a motherfucker. Nah, I, yeah, Texas hold them nice, but I fuck with Omaha, though, bro. Omaha is better than me, though. I don't think I played the Omaha. Texas hold them cool. Omaha is better. I, I, I like the odds. And then you only can use the three cards that on, on a turn card. So even though I have four cards, I can't use all the cards on the board. You feel what I mean? So you only okay. so, so on Omaha, you get four cards. And you only can use three cards on the board. So, like when the when the flop come and then the fucking it don't matter. So it don't even matter. Say if all seven cards on the board, I only can use three of those to make my hand. Because you got four in your hand already. Because you already got four in your hand. So you gotta so you gotta pick out the two cards you're gonna use out of your hand. And the three cards on the board. Any poker to keep it real with you, should I play? That shit sounds fun. I like that better. I, I I mean, I like that better because now I could. So so say for instance, say for example, um, I get a hand. I have, I I got pocket aces, right? And mm -hmm. I got two three, or queen queen ten. You know what I'm saying? And say for example. Say for example, my queen ten is hearts, right? 
Now, yeah. they, Hearts came on a board uh, for a straight flush. Now, I could I could use my, my Queen 10 for a straight flush or say if an ace came too, and, or I could use my three you aces three and time, have a you got house action. or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it gives it you, those, you more options to win. It, yeah, it gives you more really outs versus down. Texas Hold'em. I only have two cards and seven on and the rest, I, all the cards on the board. But it's like, damn, like, it's like if I have, if I get two, eight, what is that? I got a bowl. Bro, you know, man, you know how long it's, it it's took more me sometimes. To do, like how you just described it, shit. You got to flow to win, B, man. Bro, Texas hold them. It's sometimes yeah. a difficult game to play in poker. And I'm going to tell you what. You can have back-to-back -back hands where you have to fold multiples. I'm talking about on top of multiples hands that you will have to fold because you don't get shit to work I with. At least wait on the flop. You get and, more to work with. That's and, what you're right. That's what it's going. I didn't have multiple hands where I would get a – I would get – 10, 3, or 3, queen, 2, jack. <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to do with that shit. Like, <laughs> I got to see the flop. So like, basically, how you just described it to me, it's like the difference between playing dominoes, playing sevens, and playing nine. It, 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 you, I mean, because then you, you, you playing with your money, so it's like, what are you going to gamble on? So you're going to yeah. gamble on a queen, 3? What you going to do with that? Like only thing you hoping on is if you get two queens and you or an extra queen and now I got a pair of queens. Well, what if somebody got pocket aces? Yeah, so many other fucking possibilities can beat that shit. You know what I mean? Like more options and shit. So Omaha, Omaha is different. Like for me, Omaha is different. Now I got four cards, right? So now I can take my four cards and match my four cards on the three cards on the board. You know what I mean? Yeah. That Texas Hold'em, it's it's really more up here. You, right. You, right. You, you really got to use your bluff game because you're going to be bluffing like a motherfucker. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Some That's hands you just don't have shit. Game. You just don't have shit some hands. You don't have shit. Fucking do what you can do. You, Bro, you, you just this, don't, it's been hands like, where... It's been hand taco. It's been hands where I picked that motherfucker 10 3. I wait on the flop. Here come two tens on the flop. Right. Mm. And, See what I'm saying? So and, I, I'll and, just wait on the flop. Then after that, I'll fold because I ain't really did nothing but checked after that. See what I'm saying? So I lose but, small bro, to win when, big. But see, okay. See, I'm glad I'm talking to a person that play like that. So see me how I play. I mean, that play poker. So it's good to, to talk to my. So. Bro, I'm telling you, I don't know about you. Have you had multiple hands where you have to fold? How many? Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm talking I about am. playing Texas Hold'em. I'm talking about yes. on multiple. On mo you got to be patient as fuck, bro. Yes, my patience is nice. That's what I'm saying, Taco. That's why That's why I could get, that's why I could conquer the game. You got to weather the storm. Yeah, yes, yes. All with that one ace, all the way to the you end. Bro. Like people don't be understanding that shit though. Like, because motherfuckers, I know when a motherfucker bluffing, bro. That's by how much money they betting, bro. You got. You see, then it's a you just, when you double the bet, say if they put up two hundred, you double it to four hundred. Then they fold. I know. See what I'm saying? Now nah, you don't want to put that motherfucker extra two hundred up. See what I'm saying? Nice so, so it's a mental thing. Yeah, it's a mental thing. You want to keep it nice and level? Hand, to make a person be like, Taco, it's been times I had that ten three. It's been times I had that ten three. It, it has shit. It still bluffed they ass out all the way it to the end. Bluffed. Yeah, yeah, it, but it take balls though. Yeah, it's man. Big so, ball, so, bro. So I know you got something, and I still call your shit. It's, I, it's I, all I, about your face. Bro, bro, bro I'm looking take, at your face. Bro, you can't face, give it up. Shit. You can't get shit. Take, yes, it, it do. Take, I swear, bro, it just take real balls, bro. Real shit. Like, yeah, they do. So you it never real, know. Bro. You never know what that motherfucker if got. You never know, bro, 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 you never know what a person, bro. Do you know how many times 
I done got bluffed out of a fucking good hand. How I done yes. bluff people out of good. You know how many times you done bluff people out when of they good hand? Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? When like, they ain't got shit. They <laughs> ain't got shit, man. Bro, man, I had a man. I had a pair of tools, bro. One of that bitch with a pair of tools. Motherfucker was mad at me, boy. I bluffed their ass out. I told, I said, look, man, dude, it's all good. Then shit that, come up, then no big cars come up. I was still riding stuff. with my hand. I was still riding with my little funky ass tools. You heard me? Sometimes no you gotta do that shit. You gotta Say do that shit because you gotta man, do that man. shit sometimes to them because it throw it throw the game completely up. Yeah, you know, you call it real or not. Thing, man. Hey, right a Texas now. Total man, much, no mental get off the table, bro. I'm just gonna tell you. You ain't got no mental, man. Like that ten three taco talking about, man. I didn't, I didn't fold it on that ten three, and then motherfucker full house flop over on me, man. I'm like, damn, damn, damn. hella mad, right? Like, right, damn, I should have stayed like, in the game. Like, bro, that's why I gotta wait on that flop, bro. You right. must, like you said, taco motherfucker, you gotta pay for that motherfucker. You gonna pay? Everybody pay gonna pay to see. I'm gonna raise again, motherfucker, just so you can come back, so we can. Hey, nigga, if Nigga, nigga, if I get aces on or kings or any pair, any nigga, bro, you gotta pay, bro. You gotta, you gotta bro, pay you gotta to pay, see bro. that flop, bro. You gotta, you, you gotta. gotta I'm a raise. I'm you know, a raise. Matter, if, nigga, just to I see who in the with, game, cause yeah, a motherfucker I, gonna fold instantly, boy. They ain't yeah, got bro, you. I don't care. I, I take the, I take the startup money. I yeah. need all that. Yeah, but I'm not gonna let you because. How I feel manipulate is, your mind, man, and take this hold. I done been in so many. Situations where I didn't try to wait for a person to get their shit, and they got some way better than mine. So after I got beat like that so many times, I took the point of saying, "Fuck it." <laughs> I'm waiting on the flop, and you gotta pay. I'm gonna take my. Part. I'm gonna take my winnings, no matter if it's small or not. You can play <laughs> well in the bet. Nigga, then you just get you know, oh well. I take I take everybody of uh, startup money. Nigga, Damn shit. right. Damn but right. Every, every, every hand. hand. I don't bend down to my last. If I get pocket aces, come back and won everything. Yeah. If I get pocket like aces, that, pocket kings, pocket anything, I don't give a fuck. Pocket deuces. Like that. That's, if that's I get the pocket game. deuces, nigga, you I'm bit, because nigga, what if I get another with. deuce? That got right. trades. You feel me? Like, Man, it's don't come. It'd be hard to climb out them ruts when you be in that in that spot, bro. I, bro, if I got pocket threes, I'm betting. I'm betting, bro. Nigga, bro, like I'm betting, bro. Because you gotta look at your odds, bro. Like I, and I, I count the cards. I look at too, it, bro. Man. I look at it like this. Yeah, you gotta like count this. the cards. Mm -hmm. If I got a, it, and, 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 and every poker player, I think, like as you, even if you watch poker, you would see that when you got a pocket something, they bet pretty heavy a lot of times because it's more of an eye for you to hit that other number. You see what I mean? That, like, that other three coming. It's, you it, know it's what a saying? good eye that you're going to get a, another that other number on a flop. You feel me? Like, so you Bro, win and, and you I look lose. at it like this. I look you at win it like and this. you lose. Because there's yeah. been times I didn't have pocket trades that shit didn't turn out. <laughs> Bro, if listen to me, if I got 10 3 and it's an ace on the flop and it's still five people in the game, I'm folding, bro. Fuck you, man. Out of them five people, you don't think no ace came out that deck, man. Stop playing. I fold that shit. Oh, but if ain't ace no, don't mean everything to me. I no, don't it don't. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying how I am. How I play. You don't think on, on the TV though they be playing with aces like that shit's that shit God I'd be like fuck that, that nah shit. bro I done seen motherfuckers lose with that pair of aces bro I done lost with that pair of aces thought I had it and shit my bad three of them with a pair of my ass you heard me man I want to I want to do that shit bro I don't fuck with the aces bro, like that but if I see an ace pop out on the flop, nigga, I got a pair of tools now folding that shit, I just want to make it to the million dollar table. And five people playing. I just want to make it to the million dollar table. And I wouldn't even give a fuck at that point. talking about the world shit, man, I wouldn't boy. even. Bro, That's if I was up, able bro. to go to Vegas and play in poker and get to the final table, I wouldn't even care. I ain't trying to sit here all day with you niggas. I'm, I'm gone. already in a million dollar range. I'm gone. So, I'm all in. <laughs> 
get up to a million. Yeah, that's so, that so quick. You do see, some shit see, like that's that. that shit. What go on in Vegas? Keep it in Vegas. You gonna keep Dude, that shit? You gonna, bro, you gonna keep that shit? Bro. Be, I ain't got time to be going back and bro. You know how hard it is to play a nigga head up for yeah, all man. the marbles. Yeah, like, man. Motherfuckers don't, don't, they mental gonna it. say just all in. Fuck it, they gonna get tired, mentally tired. Man, you get tired. <laughs> I swear, bro, we don't. That's why. See, that's why we stopped playing chips. We used to play chips, but that's why me and my family we stopped playing chips because it'd be like, bro, you it'd be like the last two people, and we'd be fucking battling out for fucking hours. Like it'd be wrapping like, the cords uh, up to the party and shit. Huh? Everybody, like, that's when that yeah, all in, like, all in go, man. I know. Like so, it'd be like that's why we play like with cash. Fuck that, twenty five cent to buy in, and you could bet up to five dollars. Fuck it, five. You could bet up to five dollars. You feel me? Right. At a maximum five dollars, and just keep it like that. Everybody, no motherfucker won't be chipping off no me? quarters and five dollars, man. That shit, bro. That shit, bro. That shit, at, bro. It been times, nigga. I done came up on nigga a couple of hundred dollars, nigga. That shit done made a nigga, nigga. That shit came in handy for a nigga, boy. Damn right. Shit, nigga, bro, it was times when nigga, I was looking for these days, nigga. Like, what? <laughs> nigga, what? That all gamble too much, though, man. But when the I family do it, oh, I'm like, it's, it's fun. Gamble. When it's family, it's recreational. You feel me? Ain't no. Right, bro, right. Bro, right. I'm, talking, I'm talking about, bro, I'm talking about, I clean up easy, bro. Like, bro, it been times. Where I just didn't been felt bad in a family and been like, bro, I give y'all a couple of nigga. I done took all the money, bro. Like nigga, all the money, bro. Like I'm talking about a couple of bro. <laughs> I always <laughs> fucking crazy, give bro. motherfuckers, give motherfuckers something back, man. If I'm bro, in a dice game bro, and I, I hit your play, ass, and, 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 and you know me as a family, I'd be like, bro, I play y'all, but it'd be like nigga, shit, bro. Like I look, I'd rather just give y'all. Twenty thirty dollars and shit, and call it a night. Well, that's one thing you don't do. You don't never let no motherfucker feel uncomfortable after you didn't lost. They didn't lost all their money. Fuck money. Right. I get you some back, bro. I give them a like, couple I'll dollars let you back. Try to, but at the same time, it'd be like fuck. Like <laughs> I straight get that man a couple dollars back, man. I ain't gonna leave him broke. You like, know what bro, I'm saying? Like I'm like you feel me? We, it, it's a family, so we try to keep it like like right. real family. Like you feel me? So. Cause motherfuckers that word speak for itself, man. All night, bro. I'm talking about like nah, bro. They can be like, bro. It's a wrap. Be so my pops was a gambler, so we used to be in we used to be in a living room playing for fucking. Oh, here's a two hundred dollar pot. And they can send you in the room crying and shit. When we was a kid. That was just what it was. My mom hated that shit. We, we became gamblers. That's just what it is. We gamble family. That shit fun as fuck though. We don't really I don't really do it like that though. But I really do that that's a goal and a, um as long as you can do it and enjoy yourself and do it responsibly, it's good. Uh, um yeah. a bucket list for me. My boy say a bucket list. A bucket list. My uh, for sure one thing on my bucket list to come to um to Memphis with my nigga H Money and come to the hood and fuck with my nigga H Money. That's for sure on a bucket list. For sure. I got to come out there in Memphis and fuck with my nigga H in the hood. You feel me? That's where I feel comfortable at. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I don't, you feel me? I fuck with the hood. I like I like fuck with the hood, nigga. You feel me? Mm. Yeah, every hood is the same to me. You feel me? Real, real recognized, real. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I for sure got that on the bucket list, man. My nigga drunk and sleep right now, but nigga, I for sure coming out there in Memphis sometime, nigga. I was, oh, mama's and, and blood boxing too, and blood boxing too. That's, I, that's I, the hell. I done promised blood some shit too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my promises and shit. And I'm gonna come out there in Miami and go fuck with blood too. <laughs> man, I already no. fuck with Miami though. I've been out there a couple. That shit was fun as fuck. That King of Diamonds nigga was lit. Yeah, I'm talking about. Shit mm -hmm. lit. Day town. Shout outs to Miami Day. Working back in private. I'm out this motherfucker, man. Y'all mean y'all y'all niggas be easy, man. All right, man. Oh, oh, taco, taco, man. Yeah, boy. Taco boy, that boy over there got a whole bunch. 
feeling over there. Yeah. Hey, shit, we still here, yeah, y'all. He, up. he didn't one. turn up for all of us, shit. Man, I told you that boy shit. got a forty ounce bottle with a motherfucking tube on the side of it. The hell, yeah. nigga, make me wish I called off. <laughs> I just gotta get to this money right now. Shit, I need it all. Man, get your motherfucking money, man. What you talking about? Shit, I don't give a fuck what day it is. I'm in here. Right I swear, 1850 don't feel like shit. Yeah, when the cost of living up, inflation every time, man. Inflation every time, Kush, man. Come on, man. For real, you need two people working. (laughs) For real. For real, bro. Yeah, that's when you, that's that time you say, man, I just can't do this shit alone. For real. Yeah, man. I know. I tried to though. Shit. Hey, man. That's why they call us men, man. Shit. It's only a handful of us. For real. Straight up. Just, just keep it going. Do man. some, uh, do some greater, cause shit. I, I feel like my son, he can't go through the same shit. For me, let him go through something different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's struggling and all this shit. Nah. Let him have a different struggle. Let him have no struggle at all, but you know it's going to be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That experience that deal anyway. Yeah. He's so young. He need to be in fucking, be getting put in daycare soon. I'm trying to figure this shit out. Motherfucker getting big. In a minute, he... He about to start start yeah, doing something. Got so almost two year old, right? Yep. Yeah, your baby two in February. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Can't wait till he turn four, cause then then the work begins. Nah, the terrible two when that terrible two ends. Oh, that's, he will, that's here now. This oh, that's why I said when it ends. When it ends, <laughs> you'll be okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> that's shit tough right now. Boy, that yeah. terrible too, man. Good. They be into every damn thing. Oh, my. Oh. Man, you got to worry about them falling. You got to worry about them fucking eating shit. Yeah, man. Damn. Shit, I'll be at work all night fucking thinking about what the fuck he about to be looking at when he wake up. Need mm-hmm. to be me that kind of shit. Right. Man. When I had my first shot, man, my kid's grown, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, though, bro. Like, this shit, uh, in some ways, it leave you, like, in a, like, a little worried spot all the time. I'm always worried. Not like I ain't doing what I need to. Like, shit. I'll be wanting to do more. Make sure we show Hey man, that's why they call it life. Yeah, that's why they call it life. Just trying to get to where you at. That's it. Motherfucker, grown ass uh, motherfucker, move out and shit. I'll be happy. Go to school or whatever. Hey, cause it ain't hard when you focus. You know why? Because when shit, when you focus on everything. Everything kind of fall into place, like pretty much. Keep working, shit. We'll never really not have shit. Be all right. Nah, but if a motherfucker deal with what they needs, needs and wants are two different things. Your needs come before your wants. You you deal with what you need, you get what you want. It's simple. You deal with what you want first, then your needs fall. Uh, you you perish. Yeah, that shit's simple, man. Oh, yeah. but the simplicity of the world is what's killing motherfucker. They don't see that. That's simple. It's simple when you're going through it. You got all the obstacles. That's what make you make you, make you confused and not be able to do the things that's right in front of you. You know, like especially people that kind of sit on their hands because I could do that. I could get that's like what make it hard. Cause that's what yeah. make it hard. When a motherfucker Tired. ain't focused. Oh, make the shit hard. That, when a motherfucker ain't focused, that's what make it hard, cuz. 
You ain't got no motherfucking goals, no morals, then yes, it's gonna be you gonna have a hard motherfucking life because you ain't you ain't looking forward to nothing. Yeah, you gotta have something. You gotta have some type of game plan, bro. That's how I feel about this place. Like if if they wasn't uh having me in a place where like me, I, I honestly feel this way. Like at my job, I gotta feel like I'm like I'm uh treated special. To a certain extent, if you feel what I'm saying, you can't treat me like every other associate that you watch through here or whatever the fuck. You feel what I'm right. saying? You got everybody got to play their role. That's what it is. It's a job. Yeah, yeah you got to treat me like I like I get shit done. Like I do. Otherwise, I ain't feeling it. I I will leave. And I know it's opportunity for me here if I ever wanted to continue to you know progress my career or whatever. Right. So it's cool for right now, but I ain't trying to be nowhere where it ain't where it ain't. I ain't, I ain't have no goal or you see what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't. Yeah, I ain't motherfucking in right. Yeah, fuck that. I don't care if people. Is it, we we out here, but the thing of it is, is that when you looking at. Everything that wanting eyes, whenever you everything you want first, your motherfucking ass is finna go straight to the flow. Mm-hmm. You gotta start you can't get what you want too. if you ain't got what you need. You can't get what you want. You ain't got what you need to get it. Yeah. What the hell is we talking about? <laughs> mm-hmm. Motherfucker be on that crazy shit, man. Get everything you need first. And then why what you won't come. It's gonna come sooner than you think, faster. Do what you need to be doing. Then you'll be successful. Right. My mom used to always say that, say some shit similar to that. She's uh when my sister got killed, I lost my sister when I was like fucking sixteen. She got shot in the head. Mm. And she was supposed to be one place. <laughs> And she was somewhere else. And it helped my mom, like, uh, adopt a saying. She used to always tell us, be where you're supposed to be. Like, where are you at right now? We'll call us and shit like that. Worry. Be where you're supposed to be. Well, you see it, you was going to be, man. Yeah, I used to hear that. I used to hear that all the time from my moms, man. Motherfucker, you said you was going to be over there. Why the fuck is you over there? For real. Get where the fuck well, you supposed was to you be there? How yeah, you I didn't do all of that. Said you wasn't there, all that shit. Hell yeah, my mom was. She was on. It. Fuck around, get into some shit on the way to where I'm supposed to be, bro. See what I'm saying? Hell yeah, yeah, man. I know what's up with this, man. That's all we, we mistake it. We mis- we mistake it for for uh mistake the idea that everybody got that growing up. Everybody don't faking identity. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's that everybody got a twin deal. Yeah, trying to be something you not, and all that shit. Trying to be something you not, yep. You stole motherfucker right about that. All these motherfuckers lessons that you don't have to learn the hard way. You could just learn by somebody telling you. And that's why <laughs> motherfuckers don't hear that just be talking and talking. And when, when motherfuckers like you was talking, I'd be like, hey bro, shut the fuck up. Cause you could learn some shit, bro. You For know, real. I don't disrespect elderly people. I don't, I don't do it. Not just elderly people. Anybody that's older than me. An elder period. I respect that's, everybody. That stuff gone, Kush. That stuff gone these days. Cause when nobody needs to respect their elders these days. Shit, it ain't What's to me. Elder? You just like me. But hold up, man. Who paved it for you, though? Shit. They forget about that, man. They forget, they forget so quick about that, man, that somebody paved the way for you. You just didn't come out her tree and then you ain't dig up shit. Motherfucker tr- paved the way for me and paved the way for those before me and on and on and on. Come on, man. And then wonder why why the climate of, of the world is what it is. You feel me? Wonder why, oh, boxing failing. Because y'all motherfuckers ain't listening to the motherfuckers that came before y'all and set, and set example. That's why we got this new ideal where people feel like, oh, you gotta you gotta do the opposite. 
that's what the world is about now. It's about the opposite. Yep, yep. contrary. And listen, mm-hmm. this the thing. This is my thing right here, Kush. All the all the followers who lead now here. Because well, guess what? Nine times out of ten, they a follower of somebody. Ain't nobody trying to lead nothing. That's what our problem. That's what the problem is, bro. There's too many fucking followers. Ain't no damn leaders. Follow me on it. I'm finna follow you on Instagram, nigga. What lead a motherfucker? <laughs> Sometime, man, for real, man. That's real shit. That's that's. I'm just gonna keep it a buck, bro. Ain't nobody hey, leading well, I nothing. Know. I know. I know that nothing, no form of nothing from in the past, from from back in the day, can be better and improved now. Because now our shit is so scripted. You see what I'm saying? We mm-hmm. we think that we have some kind of advanced. No, we it's just a made sure. matrix. It's a made matrix, bro. Everything that we that we have created has made us lazy in a way. Yes, bro. That's why I call it a matrix. Is because they you it's on your mind. It's on your mind. That's what it is. And painted this motherfucker picture for you in this digital ass world, and motherfucker can't get can't see it. Shit. I'm, I'm how it is, man. Came up like in the fucking me growing up, the fucking internet was just coming out, all that shit. So I still have, I grew up fucking where CD players are still around. You see what I'm saying? Even fucking uh, cassette tapes are still around. You yeah. fucking. Me growing up, I grew up with VHS. Thank God. Because these motherfuckers today, they don't know shit about, you see what I'm saying, about that. I'm VCR glad I didn't tapes. that. Hell Who's that VCR tapes, man? Back, I ain't seen a VCR in years. Man. So, my mom got so many VCR tapes still, bro. Still. Cases and cases of them, bro. Them was the days though. DVDs everywhere. I'm like, man, dude. I'm talking about a library, literally a library of this shit. Shelves and shelves of this shit, bro. Looking back, everything was different. Everything was on regular TV on Saturdays. Kids was was watching fucking a certain channel. Man, (laughs) you feel what I'm saying? Like, I yeah, even watch certain shit, boy. We were watching, we were watching Channel Eleven, shit. Like, we were yeah, watching man. regular television, shit for kids. Now these motherfuckers got all kind of weird shit on the TV. My yeah. son don't even watch regular TV. He only watched about three shows. <laughs> and watch it. You say three shows? Yeah, he watched about three shows. I'm not lying. And they all educational. I'll be, um, be sitting up there watching and I'll be watching like his little uh what's the shit uh little PJ Mask or whatever little shit with him. I'll be like, bro, this shit is scary. Dude, bro, this you DVD. Know, watch some shit with a kid. When you watch the shit with a kid and you looking at it through their lens, like this shit is scary. Why is he or this shit is weird? Why is he sitting up here and they teaching them how to paint up uh, pink little Cuz you see this? You seeing this, bro? These are DVDs. Look, see, look. This is a DVD I'm pulling out. But look at them. In a look, DVDs, bro. It's just the collection. I'm going to go down one. Look, DVD. Hold up. I ain't done. Look. DVD. Nigga got the whole collection. Bro, I think I own a DVD. My bad. Let me turn the light on, bro. VCR tape. VCR tape. Look. VCR tape, bro. That shit Look. valuable. Look, bro. All the way down to the fucking cartoons, my nigga. That yeah. shit is valuable. Let me step around. Let me step around this way. Look. Easy or tape. Look. Just, just all over the place, bro. Movies? Man, I ain't talking about no movies, because I got some of these movies there. <laughs> That shit oh, is right. just, just collection of movies, bro. I done seen a lot of movies, let me tell you. For real, I, I consider see. myself like a 
That's one of my past times. I consider myself like a little critic. <laughs> I'll be watching. That's yeah, the only yeah. side sports. I watch a movie. I ain't watching no TV shows, no nothing. Man, them was ran out when they start streaming stuff, bro. It was, it was over. Them DVDs and movies, man. I'm talking about. Uh, you just go pull a movie out and throw it in a VCR and watch it, bro. You got a VCR on it. Tell him, man. Well, you, you know what that was. That was that was because they had to find a way to get their money. In. That's why they, mm-hmm. they made it. We, we was getting over on them for about 10, 15 years with them bootlegs. We was getting. <laughs> oh, man. That's why popcorn cost $30 at the show, man. <laughs> they, they're trying to recoup on that money. <laughs> The popcorn costs 30 bucks, bro. That shit crazy. With butter. I used to go down to the alley and, and get my dad used to get us like 15 bootlegs. Little terrible bootlegs from the alley in LA. Everybody look like Jay Leno in the film. We used to watch them motherfuckers though. Watch the shit out the dark motherfuckers. People walking in front of shit. Hey man, that was the worst. <laughs> Motherfucker gonna stand half the movie in front of the motherfucker movie. Man, y'all really? get to like, you know. You know you you know they can't hear you. You in there talking like get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> oh shit, man. That booty. Like, that booty ain't getting boxing at the movie theater. That shit still sounds like to me. I wish they would do that in Cali. No, that sound. That's uh that's I B, Ohio. They watching it at the lit. theater. Ma- oh, that's lit on that big ass screen, boy. The fuck, they need to do that out here. That shit need to come out here too. The fuck, they got the dollar. Show. They got the the Union Station, man. They got the dollar show little spot. It's a theater over there. They ain't doing shit with that motherfucker, man. I'll be mad at this motherfucker town. They just shut every goddamn thing down, man. Before the pandemic, they shut everything down around this motherfucker. I ain't shit here but Cardinals baseball and, and blues hockey. That's it. And those shit that go on at the Sabbath in America Center, man. Motherfucker be amping this motherfucker up like it's all that, bro. It's it's not, bro. It's like that. Well, if, if you came here, it'll be cool to you because you don't you ain't here. Just like if I went to anybody's city, man, it's like that with everybody. Yeah. Put in that's your true. motherfucking city because you stay there. <laughs> you, you, a new you grew up there. Now, if you like, know people, people get like, on that about California, I, I don't think California to me. So I grew up here. I, I I only left California like twice. I traveled and, and went down south one time, and then I went to Indiana one time for a <laughs> summer. But besides that, this is all I ever seen. This is this is normal to me. When I go anywhere else, it's like, oh, this shit slow as fuck. Yeah, listen, bro. Oh, bro, you come, you come here, man. It, man, you come here from Cali. That's your ass. <laughs> you, gonna go back, you gonna go back home quick in the motherfucker, like man, this motherfucker is slow as fuck, man. Shit. To me, it's 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 regular. You know what I'm saying? Just like mm-hmm. New York, just like New York City. My brother been looking at those lights their whole life. It's it's regular. <laughs> it's I nothing. Know, it's I'm normal. Not talk to you, Hebrew. I've been thinking about leaving California for like the last three, four years. Cause me, I'm a homebody. I don't really. I be at shit at home watching boxing on my computer. Watching man, you, need, you need some Creed cool in your life, man. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck about about the street life. Like I told you, my mom. Nah, you need some. You come out here. You come out there. here. It's Chesterfield. It's Chesterfield and Creed Cool, man. We gonna Limburg, shit like that, man. You'll you'll be all right. Hell yeah. Especially because you got that that baby and shit. You know what I'm saying? You come this I'm way. I'm starting to realize what's important. Because everything important. anywhere it's else, nigga. Anywhere <laughs> else, man. You gonna be a kill the motherfucker out here, man. Trying to protect, <laughs> protect them, and you know what I'm saying. Straight up, man. This motherfucker crazy as a motherfucker out here. It's too little. Like I be I be telling motherfuckers all the time, these young niggas out here, like, hey bro, Ooh. like when you when you graduate, my little brother, I told him, get get the fuck away from Pasadena. Cause in Pasadena, ain't nothing gonna happen for you. You've been in that same spot, you think that that's where it's at. I mean, you're gonna end up with a baby dead, or you're gonna just be like living out of mom house. Statistics, my dude. One Statistics. of them three is what's gonna be a hundred percent. 
If you want to be a statistic, then get the fuck away from where we at. Because, yeah, it is nice. Like Rich always said, oh, Pasadena, nice. Yeah, but it's hood, too. <laughs> Nigga, everywhere man, that looks nice. Like a motherfucker, man. Yeah, it's, 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 hood. it's all nice until you, your ass run into the neighborhood. Like, nigga, it's more than just a Rose Bowl, my nigga. Yeah. A lot more than that. I want USC games, my dude. <laughs> That's what he thinking about. Yeah, like, nah, that ain't that. that, ain't that, that, you that. Bah, 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 bah. Man, you better get that shit on, man. Motherfucker get smoked out on this motherfucker. You hear me? Yeah. You, worried about the, you worried about the, the TV shit. Until your ass touched down, you know what I'm saying? Like I just told you, I lost my sister to a gunshot in the head, bullet that wasn't even meant for her. You feel what I'm saying? Like, ain't shit sweet out here. Nothing, nowhere. Can't escape it, nowhere, bro. It's the same niggas doing the same thing on every motherfucker corner in America. For real. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Wherever you go, it's niggas hanging out on the corner, front of the niggas, though, trying to hit the gas stations. That's all it seems like is out here is gas station. Gas stations and liquor stores, huh? That motherfucking crimes go, go to right nice down to the gas store. You won't see a liquor store nowhere. Go, go to, to a nice got no regular stores no more. It's just a gas station. That's that's the cool thing about growing up where I grew up. Like it wasn't too much racism. Like we even had a boxing gym. And our boxing gym, we used to share. We used to share with the uh, the Mexican community. You feel what I'm saying? Like it was right. only like some parts where you would go and you'd be like, "Oh, I'm not welcome here." But it was not and, like that. And the Hispanic communities, they so motherfucking humble here, man. You don't even know they here. Unless you on all the, all the beach somewhere, and they don't, they be they yeah. humble than the motherfucker, bro. They don't be, they, man. They do not be trying to be around no motherfucking body. Yeah, in South Sea, everything is switch, switch, like, and this go, city is broke up. Other, but it's 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 not it's not malicious or racial. It's just like, oh, no, you from no. here, here. Like in Pasadena, it's all blood. So if you ain't a blood, you 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 kind of like if you walking around portraying yourself as something, you in trouble. You see what I'm saying? Because it's predominantly that. But if you ain't gang banging, you you all right. It don't matter where you from. Motherfucker, you gotta you gonna have to stand on that, homie. For real. <laughs> Straight up. Got to if you stand on that, you move to Pasadena, you might want to hang that up. Yeah, you ain't going, man, man. I just seen enough motherfucker shit in this little motherfucker to be talking about trying to go somewhere and control somebody else's hood. Nigga, what the fuck is these niggas be that straight? Is what I you, ever seen in my life. You, you in Chicago, what you doing all the way in motherfucking Miami talking shit for? Talking about some talking about some GD or something. I done seen so many GD. What is <laughs> that you, is a you first thing you, you do in Disrespecting you from, you from Seattle and Maine talking shit like a mother, man. Y'all get your ass on the fuck on. Man. And it ain't and it ain't no fair ones where I'm from. You from oh, somewhere okay. else and they find out you an outsider, they all gonna whoop your motherfucking ass. Ain't no fair ones. That's they where we call you like a motherfucker, like asking you all fucking questions. You heard me? Motherfucker asking you so many it. questions, but man. You man. Call out your fade, you gotta take it. It ain't no fair ones if you ain't from where we from. That's how it how it is in Pasadena. It is, man. Listen, man. If I walked through the wrong motherfucking neighborhood, you hear me? I was a youngster then. I walked through the wrong neighborhood, man. They crowded me. I'm like, what the fuck going on? I'm gonna have to stab one of these niggas, man. Nigga just crowded me like a motherfucker. Like, where you from? Man? I'm like, man, I don't even know what y'all talking. What the fuck? The niggas just, they just jumped me. You hear me? I'm like, oh shit, bro. Okay. That was the first time I got jumped ever. Hmm. I don't see so many niggas get jumped. That's because I went from around there, bro. That's how this shit is, man. But, man, that's them facts, bro. Motherfucker got to watch it, man. Only, only ones like they, I said, they don't, don't even give a fuck. They you was niggas that was okay. You a blood, and I'm a blood. Or uh, we we got a fade right now, and you can never turn down a fade in Pasadena. You turn down a fade, it's a wrap. So everybody can kind of fight a little bit because we always fight. It's like a fade is is. That's yeah, I know. I know. 
I don't know what these niggas get your motherfucking hands on. up. Man, get them up. Nigga, that's a fade. Nigga, get your motherfucking hands up. Protect yourself. The thing of it is, man, motherfuckers, these motherfuckers today, man, these youngsters today, it ain't no discipline in their mind at all. No motherfucking heads, man. You hear me? They, 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 they is not conscious at all, man. See, back in the day, like back in the day, music was like the hip hop was hip hop. It wasn't no really heavy 808 booms or none of that shit to hypnotize your motherfucking ass. You hear me? Yeah. That's what this music doing. It's yeah, a fucking fucking spell, man. Doing. It's casting a spell on these kids, man. They don't even know what the fuck going on. Then they get on these motherfucking hallucinogens and be out here fucking crazy, man. Nah, that's some real shit, Hebrew. Like, these motherfuckers just be listening to beats and they favorite rappers uh just be saying the most gay shit and they be reciting it and all this shit, bro. They just be listening to beats. And that shit Future hypnotize they ass. Old as fuck. That shit vibrate through their body, all that bass and shit, man. That, it's a it's a spell. I don't hate on no motherfucking body, but that's what it is. Yeah. Mother, so many people have exposed this shit, even in the early nineties. Motherfuckers say this generation coming up after this, after this generation, man, shit gonna be fucked up. And he said it, and it is. That's exactly what it is. Try who is that? Who was that? A whole bunch of people said it. KRS One, Big Daddy Kane said it. Uh, 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 what's his name? Ice Cube said it. Ice T said it. They, they already knew what the generations next yeah. was gonna do. You know, they, they in the industry. They knew. They knew all this faggot shit was coming. All this shit, man. It was already. It was already there. It was just behind. It was behind closed doors. You already know, Doctor. The, the, the Marley Mall situation, man. Yeah. The Marley Mall situation, bro. I'm, I'm just saying, man. All this, all this uh stuff, man. Motherfuckers wasn't bowing down to. They got rid of. That that's, that's how you. That shit been going on. Like Doctor Dre been a faggot having sex with a man on the beginning of a song, all that shit. But like that shit been happening. And when I was exposed to that in the music industry, that's when I got away from making music. I was like, I eh, I've never I got. I, 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 could, I make the beats and all that stuff, bro. If I I've been doing that since I was ten years old, I still make the beats today. I'm forty five. I still make music. I like music. I love it. You I know still make. I'm I still make it on my jazz and stuff. And now. I ain't up and, uh, I'm not about to work for nobody. No, Niggas don't like me. Too short. That's what I'm. That's what I was telling my uh artists when I had the label going. I told them, man, listen, bro, you ain't trying to sell no CDs, bro. Don't come back to the studio. We not finna be. I had ten artists, cause I said I'm not finna be out here like the rest of these motherfuckers, nigga. Make your money, your own money. You ain't you ain't getting taxed or none of it. All y'all do is sell your CDs, nigga. You mean to tell me you can sit on the corner and sell dope all day, but you can't come sell yourself your CD? And motherfuckers no, was on, liking on, it. They was ready to complete a project. How about complete something? Complete no, something. Album. Make sure it gets pressed and make sure you, you it gets put out. You see what I'm saying? You gotta put your money behind that shit. That shit costs. It ain't free. Yeah. So if bro. you pay for a beat, then you can't you can't afford engineering. You can't afford nothing. Kush, I was doing all of that. Listen, I had to distribute it, everything, Kush. I was doing everything. That shit is fatiguing I, to do everything. I I done it just like you. I, I did I, everything, I, even press the CD. Over all that. Like before I, I even got the before I got the ten disc burner. Before I got the ten disc burner, I was burning it on a single deck, bro. All night and day for these motherfuckers, man. You heard me? Hell yeah. These motherfuckers didn't even want to go. I pressed the CDs and everything, wrapped them, everything, because these niggas didn't even want to go sell their CDs. The shit was just sitting there. Y'all just want to do, hey man, let me get a let me get a CD. Just so you can ride to, you finna sell it, nigga, or what? We hmm. ain't got no equipment, but y'all want to sit around and, and talk about some. So I goes out there, I pressed a couple CDs. You heard a couple hundred CDs. I'm out there booming. The shit. motherfuckers is buying two and three of them, Kush. At five dollars, I'm just charging five dollars for it. You hear me? People will support you. 
You feel me? If you do it, yeah, they, they might not. Support, they would trade support me. So yeah, now motherfuckers cool. rolling around listen. Hey, Kush, motherfucker rolling around listening to they ass rap. He motherfuckers looking like, damn, how you get that CD? Yeah, I'm putting that shit out here, nigga. Y'all broke. Y'all sitting mm-hmm. on this motherfucking corner, nigga. I'm making money. Fuck what y'all talking about. Now everybody want to flood the motherfucking studio, and I shut that shit down, Kush. You hear me? Muff, I shut muff, that motherfucker down. Do I seen what it shit. was, bro. That's why I ain't never yeah. try to get in the industry. <laughs> and I, you know what I, what I did in the end? When I realized, oh, okay, this motherfucker, he he came to me. He ain't had no money, but he want to use a beat. I resold all their beats. Why I was not? Like, okay. I mean, because it ain't yours. Motherfucker heard, heard, heard somebody else on the shit you was doing that Here's you mail a shit. I don't give a fuck if you rap on it. Here's somebody else on your shit. Damn right. That's what that's what I'm saying, because they was rolling around listening to themselves and didn't know what was going on. And well, I, man, this shit was popping, Kush. It was popping. Motherfucker, like, when that next one coming out? I ain't got no orders. That's all I can say. That's I'm not, I'm not even lying to you, Hebrew. I used to be uh I still am. I'm sought after for that shit. You can you can actually Google Kush the Great and shit'll come up. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm not wasting no time. Matter of fact, it drove me to the point where it's like, I don't even really do it. I got a cu- couple of little low quality songs on YouTube, but, uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm about being me. Hell yeah. You know, man, it's, just, it's just like, man, you know, you know, I ain't got that much content or none of that, man, but you know, I, I, I you know, I congregate, man, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably be on somebody else's video or something. You hear me? For real. Oh, yeah, man. I, like I say, man, I, I uh, somebody, like fuck it, I, I got I got some beat. Like I might hear, like I heard, I was listening to One Fifty shit the other night, right? I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I was like, I like this, nigga. I never, I never really listened to your serious shit. I just heard that little shit where you was clowning, fucking whatever the dude named Pigeon or whatever. But I was like, I so, see you, bro. Where I can and find him? Let me his shit on YouTube. One Fifty. Okay, you know, I, so I, what I type in One Fifty Dream, I gotta subscribe to One Fifty. I'm sure. Yeah, subscribe to One Fifty. <laughs> He just be posting songs randomly and shit. Oh, okay. I, I heard it. I heard his voice on some shit. I'll hear your voice and I'll be like, you know what? I got some shit for you. I ain't gonna sit up and make nothing half the time if I hear your voice on it. I feel yeah, like that's how that's I how I was making my beat. That's how that's how I was making my beats, Kush. I I gotta make the beat around your voice. Whatever yeah. your voice saying, that's what the beat gonna be doing. That's how I make my music. I'm sorry. You ain't got no you ain't got no lyrics. You ain't got no beat. I'm sorry. If you need a beat to write your lyrics, you out of there. I'll play a beat for you so you can write your lyrics. But if you can't do it acapella, you ain't you ain't got no stage, none of that. You might well gone, bro. But well, if I you can, need I help though with sure. it, if you need now, then sure. I have orders where they just straight up be in the studio like you can't put me out of here, bro. I'm finna be in her. I like those kind of artists. You know what I'm saying? But then Hell you got yeah. those ones that just want to make a CD just so they can ride around and go ahead, Chris, go ahead. No, nah, like you were saying, I just I want to have an artist that that can fucking that can be versatile. You feel me? You play a catalog for me. Hey, bro, I rap on that one, that one, now anyone that you want, I rap on it. That's the that's the artist that I want. You feel what I'm saying? Like, okay, I have you can tell me you like Young Dolph or something. I'm gonna be like, hey, bro, but you want to sound like Young Dolph? You ain't gonna stand out. Nobody ever really gonna. You see what I'm saying? It's only one. That's <laughs> you got like, bro. Original. Just like that. Just like era. Everything was just like. Mm-mm, bro. People understand Do your that. Own shit, man. You, you gotta sound. You gotta have an original sound. You gotta have your own sound. You never heard nobody in the industry that sound like somebody else. They got their own sound. Eminem got his own sound. Fucking uh, Kendrick Lamar, whoever, whoever you like, they got their own sound. And if you don't have your own sound, you ain't gonna never make it. Why hit Wanda, my dude? But for anybody who are artists in the in the fucking chat, I'm telling you some real shit. Yeah, man, you heard it. You heard it first, right here, bro. I'm gonna tell you, man. I've been doing the music since I was ten years old. Wrote my first rap at ten. All of that, man. Man, I, I didn't got so burnt shit. out of writing raps, bro. I, I just started doing the music. I had to go to something else, man. I got so many lyrics, bro. I just had to go to something else, man. So I started making the beats. Oh, you got to do 
Oh, if yeah. you're a real artist and you're serious about the shit, invest your money. <laughs> invest your money into your shit. Don't be yeah. going fuck, bro. You got a fucking little home studio. Okay, let me lay some shit down. And then they'll never complete it. No, take your ass to the studio. Pay an engineer to to record you. Don't I hate when people take bring the lyrics to the engineer and they shit don't sound good. So they, they only gotta do like a little half ass mix. No, bro, record it with the dude. You feel me? Get the shit pressed the right you way. Engineer it while you doing it. For real. That shit is so backwards. I don't know why artists do that. Man, they just want to go and listen, man. I'm telling you, man. They just want to make them a little song, throw it on one of these motherfucking social medias, and 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 expect for it to do what it do. Bro, and they want a whole they bunch of people. So you you got to really work in. You got to go perform that bitch everywhere. You got to go find you. You see what I'm saying? Venues that that are booked for you yourself. Gotta pull on work. You got to stay, and and it's some hard work. It ain't no, it ain't no easy. It ain't no overnight shit like motherfuckers thinking, bro. It is because it costs the travel. It costs it, it. You see what I'm saying? You gotta build connections, network, all that, bro. Market this shit, bro. All of that, bro. It is hard. It's distribution, hard. bro. What you? What? How you gonna get it out here? See what I'm saying? But now they they made it more lazy. They made motherfuckers where they can be lazy as fuck now. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers ain't dr- at doing hard work. Motherfuckers is lazy out here, man. Motherfuckers ain't trying to do no hard work, man. They just want it to happen for them. Fall in the lap type shit, bro. The shit ain't like that, bro. It ain't gonna never be like that, bro. You know what, he bro? She was born you into that shit. Some Nick Cannon shit, bro. That, bro. Trust me. You gonna have somebody that's in control of you. In control that's of your career. And you ain't gonna Nick Cannon really? shit, bro. Nobody might not. Your shit might not never see the light of day if you get signed <laughs> that way. They might blackball your ass. That shit ain't just no fucking uh, boxing shit. They got that shit from the music industry. Every industry. They will fucking sign you and sit your ass, ass on the shelf. You won't even do a song. They gonna steal your sound and then your ass is gonna never be heard. Perish, motherfucker. You, you just been used. Lobotomized. That's what Dr. Dre used to do. No cap. Yeah, the world class well, record too, few, man. Uh, I, I know about this. About this he used to steal they sound. That's why he oh. came back with all that funkadelic and all that stuff, man. He had to go get Ooh, that, that notary. Like that. He had to go get that <laughs> notary boy, you know what I'm saying? The world-class wrecking crew. Stop, man. Mm-hmm. Stop, man. That nigga been a fag, man. He that's, been a gay, whole, bro. that's a whole other uh, fucking industry that's corrupt. Yeah, come, out, come out with, with, with some real motherfuckers like a bud of law. Remember above the laws, Kush? Mm-hmm. DOC. KMG. You want to have some stand power? The same way you got to build your fucking name the right way as a boxer, you got to do that shit as an artist, too. You better build your own fan base before you go signing a motherfucking deal. Already. Now, the music industry, if you ain't already going in with some money, you you fuck, bro. You might wish. You, have, you better shit. have some money. Own your ass. Real money, or you better have a, a following. It's the same. The best, as thing, the best thing that I saw happen to the mu- music industry was Lil Flip. That's some real shit. Cause he was the he was one of the first independent artists really getting out the mud like that. He still Man, got, he got his twenty and was gone on their ass, looking it all crazy. You know who else is like that? That nigga Mike Jones. Mike Jones. <laughs> he, <laughs> he slid like a motherfucker. He slid. <laughs> I mean, Y'all better wake folks. it up with this music shit, man. You gotta get your shit and get the fuck little flip that shit, boy. I'm telling you. He's sitting somewhere right now earning five percent, ten percent right now. Some niggas got smart in the beginning and didn't allow the industry to fuck them. The like, exact I'm- little flip. That's the only one I can see did it the rawest boy. Oh yeah, and little flips still got hella clout. And he's still uh, he's still out here. He ain't said nothing, but he out here. Straight up, man. Industry yeah. is a motherfucker. Anything like that you want to get into, I don't care what it is, modeling, whatever the fuck motherfuckers be getting into. Anything where you got to fucking audition and shit, and the motherfucker got to be impressed, that shit got, it's corrupt. Yeah, it's, it's, it start with you. Motherfucker, you can't be t- trying to uh come hold my hand and all that. You ain't walking down the walkway with a motherfucker. 
Ain't nobody doing a solo it. album. If you doing an album, motherfucker, you in there. Yes, it's gonna be some featuring on there. Of course, we know that. But motherfucker, if you, you these artists, man, listen, man. I had 10 artists. This was the proposition, Kush. I'm gonna burn you 50 CDs for free. My mission was to get the studio intact. You see what I'm saying? New microphones and shit. That's what the money was for. But you ain't even trying to go. Okay, my proposition was burn you. I got ten orders. I burned each one of them fifty CDs. Nothing. No. No. I don't. I, I ain't even charging them for studio time, Kush. This huh. how dedicated I was to the music. So I'm letting them come in. Uh, I had the studio. I had let them come record for free. You finna get these fifty CDs. Pop the motherfuckers. That's that five dollars. Was two fifty. All I'm asking for is you to bring a hundred dollars so we all can go get a badass microphone, some good playback. You see what I'm saying? And then the next time, while that CD rocking, we working on the next one. See what I'm saying? Why motherfuckers out there listening to that? We working on the next one, and we and we rapping on a badass mic we just bought. The other one fifty. That's your money. Give a fuck about that. We did something great in the studio. We got a microphone we can record on that. You see what I'm saying? How am I ganking you? Well, that's this, this that's is what this. makes this so fucking hard, Hebrew. Because trying to do it with multiple hands in it, it's so hard, bro. But if you was able, capable with all the money to do that shit by yourself, you could have put yourself on. I could. I know I I, I want to. I, that's where I, my mistake was, Kush. I want to take them with me because they was good ass artists. You know how it is. You got them ones you just, you never going to find them again. Yeah. I, and you I were trying to before. stick with them. That's what was I going on with me, man. That's I was what, trying to take what. them with me. I could have been did this. I could have been out here, man. Just like Bud said, this one want to go over here. This one want to go over there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One of these motherfuckers end up in jail. One of these motherfuckers dead. That's what be happening. And then you can't really do the business the way that you want to do it. But I realized I'm in. Your CDs fault. ain't selling right here. Go to where they say, go where he at then. The fuck you mean? All the money is the same. I just need y'all to bring that money to the studio so we can go. We can go to the studio, get to the store, good to our center, wherever the fuck we gonna go and get some better shit. We got a carry. Like I had a badass keyboard, a karaoke machine, and a motherfucking uh tape deck. This is what this is what we making it on before at first. We recording on tape. So I was like, fuck it. I went and banged a couple of I made a solo CD with six songs on. I went and banged it. And got a, a a a CD recorder. So now mm -hmm. we're recording on this. You heard me? I did that myself. So they like, oh, you got the CD burner? We finna have CDs, right? They got all happy and shit. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. but don't get too uh. You gotta go put some work in though. Gonna burn these CDs. Those niggas never did, man. They never. They fucked me, bro. So I just started banging them motherfuckers. They got mad at me, so I shut the shit down. I ain't opened up the studio in, in, in about 10, 15 years, Kush. It's been a long fucking time, bro. That was early 2000s, bro. Uh, you can't you can't just do that shit with everybody. It's a waste of energy. It'll be fucking uh, yeah, I wasted a lot of time on the music. So I, was, I was going hard for a long time. For a long time. I was going hard, man. And they just, I just kept telling them, bro. And then I wasn't doing that cheat. I was just going straight takes, bro. You gotta if you mess up, you gotta do it all over again to enhance your stage performance, right? Yeah. So this is what this is. So if they make a mistake, even if you get all the way at the end of the song, you fuck up. Then you gotta do that shit all. Day. Everybody get back up there and do it again. So when you get on stage, you rocking. You ain't no mistakes. You just see. That's how I was. I had the discipline in the studio too, though. You know what I'm saying? One of my biggest things that used to run me wrong is preparation. You go into the fucking studio, and these motherfuckers, we paying fucking $50 an hour, $100 an hour. These motherfuckers ain't got their fucking lyrics uh, remembered. You see what I'm saying? That shit costs money, especially when they're not the ones putting it out. That shit is like, bro, I need to just just do something. Like prepping their ass up, Kush, so when we did go to the big studio and get our shit mastered and stuff, it would, it would just be in and out. We ain't got to pay shit. That's what supposed to be. That shit's right. supposed to be on wax. Them niggas weren't doing... Them, them niggas just thought I was just straight trying to gank them, bro. I was like, bro, y'all y'all missing out on y'all opportunity like a motherfucker, bro. We was already a, a label, an underground label, bro. You can't see records, man. I'm talking about, bro, 
the shit was just off the chain, man. When I start, when I when that shit hit the streets, when I start putting that shit out on the streets, man, motherfuckers was well in my I'm mean, locally. Motherfuckers were in St. Louis were banging that shit. I'm like, damn, I, it, it was unexpected. I ain't never think it was gonna go that far, bro. Then they start seeing that shit. They want to now they want to now they want to get off the street and come get some of that music money. And I shut that shit down. Where was y'all at when I was telling y'all we to bring to that shit to? Bro, where we was, where we was, we was being sought after. Like we was getting booked. Like that's how I traveled to Oakland, and I actually seen Oakland. Unlike some niggas said, they seen. I actually seen Oakland and went out there, and stayed a week, everything paid for. You feel me, wine and dine type shit, and then we fucking perform, went home. That shit was lit. That was a different experience, but they didn't have a mental focus that I did. So right. like. You can I can't keep that shit up. Cost well, I too keep much. Going. Yeah, it costs too much, bro. Man, I was. You see what I'm saying? Frustration setting in in the studio, bro. It's hot. Sometimes it's too motherfucking cold to burn. You hear me? Straight up. Discipline in that motherfucker, man. The motherfucker, I had motherfucker. I ain't even turn the heat on, nigga. And I don't want to hear the paper rattling, nigga. Let's get it. Straight up in the straight cold, bro. Window open like a motherfucker. Middle of the winter. I told the one dude I built the studio, Kush, look. It was just dark in that motherfucker. No light. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what you need light for? Say, oh, you know where the microphone at, nigga. Look at it. Now get in there and close the door. It's dark. What you need lyrics for? You supposed to have that shit in your head already. I was I had the discipline man man made some bad tracks that night too. What he do? Let me hit the block for a couple of hours, make a couple of dollars, and then uh, I'm like, bro, do you see this CD player right here? You see this recorder right here? You see that stack of CDs right there? That's your fucking dope. You said that's your work. That's your work. That's right your there. dope, nigga. And then you come back and comp. You got a hundred fifty dollars. You put that hundred in your pocket, and then you cut. I was just basically trying to get them off the street so they can hustle these CDs yeah. like they dope. You know what I'm saying? Come back and comp yeah. your fifty CDs. I'm charging you a dollar CD. You sell them for five. That's your comp money. Y'all already got the the sale, the hustle game. Why y'all ain't putting it in? Can't so it, nigga, so I, I can't make a nigga. I, hey, you can't. Hey, man, listen. Even a donkey get tired. Me a hard working animal. You can have he, a vision. He, he I think tired. that was you that said that shit. You could have a vision. You see what I'm saying? You could see like a goal down the road, but that's just your vision. You feel yeah. me? Like motherfuckers yeah. can't see what you what you could see. Right. I, don't know. I knew what you it got, was. That's that's the the good for they they made match type shit. Right. When you get right. in who will who like really? I had one nigga that was about it. I'm not gonna cap. One nigga that was about it, even he still hit me to this day. The rest of them, they don't hit me at all. Not even a check on my son or nothing like that. I'll see how I'm doing. That, yes, That's bro. The world we have to run into them. And then they like, oh, damn, man, I ain't seen you in a minute. Bro. I ain't seen you in a minute. Oh, how y'all yeah, be? Yeah. Stop, bro. <laughs> That's how That's I'm how I it, do, bro. Yes, bro. But you know, man, hey, man, it is what it is. Like I said, man, they missed their opportunity. You know, I could have been did my own shit. You hear me? But I already knew the outcome of that from where I was at, though. You know what I'm saying? What area I was in. I already knew what that was. Nigga, straight go to war with some dumb ass shit like that. The best shit that I got is the shit that I work and and make 100% myself. Yeah, if I bro. make the beat, if I if I mixed it, and I'm talking about better than even engineers, like yes, the bro. shit that I have is the shit that was in my head that I'm 100 percent responsible for. That means I wrote show lyrics, I wrote my lyrics, I recorded us, I did everything, everything. Because yeah. what, what, what in my head, what was in my head? Hey, Kush, that shit hurt like a motherfucker. Like you've been exercising in the gym for 20 hours. That, that shit, shit make you feel like what, like I John, what I need y'all niggas for. That's what it makes you feel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It hurts you to waste all your motherfucking time on a motherfucker named Focus, bro. You niggas that burn me you down. So, so I start doing my own thing. Motherfuckers start, you know, getting in their motherfucking fee-fees about this shit, bro. So I, I just shut the whole shit down, bro. I was making money. Them niggas were part of the studio and they wasn't making no money. So, you know, they feel some type of way about this shit. So I shut the whole shit down, man. I ain't trying to do all that. 
a nigga, I heard that nigga Snoop say that shit like some people like you you outgrow them. Yeah, that's what happened. They got a cap on their shit. You see what I'm saying? And you just keep going. Yeah, and that's man. why you eliminate people because you still growing. And they you they going to the sky, on. they stuck in that motherfucker little black pot in the greenhouse. I, I'm with you, bro. I know exactly what you're talking about. Straight up, man. And I'm up that, that, whole time, that whole time, that was something else that was frustrated about it, OG. Like, I was always the only nigga that had a job. Man. You see what I'm saying? That type of shit. Like, bro, like, what bro. the fuck? Your niggas don't even work. I I'm remember, man. I remember that shit like it was yesterday, bro. I was working at a recycling company, one, bro. One nigga, one nigga in the group got so many felonies, you can't get him a job. One you nigga can't group, fucking work, boy. Got you got you burn your different man. Be quiet, stop, man. Hey, man, don't you, cool, man, man stop, bro. You can't That's even get a fucking situation, bro. Like, come on, man. Nigga got himself in so much motherfucker. He can rap so good, but he got himself in so much trouble. You can't even help me. You, you can't, can't even get a job or, or none of that shit. Waste of time. And that's the most talented. <laughs> the yeah. most talented one, man, could not fucking get a job, man, because he had so many felonies. Young man, he had so many felonies. I'm like, damn, man. That's so, how and this then, and then this is the thing, because he, he wasn't even smart enough to wake up and see what I was trying to do for him. You ain't never got to be on the streets. I'll I make this motherfucking studio your room, bro. In this Type house. Just, just live in here and work. Man, no. you stay right here and play with this shit. You ain't never got to get in trouble no more. Get in trouble right here. Only time you get in trouble is you break something in this room. You know what I'm saying? And it could be you replaced. Can't, you can't lay it out. You can't lay it out for motherfuckers. It, it's Man. too easy to no, Then they don't appreciate it. It's too easy for you. It's too hard for them. To understand, no, you can't even fact. tell a motherfucker they a king no more. Cush these days. Fuck you talking about? Look at that. Damn man, I called you a king, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you heard me? This shit crazy, man. I don't understand it, but it is what it is, man. Yeah, yeah, man. What up, king? Fuck you, man. That's some gang shit, nigga. Damn, you a king, nigga. Yeah, I always tell I ain't mean Latin King, motherfucker. I said involved. King. In order for me to get back involved in some music shit, a motherfucker got to really lay it all out for me. And yeah, people, have, people have been trying like, hey, bro, look, I got a keyboard for you. I got I got a mic for you. I got the studio for you. Look, all you got to do is come in here, lay your shit down, bro. You see them? They got to really lay it out for me. Oh, I ain't doing man, they ain't got no dedication from the beginning, bro. I'm not even finna be dealing with their ass. It's you to right. the point, you gotta to lay the that point, shit bro. right out, bro. It's to the point, Hebrew, where motherfuckers want me to just come to the studio just to tell them if they shit sound hot or not. It's like that. Like, damn, y'all want me to be Diddy now? Second opinion, man. That's what they want me to be. Damn. Bro, just come to the studio, bro. We just want you here, bro. It, it, it was like here. that with me too, cause they just had to have me around, bro, to get that ex that 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 like like a professional opinion. I'm not no professional at this. Like but I'm that's not how they engineer. treat you though. That's how they I treat you beats. though. I make beats and I rap. I'm not no engineer, but I know it sounds hot and I know it go right. By the man, I got ears, sequences and stuff like that. Man, it's easy, man. Thing of it is, if you ain't in the business part of it, if you don't know the business part of it, you just finna get pennies out here. Ask any rapper. I mean, that's they gotta that's make to wish, get their millions. I wish that I would have went with my with my first dream because that was my dream to go to school for this shit and become an engineer. Yeah, I wish I would have followed through with that because that was where the money was at. That's where you get everybody be like, "Hey, bro, you ain't got no money, or you ain't you ain't about serious about the shit." Then you you ain't even in this studio. You about it? Yeah, I should have trying to go to school, but that shit was hard to do because if you want to be if you want to be involved by here, you, yeah, you want to be involved out here, you got to fucking commute. It's because Hollywood is, is fucking far. You got to go to school. You got to go to Lars, LA recording school out here if you want to really be placed. You see what I'm saying? Well, like, oh, okay, I got to deal with Sony. I'm I engineer. You see what I'm saying? I got a studio out here. You got to really yeah, go to school. A couple of my partners got invited to that little Nelly school uh, for the engineering and stuff, man. I was like, man, I'm not dealing with him, man. Nah, fuck at that. all. At all, bro. You're, I know this man. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I ain't wasn't dealing with that man at all, bro. 
I told him, yeah, man, I know, I know what's up, man. He in the he he far in that motherfucker industry, man. He gone far gone, too far gone. I'm For cool. Real. I'm cool. Really? If that motherfucker, I need a motherfucker. And then he did it as a, he got this shit at the old planet Hollywood. I'm like, nah, I'm cool, bro. I'm cool, bro. But dude, cold. Uh, he came out. Hours. He graduated. Hey, hey, my partner, he graduated from the motherfucker, though. And he out here making uh, music for motherfuckers and shit. They placed him up. Yeah, man. Yeah, he graduated. Standing there with Nelly. He graduated from the school. If they're going to place you, then that's a good school, in my opinion. Yeah. If they're going to put you like, okay, we're going to put you, if you complete your graduation, we're going to fucking uh, put you in an internship with Sony. That's a fact. Cool. He out that way. He out that way. His name Louis F. I'm telling you, L.A. is where it's at. You know, yeah, he out cool. that way. He out that way somewhere. His name Louis F., man. He a good producer, man. One, um, it might be on the wall right there where Garden is at. Okay, I'll check it. Is the door open? Okay. But yeah. Remember that Yeah. Yeah. You talking about the last aisle? Yeah. Uh, okay. But yeah. Yeah, man. That's that's that's. Hey, man. If you gonna do it, man, do it in underground first and see what it is, man. See who gonna see who recognize you and see who gonna call you. Already have some motherfucking money going in the game, bro. You trying to yeah. just do that shit? They gonna own your ass without no money because they gonna pay for everything and you gonna be owned, bro. Look at most of these rappers. Yeah. That's why these niggas out here wearing dresses because they owned. Don't let no one you with you with your that your sound ain't hot and they know it's hot. So you gonna you you gonna put out what they tell you. You don't know about you gonna throw your no you gonna give them you gonna give them your idea. They gonna record that motherfucker be like, oh well, this it ain't nothing. Then next thing you know, you hear your shit out here. That's what I'm telling they do stealing ideas and shit. I'm telling that's what they do, Hebrew. They be like, okay, man, I did that. I'm gonna hustle. I did that. I'm gonna hustle like in ninety. 94, bro. That I'm gonna hustle that Diana Ross uh, remake, bro. I did mm. that shit in 94, 95, man. I sent my shit to uh, Talents 2K in 2000, man. They took all my motherfucking ideas, bro. And sent, I told, mm. well, send my CD back then. I ain't nah. heard from they ass since, bro. They took my motherfucking ideas and ran with them. Bro. That's all they did. That's all they do, bro. They ain't got no fucking that? ideas. <laughs> They know when we we at our lowest level. When you're a low level artist, they know you don't know nothing about copyright. Right. They know you right. don't know nothing. Ask Cap. I just honest. sent it. I just. I, but it was some re. All that shit was remakes. You heard me? I was just mm -hmm. showing you, you. You looking for talent? I'm just showing you my talent. I'm not trying to remake no motherfucking song or none of that shit. I'm just showing you my talents. Trying to get you know, somewhere where I could get in that studio. Yeah, but I just sent my motherfucking uh credentials to the wrong motherfucker. Yeah, that and that should be happening to artists all the time. Like I know a nigga out here; he lives in Fontana, Redlands area. His name is Fat Cat, right? He does. He's been doing like all the placement songs. Anytime you got Busted, uh, Dr. Dre, any of them old school artists out here, like he produced fucking platinum albums for these things. And um. Me and my homeboy, his dad, his dad was friends with this dude. So he hooked us up with this dude and he actually made us a fucking, uh, what's the shit called? Basically a song for the radio. Basically, he made us some shit that, that we need in order to get placed. And they actually have guys who they have placed in that industry. Like, like that guy I'm telling you about, Fat Cat, who is your connection? Like, you got to fucking make your placement songs with a guy like this guy for him to give it to somebody else because you give it to him they're gonna swag jack you yes sir yes sir that's why that's why i say i put it in the wrong hands that's all it was i was you know what i'm saying i wasn't thinking and, I, and right, I got bamboo on right, that, bro if it's okay if it's coming from the wrong person and that's why it was important that i was dealing with that dude fat cat at the time because he was trying to get us placed he made the beat himself everything and that's important because he made sure that it that it could clear you feel what i'm saying with, right, with right. everything in case you want to do something different with it in the future 
But yeah, I know they do that shit. He was teaching us all about that shit. Man, I, it didn't it's happen to me in talent shows and all that. Man, I paid all my money to do this talent show, right? Yeah. Bruh. And uh, I think uh, Dana Howard was uh, the starter opening up for Dana Howard, man. Never opened up. They just took my money and told me to have a nice day, bro. I was so mad, bro. We had did all this. Didn't we heard from open? Group. We was a group. We were singing. We was a group. You see what yeah. I'm you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, why, why, uh, why we ain't went on yet? You know what I'm saying? I'm still steady asking the, the mic, why ain't we went on yet, bro? We should have been next, bro. You heard, yeah. man, performed or none of that shit, bro. That's why I say the industry, man, they, they got, they, they got their tricks and they trades, bro. Yeah, they do. Straight up, bro. You better be careful when you're going there, man. Don't have your ass in the motherfucking room somewhere. Keep on. I better wipe up in, in this room. Don't yeah. end up in that room. Yeah, man. For real, bro. Think about that shit. Do that shit. Underground Kings. You heard that name? The Underground Kings, bro. Too short, man. In the trunk, bro. That's how that that listen, man. You ain't doing it like that first. Gone, gone, gone. You're gonna be a, a, a grown ass man with a diaper on. You're gonna, you're gonna be a in the room somewhere. You're going to be a slave if you don't uh, do it the right way. Yes, sir. You might well put that chain around your motherfucking neck, bro. Unless you're ready, unless you're ready to dye your hair pink. Fours, and, bro. Unless you're ready to dye your hair pink and start doing songs like Lil Yachty and shit. And then yeah. then you like that nigga Lil Nas X and uh, uh, Lil Uzi yeah, Vert, my nigga. I mean, if you're going to stand out like them niggas, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. Just go sign these with niggas, Some of these niggas like this shit. They like this shit. They with it because they they with the money no matter what. They going stupid as down in the motherfucking ditch, nigga. That's where you going. That's where the fuck you going in the ditch. A I, I'd ditch. rather end up like Dom Kennedy and just be a street legend like a Mac Dre or something. I'd rather end up like that, like a DJ Quick or something, nigga. Like Man. I don't need niggas, bro. I just be a street legend. I don't need to never be on TV or you know war with nothing. I fucks with DJ Quick, bro. That's my dude. Let me get the Cali niggas I fuck with. I fuck with niggas. I, I fuck got with DJ Quick, man. Too short. Sell it. Sell the CDs out the trunk, nigga. The man shit. got paid. He was standing out there with what's the uh what was the boss name in the eighties out there? I forgot his name, man. They had a big. They had a, he had passed away and they had a big funeral. No, a dope dealer no. or something, man, but. He was out there on dual level, though. Too short. He was a young man, too. But that Mac Dre, man, legend. That's one of the coldest niggas ever out the Bay. Niggas don't think I know about the Bay. I know all about yeah, the Bay. Man. man, Mac Dre was putting them motherfucking demos down, bro. Trip. I be listening to Mac Dre now. That's what I listen to. I ain't heard that in a minute, though. This shit was tight. It was like crucial, crucial conflict. What the fuck? Shit, some E40, some Mac Dre, that's just slap. That E40, that E40. That game, the game, and uh, uh, what's see, dude, that hurricane sprinkle me. Yeah. Then, then at that point, E40, E40 shit, was stand, that, stand that that shit. Time on the time. His shit, his shit. I, I could bump any E40 right now. I should go up. Man, that shit lit, boy. E40 was tight, man. At first, when I first heard, I'm like, man, what's this still corny ass shit? Till I start listening to it, like, let me play that back. Wait a minute. Oh, oh okay. Tell you, that, that shit was corny in the motherfucker. When I first heard, I'm like, man, I ain't fucking with Forty, man. Yeah, just came out too. I'm like, man, that shit corny as hell. Then I started hey, listening, listening to back. Like, oh, that was how slick he was talking. That nigga yeah, was slick ass yeah. motherfucking tongue, man. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, this shit was dope too, man. E40, man. man, 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 listen, Spice One. Shit, E40, E40, for real. E40, too he told me he better to be too. known though. I ain't, I ain't, hey man, I ain't with that bullshit. But I get down, I just rap, but I get down. Shit, he said, I'm just a rapper, man. But I, hey man, listen, man, motherfucker, better quit sleeping on motherfuckers out here, man. Shit. That's because they rapping and all that shit. Most of some of these motherfuckers is real motherfuckers. I'm telling you, if some of these young dudes go back and listen to some, listen to some shit like that, 
their music will come out a whole lot more more uh hard. They done turned that shit to some mumble jumble. These niggas, these niggas don't even know that music. I promise you, these niggas ain't even went back and listened. That's why they think that they shit is hard. They ain't creative at all, bro. No, it's just oh. uh, everybody sound the same. All this shit starting to sound the same to me, bro. Kanye West, Kanye West started this imaginary rap shit. I'm trying to tell you, him and uh, Kid Cudi, they started this imaginary bullshit. Bro, him, him and Lil Wayne. That's what all these niggas are a combination of. Combination of Kanye West. And Lil Wayne. Weird Man, shit. If I can't understand you saying that shit, I'm not gonna listen to this shit. When I say Lil Wayne, I mean just the image. You feel me? Kanye Go West, ahead. these niggas believe they can rap about anything they want and it'll be accepted. Because we didn't used to accept anything. Nah, when, when niggas said, already well, this shit. Get rich or die trying and shit, we didn't accept anything. Either you was hard or you you was not in rap. It was rap. That's it. Motherfucker, don't listen to your shit. Corny ass shit here now. Man, that shit today is, is it, to me, my opinion, man, shit is nothing. It's going to some people. That shit it sound like shit. It ain't rap. The, the, hip, the hip is gone out the motherfucking hop. So, I mean, that shit, it, I mean... And and all y'all all y'all is doing is turning up off the beat. Y'all ain't even listening to the nigga. You I mean, just like I, him because his beat out here not. it looks on some shit like either I'm talking about the artists out here. Either you sound like Mozzie, you sound like some real deep West Coast shit, or they they really like don't fuck with it out here. And I think like this whole I think the sound that they have is kind of whack. I think Mozzie and them sound is kind of whack. His lyrics is hard, but that sound is played because everybody's trying to do it. Everybody got to make their shit sound like Mozzie or, you feel me? That shit weak as fuck. That's Quit right. They been bringing up just like era back, bro. That's all be, they be felt. That's it. I want my shit to sound just like, I want my hair cut, I want a Steve Harvey hairline. He ain't got weak no ball. fucking hairline, so goddamn weak. Weak ass He been ball head. He been ball head. Wanna be ass Steve niggas. Harvey show, my nigga. Some fucking wanna be ass niggas. That's all it is. Wanna be. I wanna be just like Mike ass motherfucker, man. Be your damn self, man. You that's can't why do that's it. why niggas always fuck with fuck with my shit. Because niggas would be like, yo shit, you know why your shit's so hard? Because it's original. Your shit sound different. Niggas because tell me you that put your time. work in. Listen, you put your work and time into it. You make that that one little hot hat was off. You hear me, cuz? Hell yeah. You gotta go back and get that motherfucker. <laughs> you heard that shit. That motherfucker high head off. You gotta go fix that motherfucker. See, that's the dedication I'm talking about. For real. Most motherfuckers like, oh, man, you can double over and put something over it. You can double up and put something over it. Cough right there or something. You hear me? I'm like, that's nigga, you got it. And that's anything that I do. Anything that's really I'm interested in, I, I fucking pay a, a large attention to detail. I be I could make a beat in thirty minutes even now, or I could fucking take three months working on that motherfucker. Them be the ones, go Kush, or you had to turn it off and come back to it. It's the one where you where you thought it was some trash like six months ago, and you came yeah. back to it and you you turned into something totally different. <laughs> right. That's the hardest one. Hey boy, them be the his too, Kush man. That why you cut off like man, fuck this shit, man. Got to take a you break. You ever been working on some shit and you thought that shit was completely trash, man? The, boom, somebody boom. came to your studio and was like, "Bro, this shit is hard, nigga." Hey man, all like, the bro, time. I want to work on this shit with you right now. This is so trash to me. Hey bro, hey bro. People like what they I had like. The bro. motherfucker playing. Listen, I, I made some bullshit. I thought it was some just bullshit, bro. I heard my boy knock on the door. I could just open the window and look down on him. I'm like, all right, here I come. Now I come back up. I'm just sitting there like in think mode, like the think statue. You're like, damn, man, well, this something fucking missing or something. It's a whole bunch of shit wrong with this song. So I'm like, so we get back upstairs. Shit, I'll push play. Man, tell me what you think about this song. Man, a nigga did a whole song freestyle to it. Hmm. I'm like, what? Man, to that bullshit? He like, man, that shit dope. I know exactly what you're talking about, Chris. That shit, that was, hey, hey, yours is different, boy. That nigga, yeah. hey, and then he wrote a song. He wrote a song to it. He wrote a song to it. 
And I'm talking about it sounded like some cowboy shit, man. Like straight up, like it was not even, it didn't even sound like no rap song. <laughs> and this motherfucker wrote, he said, man, and guess what? I got this hook. I want you to write another hook on it. So it's two hooks on the song. And he got two verses on it. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then it's called Full Metal Jacket. He named the motherfucker Full Metal Jacket. Hmm. I'm like, I'm like, bruh. <laughs> he came and made a hit. I was some bullshit. I know what you're talking about, Kush, for real. Oh, yeah, that's what happened all the time. Hey, man. Every come in the studio. When you in the studio and you really the guy like that, everybody try to be all over you. <laughs> Man, oh, you know, I had you artists know, like that. The hardest shit I heard. Motherfuckers won't go fucking put in no work though. Man, that's what crushed me, man. They had so much talent, especially in writing, cause they could write. That's all I was. I was. What's up, Nick? I was, I was overwhelmed by that shit, cause bro, that they could straight write, and it wasn't. It didn't take that long, and it was hit. We supposed to blew up that year, man. Niggas was. This nigga I'm gonna, off, I'm gonna be honest with you though. I always been able to outwrite most of my artists. Uh, yes, bro. Two of them that could really that could really fuck with me. Man, motherfucker, be like, man, you gotta get on this, man. I'm like, bro, I ain't even. So every, you can't, can't be on, on every word. song. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Can't be on every song. They like, want damn. you on every, your artist, especially if they know you can rap good. They want you on there. I say, man, I can't, be on, every, I can't be on every song and try to mix this motherfucker down. I, man, I set out on one song they wanted me on. I'm like, nope, I'm not getting on that song. Y'all on y'all own, bro. I can't be on every song, bro. I'm not Diddy, my nigga. Nigga, I'm going to be on every damn song. I say, I'll write your lyrics for you if that's what you want me to do. But now you on your own with that, too. Because I still got to be at the mixing board. What is you talking about? Got me at the microphone reaching and shit. You hear me? I'm not, nah, bro. Fuck yeah, try to record, try to nah, bro. I, I, <laughs> you already know what I'm shit. talking about. I used to hate that shit. I hate this shit. Now bro. I'm doing oh, everything. Man. Like now I'm doing everything. That's how you feel. Nah, you doing too much, man. It's too That's much it. work. You can't even really focus on on really pushing out real, real your most fire shit because you're trying to do. I can't even set the microphone up to your motherfucking boy. I got to do all that shit first because everybody run to a different mic every time instead of getting you, a you fine been mic. In pocket, you ever been in pocket to where you could just come in the studio? You ain't even got to make the beat. You come to the studio, it's hard beats bumping, and you just can all lay your shit down. That is when you making your best shit. That's why the artists that's on, they sound so hard because everything else around them, the chemistry is so perfect. That if you win, you could just come in to be hard. All you gotta do, it's easy to be creative. That's how the industry set it up. They set you up and put you in that position so right. you won't have to worry about no beats right. or none of that. They already got a motherfucker there. But when you start right. from scratch, like we do, Kush, you know how hard that is. That's not yeah, no easy That's why, to that's do, why if you ain't gonna do that for me, I ain't, I ain't making no music. That's why I shut that shit down. That's why I shut that shit down. You know what I'm talking about, Kush. That's why I fuck with you. You know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. You ain't got no dedication, discipline, and focus, bro. You might as well not even be in nobody's studio. No. You wasting time. You wasting motherfucking time. Even if you make the hardest shit in the world, nobody ever gonna hear it because you not gonna put in work. Yeah, oh, I got some of the hardest shit. I promise. Even I got shit I made when I was fucking eighteen years old. I'm twenty nine. My shit slapped like I made it yesterday. You hear me, Captain? I'm not Captain. Yeah, if, I, if I send some shit to any one of y'all, you know, y'all be like, "Damn, this nigga is fucking hard." We make this like nigga, I was sixteen. Nigga. I made that shit. Yeah, my big brother got my damn computer. I ain't seen that motherfucker computer in three years, Kush. It got you know programs, I, all that shit you on. You know why shit, even though I lost a lot of shit, you know why I still got songs? Because I sent them to my email, and that's what I do got. Anything yeah. I sent to my email, I still got. Yeah, okay. Computers yeah. crash, and all shit, and fucking stories, being young, all kind of shit. I ain't have all that shit, shit. Man, I ain't had none of that shit, because it was tapes and shit like that, man. I ain't had none of that shit, no internet, none of that. We was yeah. doing that shit. 
straight from scratch, bro. If you fuck up, you got to start all over again. That's why motherfuckers was cold in the stu- Listen, that's man. Why niggas can one take shit. That's why y'all older niggas can one take shit like that because that's how y'all came up. Like, you got to put it on wax, like, or redo it. That's These niggas now, they be doing real. takes. They ain't got no win. You could you could tell when they taking a take. If you really got experience recording shit, you could tell. I'd be like, he, he ran out of breath. Then you got to get a take. Yes, I got so cold. I, I had they had so disciplined. They was none none of that gas and nigga on the mic. None of that. Cause I have the shit converting to where he'll go four balls. He go four balls. He'll do an eight. Then he come back with the other. You know what I'm saying? See, that's playing. So, I like that. I like when so, I like when you do that. That's hard. Yeah. So when them up, so won't nobody be winded or running out of breath. But if wh- whoever fuck up, all y'all gotta start over. You you know why that I like that when it's all that like okay you do four you do eight you do four you see what I like that yeah, because it yeah. never the song a moment of where an artist fell off I hate when I when I'm listening to a song and a nigga fall off like bro you trash yeah, yeah so I so uh, like I said I had ten Kush so and I didn't I didn't had I they didn't did a song where all ten of their ass was on that motherfucker I'm like man. That motherfucker, 22 song compilation, Kush. Just shh, picks off, you know, just everybody just pick a song. And then we just gonna all vote on the other motherfucker, Twills, bro. I'm talking about, bro. That, that was the CD that was banging. That one with the 22 songs on it. Oh, man. Yeah. Motherfucker was looking for me for that CD. I wish you still had some of that shit. I will, I will show you on the listener. Hey, bro, this, and you talking about this was like, this was like the motherfucking late 90, 99, 2000 kicking in, bro. I'm talking about it was going but down. That's, that's when, that's when I, music I, I gave, it, I gave my co-producer, look, I gave my co-producer all the masters and all that, Kush. That was a mistake like a motherfucker. You know why I, why I say that's when music was hard? Because beats was uh, better quality. Niggas was making beats with NPCs. You feel me? Analog, 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 analog beats. You making them for real. Boom, bap shit. Niggas ain't what shit. I was doing, though, cuz listen, this is what I was doing. I had the analog converted in, into the digital. That shit sounds so fat, man. I, I promise you, bro. You talking about mm-hmm. baseline? A baseline? Man, niggas couldn't even... I was fucking niggas speakers up with that... that uh. That music I was making, man, because it was coming from the analog to the digital worlds, man. Yeah, some of that music in the '90s, beat wise. Yeah, like a like a like a VCR tape, Kush. Like when you see that motherfucker is actually it's actually clearer than a DVD. When it's just a brand new tape, like a brand new reel to reel tape, bro. That motherfucker hella clear, bro. There's some about the quality of, of, of music, all that type of shit back then. When you had that shit analog and that shit on wax like that, like even Ooh. now, like there's some people it's that record like digital, that still. Though. It's mostly, yeah, it's digital. mostly digital. Like a it's like a regular uh, like a like a acoustic coming through analog, acoustic guitar coming through analog is gonna be way fatter than coming through yeah. digital because it's like robotic. It's it's not it's not, you don't have that feel on it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. They now they they got advanced. Now they got oh, BST. Yeah. They, yeah. Like you heard of waves before? Waves? Yeah. Yeah, they got waves. And that shit, it got all kind of presets where you can make your shit sound fat like that. Now. Y- yes, they got, they got that digital analog motherfucker uh option on there. They got it now. They shit got it. Fucking advanced. They got it, man. That man, and you know what? Like when you like, like I said, you burn it on a CD. Man, I don't know what it do. And it's coming from analog into digital. I don't know what it do. It's something going on in there where that motherfucker bass be hitting so hard, like. Cause I, I'm used to listening to it in the headphones. I'm like, man, here, put this CD in your car. Let's see how it sound. Man, motherfucker's dumping. I'm like, damn, that's my first time hearing it, like out in the car, you know, in the system. Yeah, I'm like that. Sound way different from in them headphones, bro. I'ma tell you. I be saying I can't mix, but I I can mix. I can mix a little bit for sure. Man, if you can beats, you can mix. If you can make a beat, you can mix. Yeah, I for sure can mix. Yeah, I you just can mix. Patience, bro, because I be I be one that I be one to get that sound. 
that I know right. only a professional can give me. That's what I be wanting. Like when you get into the when you get into the sound waves and when you get those waves right and man, you 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 want it to go wide or I promise so that's the stuff. that's the best feeling when you when you make a, a track that's really hot when you uh, ah! when you get that feeling with that reason uh three point oh man remember reason three point oh I got reason now I got reason FL Studio I still got everything. Yeah, got, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Still got it. Man, copy, still got the real copy, copy, boom, boom, not, not that shit you pirate. I got. I paid five hundred dollars for the reason. Mm-hmm. I paid three fifty for FL, yeah. and I like FL now because they give you if you buy that shit, they'll give you the fucking. It's like a lifetime type of thing. You get the newest version every time it come out. Everything with FL now. You get them. They, you they get the refunds. You get the refunds with it too. Right. When 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 you get FL Studio, the hardest part about FL Studio is that you gotta kind of uh you gotta buy presets. Yeah, the, the, yeah, they come with. See, but that that uh that new reason it come with a whole bunch like two three hundred presets though. You see? Reason is the shit. That reason, I feel cold. like I make better quality beats on Reason. I'm gonna be honest. Mm, yeah, I like the sound of the beats when I make them out of Reason, and I do make different Very, types of beats off of different ones. Hey, them sound so authentic, man. They sound so right. authentic, bro. Like that Grand A, you dealing with that Grand A piano on Reason, man, it sound like you sitting there playing. Like you really somewhere, huh? You really <laughs> in the, especially yeah, when right. you put the reverb, you get that reverb, that RV 7000. You still got the RV 7000 on there? Yeah. They got all, yeah, they got all that shit. I'm so you get that RV seven thousand, turn that reverb to a, a to, to just a little bit to the left, like three or four to the left, man. That motherfucker sound fat in the motherfucker, but you know, for reason, you got to hook up everything yourself. Yeah, yeah. So reason, you know, cool though. I like reason. It's, it's, I, like it's like that reason. I like that reason. I like that reason because it'll give you it give you an idea of what to, what your rack gonna look like too. Yeah. With studio rack, so yeah, man. Yeah, I, I'm fucking with reasons, man. Make my beats and stuff. Yeah, but I know bro. they got they up to what Wait, reason. You gotta, you gotta get that new one. Yeah, I know that reason. One. You get that new one, you gonna be like, this shit is this shit is cold, the coldest one they ever made. Sure. I know they uh, they way up there, boy. That that motherfucker right there, old as fuck. That three point oh, yeah. but it still get down though. That motherfucker still get down though. If you got any version of reason, you a step ahead because most niggas use FL Studio. Yeah, or that Cubase Five. That Cubase Five was hard though. Cubase is hard. Reaper is hard. Yeah, the other is to use uh auto propeller. Uh, is hard. Uh, uh, propeller here. Uh, propeller here. Uh, products is good, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what reason is made by propeller here. That's why that shit hit. That's why it cost that more. shit. Dope. You know what's the best yeah. one? I'm tripping. You know what's the best one? Logic. Logic is the best. Now I'm gonna be honest. You ain't heard of Logic? No, I ain't heard of Logic. I it's only on the Mac. Up. It's only on the Mac. But that shit is the shit. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. That's why. I mean, you know I got that e machine. I got an e machine though. Uh, what's that one called? It's like it's like that advanced version of of GarageBand. Uh, um, but I'm telling, telling you, the sounds and shit they got. You know, GarageBand is like that little cheap little. It's like a uh, a little cheap little software they got on the Mac. Oh shit! I, Mac. You ain't you ain't heard of uh Band Lab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I just download that on my phone, man. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you can make beats on your phone, all that. Now. You can make your, I'm over here trying to figure out how to work this motherfucker right. I know how to do the tracks and shit. Now you can, and it's a microphone on there. You make your whole song with it. That's a. Hey, I told you, Hebrew. That's that what niggas doing. Man, I'm like, but it's damn. bad because niggas are shortcutting too much. They not. They thinking that they could do that now and not go to the studio. Yeah, that no shit. Like, that shit did. I'm. That's I would rather be in the studio. It is niggas that done got deals off uh making songs on their phone though. Yeah, no niggas that doing that man. No okay. They gonna get their little nerd to play with that motherfucker kid yeah, right there. You know, hustle and flow. He ain't white, he likes him. 
Shit, I know what's up, man. This nigga out here getting it. Man, Music. listen, man. Yeah, yeah. And that, and then you can go stream it. They already talking about her. You can share it with your friends. You can go, and then they got people on there wanting to hear your shit. They got big people on there. You don't, you'll never know who that is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's talking about they, 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 uh, Coco dying, Coco the dying. You heard me? Yeah. They, they, they Coco the, I'm just using an example. They named Coco. Coco yeah, That's yeah, but rapper. it's really, it's really epic records. It's really capital. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, oh, they yeah. like they want, they want to say they got an Al Hamer. <laughs> they got an Al <laughs> <laughs> The chore, the chore, the and allowance, man. <laughs> that shit funny, man. That's the same shit. When I think about him, he he reminded. When I think about Al Heyman, he reminded me of a nigga from the music industry. I'd be like, he for sure from the music industry. Yeah, he is. He can do business. He is, man. <laughs> His move, how he moving, he is, bro. He got something to do with this shit, Kush. I promise you, bro. Yeah. He treating them niggas like artists. <laughs> hey, man, that nigga got something to do with. That's Big Red. You heard me, Kush. Yeah. Is big red out of five heartbeats. You better figure out what his office hours are for real. Straight up. Big red for real. A nigga pointed his finger up to uh, uh, Charlo here to say, My office hours are from. <laughs> you want to talk about your books and my records? Looks like it. My office hours are from nine to five, man. Shit. Bloody bad. Niggas know. Artists are so used to getting fucking dead like that. They don't even complain. Because they know yeah, they, they so complain. It's played like that. Nigga, they don't complain. Yeah. They know. It's Al Heyman. One, uh, it's Al Heyman. Uh, uh, fucking same type of fucking model. You say something, nigga, you done. Hey, man. Sit your ass on, the, on top of the dresser, man. Yeah. I ain't never gonna have a grown man in control of my life like that. Never. Hey, that's rather, Mr. Young, so over there doing all that motherfucking capping and got set up for two years. You can't be talking to people that's in the game deeper than you. What's wrong with you? Motherfucker got pool. You can't be talking to a motherfucker like that. They got pool. I don't know. You feel about me? Go and sit him up for two years. See how he like that. What's wrong with you, man? Music just will never see the fucking light. That's the that's the thing. And you the thing is, you're going to be able to go nowhere else, too. Hey, because he's trying to get for the fire horsemen, man. We got soul. Shit. <laughs> well, that's some real shit. Right up, yeah, bro. Sitting up here talking to see all Hebrew, I done forgot my fucking... Uh, my last break. I think I'm up here working. I'm up here working. I got, got you was at work. <laughs> Hell yeah. Up here fucking over it, hey, hey, we was over there with Pure Road, man. It was like that too, man. You know, that's how it is. That's good, good conversation. Men having a conversation. That's This is what it's like for those that don't know. This is what, how grown men reason with each other to have a conversation. And guess what? It's still about what we love, music and boxing. How about that? That's how it's supposed to go. Shit. Let me grab my jacket and go and have me smoke. That's my last one. I'm almost out of this motherfucker. Yeah, man. You make sure you get home safe, man. Yeah, yeah man. I'm going to have to drop my, I'm gonna drop my number in the private chat right quick, man, so you can, I can have your number, man. Fucking hit me up, man. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause, uh, yeah, man. I fuck with you, bro. Man. No, for real. I fuck with you tough. Yeah, man, cause you know that's all it is, man. Motherfucker be motherfucker be talking this shit, man. We just talk shit on this motherfucker, man. Nah, but you you know, uh you gotta figure out where, where motherfuckers' brains is at. That's I know when somebody got more wisdom than me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I ain't gonna knock him for nothing he talking about until he start talking stupid in a motherfucker. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm I'm gonna gonna talk to afraid to, to defer. You feel me? To to a person who might have wisdom in one more aspect. Tell me a motherfucker just better than you or nothing. I mean, he might have something to offer that you you probably should take in. You feel me? Whether that's about boxing or whatever. You feel me? Because I could sit up here and talk all day with you because I already know you going you in the end of the day, I'm gonna learn something. Right, exactly. My whole point. Vice versa. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here to do. If I can't do that, if I can't hear, I'm gonna say something. I, what what who what who's saying who who talking? I heard yeah, everybody shit, talking. like me, I'm 29. Like, I ain't got my pops or my step pops or my grandpa. You feel what I'm saying? So like as a as a young man still, you still, still, also, you young man, still I still need that. The game I miss of my, tag. My, my father figures and shit like that. Push. It's a game of tag. You it. You that. Push. That's what. That's why it's called a bloodline, and it goes through the men. For real. That's why back in the day, Kush, when they say, "Who are you in the kingdom?" The king say, "Who are you? I'm the son of." Daniel, the son of a uh, referee, is the son of this, the son of this, the son of this, all the way down to himself. He he broke down his whole bloodline to your ass. That's how they used to do it back in the day. So you can know who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. Go ahead, Kush. No, I was listening to you. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Thing. That's that's. I got a strong is. gift of discernment. I could I could tell when when somebody. You know, it's worth my time. I was talking to another one of my coworkers about that shit yesterday. We were talking like uh, how you interact with people and who you choose to give your time and who you don't. Right. If I can't pull no knowledge out of you, then shit, I ain't gonna entertain. I ain't gonna entertain talking to you like that in person. In person, I'm not even a. To, and my job, I'm not an approachable person. If you're not a, uh, if you're not really like, if you're not a good person, I can see it real quick. I'm gonna say Man. that shit. And it's all that I gotta do is you you interact with maybe one person, and I could I could tell a lot about you just by your talking, your countenance on your face. Put it all together. That's the one plus one. I told a nigga in the chat earlier. I said, uh, as he was like, "Oh yeah," because it was the dude that was talking about the UFC. And nigga was saying like, oh yeah, bro, we ain't cool no more, bro, because you tied me out or whatever. Like, nigga, we was never cool. Respect on cool YouTube, you respect on this YouTube out. shit is earned. Respect on this YouTube shit is earned, bro. And you ain't showing me that you're knowledgeable about nothing. If you don't know shit, then bro, like, we ain't cool. <laughs> it's okay, just learn something. That means you ain't got no motherfucking urge. You got a big ass mouth. Just one mouth, no urge. Just doing all Ooh. talking. We on this YouTube shit. Like I can only hold you accountable to what you say. That's <laughs> you it. Know what I'm like your word is everything. So if you say, "Oh, look, this is the bet I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna do a thousand push-ups," nigga, I expect you to do a thousand push-ups, or I don't trust you about, about nothing about nothing in life, nigga. I would never you kick are, you. I would never have you run off. Family, push. my wife, nothing. That's why motherfucker run off because they are condemned and justified by what they say. And the guilty conscience is going to convict itself. How many times y'all got to hear this? That's how motherfucker know you in your feelings. Stop the shit, man. Keep the shit behind your teeth, man, or go to the bench. You in the game when you jump on this panel, bro. So you got to take every, like a genie, you got to take everything that come with it. The lion's den, man. Welcome to the jungle, man. Motherfuckers get cooked on this bitch. So don't don't be all in your feelings, man. Shit got to be gone, man. You got to be mentally stable to come on her. You got to be mentally stable to do anything. Just talking about these panels. This life, period. That's how you keep focused, man. Motherfuckers is all focused, man. Show motherfucking vision back right. Your ass is looking at threes and fours instead of what what focus, man. Oh, I don't know, man. Ain't for you everybody. Know, uh, that's just some real shit. That focus shit, some real shit. When I was a, uh, when I was in high school, Hebrew, I was always a smart kid. 
But I told you I lost my sister when I was young. You feel me? Like my freshman year in high school was when all that shit happened. I wasn't all that focused. I still got C's and, and C's and B's and maybe a D or whatever, a F maybe once a semester, pick it up, whatever. But I wasn't a standout until I got my focus right. You see what I'm saying? By my junior year. Then I went on to fucking fix my shit and I graduated with one of the highest GPAs in the whole fucking school. When I got to college, my focus was there. I like college way better because of how it's structured. You see what I'm saying? Right. It allowed right. me to focus more, have my classes spread out throughout the week. Like me, I used to have all my classes to where when I went to school, I would go to every single class in, in one day. So I would go to school three days a week and I'd be at school all day as if I was still in high school. But them other three, four days out of the week, I wasn't doing shit. I, you see, I do all my work and study group, all that shit. It was easy. It, to it, 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 you transfer to, it's, it's the main thing in that push is maturity. The main thing in the word focus is maturity. So you are grown as, you actually grown going to school. Yeah. You understand? Then when you get 21, that's when you kick get kicked out the door and start yeah. your life for real. You know what I'm saying? Your career. Let me say that. Your career for real. You, you understand? Which is based on what you do in life. The outcome. You know what I'm saying? If you focus, you, you make it. If you're not, you don't. Yeah, a lot of these... uh these fighters lack lack focus got eight eyes and can't see they lack focus yeah yes because because it's because it's the 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 patience and and tension span is short in the motherfucker man you can't pay but attention I, I too long that when this is just on your on your way up you got everybody telling you that you're gonna be the next one and the shit gets to your head. Then you stop thinking. You let you let everybody start thinking for you. It's and you stop thinking. <laughs> That's when your downfall begins. And then when hold up, cuz here it is. And then when you get alone, ain't nobody there to think for you. Then what you do, you flip out. Then you start making bad mistakes. Your, your judgment start getting cloudy. You all fucked up, man. Your focus gone. All that goes with focus. If you ain't got that, what you doing? Like goal, I, I, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna achieve your goals if you ain't focused on them. First, you gotta have it. goals to even be focused on. Motherfucker ain't got that because they gotta, follow gotta us. Have a fucking goal. One of my main goals right now, at my age, is to be one of the first first men in my immediate family or period my family to buy a fucking home in this fucking tough ass climate in California. Woo. That shit is that shit is tough to do, especially being that I come from a family where that shit's not taught. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like exactly. that shit is the goal, but I'm I'm gonna get there because I I, I value you stay I value focus. some things in life. You know what I mean? You gotta Long stay focused. Stay focused. You can get it. Man, you put you can do any that's the that's a true statement. Anything you put your mind to that's right, you can do that. It's easy to get in trouble, man. Hard a motherfucker to get out, man. We know this shit, man. Us, us young niggas, we like, we like waiting for the pressure, Hebrew. Let, waiting for everything to go wrong, and then, and then we trying to dig ourselves out. That's what, That's what men do. I, I, I understand. I've been there too, so many times, Kush. I rather, I rather. It ain't, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it enough. Let, let me give you a piece of uh, let me give you a piece of knowledge. It ain't worth it at the end because you didn't just drain yourself and waste all that time. You see what I'm saying? Digging that motherfucker hole and then trying to get out. You know what I'm saying? Just give it a little time. See what 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 at my at, at that age I was waiting too fucking long. And I dug myself a hole I couldn't get out of. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't saying to have no motherfucker do your dirty work for you. I'm just saying if you're doing that shit right, stay focused. It's gonna get done. Know that. It's gonna get done. If you determine to do it. But your motherfucking mental got to be right. And your maturity got to be there. All this shit got to work as one simultaneously. 
If you ain't doing that, then you not you you, you ain't gonna achieve it, bro. I'm just gonna tell you. Shit, you gonna stay in the same spot? You and, gonna and go in the motherfucking thinking. circle. Go ahead, Kush. There's, there's a lot of motherfuckers get stuck in the same spot and they start uh especially when you when you super young. You fucking start looking at what everybody else doing. Oh, he he still going to school. Or he I tell my little brother, don't don't be focusing on what another motherfucker doing. You go your path. You at a different pace. You do your pace, and then watch niggas catch up to you. Exactly, exactly. And then you got those hunters out there too. They praying like a motherfucker. Your homies ain't gonna do shit. At the end of the day, who you track. think your homies is? You think your homies snake your way. All my all my homies that I that I oh all the niggas I thought was my homies they they dead. I'm not lying. They dead or they fucking doing what I'm doing. Getting it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a couple of niggas still around. Besides that, I'm to myself, I'm closer with y'all niggas than I am with motherfuckers I know. Hey Kush, they park in the road a motherfucker, bro. I'm just gonna tell you. I, I don't I don't came to peace with it. I'm fine with not having a bunch of friends and shit. That's Man, yes. Bad, way better, bro. It's less motherfuckers to watch. Facts. You got to watch anybody that's close to you. Motherfucking Any company. You that can hurt you. The people that ain't close to you, they can't hurt you. It's the company you keep. You right. It's the motherfucking company you keep. You keep stupid motherfuckers around you. All that shit gonna rub off on you. And that's what he has to be happening to these boxers. <laughs> the people that around ball, man, that, man, they follow they and all that shit. All that shit get to their fucking head. Ego bust out their motherfucking school. And then what? Now they can't accept defeat. None of that shit. Ain't nobody following you no more. You're finished. So if you're going to re- rev up that fan, you better keep that shit to the highest height. And you better not make no mistakes. So that's what? your ass. As soon as you make one little mistake, all your followers gone. All of you, we sink this shit so many times, bro. Yeah. You better fucking build the uh, fucking the base to your house. You feel the me? Foundation, motherfucker, need to be stone, motherfucker. You can't be building no motherfucker eggshell foundations, my nigga. That's, That's why when you get crushed. Cutting corners don't never get nobody to the top. Not, listen, they cut the corner and get what what happens? It starts to turn into a circle, right? Ain't no corners. It's just a circle. You go in circle. In the light gonna, gonna eventually come. Anything in the dark gonna eventually come to the light. I know that shit. So you shit, better you know that. Living your life right as a fighter, shit. That shit gonna come out. We gonna see it. It's gonna be the glaring. Ba- the scale gonna ba- If it ain't no balance, that's your ass. I'm telling you. Motherfucker better start thinking about them scales tipping over to one side, bro, when they do shit out here. Because it's going to be a balance come. You better think about that shit. Not no coincidences. Ain't no coincidences. It What happened, happened. It was meant to happen. That's why it happened. It was in the plan. Somebody planned that already. Stop playing, man. And then when the scales tip back, balance, who's to say you ain't going to be fucked up in the in the situation? So start thinking out here, man. For real, man. It's just advice. I can't tell no grown motherfucker what to do. No, you can't. You know what I'm you saying? Could, you, could, you could try to uh, lead them in the right direction. That's it. That's about it. Motherfuckers still gonna do what they wanna fucking do anyway. So I mean, it's cool. Like me, I'm like that with anything. I'm like that with telling somebody about what I believe, whatever. I'm gonna tell you one time. If if you even willing to accept it, if your hands is closed, you can't receive nothing. Okay, so uh, I, you, I ain't gonna I ain't wasting my breath with you. You gonna sit on top of your knuckles and fall off. <laughs> that, that, and that that go for family. That go for family, bro. First. That go for family first. So if I'm telling my family that your ass ain't got no chance, I'm just going to let you know straight up. 
They always say your family fuck you first, but you can still you can you know where they at all the time. Motherfucker, fuck you now. You can't find them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and in my job, like motherfuckers look up to me here and shit like that sometimes, and like yeah. they'll they'll look to me for shit, and I tell a motherfucker like, bro, like if I didn't if I didn't value you as an associate here, if I didn't see some of you, I wouldn't speak to you. You would think yeah, I your own. motherfuckers think I hate them if I if I don't speak to them. Because mm. I won't even a lot acknowledge you. Especially if they speak. <laughs> that's fucked up. I mean, I, I just feel like that's just uh, it's just some boss shit. For and real. When you done evaluated so many people, that shit come naturally. You start judging people like, okay, he's sorry. Hey, right, bro, I went to one of my old jobs, bro. Dude saw me like, dude, they called me old school. They're like, old school, what's up, man? I'm like, I ain't shit. I see you. Ain't nothing up. The store look crazy. I'm like, yeah, y'all good. Y'all missing out on y'all blessing. Y'all good. It's cool. I ain't even mad at you. I was talking, man, looking at me like, man, I wish you was here, man. Uh, I know, motherfucker, you missed out on your blessing. I told your ass what was up. You ain't want to pay me, so I got I to gotta move on, man. I can't be, I can't be sitting around. Blessing, that's the worst feeling. Letting you oppress the hell out of me, man. I'm doing all the motherfucking work. Motherfucker can't put no cups in the slot, but he on the cash register. I'm doing truckloads and all type of shit, but you're going to tell me this motherfucker on pushing these buttons over here, making more money than me. All right, I'll see you later. Have a nice day. Fuck you, man. I worked for you two years, bitch. You mean to tell me you're going to come step over me and let this motherfucker come play on a cash register, nigga? All men, Kush. My shift kick off with all men. The women leave when I get there. On the cash register, my nigga, these niggas is hands soft as fuck, man. I ain't good. Niggas told me I ain't getting dirty for nobody. I was like, damn. When I when I hear that type of language, I just like because they kind of they use me to weed people out. And when my, motherfuckers get comfortable talking to me because I'm the young black dude, you know what I'm saying? Niggas can tell like. I'm kind of I'm kind of loose outside of work and shit like that. But when I hear the language like, oh, I don't I don't want to do this or I'm only doing this much or whatever, I'd be like, oh, okay. I Man, see answer not a fool or foolish father. Man, you don't answer nobody if they're gonna be foolish like that, man. No, you, you don't, don't never know who you're speaking to. Like yeah, I ain't yeah. no normal nigga up in here. Man. That's what I'm saying, man. That's why this technology I heard for you to research. Motherfuckers do not do that. They just hear something, the sound bite, and they go with it. Instead of saying, hold on, bro, let me check that out, bro. Let me see what he talking about. They don't do that. They just hear something and say, man, did you hear? Uh, what, what, what? That's what I heard. They said, man, now define that they, bro. Who said? Yeah, who's, hey, you know what? That's a funny ass shit. When I was a, a department manager, right, and I, I used to always have to be, uh, you know, when you de- when you a, a manager of a department in a store, you responsible for that shit in the end. No yes, matter sir. what, it ain't nobody to blame. So you come and you telling the store manager, hey, look, this didn't get done. Why? Because these people didn't do this and this and this. Oh, who's these people? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, shit, what was the reason they couldn't do that? Well, do you really know what was the real? You better be able to break down to the fucking source of the reason why they didn't get that shit done. If you can't do that, then you can't ever blame shit on another person. That shit on you. So we don't do that here. I just eat it on, take it on the chin. Hmm. Chin. Take it smoked. on the chin. You make an excuse when you do that. Yeah, yeah, man. Just keep the shit 100. The truth shall make you free. And I ain't setting nothing up. You're going to set your motherfucking self up. That's what you're going to do. Just tell the truth, man. I, I didn't been in situations where I was just strict. Go ahead, Kush. Go ahead. I'm just saying, if you really want to be in this successful in, in any type of management shit like what I do, then shit, you better be able to speak to everything. Basically, if some shit don't get done, you just be able, better be able to explain it to a T and, and say it won't happen again. And no. make sure it don't happen again. That's all. That's all it is, man. And move on. 
Now, if you want some dumb shit and do it again, then okay, you get scorned for that. What the fuck, man? This shit is this shit is so simple to me, man. I don't know, man. I can't sit here and say, well, damn, man, I didn't study too much. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't research too much. Mm-hmm. That's why you won't get it. No, man, you, you trying to judge a motherfucker then. But if you on that same level a researcher, a motherfucker that research shit and just don't take in what any motherfucker telling you, then I can fuck with you because you're going to go, even me. Don't let me say shit unless you went and searched it out. Then you get you, and I need that correction if I'm wrong. I need to be corrected. That's what's going to make me a better man. Don't let me just say no anything I don't know, but I'm going to kick it off. Hey, man, I don't know. Best answer. Like, you don't sit, fucking know, just like, you don't know or don't speak on it. You could be the most talented worker in the world or fighter, or whatever. If you ain't teachable, then shit, I don't want to fuck with you. Because you ain't never. You, you an individual. You ain't going to never be good for, the, for my team. Straight up. That was some real ass shit he was saying. Bro, straight up, bro. How you going to sit here and tell me what I don't know if you ain't searched it out? How you going to tell I'm sitting there telling this woman the truth? My goodness, look, this where I was at. This is what I was doing. I got alibis, everything, if that's the case. You're lying. Okay, then I'll talk to you when I see you then, because I ain't finna deal with that. If I can't tell you the truth, then I can't even tell you a lie. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Which I ain't even on this shit. You heard me? I'm going to tell your ass the truth. Why not? Why not? Why not, man? It's a beautiful thing. Nah, people, people want to be lied to. People want to nah, be like, yeah, you, you hey, doing a good job. No, nah, you should take them, bro. I just you need need one. one. Yeah. yeah, people want to be lied to. They want to be told, oh, they're doing great. They want to hear smooth things, Kush. They want, they want a motherfucker to tell them some deceitful shit just because it sound good. Because the truth gon' they ain't gonna sound too good. For That's real. why this truth is very motherfucking dangerous, man. And I ain't got no fur, none, <laughs> none at all. The truth don't come with fur. And that's straight why, up. That's, that's why, why. That's bosses, why you can stand bold when you tell the truth. Go ahead, cuz. That's why bosses don't talk to to peons because if a boss speaks to you. Shit, it's shit to the fire. I mean, if you fucking fire your ass, because I'm having to see you. I got other people below me that I pay that's supposed to speak to you. That's that's how it works here. Like if you if you want to be in that lane, you want to act like you know everything, then shit, you better really know it. Because guess what? The type of person I am, Kush, I'm gonna test you. Because if you're going to tell me to do some shit that you ain't going to do, I'm going to instantly say, show me what you're talking about. <laughs> show me how it's done then. I'm talking about climb up there and get a bag of carrots. I was working at the uh, produce company, Durbur's Warehouse. This mom going to tell me to climb up the rack and get a bag of carrots. I say, what the forklift for? <laughs> it's a whole forklift drive. What the hell I'm climbing up there to get a 50-pound bag of carrots out the earth for? It's sitting up in the rack, bro. On a skid, he want me to climb up there, and I, t- I said, "Man, show me what you talking about." He did that too. He showed me. He climbed his monkey ass up there and got that bag of carrots and broke yeah, every he- last one of them, dropping it to the floor. Huh? Yeah, nah, I see. Nah, like when somebody do that to you, you gotta see that they they willing to do what you gotta do. He was dedicated, but I wasn't grabbing no bag of carrots. I did climb, but it was it was some boxes of salad, some light shit. Nigga. <laughs> they, they do that shit in here. All the but you know, it's a time period when the deliveries got to go out. I wasn't finna sit there and wait on the lazy ass forklift driver to do it. So I went up there, knocked a couple of boxes down. It ain't hurt. But this motherfucker grabbed a 50 pound bag of carrots and dropped it to the floor. All that shit was broke. Every last one of the motherfuckers broke. <laughs> <laughs> he say fucking send that motherfucker to the stool. I'm like, man, you ain't shit, man. The forklift driver. All you had to do, you the boss. He was the boss. He the supervisor. He's supposed to call the forklift driver. Bring your ass right here. Get everything down in this cooler. Why would you come in the cooler and just grab one pallet down and then leave out the cooler? This hell of shit needs to be down there. Man, dirt birds, man. We feeling orders on the truck, man. So this shit is just 
off the chain. You at Walmart, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I mean, I'm talking about, bro, man, when you talking about um, everything manual, I got to wrap, I got to first, I got to drop an empty skid, put the electric jack up under it, lift the skid up, go, go grocery shopping and making pallets and fill an order out, wrap the motherfucking shit up and then load it on the truck until the order is done. So, I'm talking about 50 pound boxes of potatoes, 100 pound bags of potatoes, bro. We got to fill this order for this store, commercial store. And you're going to sit here and tell me, oh, man, you you moving too slow. I'm moving too slow. And then I just did two whole trucks. This is my third truck. And motherfucker standing around, man, you better shut the fuck I told him like just like that. Man, you better shut the fuck up talking to me. I got work to do. Go tell your motherfucking nephew and them that's standing over there by the desk to get some of this motherfucking work you gave me, nigga. Got them standing around and shit. I hate that favoritism shit, bro. Yeah. So oh, one day, I said, hey, hey, Kush, one day I just sat on my jack for like four hours. I ain't do, I ain't picked up shit. I ain't even started on the order. I just sat there for like four hours in the same spot talking to everybody that came past me, bro. I know you can, you can imagine what I had to go through to get where, I, where I'm at. Yeah, man, I already know, bro. I had to do all kind of adversity. Then bring a motherfucker in, don't even know how to work the jack as my supervisor. Man, I'm out of here, bro. I ain't even stand to, to see that shit, bro. You crazy in the motherfucker. I really, I really had to hurt. You know, when I, when I first got hired in this company, I got hired as a CEO associate. They hired me on me, and I was one of the last people and I've been with this company ever since for six years. And I've always been the black guy. I'm like the only black member of that. I dealt with all that. Yeah, I deal with all this shit, bro. The dude gonna tell us, now nah, we we done our work. It ain't, ain't nothing but like four hours worth of work every day. But we gotta sit and wait on our eight hours. So we sitting there waiting three, four hours to get our time in and shit, right? So the so the lights had went out, right? At the end of the day, the lights had went out, right? It's dark as hell in there, right? Can't even see your hand in front of your face. Dude come down there like, hey man, he said he's gonna give your you guys the uh he say you guys need to go ahead and clock out. Man, dude, he was he was he was standing in the light where the light was at. I say, hey man, you need to go tell him to come tell us. Now we in the dark, we sitting in the dark. He like, yeah, all right. He say, dude came back. He say, he say, I don't know what you're talking about, man. He say, hey man, it's pretty dark down there. And I'm not talking about because of the lights. Man, I was dead, boys. He said, I ain't going down there talking to them niggas, man. What's wrong with you in the dark? Hey. They don't care what the opposite is. Yeah, last week I seen that associate. It was raining like a motherfucker out here. Hey, yeah, my bad, Kush, man. I just fell off, man, laughing, man, tripping. Nah, you good? Yeah, man. I seen so much shit like that happen. They fucking was mad at associate because he called off. So when he came back to work. They gonna stick his ass outside in the rain, picking up cardboard in the back. Oh. I'm like, bro, you should have brought, you should have brought your. That's some cold shit, man. I don't never, I don't fuck with that with Kyle Richardson. She would have had me that's, calling. That's the top. Yeah, that's some cold shit right there, man. Damn. Up, do you like that if you if you knew and you don't know what's in your rice, what motherfucker can and can't do to you? Man, do you dirt? Nah, seniority, man. Bottom of the totem pole, my dude. Then my boy Andrew, dirty. Little young kid, too. I think they don't like him because he drive a little Tesla and he don't like, he likes, he young. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I know I what type like he of privileged. Privileged. Yeah. They think he's silver spoon. Mm -hmm. He kind of is, but he a good worker, though. And, and when you want to call told like, him, man, get your ass up. We tired to take care of your ass. Go get a job. Got all that damn money. Go I get a job. I said, bro, like, you shouldn't be calling off, but it's within your rights to call off. And you ain't got to explain shit to no fucking body up in here. No motherfucking body at all. That's personal. Confidential shit. 
But like when you're younger, three you younger, you don't know shit. Like out the three years I worked for that store, man, I'm talking about, bro, I only missed like four days, bro. And that was because the snow was up to the knees. And it was raining so motherfucking bad, bro. You, the, all the streets was like flooded like a mud, like all the sewers tapped out or something. Mm. I'm like, bro. And then I got to work in the cooler. It's raining hard. I got to go come out the rain and go right in the cooler, bro. I'm not finna get sick. I'm not stupid, man. What is y'all talking about? Then ain't no motherfucker made no ice, so that's coming out the cooler into the freezer. And I'm <laughs> wet. Oh, I don't think so, bro. Yeah. I don't think so, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. That's why I don't I don't play that shit. When I used to be, when I was a up and comer in this company, they used to stick me in the freezer and have me mm. scanning all because you know I got I'm the one that account for everything. Even now, that's like my specialty. I'm the, hey, that's the one be on the two, in, right? And that beat on him too. He used to that motherfucking freezer every night, bro. And he used to tell me, "Hey, look, I need the whole thing scanned in, and I need to scan in in an hour, bro." That shit used to have me freezing in there. I used to have to take the gloves off because my fingers are getting too fucking cold, and I gotta fucking input the the numbers into the system. You mm. feel me? That shit. That's real hard training. So when these motherfuckers out here telling me, "Oh," They being too hard on me on my time, friends. I'll be like, bro, get the fuck out of here. You never been in the fucking freezer like me. Man, I you always worked in the cold, bro. I I, man, listen, listen. And then I was working at the gas station, bro. At the one gas station, bro. The cooler ain't even that big, bro. One cooler at Durbers is like this whole cooler. <laughs> it ain't even, that ain't even no whole cooler at Durbers. I had to maintain 26 coolers, bro. What is he talking about, man? Potatoes, gotcha. apple, whole apple cases, bro. We ain't talking about no just no apple, single apples in a bag. We talking about cases of potatoes. It's 70 potatoes in a box. It's five watermelons in a case, bro. Motherfuckers is lipping five watermelons at one time in a case, bro. I need 12 of them. Fuck is we talking about, man? Y'all could talk that skinny and look like a dope fan shit, man. I'm fucking hit hard, bro. I, that's a, I did that for 17 years. I'm in shape like a motherfucker. What is you talking about at my age? Motherfuckers don't be knowing who they talking to on man, that. Man, I've been lifting motherfucking potato boxes and 100 pound cases of potatoes for a third of my life. Fuck is you talking about, man? Motherfuckers don't be knowing what they talking about on the internet. Like that motherfucker. Uh, can't even lift a sack of potatoes by yourself, motherfucker. A hundred pound sack of potatoes. Who, who was that nigga in the chat? Who was that nigga in the chat trying to call me out for a fade talking about he 165? Like meet me at 165. I'm like, nigga, I'm 230 pounds. <laughs> Never been no. below no 180. Because like, she wants you to come in like skeleton to a body. <laughs> Like, nigga, I, I grew up playing football. I've never been a little guy. That's little. Well, I don't know who they talking to on the internet. They just be talking. Hey, man, Kush, yeah, Kush. Go starve your motherfucker self and don't drink no water. Beat him at 160. Yeah. <laughs> talking about some 165. I laugh. I laugh. I laugh. <laughs> That ain't no catch weight. That's a death weight. <laughs> hey man, where we get these people from? Man? <laughs> he was talking to you like you was a little big. Yeah, like I'm some little ass nigga. <laughs> hey man, shit funny man. My stomach hurt now, man. Shit hella funny. Man. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> playing with me. Niggas, hey man, you gotta lose 90 pounds, my dude. Hey nigga, like 165. Hey nigga. <laughs> like my girl weigh 165. You gonna need the IV before you go in the ring. <laughs> you gonna need one of them IV hydration machines going in the ring. <laughs> To make sure you at your best. <laughs> hey man, shit funny as hell, man. That shit funny as <laughs> <the> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you got 
gotta lose ninety pounds to get to the catch weight. <laughs> like man, these niggas don't know how many little niggas I done beat up. I'm talking about one sixty five. I don't even think it's fair for me to fight little niggas like that. That shit funny, man. I gotta come up. I'm <laughs> Last fight I got in a fight with where a nigga was like 180 or below. I slammed that nigga all through my living room and all kind of shit. Whooped his Breaking ass. Shit. Yeah. Some hip man oh, shit. Man. Breaking all my motherfucking furniture and dishes. <laughs> hey, I, 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 hey, I'd rather not fight in my house, but hey, if you want to fight in my house, nigga, then shit. Oh, you no. real bad. Ain't no, ain't no fighting in the house. You in the house trying to fight me? Nah, but when you know but the laws, do you fucking know the laws? Nigga, to tone down state. in my house, bro, and you don't turn it down, and I tell you to get out or catch my fade right then, nigga. I ain't waiting for you to throw a punch. I'm gonna whoop your ass, bro. You get up when I say I'm gonna whoop your ass, and that's how I end bro. up whooping the last couple of niggas' ass. Think they ain't got to fucking move when I say move. Whooping ass, cool, man. But you in my house. Talking about throwing hands with me. Do you know the law? You inside my house. That's you one trying to fight me. Man, I'm finna pop your ass, nigga. You in my house. Shit. I don't even get in man. trouble for that, nigga. You an intruder. Fuck you mean, nigga. For real. You like, went if from, my, you went it from there, my dude I, to I an intruder, nigga. I'm shooting your ass. In his house. Like, okay. Like nigga, I just I just dog you out up in here, nigga. Like, man, look, bro, you in my house? <laughs> Fuck that shit. That's where it's comfortable, right? Nigga, now I if he ain't, now if he ain't, now now if he ain't no threat like that, I'm just saying, man. But you in my house? I, hey, I don't give a fuck if you. You a ain't sport. at the door. You, you ain't standing hey, bro, outside get the get door. Out. Well, I can drag get you out. in inside so it could be legal. You in my house? I got every right to blow your motherfucking head off. What is you talking about? I'm not throwing no punches. You in my house. Now we was outside, I whoop your ass. But you in my house talking shit like, man, I'm finna shoot you, man. Fuck it, out always, of here. it always happen. It always happen when a nigga get too lit. You feel me? Y'all watching the game. Nigga get can't hold his liquor. Yeah, cause you nigga, man, you you so fucking right, whoop a nigga ass. No, no, the then the nigga so lit, he talking about make me leave out my house. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, you experienced that shit too, man. The nigga like, talking so about gonna, make, gonna, me make you you're leave. Make you leave. You're going to leave roughly too. Hey, and man. going to call me apologizing and shit later with a black eye. Nigga. Hey, man, I'm finna shoot a hole in the floor around that nigga feet. You're going to fall downstairs. Then you will get your ass <laughs> Man, on my house, man. Man, nigga, yo, I, I the last man, nigga for waking my house, son up, bro. What you mean? Make you oh, leave. Oh God! Oh you God! Gonna leave yourself, or somebody gonna carry you out this motherfucker, nigga. Fuck what, what you? What you finna do? You finna get out though. I don't give a fuck how you leave. You finna get the fuck out of here through this I'm window. You, the, the nigga was about the nigga was about Sergio size. The nigga that said you want to fight me at one sixty five, nigga. I will. I will. Sergio the, Martinez. The nigga Sergio on the channel. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Sergio. Oh, man. What is he doing, man? Damn, Serges, man. What's, what's going on, man? Because <laughs> we know you ain't finna get up to no 230. Nah, nigga, you get up to, you get, you gain some weight, but you want to have that fight. So I want to come yeah. down. You know, you know, I got to bring that shit up just to let a nigga know I ain't forgot, nigga. Yeah, man, that shit crazy, man. Ain't no, uh uh, -uh man. That's some celebrity death match. Little nigga Clayton. method, too. Yes. Little nigga method, too. Man. Get it the same way. Little ass nigga. Hey, man. Method, man. He going to be all right, man. What the fuck it is, bro. Like, I just I don't know why to do. He just like he just like my knuckles on his teeth or something. Keep like knocking. Said, he, he a troll. Nigga, yeah, he I, like, a troll. Nigga, I keep I trying to pain. tell people this nigga troll man. He be good until whatever he do. I guess he drink this horrible water liquor whatever. I don't know what he what he he just start going all the way fucking off. And bro, you don't answer no questions. You don't pull out no receipts. You just be talking, blanketing. That's all. That's all method do. He blanket a motherfucker with his opinion. 
He can't just accept that his shit is an opinion. He is always a fact. Stop, man. We all got opinions, man. You ain't always right. Damn, man. Told you. I told you. That's it. That's one of the grown man conversations motherfuckers can't have. Go ahead, Kush. I was saying, I told you about Method. He don't listen, and he don't be answering questions either. So it ain't yeah, no, I saw it you ain't post it. That. That's why I was like, you sure right on the last show. When he was on here getting cooked like him all day. I, I never seen him win a debate. He say he undefeated. Uh, but JFL whooped him, though. But he undefeated, but JFL whooped him. I don't know. Shit, if, if JFL whooping on you, then shit. Man. man. Man, that's why I was like, bro. JFL ain't even a real person. That nigga is weird. Man, weird ass individual. I didn't see them cook a couple motherfuckers though on this motherfucker though. Had me laughing like a motherfucker. He just wasn't gonna get this shit off on me, goofy ass nigga. <laughs> Some of y'all gonna quit lying on JFL. Well, go ask JFL about Hebrew. That's all you had to do. He don't say fuck that shit. Miss me with that, Joe. Shut your goofy ass up. Shut your goofy ass up. That a dude. Yeah, that a dude is funny as fuck, though. Remember the niggas that used to come on the channel? I did feel funny about in the motherfucker, man. Didn't know nothing about boxing. Only about Danny. Danny Garcia. That shit is weak. Dude. And Mr. T.Y. with the Ricky Hatton glove. Did you see the glove? Did you see the Ricky Hatton part of the fight? I'm like, bro. He say, why to drop somebody on the back step going backwards with a left hook or short left? I'm like, I say, when have you seen Wild swinging backwards? Going, on, going backwards. Because if he was capable of doing that, then he should have did that to Tyson Fury in that first spot. Because Tyson Fury was always moving forward in that motherfucking fight. He was always going back. And, and and why he ain't throw his short left then? Because he ain't got that. But that that was against Ortiz though, Kush. That was against Ortiz, so he knew what he was he talking about. The only reason why I start clowning him because he was gonna start clowning why be about uh a man's attire, and when why be check this motherfucker ass now it's a boxing channel. If you want to see men's ass shaking, man, he had me laughing like a motherfucker. Man, the dude. I'm like, bro, what is going on with these people, man? I told them, man, I'll be watching these shows, man. You hear me? And I'll go back over the ones I, that I did to correct my motherfucking mouth. Like, damn, man, motherfuckers just bring this shit out, man. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Stop, man. I used to watch the playbacks, but now I be in, I be in this motherfucker so live. I'll be like, shit, what I need to watch it back for now. But, right. shit, I don't miss nothing now. I'll be hey, in here some of this shit be funny, though, man. I have to go back over it, man. This shit be funny as hell, man. Only on H Money Boxing Channel, man. Like and subscribe, man. If you're just joining us, welcome to the Lion Den, man. Like and subscribe to the channel, man, where cooking goes on and on. We 11 hours in right here to what it say. I always come late, man. I'll be I really got the rest, man, because this 2021, man, was a motherfucker, man, for me, man. I did a lot of my work, the whole motherfucking, man. Shit, bro. 2020, 2021 was whack. I'm glad that shit opened. Man, bro. Shit. was the best thing about this shit. The only thing was good about it is seeing some good fights, the ones that we did see. Mm -hmm. Everything else was what, what? What? What else was it? Shit, locked in the house half the year. <laughs> Man, shit was fucked up. Oh, yeah, man. Man, I'm finna get off of here, man, and get myself up. Man. Damn, it's eight o'clock. Eight in the morning. Bro. Man, my shift almost over. I've been on shit on with y'all since my lunch. <laughs> Damn. Damn, it don't even look like it's eight o'clock, bro. It look like it's going. It look like it don't look like it's turning morning. It look like it's turning night. I'm not gonna cap. It, it seemed like y'all was just counting the fucking new year in. 
That's what it seemed like. Now, it's bro, six, it's been six hours. Man. Oh, that's right, Cali. It's six o'clock over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm about to get my ass up out of here in a minute. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Make sure you make it home safe, brother. I'm gonna jump off here, y'all. Salute to the uh, chat and the Watch World's playback game. Yeah, cause make sure you get home safe. Make sure you get home safe, brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know I'm about to get home safe. Check on that baby. Yeah, yeah. That's all I was thinking about. You know what I'm saying? Get back to that baby, man. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm out of here, man. Till the next episode. Thanks, H man. I'm glad you had me on, man. You know, as usual, we're gonna do what we do like you. You there, bro? H money. H money. We out. I'll text them, man. Let them know. But yeah, man, I'm out of y'all. All right, peace to the community. Till the next episode. Shit, all right, y'all. I'm going to drop off for shit. H not here.